Chapter 1 Returning and meeting my nephew. Advertisement. Kinyi, I'm going to be a father. You have to come back early, otherwise, he may disown you as his uncle. What's his name? Naruto, Uzumaki Naruto, is also the protagonist of Jiraiya Sensei's book. I know, I'll be back soon. Minato, my brother, take care of yourself. The land of fire, Konoha. On the majestic Hokage Rock, next to the three weathered statues, there is a new one. Fourth generation, Namikaze Minato, but already dead. On the shadow rock of fourth generation, a young man is lying on it with a maple leaf in his mouth. He had his legs crossed, had no respect for the fourth generation, and was even a little, dissatisfied. In the Nine Tails Rebellion, the fourth generation died, and the third generation came back to power. What kind of life did my still young nephew lead? But it's best if Sarutobi can give me a satisfactory answer. Otherwise, he he, I'm not like Minato. Get up. Kinyi jumped down, his tall and straight figure revealed at this moment. That golden hair looked particularly dazzling in the sunlight. Minato, my brother, I'm back. The third year after the Nine Tails Rebellion, Chiba walked in the rebuilt village and felt a little emotional when he saw that the renovated village was different from the original one. I walked through three streets and came to a familiar place in my memory, but, just desolate. Home is gone. Perhaps it was destroyed in the Nine Tails Rebellion. Or maybe, there is another reason. Things are different and people are different. Memories rolled through my mind. Chiba left before the Nine Tails Rebellion. In order to awaken Cheat, he had to go out. Although he is a time traveler, he doesn't know much about the world of Hokage. It's just hearsay, just a few friends talking about it. He didn't know about the Nine Tails Rebellion. Advertisement. Otherwise, he wouldn't leave. Of course, the outcome may not be changed. However, there may be a turning point. Minato's bright face appeared in his mind again. Chiba narrowed his eyes. He looked at the desolate area for a long time before turning around. It's time for a new beginning. He will investigate Minato's death and take revenge. But there are more important things right now. Where was his nephew, Uzumaki Naruto? Where is he? Umbu is undoubtedly the best at finding people, but Chiba doesn't want to have premature contact with Hokage's men, at least not now. As the sun set, Chiba walked on the street, the remaining heat of the sun falling on him. He looked ahead, staring at this familiar yet unfamiliar village. During this time, he learned a new piece of news. Demon Fox? The ignorant boy who carries the power, no, the baby. And, the hatred of the villagers was barely restrained. Tread, tread, under the sunset. Chiba came to the children's favorite place to play, Konoha Park. However, even though he scanned a large circle of children, he could not see any trace related to his nephew. They were having fun, laughing and chatting. And on the other side of the park, on the old swing, the yellow-haired boy pressed his cheek against the rope that tied the swing, looking at it longingly. Until the sun set and the children dispersed, his eyes remained still, his desire not diminished by half. That persistent look seemed to keep the last excitement forever. But the person is still gone. He finally woke up, confused. Wow, the swing was pushed. The blonde boy was so absorbed that he never noticed the stranger beside him. When the swing was pushed, the first thing I did was not hug the swing tightly to stabilize my body. Instead, I hugged my head and curled up together. Helpless, with a hint of pleading voice came. Advertisement. I, I'm not a demon fox. Snap. He fell. The swing was still swaying, rubbing against his body from time to time, making him tremble even more. Do not hit me. As Kinyi approached, the palm that was about to fall on the young man's head suddenly froze. He looked down at his nephew who was acting unusually and fell into deep thought. A long while. Naruto felt no pain and looked back quietly. But he didn't have any desire to negotiate, and ran away directly. He didn't look back, as if running for his life. Chiba was stunned again. I never imagined that the first meeting with my nephew would start in this way. He followed. On the way. When pedestrians returning home saw the blonde kid running away in a hurry, they couldn't help but step aside. Kinyi followed behind and saw the disgust in their eyes. As well as, it's the little devil fox again, wreaking havoc somewhere I don't know. Sooner or later the village will be destroyed again in his hands. I really don't know what Mr. Third Generation thinks, but he still lets him stay in the village. Such a brat, it would be great if he died. Undisguised malice. There were even a few five or six year old children who, after hearing what their adults said, picked up rocks from the ground and threw them towards the flying figure. Kill the demon fox. Chiba frowned. The stone missed and was affected by Chiba. After passing this street, the number of pedestrians gradually became less and less. Naruto finally couldn't hold it anymore and stopped, breathing heavily. The two had the first time to communicate. But the atmosphere is subtle. Silence. After a while, Chiba chose a topic. Do you want to take revenge? Advertisement. Naruto looked at him confused. Come on, follow me. He lifted Naruto up from the ground and ignored Naruto's reaction. Went back to the street and returned to the starting point where he was beaten before. Chiba took Naruto to the first home where he made bad remarks. He disappeared for so long that almost no one remembers him. Namikaze Chiba was never an easy person to get along with. Hey, how could he not pay the price for bullying his nephew? Bang, kicked the door open. Chiba walked into it. The sudden movement attracted attention. Suddenly, someone came out with anger. There are children peeking inside the house. Chiba turned his eyes to the adult. I am Naruto's elder. The middle-aged man frowned and saw the sword at Kinyi's waist, but said nothing. Chiba said seriously, I want you to apologize to this kid for your previous behavior. The middle-aged man suddenly woke up and sneered. Apologize to the demon fox, never. Laugh. A ray of sword light passed by, and the silver white sword light directly cut off more than a dozen strands of hair on his temples, then deflected and sank into the ground. The sword energy mixed with murderous intent, coupled with Kinyi's smiling but clearly indifferent eyes, made him kneel to the ground with a pop. Sorry. Chiba didn't speak, but his eyes had narrowed. Bang, bang, bang. The middle-aged man kowtowed three times in succession and said again. Really sorry. No next time. Putting away the sword, Kinyi turned and left. Naruto took the initiative to follow him with a confused look on his face. This made Chiba smile. Not a bad start. Advertisement. Chapter 2 Naruto. Advertisement. The second home. Bang, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Chiba turned around and took Naruto to the next house. Under Chiba's virtue, these people admit their mistakes quickly. There is almost no luck and people who want to say a few words to show toughness. In life and death, following one's heart is the right choice. The third one. The fourth one. 
When Shiba took Naruto out of the seventh house, Naruto's eyes already showed a hint of belief in Shiba. This was something that had never happened before. Nice change. Shiba didn't let Naruto choose whether to forgive them. Unnecessary. Shiba didn't want to let the child struggle with these so-called kindnesses. In this war-torn era, good people may not live well and suffer a lot. Or, it can be a compliment. But, is that useful? Chiba would rather let him live a better life. On the way back, the atmosphere is still very subtle. Naruto peeked at Chiba from time to time, and finally asked what he had been holding back. Who are you? Your father's brother, you should call me uncle. Uncle. Naruto looked confused for a moment, feeling a little unfamiliar with this title. Chiba sighed. They are your relatives. Now, we are each other's only relatives. Oh. Naruto responded, there was something wrong with the silence. He raised his head and looked at Kinyi, and shouted awkwardly. Uncle. Um. Chiba smiled and touched Naruto's golden hair. Chiba's appearance is somewhat similar to Namikaze Minato, but unlike Little Sun's sunshine, Chiba has an evil streak. Make it look a bit bohemian. Not a moment. Under the leadership of Naruto, he came to his current home. Is this right here? Um. Naruto nodded. Chiba looked. On the second floor, there is a small house of dozens of square meters. Even before entering, you can smell the smell of old decay. If the door doesn't close tightly, it will open if the wind gets stronger. Inside the house, the furniture is old and even missing. Only a few daily necessities were available. The only thing that is still intact and worth looking at is, the bed. The room was empty. Chiba frowned. Do you usually live by yourself? Naruto nodded. No one takes care of you. Shake his head. What about living expenses? Naruto dug into his pocket for a long time and finally took out a few coins. That's all there is left. Advertisement. Chiba took a deep breath. This month has just begun? As if sensing Chiba's mood changes, Naruto explained awkwardly. I was so hungry, so I just used some. It's okay, kid. Chiba touched his head again. He sensed the child's sensitivity and tried his best not to irritate him. Obviously, this child does not spend money recklessly. Otherwise, the furnishings and life in the house would never be like this. Even if you are a prodigal, you will ensure your own life. At least, you won't go hungry. But not his nephew. So, there is only one answer. Living expenses are too little. He narrowed his eyes. After his brother's death, Naruto was definitely entrusted to the third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen. But now, life is like this. Gugu, a sudden sound sounded. Following Chiba's gaze, Naruto suddenly blushed. He opened the cupboard and found a half carton of milk hidden deep inside. I took out two boxes. He handed a box to Chiba. Uncle, here you go. Chiba took it. And smile. Thanks. In order to prevent the child from being too cramped, Kinyi opened the seal, but when he was about to drink it, he smelled a sour smell. The smell was disgusting. Chiba looked at Naruto, but he found that he seemed to be used to it. Finally, Chiba still stopped him. It's expired, Naruto. Naruto looked up, what is expired? It's just broken. Oh. He responded, a little frustrated and said, maybe I kept it for too long. I saved up money for a long time to buy it, and I couldn't bear to drink it. How long have you let it go? Naruto thought for a moment. There are eight boxes of milk in total. It was supposed to be one box a day, but I was a little reluctant and kept it for five extra days. Chiba glanced at the expiration date. Expired for one year. He didn't know what to say. Should he tell him the truth? No, he is miserable enough. However, the three-year-old child was targeted by the villagers. No friends, no relatives. Not enough to eat and not warm enough to wear. When I go out, I will be insulted by adults and beaten by children. Even the milk that I had saved up for a long time and finally bought was expired long ago. He couldn't even bear to drink it. I kept it for five more days. Call? Chiba exhaled heavily. The anger is hard to suppress. But he still said calmly. Stop drinking. I'll take you to eat something else. Naruto was a little reluctant to give up. Advertisement. But in the end he nodded. Ichiraku ramen. Looking at the big bowl of hot ramen in front of me, Naruto couldn't stop swallowing. But he still glanced at his uncle subconsciously. Eat it, be careful not to burn it. He immediately started gobbling it up. He looked like he had been hungry for an unknown amount of time. Seeing Naruto eating, Chiba felt a little dazed. In the past three years, he didn't know what kind of treatment the child had received. But obviously, it's not fair. If he doesn't come back, this kind of treatment will continue. I don't know how long. He knew Naruto's future. Seventh Hokage. But, how much hardship does he have to put in to achieve this? Finished eating ramen. Naruto patted his belly, very satisfied. Chiba looked at him. Let's go back. Good. On the way, Naruto looked at Chiba's back for a long time, and finally spoke when he arrived home. Uncle, will you still leave? Chiba turned around and touched his head again. Not anymore. Naruto's eyes showed joy. In that case, you don't have to go to bed so early tonight. Why? Chiba asked confused. Naruto suddenly looked shocked. But it was explained anyway. If I go to bed early, I can meet many friends in my dreams. Although I don't know them and can't see their faces clearly, they will stay with me, but they only come once. Do you miss your parents? Chiba asked. Um, hate them. Naruto shook his head. Actually, they occasionally come to accompany me. Although I don't know what they look like or what kind of people they are, I have seen them in my dreams. I don't hate them. If I did, the parents in the dream would also leave. Chiba was stunned. Look at this nephew who is speaking his mind. Reach out and hug him. Uncle will accompany you from now on. Um, soon after, Naruto couldn't hold it any longer and fell asleep. But he held on to Kinyi's clothes. Refuses to let go. Even if there was some slight noise, he would wake up immediately and then rush to find Kinyi. He doesn't feel safe. Chiba didn't move and stayed in the same position for a long time. It wasn't until he fell asleep completely that he took off his shirt. He was covered with a quilt. Walked out of the room lifelessly. There was a man wearing a mask sitting on a tree not far from the house. Umbu. Chiba arrived quickly. Come out. Sieve. The leaves trembled and figures came down. Chi Chiba Sama. Advertisement. There is no need to come here again. My nephew does not need to be monitored. But, this is an order from Lord Third Generation, who is Nine Tails. Chiba's eyes turned cold. 
I don't want to repeat myself again. You should know his identity and what happened to him. Don't let me do anything. Umbu's life can't calm my anger. Chiba was too lazy to say anything more and turned away. And Umbu, after hesitating for a long time, chose to obey. Because he knew that this person really wouldn't care so much. Chiba returned to the room. Then he froze. Because the shirt he took off earlier was neatly folded and placed beside him. Naruto occupied one side of the small bed, leaving most of the space empty. He made sure he left in silence. But Naruto still woke up. No crying, no fuss. Just folded clothes. This way, if you want to leave, you can do it faster. And he just regarded this as a dream. An uncle who only comes once, in a dream. Chiba stared at him. Naruto's breathing was uneven. Clearly awake. After a while, Naruto couldn't help but said. Uncle, I fell asleep. Well, go to sleep. Good. He fell asleep obediently and did not wake up in the middle of the night. Chiba didn't go to bed, but just watched from the side. The bed is too small for two people to rest. Naruto woke up very early the next day. Look around. He breathed a sigh of relief after seeing Chiba. Good morning, uncle. Morning. Outside the house, Chiba wiped the sweat from his forehead, stopped waving the long sword, and turned around. Uncle, are you a ninja? He looked at it for a long time, raised his head and asked. Yes. Then my parents too. Um, are they powerful? What do they look like? Also, do they like children? Have you seen me? Do they also use swords? Did they live here before? There are many questions. Naruto talked for a long time, many of them were common sense and even repeated questions. This is enough to annoy anyone. But Chiba listened to him patiently. It's awesome. Your father is very handsome and your mother is very beautiful. They like children very much. They have met you and they like you very much. Your father can use a sword. He is a very powerful ninja and knows many ninjutsu. Your mother is very gentle, with long red hair. She is also a ninja, but not as powerful as your father. They didn't live here before, they lived somewhere else. Chiba also talked for a long time, answered Naruto's question. What he said was a bit messy, but Naruto listened carefully and carefully. There was yearning on his face. Finally, he smiled brightly. I have the best dad and mom in the world. Yes, they love you very much, even beyond loving yourself. Advertisement. Chapter 3 Uncle, I want to be a Hokage. Advertisement. All morning. They spent the whole time in questions and answers between the two of them. Naruto seemed to have never spoken so much. His eyes became brighter and brighter. I also want to be as powerful as my father. Good. Looking at this nephew, Kini's eyes were full of tenderness. He lived a miserable life and suffered many injustices. He hasn't met any friends yet and has no right to be picky about food. He lives a stubborn life, like a weed that no one cares about. But working towards the sun. He had never met his father and mother, but just after hearing news about them, he felt that they were the best. Even if, they had never appeared in his life except in dreams. Uncle, can I learn ninjutsu from you? Yes, but you have to wait until you grow up. Oh, so what are we going to do next? Naruto asked on the road after leaving home. Eat breakfast. Are you still eating ramen? Yesterday's Ichiraku ramen was really delicious. I have never eaten such delicious food. Chiba smiled. Then eat ramen. A child's wish is hard to refuse. Ichiraku ramen. After a nice meal, Chiba asked Naruto. Have you ever done any pranks? Naruto blushed. Did, some. What are they? Kinyi asked with interest. Draw, draw. Chiba smiled and said. It's not really a prank. I'll take you to do some real pranks later. Hokage office. Third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen sat at his desk and tapped his pipe. He blew out a thick puff of smoke. Squinting at Umbu in front of him. Namikaze Chiba is back. Yes. Then there's really no need to monitor him. This guy has never been easy to mess with. Third generation Sama, that Jinchuriki. Don't worry about it. According to his temperament, he should come to you. Go down. Yes. Umbu leaves the Hokage office. When I walked to the door, I felt a little dazed for a moment. One big and one small. Coming towards you. Is the report finished? Chiba looked at him with raised eyebrows. Umbu suddenly felt nervous. But he nodded. That's good. Advertisement. Chiba ignored him and walked inside with Naruto. Uncle, where is this? Naruto asked curiously. Where the Hokage is? Then what are we doing here? You'll find out later. The two gradually walked away. Umbu's heart skipped a beat. According to common sense, he wants to stop Kinyi. After all, not just anyone can enter the Hokage building. But, thinking of Kinyi's past deeds, he suddenly had a headache. When his thoughts were confused, he suddenly turned his head and noticed a lot of smells nearby. Suddenly stunned. There are naturally many guards all around the Hokage building. But why, when Kinyi came in earlier, no one stopped him. Of course. I don't dare. Otherwise, let's follow him and have a look. After a long time, someone spoke up. It still doesn't work. Even when Mr. Fourth Generation is here, we can't control him. What can we do even if we go? But Mr. Third Generation is inside. With Lord Third Generation here, he will not dare to make any mistakes. Yes, Mr. Third Generation is here, everything will be fine. If we go in, we will only add to the chaos. It got quiet. But who would believe the following words? Several people looked at each other and hesitated for a moment, but still did not choose to go in. In front of Hokage's office. Uncle, what are we doing here? Naruto looked at Chiba in confusion. Chiba smiled playfully. I haven't been back to the village for a long time. I have to meet the people from before and tell them I'm back. He patted Naruto's head. Chiba said, watch it, uncle will only teach you once. Under Naruto's doubtful eyes, Chiba raised her leg and immediately kicked the door of Hokage's office. Bang, a loud noise was heard, and with great force, the door of Hokage's office was kicked open. Ignore the scattered smoke. Chiba walked in with a smile on his face. Long time no see, Lord Third Generation. The smoke gradually dispersed. Under Naruto's shocked eyes, he saw the third generation sitting on the chair visibly shaking, and the bong in his hand was not steady and fell on the table. You still love smoking so much. Chiba looked around, and it still looked familiar. Just now he looked at the third Hokage and smiled kindly. Sarutobi took a deep breath. Suppress your anger. You're back. Yes, I'm back. Don't you welcome Mr. Third Generation. Your impolite way of entering the door makes it difficult to welcome people, isn't it? No way. I'm always the most polite. Snapped. Advertisement. Pieces fell from the broken door, making a crisp sound. 
third generation glanced at it. No words were spoken, but there was anger in his eyes that flashed away. Chiba turned a blind eye to this and sighed. The door in Mr. Third Generation's office is not of good quality. It is old, but it still stubbornly keeps its position. It is inevitable that it will break. Some bumps and minor accidents will make it unable to hold up. A smile spread across his face. It's long overdue for a new door, don't you think? Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. Naturally, he knew what Chiba meant. Is this why you came back? It wasn't originally. My poor brother died for the village, leaving behind such a bloodline, but you should know best how he lived. Sarutobi Hiruzen said. I can't take care of everyone when we rebuild the village. I was indeed negligent regarding Naruto. Really, just three years of neglect. Then your memory is indeed not very good. You are old. Sarutobi sighed. Maybe, but the village still needs me now. It would be great if Minato was still here. The words fell. Looking at Naruto, he said slightly apologetically. Grandpa has been negligent over the years. I'm sorry. It's Grandpa's fault. Naruto looked at the apologetic old man and was touched for a moment. Even though he was young, how could he not know what Hokage was? Now, is this old Hokage apologizing to himself? Because of what happened to you? Naruto's eyes trembled. Chiba touched Naruto's head, interrupting his emotion. Road, you're right, I do owe him a lot. Correct. My brother should have left a lot of property, right? In the past, Naruto was too young to be in charge. Now, is it time to hand it over? Sarutobi sighed. Most of the things Minato left behind were destroyed during the Nine Tails Rebellion. The money and money were all distributed to the villagers whose family members died. This is what Minato meant. Snapped, snapped, snapped. Chiba couldn't help but applaud. As expected of a third generation Sama, he is dedicated to the village. Take my brother's property to help the villagers, but forget about his son. If he is still alive, I don't know how much I would like to thank you. Sarutobi picked up the pipe on the table again. Naruto's matter is not that simple. Although there are some negligence on my part, more importantly, I want to protect him. I understand. After all, my brother is a much greater threat than Nine Tails, even for future generations. Sarutobi was speechless for a moment. Chiba sneered. The son of the Yellow Flash is actually more threatening than the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. This is just a lie to a three-year-old child. Perhaps you're right. Sarutobi's face showed loneliness. I am indeed old, but, there is no one like Minato in the village now. Even though this burden is difficult, I still have to bear it. Chiba smiled. Can't help it. This is what it means. Although I am old, I still have the power in this village in my hands. Certainly. Even though he was the fourth Hokage when his brother was around, the third Hokage after his abdication still ran to the Hokage's office from time to time. Even. Advertisement. Most of the team under Hokage are from the third generation. The abdication of the third generation is just a facade. However, if my brother is in office long enough, he can naturally replace these batches and gradually replace them with his own people. Unfortunately, the time was too short. Chiba did not hide his sarcasm. I also lost interest in staying. It doesn't make much sense to say some hypocritical nonsense to such a hypocritical old man. He will not delegate authority or grant benefits. But at least Chiba's goal was achieved. Tell third generation he's back. From now on, no one will bully Naruto again? Chiba was about to leave, but Sarutobi suddenly raised his head. The place where Naruto originally lived shouldn't be able to accommodate you too, right? Chiba said without looking back. This is not something third generation has to worry about. I will take care of the place where I live. No big deal, the Sarutobi clan still has a lot of room. If we drive away a few people, I still have the strength. Correct. Remember to get a new door. Chiba left with Naruto. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a drag on his cigarette and exhaled thick smoke. Third generation Sama. Umbu came in, waiting for instructions. Spread the news that Nami Kaze Chiba is back. Yes. In addition, rebuild the place where Minato originally lived. After all, they are Minato's only remaining relatives, and Minato is the hero of Kanaha. Umbu leaves. Sarutobi Hiruzen stood up and looked through the window at the village. You're back, and you want to take away more than just your brother's property, right? It's really more than just property. After all, what was said before was all implicit. You are old and it is time to abdicate. Only, am I really old? But besides me, who can the village count on? Uncle, on the way. Naruto couldn't help but look at Chiba. Does Hokage Sama know my father too? Certainly. Are they on good terms? Not bad. Then, do I also have a strong background? Chiba suddenly laughed. So be it. Uncle brought me here today just to play a prank on Hokage Sama. Naruto asked curiously. Chiba's smile grew even brighter. What do you think? I don't think so. Naruto thought for a moment and replied. Smart kid. Chiba picked Naruto up. He threw it into the air, caught him just before landing, and then threw it up again. Naruto suddenly exclaimed. In fact, his purpose today is already very clear. Naruto, uncle, I want to be a Hokage. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Moving, Conversation with Hayashi. Advertisement. Where are we going? After tidying up the room and taking some things with him, Naruto looked at his uncle in confusion and asked doubtfully. Move place. Chiba was carrying Naruto's things. In fact, there is nothing to deal with. Naruto lived a very poor life and had no possessions at all, but he still needed a few changes of clothes. But where are we moving to? Move to, a better place. Chiba raised the corner of his mouth. Uncle, it's so big here. In front of Hayaga's house, Naruto looked at everything inside and made a sound of surprise. Are we going to live here in the future? But, it seems like someone is already living here. What's wrong with people living there? Chiba smiled and asked him. What, don't you like it here? I like it, but, it doesn't seem right to rob other people's houses, right? Ha 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 ha. Chiba laughed. Chiba's laughter alerted Hayaga's servants. The moment he saw Kinyi, he was stunned, and then subconsciously closed the door. But, but he was stopped directly by Chiba, who had quick hands and quick eyes. Snapped. He held the door that was about to close with one hand, narrowed his eyes and said, Tell Hayashi I'm coming. The servant ran away quickly. Not long after, a middle-aged man came out. Long black hair, white eyes. The visitor is naturally the head of the Hayaga family, Hayaga Hayashi. The moment he saw Chiba, Hayashi's eyes showed helplessness. Why did you come to my place? Kinyi said indifferently. If the house is gone, we have to find a place to live. The Hayaga family is powerful, so two more people don't matter. Hayaga Hayashi sighed. 
He didn't mean to refuse. Later, Chiba and Naruto entered Hayaga's home. When Naruto entered Hayaga's house, he looked left and right, like a curious baby. Everything he saw was new. Uncle, this place is really big. He couldn't help but exclaim. Kinyi touched his head and smiled. We will live here from now on, do you like it? Like. Naruto didn't hesitate. Aside, Hayaga Hayashi couldn't help pouting. I haven't agreed yet, okay, I am the head of the family, advertisement. All right. In fact, there is no point in refusing. After all, it took more than a day or two to get to know Nami Kaze Chiba. Even if he refuses, Nami Kaze Chiba will move in. Hayaga Hayashi suddenly had a headache. He couldn't help but said. The Uchiha family is very powerful, why don't you go there? Chiba looked at him doubtfully. Mikato is already married, why should I go? Hayaga Hayashi. For a moment, he couldn't find the words to refute. A long while, he looked at the servant aside and said. Go and clean the two rooms first. If they want to live there, they can live there. Chiba looked at Naruto with a smile. Naruto, you can go to the room with me and I will have a few words with this uncle. Good. Naruto obeyed and left. Later, Chiba and Hayaga Hayashi came to the reception room. The two of them sat on their knees and served two cups of hot tea. After picking up the hot tea and taking a sip, Chiba narrowed his eyes. Hayaga's tea is still delicious. Hayashi ignored this and said directly. Tell me, what are you going to do when you come back this time? He didn't believe that there was nothing wrong with Namikaze Chiba coming back. He is very shrewd. If he hadn't left suddenly later, it is estimated that fourth generation could have stabilized the village faster with the help of Namikaze Chiba. There will be no Nine Tails Rebellion. This is a very scary man. In the past, let alone Hayashi, even when he teamed up with Hisashi, and even Uchiha and the others, they never took advantage of Namikaze Chiba. Nowadays, all the people in high positions in Kanaha are defeated by this fourth generation brother. This person's methods are even more ruthless than those of the second generation. Now that he's here, it must be, nothing good. Chiba turned a blind eye to Hayaga Hayashi's vigilance, relaxed and said, Look at my nephew. I'm just a nephew. If I don't take care of him, how can I be worthy of my dead brother? Hayashi thought of Naruto and nodded. Naruto really needs care these past few years. Chiba said, Yes, I haven't been back for several years. My poor nephew is not living a human life at all. Sarutobi is a kind-hearted guy with a dark heart and is extremely cruel. When it came to third generation, Hayaga Hayashi didn't interrupt, and of course, he didn't refute. After all, he is the leader of a large clan. Hayashi also sees many things clearly. Of course, when he takes the position of clan leader, he will undoubtedly have to consider more and be restrained even more. Chiba continued. Now that I'm back, it's naturally impossible to continue. He suddenly remembered something. By the way, do you have a daughter as old as Naruto? Hayashi became more alert. What are you going to do? Hineda, she's only three years old. Chiba glanced at him with contempt. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking that since I'm the same age as Naruto, why don't I book a baby to marry? The son of the fourth generation, Nine Tails Jinchuriki, is also the nephew of my Namikaze Chiba. How can he be worthy of your daughter of the Hayaga family? Advertisement. Hayashi sneered. The first two are pretty good, but the last one is out of the question. Pedantic. Chiba said, isn't it just how many times I beat your brothers? Do you need to remember it for so long? If you feel uncomfortable, we can compete again, this time giving you one hand. Hayaga Hayashi, haha, sneer, but don't accept it. Chiba felt pity, I think it's pretty good. Your Hayaga girl is definitely good enough to be worthy of Naruto. Hayashi hummed, but he is nine tails Jinchuriki. If he cannot control nine tails, he is a time bomb. Chiba groped his chin, that's a question. How about I let it out? You dare. Immediately, Hayashi said angrily, do you know how much of a threat nine tails will be to the village after it comes out? Chiba shrugged indifferently, just destroy it again. No matter how prosperous the village is, it's just his village, Sarutobi's. Is it yours, Hayagas? That means you are cowardly enough to pose no threat to Sarutobi. Otherwise, do you think you can live a stable life today? Chiba said playfully, I remember that before I left, the location of the Uchiha clan was not that remote. This is the consequence of disobedience. No, he suddenly shook his head again. It's useless to be obedient. Sherinan is too strong. They won't be afraid of me, even if it's me. Hayaga Hayashi laughed angrily. Are you afraid of Sherinan? Chiba said, I only bullied Fugaku, and I never beat Uchiha Madara. Sherinan is still very strong. Hayaga Hayashi continued to sneer in return. But what Chiba said before was not just talk. Hayaga's current position is indeed due to Hayaga being obedient enough and not threatening. Hayaga is low-key enough and not as active as Uchiha. Therefore, it will not be targeted so badly. After the Nine Tails Rebellion, Danzo occupied the original residence of the Uchiha clan and drove them to a more remote place on the pretext of rebuilding the village. And this, the attitude of third generation is quite ambiguous. Now, Hayashi looked at Chiba and asked seriously, What exactly are your plans? Looking for a niece-in-law, your Hineda is really good. Get out. Hayashi said angrily, We'll wait until he can control Nine Tails. Um, Chiba was stunned for a moment, then slapped his thigh. Then it settled. Hayashi was stunned for a moment. He was just speaking of the difficult conditions out of anger. After all, it is almost impossible for Jinchuriki to control the tailed beasts. Advertisement. Unexpectedly, Namikaze Chiba actually agreed. Looking at him like this, is it really possible to do it? He suddenly showed suspicion. If that really happened, would Hineda really want to marry that guy? He thought of Namikaze Minato and Azumaki Kushina. It seems, it's not unacceptable. The premise is to really control Nine Tails. Otherwise, the rioting Nine Tails is undoubtedly a time bomb and too dangerous. At this time, I'm afraid Naruto and Hineda, no one can think of it. Two of them have been secretly sold by their elders. This stupid marriage was settled with a slap on the thigh by Kinyi. Hayashi didn't object too much, because, the village is in chaos. It's exactly what Chiba said. Today's Hayaga is so obedient, no threat to Kanaha, but even so, there are still constraints. What's more, even if Hayaga is obedient, with the Byakugan around, will Sarutobi really not be afraid of them? This is the fate of the Uchiha clan. Lips are dead and teeth are cold. Uchiha's current situation may be Hayaga's future. 
Hayashi wants to change. Now here in Chiba, maybe this is an opportunity. Certainly. It depends on the chips. The moment he came back from Chiba, Hayashi knew that Namikaze Chiba's purpose was not simple. When Namikaze Minato became the fourth generation, it was because his younger brother was too lazy to fight. And the position fell to his brother, which he was happy to see. And now, the third generation is back in power. As long as the fourth generation orphans are taken care of, that's all. Even if Namikaze Chiba doesn't like this third generation, she won't go too far. But the key is, didn't take good care of. Well, with Namikaze Chiba's temperament, she would never give up. He narrowed his eyes. The next village will not be peaceful anymore. Hayaga, maybe he needs to take sides. Chiba. Hayaga Hayashi looked at Namikaze Chiba and suddenly said, What would you do with Uchiha if you became the Hokage? Uchiha. Chiba laughed. You think I'm a loser like Sarutobi? Give them courage, will he Uchiha dare to oppose me? If Uchiha Madara came back from the dead, I would still give it a high rating, but the current Uchiha is not enough. Hayashi is awe-inspiring. Look at this arrogant and arrogant person in front of you. But he had to admit that what he said was true. Namikaze Chiba does have this strength. Advertisement. Chapter 5 Cloud Shinobi's Messenger Arrives. Advertisement. Sarutobi Hiruzen exhaled a puff of thick smoke. Looking at Umbu appearing in front of him, he thought for a moment and then said, Namikaze Chiba, took Naruto to Hayaga's house. Yes, Lord Third Generation, in the morning. Sarutobi Hiruzen took another puff of cigarette and said nothing, thinking about Namikaze Chiba's intentions again. Third Generation Sama, do you want me to keep an eye on them? Need not. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled. Chiba is Minato's younger brother, and I have watched him grow up. Hayaga is also a wealthy family member in the village and will not do anything extraordinary. Since Hayashi has chosen to accept him, let them go. Okay, no need to watch them anymore. Since Jinchuriki is in Hayaga, nothing will happen. Let's go down. Yes. After Umbu leaves, Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes suddenly changed. The pipe in his hand hit the table, making a rhythmic sound. At the same time, he was also murmuring. Went to Hayaga's house, Namikaze Chiba, do you want to get Hayaga's support? Namikaze Chiba came here before, and the purpose was obvious. Declare war? He took a fancy to the Hokage's position and wanted him to move Sarutobi Hiruzen. Naturally, he would not agree to this. Forget about him Namikaze Chiba, even if Minato is reborn, the position of Hokage will still be his. After a while, Sarutobi Hiruzen picked up a document on the table. This was submitted by Umbu today. Cloud Shinobi Village is willing to form an alliance with Konoha and ease their relationship. Tomorrow, the messenger will arrive. After seeing the news, Sarutobi Hiruzen couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. After all, after three battles, Konoha's current strength is too weak. Konoha needs time too much. After all, in the previous wars, Konoha's remaining combat power was greatly weakened. Some of the more famous ones, whether it is the famous White Fang Hei Take Sakumo, might die, or even the Sunin behind, the Yellow Flash, all have different problems. White Fang committed suicide and might die died in battle. Sunin. Orikimura defected, Tsunade left the village, Jiraiya. I don't know where to go. Yellow Flash died on the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion. Actually, if we include several major families, Kanaha's remaining combat power is still sufficient. Just, that doesn't include Uchiha. Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. In fact, until this time, he still hesitated about the survival of the Uchiha clan. Kanaha needs to set aside a considerable portion of its combat power to prevent Uchiha. In this case, it would be much weaker. Kanaha and Cloud Shinobi have just ceased fighting. It would be great if they could form an alliance and ease their relationship. Later, after reading the news, he smiled and ordered. Tomorrow, a celebration will be held to welcome messenger Cloud Shinobi. The door to Hokage's office has been replaced. But it's not a new door, it's still an old door, but much thicker. Advertisement. Hayaga family. Hayashi and Chiba ended their conversation. The two of them tacitly agreed on many things, but they were both satisfied. However, Hayashi didn't take the subsequent engagement too seriously. After all, it is too difficult to truly control Nine Tails. But having Sherinan can perfectly solve this problem. But that's at least the thing about having Mangekyo Sherinan. Naruto couldn't have Mangekyo, he wasn't Uchiha. This means that this matter is difficult. Although he has repeatedly believed in Namikaze Chiba's ability, it is obviously not easy. And this is for Chiba. It was also a spur of the moment thing. He had never even seen Hineda, but he vaguely remembered that the Hayaga family had a daughter who was about the same age as Naruto, so he casually settled on it. As for what happens in the end, it depends on whether his nephew likes it or not. If you really like it, nothing will happen. After all, the daughter of the Hayaga family is not bad at all. Just a little. After marriage, I'm afraid I will be looked down upon every day. However, it is also very interesting to think about. The two came out of the reception room and chatted while walking. After a while, they suddenly saw two figures in the courtyard. They seemed to be a man and a woman, with petite figures. Suddenly, the two of them were stunned. Immediately they all looked at each other. These two figures are none other than others. They are the two protagonists in the engagement just now. Naruto, Hineda. The two of them knew each other somehow, and they were having a lot of fun at this time. Naruto ran ahead and looked back with a smile. Hineda, come on. Behind, the petite and cute Hineda moved her legs, her face was red as if she was running too fast. Wait, wait for me. Seeing this scene, Chiba suddenly laughed. It seems that they get along well. Hayaga Hayashi's face suddenly darkened. I always feel like my cabbage has been eaten by pigs. Hineda. He shouted immediately. Immediately, Hineda heard the sound and paused, then turned her head to look, her little eyes full of doubts. Father, what's wrong? She came over anyway. Naruto heard it and followed him. Uncle. Chiba smiled at Naruto, but her eyes fell more on Hineda. The characteristics of the Byakugan are very obvious, and she is worthy of being Hayashi's daughter. Very cute, but when she noticed Chiba's eyes, she was very shy. He couldn't help but hide behind Hayashi and looked at Chiba curiously. The three-year-old child's cute and innocent appearance couldn't help but make Kinyi smile. Not bad. Chiba nodded with satisfaction. Then he looked at Hayaga Hayashi and said, I'm very satisfied with this niece-in-law. Hayashi, don't go back on your word. Hayaga Hayashi snorted angrily. Advertisement. The child is so young, how could he book it so early? Chiba smiled and said, You have already promised me, but I don't recognize you going back on your promise. Naruto was a little curious at this point. Uncle, what else do you say? Chiba touched Naruto's head. 
Let's find you a wife. Ah, children in Kanaha mature earlier. Naruto knew what that meant. Me. He suddenly stuttered. He looked at Kinyi a little uneasily. Chiba smiled even more happily. You have to treat Hineda well and don't let others bully her. Naruto immediately blushed. But he still nodded and said. I will definitely protect Hineda. Hayashi's face turned darker. As a father, I don't even agree. What are you uncle and nephew doing? But remembering what he said before, he snorted coldly. Wait until you do what you promised. Hineda, let's go. He left with Hineda. It's getting late now and it's time to go to bed. Naruto waved at Hineda. Hineda, who was behind Hayashi, turned around and waved quietly. But he quickly retracted it. Her face was red and she was extremely shy. Chiba couldn't help laughing. After returning to the room, seeing his nephew who was gradually becoming different, Chiba was in a pretty good mood. After all, his temperament has changed and he is no longer what he used to be. Naruto slept much more peacefully this time. Perhaps it was because he had found a wife that Kakuza's mouth was raised even when he was sleeping. The second day, Kanaha is very lively. The arrival of Cloud Shinobi's messenger plunged Kanaha into a different kind of celebration. There was a smile on everyone's face. Enjoying a brief moment of peace. Even the ninjas in the village work a lot harder. The celebration has been prepared. All we have to do is wait for the Cloud Shinobi messenger to arrive. Chiba is having tea with Hayashi. At the same time, I lamented that the three meals a day for a big family are indeed different. What do you think of this Cloud Shinobi village alliance? Hayashi looked at Chiba and couldn't help but ask. Chiba shrugged. What else can I do? It's just a long-term fight with no results, so as not to let others take advantage of it. Besides, Chiba showed a playful smile. If we really form an alliance, Cloud Shinobi will be better able to control Sarutobi Hiruzen. Hayashi glanced at him, but had to admit it. Indeed. Advertisement. With the third generation's temperament, since the alliance has brought about a short-term peace, today, he does not have all the power in the village in his hands. After the death of the fourth generation, Cloud Shinobi started a battle. Even though the third generation was in the ascendant, its position was not very stable. But if the war ends and he is given time, maybe it will happen. Chiba said, how many of the security forces my brother left behind are left? Hayashi looked at him in surprise and then thought about it. They should all be on the front line. As for how many people are still alive, I don't know. Chiba sneered. Is it the same ending as Senjo? That's right. Sarutobi Hiruzen's courage is indeed unbearable. Look at the ridicule in Kinyi's eyes. Hayashi said nothing. The same thing can be said about Namikaze Chiba, but not Hayaga Hayashi. Are you going to see the celebration? Go. Why not go? Chiba laughed. Look at what this number one ninja village looks like now. Kinyi drank all the tea in the cup and stood up immediately. If you drink too much tea, it's easy to forget the spiciness of wine. Hayaga can be regarded as a sheep by others, but if he regards himself as a sheep, something will happen. Being too docile is always bad. Looking at Chiba's back, Hayaga Hayashi gradually fell into deep thought, thinking about his words. However, he obviously didn't think about this for too long, because the next moment, he heard Kinyi's voice. Hineda, let's go, uncle will take you out to play. And Naruto's voice. Hineda, let's go out and play. Suddenly, Hayashi's face darkened. You two, uncle and nephew, just miss Laozi's daughter, right? Chiba set off with the two little ones. The location of the celebration is actually not far away. Many people, nearly most of the ninjas arrived, waiting for Cloud Shinobi's messenger. But judging from their appearance, they must have been waiting for a long time. But there was still no one. Obviously, they did it on purpose. In a very noticeable place, Sarutobi Hiruzen is looking forward to it. The old third Hokage is looking into the distance with a smile. This scene, it fell into the eyes of the three people in Chiba. Naruto couldn't help but said, Uncle, what are we waiting for? Chiba said, waiting for people from other villages. Is it the Hokage from another village? No. Then why do we have to do it so early and, with so many people? Chiba smiled. For this, we have to ask our wise and mighty third generation. Advertisement. Chapter 6, The King of Flat Cuts. Advertisement. The one who comes to Cloud Shinobi Village is naturally not Rakage. But since he can come, there is no doubt that he will be a high-level person in the village. However, as the number one ninja village on the surface and a high-ranking member of Cloud Shinobi, he must be so solemn. I have to say, Kanaha is really in trouble. In other words, it's not that Kanaha is failing. But Sarutobi Hiruzen, an old ape, has lost his teeth. If it were Sarutobi Hiruzen in his prime, he would be quite remarkable and have some redeeming qualities. However, as I grow older, I don't have much of my previous ambition left. What's left is just greed for power. That's all. Glancing at Sarutobi Hiruzen in the crowd, Chiba's eyes were filled with disdain. This third Hokage, dressed up and ready to go, came out in person, waiting for the messenger from Cloud Shinobi Village. The messenger from Cloud Shinobi Village has not yet appeared. Hehe. <laughs> it's interesting. I don't know how much time has passed, but it must have been a long time. The messenger from Cloud Shinobi Village finally appeared. Not many, just three people. Sarutobi Hiruzen quickly greeted him. Lord Hokage. The middle one among the three smiled and said at the same time. Something happened on the way and I was accidentally delayed. Master Hokage shouldn't blame me, right? Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled. Of course not. What the messenger brings is peace between the two villages. It's a very important thing. Even though it's late, it's arrived. The messenger also laughed. You should have seen the specific details, but as for the actual conclusion of the alliance, we still need to discuss it some more. Mr. Hokage, you should have time, right? Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes flashed with joy and he said, Of course there is. Please. Good. Next. Kanaha welcomed the three Cloud Shinobi messengers. Although the three of them were not very respectful when facing Sarutobi Hiruzen, they were at least normal. But when he looked at the other Kanaha Shinobi, his eyes could not conceal his contempt. That look was so high and mighty. It's like coming to accept Kanaha's worship. This made many ninjas extremely angry. However, with the third generation around, they couldn't vent their anger, so they had to suppress their anger. Uncle, he is so arrogant. Naruto was also watching, and at this time, he quietly said to Chiba. Kinyi touched his golden hair. It's quite arrogant, but this is our Hokage-sama's business, let him handle it by himself. Naruto, Hineda, we should go back. Good. Hineda nodded obediently. Next, he went back with Chiba and Naruto. But, when they left, the envoy of Cloud Shinobi suddenly glanced at this, smiling and looking at Sarutobi. Master Hokage, that, is a member of the Hayaga family, right? Advertisement. 
Sarutobi Hiruzen glanced at it, his eyes flashed, and said, The eldest lady of the Hayaga family, Hayashi's daughter, Suga. The messenger smiled and said, As expected, he has a tiger father and a dog daughter. At a young age, he has already shown his extraordinary abilities. This is naturally nonsense. Hayagadas have quite a reputation on the battlefield. But after just one glance, he said this about Hineda, so naturally he said it casually. But, regarding the questions asked by Cloud Shinobi's messenger, Sarutobi Hiruzen's words are quite interesting. Because, he doesn't need to say so much, so detailed. Why don't you come to my office to discuss the specific terms of alliance? Sarutobi Hiruzen suggested. Good. The messenger naturally agreed. They came here this time to conclude a covenant. Certainly. It's not just that, either. Chiba went back with her two children. How's it going? What's the gain? Hayashi asked after returning. Chiba shrugged. Three Jonin, the leader is pretty strong and should have something to hide. Hayashi nodded. Then it seems that this alliance should be true. Chiba smiled disdainfully. It's just ambition. After the first generation died, it's not like Cloud Shinobi didn't fight, but that's all the work of the second generation. As for our third generation adults, we don't have the courage yet. Hayashi looked at Chiba with some confusion. Are you not optimistic about this alliance? Kinyi said indifferently. It's just a matter of suspending the relationship. This time Cloud Shinobi formed an alliance. Either they suffered a lot of casualties and even reached the point of breaking out, or, they have other plans. Hayashi said with some disbelief. At a time when two villages are forming an alliance, how dare they do anything else? Chiba sneered. This is the time to do it. Otherwise, how can we, the third generation adults, find reasons to convince ourselves and others? His eyes were full of disdain. Hayashi fell silent. At this time, Chiba suddenly turned his head and looked at another location. There, he felt an unusual aura. Suddenly he was a little curious and said, Caged bird. Hayashi also glanced at it. Well, Hisashi's son Niji. Chiba said oh, it turns out he's Naruto's uncle. Hayaga Hayashi. Can you talk properly? Ha ha ha. Chiba laughed. Advertisement. But Hayashi, to be honest, although I don't want to interfere with your Hayaga family's rules, the restrictions of Caged Bird will sooner or later lead to conflicts between the clan family and the branch house. For a while, Chiba looked at the direction where Niji had been carved into the Caged Bird, and then said to Hayashi, I know. Hayashi lowered his head. This is not fair to the branch house, but this is the best way to protect Byakugan. Kinyi was speechless. Because what Hayashi said is true. If it were Kanaha in the past, there would be other ways, because Kanaha itself was powerful enough. But now, the village is unreliable, and Bian is too easy to be coveted. Hayashi sighed. I hope this alliance will go smoothly. Now, in the Hokage's office, Sarutobi Hiruzen sat in his seat, picked up the pipe skillfully, and looked at the Cloud Shinobi messenger in front of him. The specific conditions are roughly like this. What do you think, Master Hokage? The Cloud Shinobi messenger smiled. Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. Cloud Shinobi's terms were clearly something he was unwilling to accept. Too harsh. Seeing Sarutobi's expression, the Cloud Shinobi messenger understood what he meant and said with a smile. We are here to form an alliance with Kanaha this time. As for the conditions, we can slowly negotiate and there will always be a satisfactory answer. Mr. Hokage, don't be impatient. If you are not satisfied with anything, you can raise it and we will discuss it. After hearing this, Sarutobi couldn't help but secretly breathe a sigh of relief. If this is the case, it proves the sincerity of Cloud Shinobi village. He smiled. So best. Cloud Shinobi messenger said. But it's getting late now, so we might as well talk about it tomorrow. Sarutobi nodded. That's fine, let the envoy go and rest first. When the messenger from Cloud Shinobi village comes, a resting place is naturally prepared. The Cloud Shinobi messenger left. Sarutobi looked at their leaving figures and couldn't help but think deeply. Obviously, the conditions offered by Cloud Shinobi village were extremely harsh, and it was impossible for him to agree to them. But what they said later was that they clearly wanted to form an alliance. Very sincere. But if you are so sincere, you will never offer such harsh conditions. Even if the two forces want to pull each other, this should be within a certain range. Sarutobi glanced at the sky, which was not too late now, and couldn't help but squint his eyes. What do they want to do? And today, Namikaze Chiba was obviously there, as was Nine Tails Jinchuriki, but this messenger from Cloud Shinobi Village only noticed Taiga. Although Namikaze Chiba's reputation is not as good as that of his brother, Minato's younger brother is still enough to attract attention. Could it be that he has some plot against Taiga? Roll your eyes. Sarutobi Hiruzen felt that he had roughly guessed the truth. During this period, after contacting Namikaze Chiba, Haiga was as quiet as ever. But the powerful family with Byakugan, who knows what they are thinking. Sarutobi didn't dare to gamble on Haiga Hayashi's loyalty. So, it would be better to let Cloud Shinobi Village give it a try. Think of this. Advertisement. He calls Umbu. Third generation Sama. Umbu lowered his head and spoke. Sarutobi Hiruzen said. Don't pay too much attention to the envoys of Cloud Shinobi Village. In addition, withdraw all the people near Haiga's house. Don't pay too much attention to them. Besides, with Chiba here, there won't be any problems. Yes. What's going on with Caged Bird? It's completed. The person who is engraved with Caged Bird on the branch house this time is Hayaga Hisashi's son, Hayaga Niji. Hayaga Niji. Sarutobi gradually gained some impression. He must have entered school last year, right? Yes. It's time to enroll this year too. He began to think deeply. Think about which children from each family are suitable for school. Any reaction there Danzo? No, Danzo-sama has been very stable these days, but he pays more attention to Uchiha. Sarutobi snorted. Let him go, I just hope that at this critical moment, he'd better not cause trouble. Get down. Yes, Umbu leaves. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked out the window, where Hayaga was, whispering. Does Cloud Shinobi really want to attack Hayaga when he comes here? If that was the case, as a Hokage, he would still have to take action. But, can't take action, because an alliance is imminent. Kanaha can no longer start another war. At the same time, he hopes that Cloud Shinobi can take action to test the current Namikaze Chiba end. Is the Hayaga family safe? The night is getting darker. Soon it was night. Hayaga family. Uncle, is swordsmanship what you are best at? Naruto asked curiously. Yes. Is swordsmanship better than ninjutsu? Naruto was puzzled. Chiba smiled and explained. You can't say that, but there are not many people who can compare with me nowadays. Wow, uncle is so awesome. Chiba smiled and did not continue. It is worth mentioning that. 
He has his own cheat. After all, he went out for several years just to unlock this. After unlocking it, he gained a unique ability. A template from the King of Swordsmen in the Shinigami world. Zaraki Kenpeki, this crazy and scary man, inherited the flat cutting characteristics from him. This makes every sword of Kinyi powerful. Advertisement. Chapter 7 Killing Cloud Shinobi Jonin. Advertisement. After activating the ability, Chiba's strength was improved again. And it improved quickly. However, he hasn't made a move for a long time, so he doesn't know how strong his strength is. But there is one thing, better than Sarutobi Hiruzen. However, if you want to drive Sarutobi Hiruzen out of office, simply relying on force is not enough. This is not his world alone. Even though he was stronger than Kagaya in the end, he was sealed differently. Manpower is sometimes scarce. No matter how strong Nami Kaze Chiba is, he can't kill everyone in Konoha. Besides, even if it reaches that level, it's meaningless. Chiba looked up at the sky tonight. No moon. Tonight was destined to be anything but peaceful. After Naruto fell asleep, Chiba walked out of the room, standing quietly in the courtyard. He seemed to be integrated into the night, without showing any breath. Suddenly, whoosh, a wave of breath appeared. Soon, in the night, a white shadow soon jumped into Hayaga's house, and, headed directly towards Hineda's room. Kinyi narrowed his eyes and followed calmly. Judging from the aura and skill, the opponent is not weak and should be at the jonin level. And, not like Kanaha's jonin, it should be foreign. However, if they are outside ninjas, they will never enter Kanaha so easily. After all, Kanaha has its own warning force, and the foreign ninjas who can easily enter and invade here. Cloud Shinobi? They want Hayaga's eye roll? Really? In the Hayaga family, the two brothers with the purest blood are Hayaga Hayashi and Hayaga Hizashi. But these two brothers are not weak, so it is difficult to capture them immediately. It has been delayed for a long time and there have been too many changes. The second choice can also be said to be the best choice. None other than the princess of the Hayaga family. Hineda? Chiba's eyes turned cold. How brave you are to attack my niece-in-law. Before he could take action, the second breath had already appeared. Hayaga Hayashi. He discovered it too. Hayashi's figure suddenly appeared and stood in front of the white shadow. The white shadow was wearing a mask and his appearance could not be seen clearly. But Hayashi said coldly. Trespassing Hayaga, who are you? Seeing that Baiying had been discovered, he didn't panic. As expected of Byakugan, he was able to detect my traces so easily. The voice was hoarse and the pitch was deliberately lowered. Obviously, the visitor doesn't want to reveal his identity. Hayashi's eyes suddenly turned cold. He no longer hesitated. He moved directly, stepped forward, and slapped him. Now, the blood vessels on the sides of his eyes are clear, and his white eyes have been used. The intruder stepped back, pointed his toes, and left without fighting. Hayashi hesitated for a moment and immediately chased after him. The two soon left Hayaga. Chiba didn't move and waited quietly. After a while, the second white shadow appeared. Advertisement. Kinyi raised the corners of his mouth and followed. But the breath was not leaked. No one noticed. Squeak. He gently pushed open Hineda's door and quickly glanced around, but was shocked to find that there was no one in the room. Suddenly, he immediately turned around and saw Chiba standing quietly under the night. Without hesitation, he ran away. Buzz, Chiba drew his sword. With a tap of his toes, the sword light streaked across the sky and cut through the night. If this sword hits, Bai Ying will die. However, at the moment when the attack was about to hit, Bai Ying suddenly spurted out a mouthful of blood, as if some secret technique had been used, and his speed instantly increased a lot. This made Kinyi's sword only cut off one of his arms. Interesting. He smiled and chased after her. Now, inside Naruto's room, the two little ones looked outside curiously through the window. After Kinyi took action, they both showed shocked expressions. Hineda's eyes widened and she mumbled softly. So, so awesome. Naruto nodded aside. I will be as powerful as uncle in the future. After saying that, he smiled at Hineda next to him. This way, I can protect you. Hineda blushed brightly and couldn't help but lower her head. However, right now, a third white shadow appeared in the courtyard. Patrol around. The expressions of the two little ones changed instantly. And, it didn't take long for me to realize something was wrong here. Hineda covered her mouth in fear. Bang, the door is opened. The dark clouds drifted away and the moonlight shone down. Under the clear moonlight, the two little trembling figures were particularly clear. Bai Ying trembled slightly and stepped forward. Naruto stepped forward and stood in front of Hineda. There is a different kind of perseverance on the childish face. You are not allowed to bully Hineda. The crisp sound echoed through the dark night. Bai Ying ignored them and stretched out his hand to grab the two of them together. However, the moment my hand touches it, the sword light flashed again. Under the moonlight, the sword reflected light and fell like snowflakes. Laugh, but cut into the ground. Another figure appeared in front of Naruto. Chiba said with a smile. Well done Naruto, uncle. Naruto suddenly became excited. Then he pointed in front of him and said, he wants to bully Hineda. Just leave it to me. After saying that, he thrust the sword and forced the person out. Take care of her. Chiba also followed out. With a bang, the door was closed. Advertisement. Outside, the face under Bai Ying's mask was extremely gloomy. Just when he was about to succeed, he was stopped. Seeing Kinyi's long golden hair, she couldn't help but say, yellow flash. It seems that my dead brother's name is really quite loud. Chiba smiled and spoke. The sword in his hand was horrifyingly bright. My name is Namikaze Chiba, remember it. With a sword slashed out, the sky filled with silver moon. A dagger appeared in Bai Ying's hand, but it broke immediately upon contact. Even the dagger took the man and cut him in two. Chiba took the body away and placed it with the previous one, whispering, at least I have company when I go down. Hayashi returned empty-handed. There was anger on his face. Let him run away. Chiba Nizui. Well, there are two more here. Hayashi stepped forward and pulled away his mask, revealing two frightened faces. He frowned. I can't tell which force it belongs to. Chiba shrugged and said, you still need to look at it, it's Cloud Shinobi's. Hayaga Hayashi frowned deeper. How are you sure? Chiba glanced at him with disdain. Except for Cloud Shinobi, how can it be so easy for outside ninjas to enter Hayaga? Besides, there is no news at the border. Three Jonin came in so easily. Kanaha is not so weak, right? Hayashi said nothing, obviously acquiescing. Aren't Cloud Shinobi afraid of breaking up the alliance with Kanaha by taking action like this? Hehe. He. Chiba chuckled. Did not continue to explain. But Hayashi already understood what Chiba meant. If you were afraid, how could it be like this? After all, 
Cloud Shinobi has never been peaceful since the establishment of the village. Except when first Hokage was in office, everything was peaceful for a while. After the second Hokage came to power, he started a war. It's a pity that he was beaten violently by second generation and calmed down for a while. Then, I met third generation. It was also this time that they brought their original arrogance and arrogance to the maximum. Send troops at every turn. He even dared to attack the princess of the Hayaga family on the night of the alliance. This courage is no longer ordinary. This does not put Kanaha in his eyes at all, no, he does not put Sarutobi Hiruzen in his eyes. Already determined, Sarutobi Hiruzen did not dare to take action. But, Hayashi obviously still has hope, he said angrily. I'll tell Mr. Third Generation. After saying that, he left angrily. Chiba did not stop, because he knew it was useless. The body was collected by Hayaga's people. Naruto and Hineda didn't dare to come out until it was completely safe. Uncle, Naruto took Hineda's hand and looked at Chiba curiously. Have all the bad guys been beaten away? Advertisement. The relationship between the two little ones heated up quite quickly. Kinyi raised his head and glanced at the moonlight that appeared, and couldn't help but think of his brother that night. Good guy. Flirting with girls under the moon is a true story, right? As expected of his brother. He ran away. It's fine now. Chiba rubbed Naruto's head and smiled at Hineda. It's okay, don't worry. Aha. Uh -huh. Hineda is as good as ever. Next, Chiba comforted the two little ones and waited for Hayashi's return. And at this moment, inside the Hokage office, Sarutobi got the news about Hayashi and came from home. After listening to Hayashi's story, his expression suddenly changed. You're saying that Jonin from Cloud Shinobi Village sneaked into Hayaga's house and wanted to kidnap Hineda. Yes. Hayashi nodded. But fortunately it was discovered in time and it was not successful. Third generation Sama, Cloud Shinobi's alliance this time is probably because of Byakugan. Hayashi said cautiously. Sarutobi nodded. Then he asked. You drove that Jonin away. Hayaga Hayashi shook his head. The situation is too critical. One of them escaped and the other two have been killed. At this moment, Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. He looked at Hayaga Hayashi cautiously. Hayashi, I'm afraid something is going wrong. He sighed. Cloud Shinobi has lost two Jonin. I'm afraid he won't let it go. Now the village is weak and can no longer withstand a second war. But don't worry, I will do my best to protect Hayaga. This is not your fault. The people in Cloud Shinobi Village are too greedy. I won't let anything happen to you. He looked into the distance, took a deep breath and said, Even if I take action myself, I will never let them hurt Hayaga. After hearing this, Hayaga Hayashi was lost in thought. Obviously, he has completely calmed down, and began to think about the next situation in Kanaha. The village really cannot afford a second war, and the third generation's intervention is probably useless. Unless, Hayaga sacrifices? Seeing Hayaga Hayashi's confusion, Sarutobi patted his shoulder and said with a smile, Hayashi, I will do my best to protect Hayaga. You are also a member of the village. Hayaga Hayashi left with a heavy heart. Looking at Hayaga Hayashi's leaving back, Sarutobi's eyes were indifferent. The previous kindness and guilt are long gone. After a while, an umbu appeared and said respectfully, Third generation Sama, people from Cloud Shinobi Village sneaked into Hayaga again and took away the two corpses. I see. Umbu leaves. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. It seems that Cloud Shinobi Village is going to be in trouble the next day. What he told Hayaga Hayashi before was certainly intentional. Hayashi has a much more tolerant personality. He makes his interests clear to him and expresses his respect for Hayaga. He will make the right choice. He blew out a puff of smoke. Today's Kanaha is indeed no longer able to withstand war. Only Hayaga made the sacrifice. Hayashi, I hope you understand what I mean. Advertisement. Chapter 8 Sarutobi's Thoughts. Advertisement. Hayashi is back. The two little ones couldn't bear it any longer and had already fallen asleep. Kinyi was not far away, watching over them. Tread, tread. The sound of footsteps came, and Hayaga Hayashi walked into the door. But his face was solemn. Chiba knew the result at a glance. Sit. He pointed in front of him. Hayashi sat down, but his expression was still ugly. After a long while, he said. Cloud Shinobi, come with bad intentions. Chiba laughed out loud. Isn't this a sure thing? What did Sarutobi Hiruzen say? Hayashi said truthfully. Third generation Sama said that he will do his best to protect Hayaga and will never let us be harmed. Kinyi looked at it with a half smile. Do you think third generation wouldn't know if there was something going on in Cloud Shinobi? If that's the case, I can only say that Umbu, the Hokage subordinate, is a waste. Hayashi raised his eyes but did not answer. Chiba suddenly lost interest. Sarutobi is waiting for you to make a decision, whether to sacrifice Hayaga to appease Cloud Shinobi's anger, or, he starts a war with Cloud Shinobi for your sake. Sarutobi will definitely emphasize that the village cannot withstand a second war, but he will also make it clear, don't be afraid, I will protect you. Of course, this can only be said to Hayaga, useless against Uchiha, Fugaku is obviously not that generous. Chiba stood up and left. Hayashi was lost in thought. This night is destined to be uneventful. Chiba can roughly guess Hayaga Hayashi's decision. Elder Kanaha needs to be tough, or, it can only sacrifice one person, and now it seems that the best one to sacrifice is Hayaga Hisishi. The Zone family can control the branch house, which means that the Byakugan will not leak out, but it can calm the anger. Thinking of the child who was engraved with the mark of caged bird back then, well, it seemed to be named Hayaga Niji. It's also quite pitiful. When Chiba was in the courtyard, he met this little guy. White clothes, brown hair, tied into small bundles at the end. What a cute little boy. But I still don't know what I will face next. There was no sympathy in Kinyi's eyes, she just looked at the child. Niji looked at him. After a while, he suddenly clenched his fists. You are very powerful, but I will definitely surpass you. I want to protect Hayaga and Hineda. Children are very simple and their words are sincere, but the world is more cruel. Niji leaves. Chiba stayed for a moment and suddenly changed his mind. He thinks this kid is interesting. Then he turned around and went to Hayaga Hisishi's room. After entering the room, facing Hisishi's puzzled expression, Chiba was too lazy to talk nonsense and said straight to the point. Want to die? Hisishi's face suddenly darkened. Advertisement. Namikaze Chiba, although I can't beat you, you can't humiliate me like this. Chiba doesn't care. You should know that there are outside ninjas who want to kidnap Hineda tonight. Hisishi nodded. I showed up late, but the strength of those three people is indeed very strong. They are from Cloud Shinobi Village. Kinyi didn't hide anything and said directly. Hisishi was stunned. Somewhat puzzled. Aren't they afraid that the alliance with Kanaha will break? 
Chiba smiled again and couldn't help it. If others are afraid, what will they do? I have to say that both Hayashi and Hisashi always have some naive ideas. A long while, Hisashi reacted, does third generation Sama know about this? No, Hayashi has already approached him. He said he would protect Hayaga, even at the risk of starting a war. Hisashi looked solemn, but the village cannot withstand the next war at all, and there must be no more wars. Chiba suddenly admired Sarutobi. At least, he is quite capable of understanding people's hearts and controlling them. But yes, if there is no means, how to secure the position of Hokage, neither Uchiha nor Danzo is safe. He has the means, he is just cowardly. Hisashi fell silent at this point. After a while, he suddenly stood up and seemed to have an idea. Kinyi looked at him with a smile and said lightly, After you die, will I take care of your wife and children? Hisashi's face suddenly darkened. Chiba still said, Leave more inheritance so that when I beat your son in the future, I can work harder. He looked at Chiba angrily. If I don't make a decision, then Hayaga and Kanaha will be involved in the war again. This is the only way I can do it. He wanted to die to appease Cloud Shinobi's anger. Then, he handed his body to Cloud Shinobi village, which not only calmed his anger, but also ensured that the Byakugan would not be stolen. Quite a generous decision. It just hurts other people, especially close relatives. Kinyi looked at him, still very calm. He recognized Hisashi's decision very much, and finally expressed his praise, saying straightforwardly, Stupid guy. Ignoring Hisashi's angry look, Chiba said, Do you think you are noble? Are you willing to sacrifice for Hayaga, for the village, in exchange for peace, so that future generations can grow up safely? Chiba's eyes had turned cold at this moment, and she looked at Hayaga Hisashi indifferently. You think this is good? He suddenly sneered. The last one to die was named Namikaze Minato. He entrusted his son to the third Hokage, whom he trusted. Do you think his son will live well afterward? Kinyi was smiling, but the smile was extremely cold. Hisashi immediately calmed down, silent for a long while. Advertisement. Namikaze Minato's son, needless to say, Uzumaki Naruto. The days after him. All major families know that it is bitter, very bitter, but it is a fact that the fourth generation sacrificed for the village. This is the result. Hisashi hesitated. So, if you want to die, you might as well be heroic. In this way, you crash and die in front of Sarutobi Hiruzen's door, so that he won't treat Niji badly. Hisashi's face darkened, but his previous decision had been shaken. Finally, he sighed. Then what should we do? Kinyi said indifferently. Isn't that something Hokage should consider? Sarutobi Hiruzen has promised to protect you, so let him do it. I actually want to see if this third generation master has any intention of taking action. Wouldn't it just be a talk? Hisashi was silent. But Chiba was too lazy to say any more. Get up and leave. Before leaving, he added. If you still want to die, remember to marry more beautiful women, so that I can take care of you later and have motivation. Chiba is gone. Hisashi was left silent. After an unknown amount of time, Hisashi made a decision and finally walked into Hayashi's room. Then when Hayashi looked confused, Hisashi said in an extremely serious tone, Brother, I don't want to die. Hayashi was even more confused. Did you get caught spying on people taking a shower? Cloud Shinobi resting place. The messenger looked at the two corpses in front of him with an extremely ugly expression. This time Cloud Shinobi came, naturally not just the three of them, but also secretly. But now, all the secret forces have been lost in the Hayaga family. And, the goal has not been achieved yet. Roll your eyes, sir, what should we do? The other two looked at him. He was silent for a moment, go to Sarutobi Hiruzen tomorrow. If one of my Cloud Shinobi dies, he must pay the price. Early the next day, Cloud Shinobi and the other three came to Hokage's office angrily, with two bodies. Bang, the door was knocked open. Hokage-sama, this is the way of hospitality in Konoha. We in Cloud Shinobi Village came here specifically to form an alliance with Konoha, but we were killed by people from Konoha. This must give us justice, the messenger said angrily. Sarutobi looked shocked. What? Someone from Cloud Shinobi is dead. He seemed to have just found out about this, and his face was full of disbelief. Okay, I'm an old actor. Don't worry, messenger, Konoha will definitely investigate this matter and give Cloud Shinobi an explanation. Sarutobi Hiruzen calmed down the Cloud Shinobi messenger. Advertisement. Not long after, Hayaga Hayashi was summoned again. Sighed. I have already explained it before, but Cloud Shinobi's people are too tough. They must have a result, and they want a corpse from the Hayaga family to calm their anger. I refused. Hayaga is a member of the village and things like this will never happen. He repeated again. As long as I'm here, nothing will happen to Hayaga. Hayashi was unexpectedly calm and just nodded. Thank you, Mr. Third Generation. Gone. Sarutobi looked at him, waiting for his next words. But, there was no movement. After a while, Hayaga Hayashi asked. Sir Third Generation, do you have any other explanations? Sarutobi glanced at him. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Mr. Third Generation. Still the same thing. Sarutobi immediately lost interest. After Hayashi left, his expression suddenly darkened. Because obviously, Hayashi's reaction was beyond his expectation. This doesn't fit his character. Unless, someone dissuaded me. And those who can do this. Namikaze Chiba. Apart from him, no one should be like this. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. Soon after, the Cloud Shinobi messenger came again. Sarutobi changed tactics. We are still investigating. Can we take a look at the dead messenger's body? The messenger brought the two corpses over. Sarutobi waved and a medical ninja went to check. The medical ninja examined it carefully. After a moment, he suddenly frowned and said, Are they all sword wounds? But apart from Senior White Fang, there is only Namikaze in the village. Lotus Leaf. Sarutobi drank the medical ninja Lotus Leaf and didn't let him say the next words. Sarutobi said, I'll send someone to check again. The envoy will wait patiently for a while. The messengers left. However, before they left, Sarutobi showed a solemn expression. It was obvious that he wanted to hide the matter. Cloud Shinobi and the others naturally saw it. On the road, they discussed. I'm afraid Sarutobi won't give out the results. He obviously knows the murderer. Namikaze, could he be Yellow Flash's relative? If so, Sarutobi Hiruzen would definitely not hand it over. This person must be at Hayaga's house, then, it seems we need to go take a look. The three of them discussed it. The leading messenger made up his mind and headed for Hayaga. Since third generation refuses to expose that person, as long as they find it themselves and put the facts before them, how can third generation not deal with it? Advertisement. Chapter 9 Chiba's Strength. 
Advertisement. Third generation Sama, do you still want to continue investigating? Sarutobi shook his head. No need, you all go down. Don't tell anyone about what happens next. I'm afraid today's events will bring some difficulties to Chiba. He sighed. It's all my fault. The medical ninja known as Lotus Leaf couldn't help but said. No, Lord Third Generation, this is all my responsibility. I, it's okay, kid. Sarutobi smiled kindly. You don't have to worry so much. It's all because I didn't do it well. If I could do it well, the village wouldn't be like this. He sighed again. Okay, go down and don't think too much. Third Generation Sama. Lotus Yai and several others were deeply touched, but still left. Sarutobi was the only one left in Hokage's office. The familiar smoke drifted up again. Sarutobi Hiruzen narrowed his eyes. If nothing else happens, the next Cloud Shinobi envoy will go to Hayaga's house to find Nami Chiba in person. Nami Chiba, don't you want to be a Hokage? It depends on what happens next, how will you deal with it? Sacrifice Hayaga, or, sacrifice yourself. Sacrifice? That's what only the weak do. Chiba stood in front of Hayashi. He made no secret of his disdain. In other words, Hayaga is stupid enough. Otherwise, how could Sarutobi Hiruzen plot against you like this? Does he dare to scheme like this Achiha? Although they are also a bunch of idiots, at least they still have blood. Hayashi didn't answer. He sighed and said. But next, how to deal with the wrath of Cloud Shinobi Village? Dealing with anger, Chiba smiled. Why should we deal with it? Now that the fire has been ignited, don't put it out. The worst thing is, let it ignite and shuffle the cards again. Kanaha, are you afraid of war? Afraid. But it's not him who's afraid, it's not the whole family that's afraid, it's Sarutobi Hiruzen. Because of the renewed war, his Hokage's position will be affected again. It can even be said that after the death of fourth generation, the status and reputation that have been finally stabilized will be challenged again. And once that time comes, is his real chance. Sarutobi can naturally think of this. Therefore, he will never let war happen. What does Nami Chiba have to worry about? The only one he cared about was Naruto. But, does Cloud Shinobi dare to get his hands on Jinchuriki? Or did he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, just cause Jinchuriki to have an accident? Master, there is a messenger from Cloud Shinobi outside, saying that he wants to see Lord Chiba. At this time, suddenly someone came to report. Hayashi looked at Chiba, who smiled. Come here, naturally I want to see you. Hayashi nodded. Bring them here. Advertisement. Yes. After a while, three Cloud Shinobi messengers arrived. Three. Hayashi stood up to greet him, but the three of them had cold faces, and their eyes fell on Kinyi. Kinyi sat casually on the chair and glanced sideways, with some amusement in his eyes. Suddenly, the three were even angrier. The one in the middle immediately said angrily, Yesterday, two of my Cloud Shinobi ninjas were killed for no reason. We came to form an alliance with Kanaha. Could you be trying to break the alliance by attacking them? He was so furious that his eyes almost burst out with fire. However, Chiba did not catch a cold. He even stood up, looked at Hayashi and said, Since the guests are here, I won't disturb you. I happen to be a little sleepy, so I'll go back and take a nap. After that, he left directly. The Cloud Shinobi messenger was furious. Namikaze Chiba, stop. Both of them died in your hands. You killed someone, don't you want to admit it? You want to be the criminal who started a war between two villages. Chiba paused. Don't scare me with this. He turned around, his face just indifferent. I think you left out my last name when you said that. Whoosh, a kunao was thrown by Namikaze Chiba, and the Cloud Shinobi messenger subconsciously avoided it. However, the moment the kunao approached the messenger, moment, Namikaze Chiba's body appears. One kick hit him, the messenger staggered, lost his balance, and fell to the ground. The other two people looked shocked and couldn't help but exclaimed, This, flying thunder god, tread, tread, Chiba takes a step. Gradually he walked towards the messenger, lift your feet, step on him directly, lower your body. He smiled and said, a war is a fight. I think you haven't decided yet on your qualifications, let alone what my brother has done in the past. I also want to try it. How strong are Cloud Shinobi's rakage and Jinchuriki? Chiba stood up and sneered. My brother didn't kill them that day, I wouldn't mind doing it again for him. The Namikaze family never raises useless people. Don't use it against me like you did against Sarutobi Hiruzen. Chiba stepped on the Cloud Shinobi messenger, his eyes full of coldness. What he showed was aloofness, arrogance, and arrogance. He didn't take Cloud Shinobi into consideration at all. This moment, the Cloud Shinobi messenger under his feet trembled subconsciously, with endless fear in his heart. Because at this moment, he really felt the threat of death. If he continues to be tough, he may really die here. Advertisement. Hayashi sighed helplessly at this moment and said, Chiba, let them go. After all, they are the envoys of Cloud Shinobi Village, so they still have to give them some face. Chiba retracted his feet. For the sake of the Hayaga clan leader, I will save your lives for now. If you want to fight, go back and tell AI, just come. When he finished speaking, he smiled. Our Lord Hokage is not afraid of Rakage at all. After all, he is the strongest Hokage, what are you afraid of? Just fight. It's not like the strongest Hokage can beat a third Rakage, right? Isn't it? Chiba left. The three Cloud Shinobi messengers looked solemn. Hayashi smiled bitterly at this moment. Three of you, you have also seen that this is Chiba's temperament. No one can stop him. Even when the fourth generation was here in the past, he still had his own way of doing things. It is best not to provoke him. The messenger was still frightened, and when he looked at Hayashi, he couldn't help but feel a little more thankful in his eyes. As for the previous attempt to abduct Hineda, he automatically ignored it. Hayashi advised, you three should leave early to avoid being seen by Chiba again, but... He was a little confused and said, the news about Chiba in Hayaga should be very secret. How did you know about it? After all, even the one who escaped that night did not see Chiba. The people in Cloud Shinobi Village shouldn't be able to tell just from the corpses. However, this time it didn't just come in an aggressive manner. Moreover, he directly named them. This is very problematic. The messenger was stunned for a moment, and then asked, Has Namikaze Chiba always been this strong? Hayashi said honestly, Yes, we all know, especially the third generation adults, who are very familiar with Chiba's strength. Having said this, he was surprised. Could it be, idiot? The Cloud Shinobi messenger suddenly became angry. He looked at the other two people. Let's go. Immediately, Hayaga left in anger. After a while, Chiba walked in again, glancing at Hayashi. You are still so dark-hearted. 
Hayashi said somewhat indifferently. I didn't say anything. It's all their own thoughts. How does it have anything to do with me? I just asked a few questions casually. Even if Mr. Third Generation knows, you can't blame me, right? I, Hayaga, have paid so much for the village. Chiba smiled. It seems that after what happened to Hisashi, he is not so pedantic anymore. That's a good thing. But if you act like this, I'm afraid you won't have the same weight in the eyes of our third generation. Hayashi sneered. Advertisement. The previous weight? When you sacrificed, did you think of me first? Chiba shrugged. But, it's definitely getting more and more interesting. Cloud Shinobi's people were lured here by Sarutobi, and now they are lured back again by Haiga. Sarutobi can definitely handle it. But, I'm afraid there will be a price to pay. Although the combat power of Cloud Shinobi Village is good, when it comes to strategy, it is still not as good as Sarutobi. Only, Sarutobi is much more timid, and most of these methods are used for internal fighting. If not, Kanaha should be extremely prosperous now, right? What a pity. The disappeared Senjo, the destroyed Izumaki, the marginalized Achiha, and the suicide White Fang. Their current endings were all due to their excessive trust in Kanaha. Or rather, trusting Sarutobi too much. How could someone who could sit in the Hokage's position have only simple kindness? Politics has always been dark. The other side. The three Cloud Shinobi messengers returned to the Hokage office angrily. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at the three of them in surprise. The messenger sneered. Master Hokage didn't say that Nami Kazechiba is so powerful. Isn't it possible that we will be defeated or even destroyed? We come here with the sincerity of Cloud Shinobi. Does Mr. Hokage look down on us by doing this? Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled and said. The envoy has misunderstood. Kanaha naturally wants to form an alliance with Cloud Shinobi. I didn't say anything about Kinyi. The envoys went there secretly. I didn't know anything about it. The messenger sneered. Kanaha needs to give us an explanation for this matter. Sarutobi was silent for a while and said. Let's do this. I'll make the decision and give you some compensation. As for the rest, I can't guarantee it. The Cloud Shinobi messenger was naturally unwilling and said angrily. But we lost two Jonin in Haiga. This cannot be made up for by a little compensation. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes now. The previous kindness is no longer. But Cloud Shinobi never said that there were Jonin secretly following him. This didn't tell Kanaha. Could it be that these ninjas wanted to secretly start a war instead of forming an alliance? The Cloud Shinobi messenger was startled, and then explained. They are here to protect us, not for any other purpose. Don't get me wrong, Hokage-sama. Sarutobi said, I am very sad about their deaths and am willing to compensate them. The messenger was helpless. Good. What about the alliance? Sarutobi smiled and said. As usual, Kanaha has always been friendly towards Cloud Shinobi village. Although Sarutobi was unwilling, he could only offer compensation. In fact, according to what he thought at the beginning, this burden would fall entirely on Namikaze Chiba. Then, Namikaze Chiba will gradually stand on the opposite side of the village. Public opinion outlet. But it's a pity. Something happened. Fortunately, Minato still has some belongings left behind, which is enough. Advertisement. Chapter 10 Naruto is the son of the fourth generation. Advertisement. The messenger from Cloud Shinobi Village is gone. With the alliance with Kanaha, and the bodies of the two Jonin. Naturally, they didn't get what they wanted when they came this time. Because he didn't get the Byakugan he wanted, he even lost two Jonin. But, fortunately, he received compensation from Kanaha. However, this compensation is not enough to make up for the losses of the two Jonin. But these are no longer things that Kanaha needs to consider. Kanaha has given face, and now is the time when Cloud Shinobi needs to make a decision. Now, after learning that the Cloud Shinobi messenger had left, Sarutobi Hiruzen gradually became thoughtful. Increase the defense on the border, especially in the direction of Cloud Shinobi village. In addition, this year's enrollment can be adjusted a bit. Children aged 4 and over can enroll in school. Yes, Umbu leaves with the order. Next month, it will be enrollment time. With the alliance with Cloud Shinobi, there was no danger of foreign invasion in a short period of time. But the village, but it became more and more confusing. Uchiha is not restless. Now with the return of Namikaze Chiba, even Hayaga, who was originally the most peaceful, has undergone some changes. Sarutobi gradually narrowed his eyes, thinking about how to do it. Squeak. Now, the door to Hokage's office suddenly opened and someone walked in. Sarutobi looked up. Danzo. Sarutobi, you are still so weak. Since Cloud Shinobi's people are looking for trouble, they can just kill them. Why should we compensate them? Sarutobi gave him an annoyed look. It's easy to kill him, but Cloud Shinobi will definitely start a war next. What should we do? Danzo chuckled. What else can we do? Send all the Uchiha, plus the Hayaga clan, and all the restless people in the village. That's enough. Sarutobi glanced at him. You are the most restless person in the village. Uchiha is not that obvious yet, even if he wants to do something, there are many constraints. But you, Danzo, are the only ones who have been eyeing my Hokage seat. If it weren't for the fact that Danzo still has a lot of uses, he would really want to send Danzo to the battlefield. But... He looked at Danzo and said, Namikaze Chiba is back, what do you think we should do with him? Namikaze. Danzo hesitated. I don't know what I thought of, but there was a lot of fear in my eyes. Danzo looked at Sarutobi and asked, What are your plans? Namikaze Chiba is not a peaceful person. He is no less concerned about the danger of the village than Uchiha. These days, he even lives in Hayaga's house. Danzo said with a cold face, I'm afraid that Hayaga won't be silent anymore. If I find an opportunity, I'll kill them all. Advertisement. Sarutobi suddenly felt a headache. Sure enough, discussing some things with Danzo is not as good as making up your own mind. But he still held his forehead and tentatively said, What do you think about letting Namikaze Chiba serve as deputy police captain? Police. Danzo gave Sarutobi a deep look. That's the power of the Uchiha clan. It's a good idea to let them fight each other. Uchiha are all restless guys, and Namikaze Chiba is even more so. They fight together, no matter who wins or loses, it will not be harmful to us. But, Danzo said, are you sure that Namikaze Chiba will obey? Sarutobi suddenly showed a playful smile and looked at Danzo. After he came back, he came to me with Naruto and stated that he would be the next Hokage. After saying this, Danzo suddenly narrowed his eyes. Sarutobi knows that what Danzo has always wanted in his heart is the position of Hokage. Now, there is one more competitor. Ah, uh, Danzo sneered at that. The next Hokage, he has such a big voice. Do you think he can be like his brother? Then, 
Fourth generation Namikaze Minato is a confidant trained by Sarutobi Hiruzen. After third generation resigned, the next Hokage position was to choose between Namikaze Minato and Orikimaru, who was supported by Danzo. There is no doubt that in the end Namikaze Minato emerged victorious. Orikimaru failed and later secretly conducted human experiments. Sarutobi discovered him and drove him out of Kanaha, became a rebel. It was an attempt by Danzo to fight for power, but it failed completely. Now, with the turmoil in Uchiha and the instability in Kanaha, Danzo has started to think about it again. But this time, there is an extra opponent? How could he be willing? In this case, why not just let him be the police captain? Nothing irritates Uchiha more than this fight. Danzo has always advocated the destruction of Uchiha. He couldn't be more willing to have such a gongkuo. Sarutobi frowned. This is not good. It will maximize the conflict. Uchiha has no intention of rebellion. This is too coercive. Sarutobi. Danzo interrupted him. Better? You're too indecisive. He said coldly. Uchiha will not rest peacefully, they will rebel sooner or later. Seeing that Sarutobi was still hesitating. Finally, Danzo said directly. I will send someone to inform you about this matter, so you don't have to worry about it. After saying that, he turned around and left. Danzo's current job is to assist Hokage. What's more, he defines himself as the Hokage in secret. Certainly, it's just his own definition. After Danzo gave the order arbitrarily and left directly, there was no anger on Sarutobi's face. Instead, it gradually calmed down. Advertisement. In other words, he is actually more supportive of letting Namikaze Chiba directly serve as the captain of the police team. But, as a Hokage, he couldn't say this clearly because it would be too easy for him to be criticized. Once Uchiha really rebelled, it would be equivalent to Sarutobi directly forcing Uchiha to rebel. It is up to Danzo to do this, so the blame is naturally not his. He can even deal with it. It doesn't get any better than this. Haiga. Hayashi frowned. Kanaha police force? Hasn't it always been held by Uchiha people? Now I'm asking you to go directly. This is to seize the power of the Uchiha clan. Hayashi's frown deepened. Uchiha has now moved to a marginalized area of the village. The only power he has is the police force. They are deeply entrenched and will never give up. Hayaga Hayashi looked at Chiba and said solemnly. I'm going to roast you on Uchiha's fire. Kinyi said indifferently. It's just a police department. Sarutobi wants to pit me against Uchiha and weaken Uchiha's strength. No matter who of us wins, he can enjoy the results. It's a good strategy. Sarutobi is really good at infighting. Then what do you think? Do you agree? Hayashi asked. Promise, why not agree? Chiba said. Sarutobi can't deal with Uchiha, and he wants to deliver it to me. What can I refuse? Uchiha, you are also a huge force. Sharingan's blood inheritance limit is destined to make Uchiha not mediocre. Since Sarutobi couldn't place such a force, he gave it away. Good? Pretty good? Chiba will definitely accept the order? Hayashi wanted to persuade him again, but Chiba's attitude was very firm. Finally, Hayashi sighed. The Kanaha Police Department, although it sounds like it has a lot of power to maintain public order in the village, it is the most tired and easily criticized place in the village. Once something is not handled well, it is too easy to be resented. And once you are disliked by others, it will be almost impossible for you to get the Hokage's position. Hayashi reminded him anyway. Chiba shrugged. There's no need to be so pessimistic. Integrating Uchiha is actually a good choice. What he, Sarutobi, can't do, I may not be able to do. He vaguely remembered that there would be a rebellion behind Uchiha. Then, the clan was wiped out by Uchiha Itaki. What a pity for such a huge force. Seeing that he could not be persuaded, Hayashi finally had to say, So, when do you plan to take office? Tomorrow. It's too fast, why don't you prepare more? No, and, Chiba said, I'll take Naruto with me tomorrow. This, Jinchuriki went to Uchiha, is there really no problem? Advertisement. Chiba smiled and asked, What could go wrong? If the current Uchiha could really control nine tails in front of me, how could they be like this? Looking at it like this, Fugaku may not be able to suppress everyone. In that case, I will take action. Harmful? Hayashi sighed and stopped talking. Early the next day, Chiba took Naruto out. Naruto asked curiously, Uncle, where are we going? Kanaha Police Department, a place that maintains law and order in the village. Naruto's eyes suddenly lit up. Are we going to join them? No, manage them. Chiba smiled and said, Our Lord Third Generation has made me their captain, and you are now the captain's nephew. Obviously, Naruto didn't understand the meaning. In other words, the importance of this identity. Chiba had to remind, Do you remember the prank I told you? Naruto nodded. Your previous pranks were too childish. If you want to do it, do something different. We will go there later, you have to show your courage. Naruto was a little timid for a moment and couldn't help but ask, Uncle, is this really okay? Kinyi said sternly, Naruto, remember, you are my nephew, and your uncle is their captain. Your status must be noble, and you have another level of status. Ah, what's your identity? You will know this later. Remember, you have a noble status, so don't be afraid. Do you understand? No. Naruto nodded. There was some excitement in his eyes. Shortly after, the two arrived in front of the Kanaha police department. Chiba looked at Naruto and said with a smile, It's your turn. Naruto was eager to try. He ran to the door of the police department, started with a small run, then jumped up and kicked the door of the police department. Bang! The door was kicked open. Naruto put his hands on his hips, losing his previous timidity. He was very excited. Chiba, on the other hand, laughed. How could he, the nephew of Namikaze Chiba, be timid? His father is the fourth Hokage. Being bullied? Being called a demon fox? Dark childhood? Absolutely impossible? Advertisement. Chapter 11 The first lesson of ninja is arrogance. Advertisement. What's going on? Are there enemies? Enemy attack. Come out faster. Right now. Kanaha police department, after Naruto's kick, a large number of Uchiha tribe members ran out. As a result, when he came out and saw Naruto, his face suddenly became ugly. This moment, Naruto looked back at Chiba with some fear. Chiba nodded towards him. Naruto immediately felt relieved. Gradually he became bolder. Hey, aren't you from the police department? Why are the guards so lax? Logically speaking, the Kanaha police department shouldn't even have any guards outside. But, it wasn't until Naruto kicked the door that someone ran out. The protective power is very poor. Ridiculously bad. 
Kid, are you here looking for trouble? One of them, Uchiha, had evil eyes and was eager to move forward. Naruto mustered up his courage. I'm just here for inspection. I didn't expect you guys to be so unreliable. Do you want me to tell you if it's reliable? Kid, get out of here. Then, his eyes fell on Kinyi. He said in a bad tone. You brought this brat here with you? It doesn't matter, this brat is still young and ignorant, so I'll arrest you. After saying that, several people rushed forward. A total of five Uchiha stood next to Chiba. Plan to capture him. Chiba remained motionless and allowed them to take action. Immediately, a tall Uchiha took the lead and punched Chiba. Kinyi sidestepped, grabbed his wrist, and swung it hard, bumping into someone behind him. Then he raised his leg and kicked, and another Uchiha flew out. In the blink of an eye, three of the five were left. Naruto applauded. Uncle is so awesome. Bang, bang, Chiba kept walking and knocked down the other two people. Just like that, all five Uchiha that appeared fell to the ground, unable to fight back at all. Seeing the scene, Kinyi shook his head. Is this Uchiha? So weak. You. The five people were quite angry. The fighting outside undoubtedly caused a lot of commotion, and some more people came out. Among them, the one at the front has short black hair, wearing a black tight-fitting combat uniform and green jonin male armor. On both shoulders, the Uchiha clan emblem is embroidered. Fugaku, long time no see. The visitor was naturally the former captain of the Konoha police department and the current leader of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku. When he saw Chiba and the five fallen people around him, Fugaku frowned. Advertisement. Chiba, what are you doing? Two lakhs. Chiba said without any scruples. A three-year-old child can approach this place so easily and even, kick open the door of the police department. He looked at Fugaku and said seriously. Fugaku, I'm a little disappointed in you. Fugaku looked at Chiba, no one comes here on weekdays. Even if guards are arranged, what can be done? He said somewhat self-deprecatingly. The Uchiha clan holds absolute power over Kanaha's police force, but this police department itself is a joke. So, Chiba showed a smile. I am coming. Are you coming to help me? No, I'm here to replace you. Fugaku suddenly narrowed his eyes. A page appeared in Chiba's hand and she threw it to Uchiha Fugaku. Fugaku took it and took a look. The new captain of the Kanaha police department. Yes. As soon as these words fell, suddenly, all the Uchiha around showed anger. The police department has always been our place Uchiha, Hokage-sama actually sent an outsider here. What is this going to do? Do you want outsiders to be in charge of us Uchiha? Haha, <laughs> where is this little brat who deserves to be the captain? Get out of here. Yes, get out, you are not worthy. Fugaku raised his hand, trying to stop his subordinates from cursing. But, but a few people did not listen. Instead, it got worse. Little brat, where did you come from? Just go away. How dare you want to control the police department even if you don't have all your hair? Who gave you the courage? Get out of here. Chiba smiled and looked at Fugaku. Fugaku frowned and scolded. Shut up, everyone. This is not an order from third generation Sama. It's definitely not Hokage's. However, there is the imprint of third generation. This means that third generation at least knows. Fugaku sighed. Come in first. Under the hostility of all the Uchiha, Chiba took Naruto and walked into the police department. Seeing the obvious hostility among the people, Naruto was undoubtedly a little scared. But Chiba patted him on the shoulder and comforted. Don't be afraid, remember what I told you? Naruto nodded. He gradually straightened up, and when he saw someone looking at him with hostility, he opened his eyes wide and stared back. Within the police department, Chiba sat down. Fugaku sighed. You should know that this order is not good for you. It wants you to stand on the opposite side of Uchiha. In this way, neither you nor us will gain anything. On the contrary, it will only intensify our fight. Indeed it is. Advertisement. But you're still here. I must come. Chiba looked at Fugaku and his face became serious. If I don't come, Uchiha will be even more passive. Fugaku, you should know Uchiha's current situation better than I do. By moving here, you have proven that the village is afraid of you, and this does not matter what you do. He said. You have mastered the power of sharing on, and possessing power is a sin in itself. Fugaku looked ugly. Is it possible that Uchiha was born guilty? Yes. Chiba is very straightforward. In other words, in their eyes, Uchiha, who is difficult to control, is guilty. How long do you think this situation can last? Can Sarutobi and Danzo continue to be afraid of each other? Fugaku said, third generation adults still want to solve today's problems. Chiba smiled. Then let me put it more simply. Do you think you can endure it? But how long can your Uchiha tribe last in this situation? Are they willing to end up in this situation? Away from the prosperity of the village, on the fringe of the village, working with criminals all day long? Even, being hated by the villagers and not recognized. Uchiha, that is a powerful group that built the village together with the Senju. Fugaku fell silent. Obviously, what Chiba said was reasonable. Now Uchiha's situation is getting worse. Unfair treatment has made the tribesmen increasingly dissatisfied. He can hold it down once or twice, but, can he hold it down forever? The best way is to solve Uchiha's situation. If not, sooner or later it will break out. But, can Namikaze Chiba solve it? Fugaku looked at Chiba and couldn't help but said, Can you solve our current situation? Cannot. Chiba is very candid. Your current situation cannot be easily improved, unless, Hokage's position can be moved. Fuyo looked at Chiba, but it's hard. It's not impossible, is it? You want to do Hokage? Yes. Why? Fugaku was a little confused. You are not such a person. Otherwise, you would have had opportunities in the past and would not wait for now. Chiba looked at Naruto, who was sitting a little further away, quite well behaved, with a smile on his face. Why? It's very simple. My nephew had a very hard life before. He was obviously the son of the fourth generation, but he was treated as a demon fox. Chiba said seriously, I want to give him the childhood he truly deserves. A childhood that was, arrogant and truly awe-inspiring to the people in the village. Fugaku turned to look at Naruto, the son of the fourth generation, he has heard about it. The experience was hard. Advertisement. It's so painful that even an adult may not be able to bear it. And he is just a child. You have concerns. It always has, hasn't it? Fugaku sighed. When you have concern, you have a weakness. Then become stronger so that no one can touch my weakness, not to mention. Chiba raised the corner of his mouth. Naruto's talent is also pretty good, don't forget the nine tails inside him. 
Fugaku narrowed his eyes. But it's still difficult for you to take charge of the police department. The clan members are too thoughtful and it's hard for them to convince an outsider. Even I had to work hard to get them to recognize you. Chiba shrugged. It doesn't matter. I don't need their approval, as long as they obey. Chiba stood up. My intentions have been made clear to you, so, do you agree? Fugaku looked at the long sword that appeared in Chiba's hand and asked with interest. If I don't agree, will you take action? I haven't beaten you for a long time. How much strength have you gained? Buzz? Fugaku's normally normal eyes suddenly changed. The black pupils turned into a flash of scarlet. In that red, three Megatama clearly appeared. Three Tomo Sherinan. Then let me see how far Namikaze Chiba, who was once known as the strongest genius, has grown now. Go out and fight. Good. Chiba stood up. At the same time, he looked at Naruto and smiled slightly. Naruto, remember this, the first lesson of becoming a ninja is to be arrogant. Whoosh, Chiba's body disappeared instantly, and when he reappeared, he was already behind Uchiha Fugaku. Bang, he kicked out Fugaku's body directly. Fugaku's body rolled in the air and knocked open the door, appeared outside. This moment attracted everyone's attention. However, the moment Fugaku's body hit the ground, it suddenly turned into nothing with a bang. Shadow clone? Kinyi landed on the ground, holding a long sword in his hand and grinning. Not bad, Fugaku, you're making progress. The other side, the figure of Uchiha Fugaku is revealed. Stop the Uchiha tribesmen who were about to take action. At the same time he said, this is a fight between us, don't interfere. Then he looked at Kinyi, showing dignity. He didn't even know when Kinyi put the flying thunder god mark on him. Just now, Deo's avoidance relied more on his own fighting consciousness. Namikaze Chiba is still as scary as ever. Terrifying fighting talent. If you don't have confidence, why don't you and the Uchiha clan come together? Anyway, there won't be much difference. No need. Advertisement. Chapter 12 Just Catch a Hokage. Advertisement. Fugaku refused. He still has his own pride. Under three Tomo sharing, Chiba's every move was slowed down infinitely. However, even so, it was still too fast. Next moment, Chiba's body disappeared, and when he appeared, he was already in front of Fugaku. There was no ninjutsu, just a sword? Laugh? A slash of the sword seemed to cut through everything. The silver sword light fell heavily with an astonishing momentum. Fugaku's toe suddenly tipped and he ducked to the side. At the same time, he quickly formed seals with his hands and spat out his mouth. A huge blazing fireball sprayed towards Chiba. Fire style great fireball technique? Uchiha's signature ninjutsu. It's just that Fugaku's great fireball is much bigger. It's obviously only a C-level ninjutsu, but now in Fugaku's hands, it's even stronger than an A-level ninjutsu. Certainly. Just as useless. Laugh. Chiba slashed the great fireball in half with one sword strike. The bursting flame swept away in all directions in an instant, unable to hurt him at all. Kinyi pointed his long sword forward and said simply, Fugaku, don't use these little tricks. Your Sherinan should not only have three Megatama, right? Let me see a higher level Sherinan. As soon as these words came out, countless Uchiha tribesmen looked at Fugaku in shock. They all showed shocked expressions. The unique blood inheritance limit of the Uchiha clan, Sherinan. The power lies in the eyes. It combines observation, copying and illusion. In addition to the ordinary Megatama Sherinan, there is also the more powerful Mangekyo. Certainly. Unless one is extremely talented and has, a dead point or something, it will be difficult to activate. Chiba had heard of the shocking story of a certain pillar who angrily opened a single Megatama on the night of genocide. Whenever someone mentions it, give a thumbs up and shout. Powerful? The opening conditions for Mangekyo are extremely strict. Even from ancient times to the present, Uchiha has not been able to open many. And now, Uchiha Fugaku actually opened Mangekyo? Now, just behind King Yehua, the three Megatama in Fugaku's eyes suddenly changed and transformed into Mangekyo. The changes in the eyes caused many Uchiha people to exclaim. Really Mangekyo? When did the Fugaku clan leader activate Mangekyo? The legendary Mangekyo can actually be seen today. With Mangekyo, the Fugaku clan leader is already invincible. At this time, the Uchiha people have great confidence in Fugaku. After all, Uchiha has been passed down since ancient times, and every owner of Mangekyo Sherinan is extremely powerful. Of course, the most powerful one. It's called Uchiha Madara. Madara is Uchiha's pride, but she's not. Chiba, be careful. Advertisement. Fugaku spoke up. Immediately, in Chiba's sight, he completely disappeared. There seems to be no trace of him anymore. No breath leaked at all. The surrounding Uchiha tribesmen also disappeared. And the only one beside him was Naruto. Gradually, Naruto's aura seemed to be out of control, becoming more and more powerful, and an evil and terrifying chakra spread from his body. Uncle, Naruto became extremely distressed. His expression turned ferocious. Next moment, from inside his body, a red tail appeared. The tail is completely condensed by chakra and is extremely terrifying. Then comes the second and third items. Every time a tail appeared, it would cause Naruto great pain. That's the power of nine tails. Naruto, on the other hand, couldn't control it at all. If not stopped, Naruto will be swallowed by the power of nine tails. Chiba's reaction was calm. At this moment, he guessed Fugaku Mangekyo's abilities. It's not a powerful combat attribute, but more supportive. Or tell it more clearly. It's about seeing a glimpse of the future. Some possibility in the future. It was also because of this that Naruto's nine tails chakra went out of control. He cannot control nine tails and will be swallowed by nine tails. This is Naruto's future. Watching the number of tails gradually increase, the nine tails chakra becomes more and more intense. Chiba suddenly laughed. Fugaku, you don't think that nine tails will really get out of control in the future, do you? Buzz, the sound of sword clanging. When Kinyi drew his sword, he didn't have any fancy moves, it was just an ordinary slash. But when the sword fell, the demon fox tail on Naruto was directly disconnected. Four in a row, all broken. The nine tails chakra gradually disappeared and was forced back into his body. Laugh, the sky was already showing signs of breaking under Kinyi's sword. Naruto's condition was completely stable. Chiba looked somewhere. The future is never fixed. Even if you have Mangekyo, you can only see a corner of the future. Laugh, he slashed it with his sword again. This sword. Cutting out Fugaku's figure, the long sword fell directly to Fugaku's neck. Chiba looked at Fugaku and said, You lose. Fugaku turned pale and his eyes returned to normal. You've seen the future, he has nine tails and it's going to get out of control. Chiba said, 
Advertisement. You are right, but the power of tailed beasts is not that scary. Chiba smiled and said. Actually, I've been thinking about whether to let Nine Tails out for fun, of course, on the premise of not hurting Naruto. Regarding Nine Tails, Chiba believes that he is strong enough to suppress them. Releasing the tailed beast is not a terrible thing. On the contrary, it is very interesting. At least, Naruto can have multiple playmates. Fugaku narrowed his eyes. The battle is over. Fugaku said, I lost. He looked at the Achiha around him and said in a deep voice. In this case, the position of captain of the police force will be held by Chiba, and I will step down from the position of captain. Clan leader. Now, some people couldn't help but said. No, this police department has always been in charge of us Uchiha, how can we hand it over to others? Yes, if an outsider is in charge, it will only harm our family. We will never listen to him. Everyone was talking about it, but the general meaning is clear. Denied. Chiba watched the scene quietly. There was no expression on his face. Uchiha Fugaku angrily said. Nonsense. Since Chiba was sent by the village, he has been the captain of the police force since then. What are you going to do now? However, even if Fugaku scolded him, he still couldn't change the situation much. What's more, someone said. If the patriarch resigns, then I will also quit the police department. I will not let an outsider get on top of us. That's right, just quit. Why should an outsider manage us? Yes, the patriarch is gone, so are we. Now, one after another, they all spoke like this. Chiba looked at them playfully. There are still many people who want to leave, but they have all left together. Anyway, the Kanaha police department under the leadership of Uchiha has never achieved anything. In this case, you are just a bunch of trash. The trash has left, and it's not too late for me to be happy. Besides, you don't really think I have any plans for Uchiha, do you? Chiba sneered. It's just Uchiha, I really don't like it. Chiba's words undoubtedly aroused even greater anger. Make these Uchiha people excited. But, only Fugaku knows that Chiba is telling the truth. Because once, he had the opportunity to be a Hokage. However, Chiba only asked one question at that time. If I become a Hokage, can I marry a wife worth hundreds of dollars? After being told he couldn't and that the Hokage had to lead by example. He refused outright. The reason is that the Hokage is a ball, even dogs, ahem. That seemed to be the original words at the time. Advertisement. Anyway, Namikaze Chiba refused. An Uchiha is really nothing in comparison. This moment. Fugaku looked at the tribesmen around him and suddenly felt that Chiba's arrival was really a good thing for Uchiha. Otherwise, he really wouldn't be able to suppress it for too long. Sooner or later, the tribe will have a day of riots. And at that time, what will be the future of Uchiha? All he saw was blood. You all, stay and listen to Master Kinyi. From now on, when you see Master Kinyi, you will see me as you do. Otherwise, Fugaku's expression suddenly turned cold. Don't blame me for treating you like a family. Under Fugaku's toughness. In the end, the restless Uchiha tribe members stayed safely. He looked at Chiba. They will leave it to you. Chiba shrugged. Actually, I didn't drive you away. It's okay for you to stay and become the vice captain. Fugaku smiled relievedly. Forget it, I'm tired after being the captain for so many years. It's time to take a rest. Maybe, without my Uchiha, things will get better. Fugaku left. Only a group of Uchiha clan members and two uncle and nephew Chiba were left. Naruto looked at all this curiously. Finally he looked at his uncle. He was a little curious about what his uncle would do. Chiba at this moment. Looking at the group of Uchiha, he said. Fugaku entrusted you to me, but I am actually unwilling to accept it. The reason is very simple. In my eyes, Uchiha is nothing but trash. Ignoring people's anger, he continued. If you can't do anything, you clearly hold the real power in the village, but you are excluded. Fugaku is a waste, and so are you. As soon as he finished speaking, someone said. We have been marginalized. Even the police department has little power. Where does the real power come from? Chiba sneered. The Kanaha police department, isn't it a real power? You maintain public security in the village and rely on the village's laws to punish all those who break the law. Isn't this powerful enough? We have the power, but you are too cowardly and useless. More anger. Chiba smiled, if you don't admit that you are cowardly, then let me ask you, if Hokage breaks the law, do you dare to enforce the law and arrest him? Suddenly, everyone fell silent. Chiba sneered. What? Where is the courage just now? Where is it? Aren't you going to clear Uchiha's name? Don't you even dare to do this? This moment. Some people couldn't help but ask. Could it be that Lord Chiba dares? The title has changed. Chiba play taste. The Hokage broke the law, why didn't he catch it? Don't forget, this power was given by the second Hokage and recognized by the third generation. If he objects, wouldn't it be a slap in the face? For a moment. All the Uchiha tribe members fell silent, thinking about Chiba's words. Kinyi, on the other hand, looked at them. His purpose has been achieved. Sarutobi put him in charge of the police department, and there was no doubt that he was helping him. P.S. Please ask for some data, reminders, gifts, collections, comments, anything will do. Don't let the little author feel that he is alone. Beg on your knees. Advertisement. Chapter 13 Insulting Naruto. Catch them all. Advertisement. In the Kanaha police department, Chiba played with the mark in his hand. Sitting on the main seat, beside him, sat a group of Uchiha tribesmen who were not very convinced. Chiba doesn't care about these. He looked at these people with interest, are you the only ones left in Uchiha today? He glanced at it, but was a little disappointed. Because in his opinion, except for Uchiha Fugaku, everyone else is vulnerable. Such Uchiha is so weak. Among them, one person suddenly couldn't help but said. Shisui went out on a mission and was not here. Chiba nodded. Thinking of this Uchiha Shisui. Instantly Shisui, the strongest person of Uchiha's younger generation. He is older than Uchiha Itaki. Also joined the battlefield earlier. Compared to Itaki, he is also an out-and-out -out genius. When Itaki only had three Megatama, Shisui had already activated Mangekyo. However, the ending is also tragic. Chiba narrowed his eyes. So looking at it this way, two pairs of Mangekyo, counting some Jonin, and some three Megatama. The strength of the Uchiha clan is indeed huge enough. No wonder Sarutobi is afraid. The strength is too strong and cannot be controlled. Such a group must either be eliminated as soon as possible, or, most of the forces must be eliminated. Just like the disappeared Senju clan. The talents of the Senju clan are too terrifying, and Wood Style's talents represent how powerful they are. 
Although, it is difficult for strong players such as first generation and second generation to appear again. But the appearance of Tsunade has proved that this group has terrifying talents. Under such circumstances, every clan member with a strong talent may threaten Sarutobi's rule. Such as Uchiha now, or, and the already destroyed Azumaki. Possessing powerful sealing ability and vitality, he is a natural candidate for Jinchuriki. During a war, if such power cannot be controlled, it will easily lead to disaster if one has other thoughts. The destruction of the Uzumaki clan was caused by many factors. The fear of various ninja villages, and the mistake of trusting Sarutobi. That's why, even until the Uzumaki clan was destroyed, Kanaha's reinforcements never showed up. At most, they only took action and took away Uzumaki Kushina. An Uzumaki little girl is indeed much easier to control. If this continues, Uchiha will face the same ending. Too many powerful Uchiha to control. However, it is different if there are only one or two batches left. Especially children. It is difficult for children to know the truth. As long as they are taught by Kanaha, they will naturally develop a sense of belonging. By then, Sherinan is still Kanaha's Sherinan, but the disobedient Uchiha will no longer exist. What a plan? Only, looking at the people next to him, Chiba couldn't help but smile. Advertisement. Sarutobi really gave him a great gift. I know you are not convinced, but there is no need to be convinced. No need. I just want you to be obedient. Kinyi glanced around the field and said. Here, you only need to listen to me. The same is true in the village. Remember, you are the police department of Kanaha. The greatest guard of honor is not Uchiha, not Hokage, but the law. Act in accordance with the law. What can Hokage do to you? When second generation created the police department. In fact, some consideration has been given to this aspect. He was afraid of Uchiha's power, but also knew that such power could not be discarded. So, I thought of this method. Both removing them from the core of the village, and making it difficult for them to compete in the Hokage despite having the power. He also gave them power and allowed them to serve the village. This is an acceptable and mutually beneficial approach. But later, Uchiha was squeezed out again, which aggravated the conflict. This is tantamount to forcing them to rebel. Today, Uchiha is full of grief and anger. It is difficult to vent his strong dissatisfaction with the village. If it continues to accumulate, sooner or later it will explode. And the only way to break out is rebellion? The first thing Shiva needs to do is to give them a channel to vent. He said. Next, you will be divided into three teams, and you will maintain the security of the village as before. Anything illegal or harmful to the village will be arrested. Yes, Chiba's status has been established. At least, on the surface, they won't object. Not to mention, the things Chiba handed over were also in line with the rules. This is the duty of the police department. You all go. Soon, all the Uchiha left. Chiba looked at Naruto, touched his head and said, You go too. Although you are young, you still have to do something. Naruto asked puzzledly, Shall I do some maintenance too? No, just walk around the village. If you find anything, you can tell them. Oh, Naruto nodded, but there was still a timid look in his eyes. He didn't take any direct action, but couldn't help but said, Uncle, I, can you give me a mask? What do you need a mask for? If there is no cover, once I go out on the street. He didn't finish his sentence, but Chiba understands. Once there is no cover, if you go out on the street, you will be rejected by everyone. Insults and even stones were thrown. In the past, even if Naruto went to the street to buy something, he would be rejected by his boss. Even if he didn't want the thing, he would be hit in the face and told to get out of here. This village was completely malicious to him. There is no goodness. Chiba took a deep breath and comforted him. Don't be afraid, no need to cover up, Naruto. You have to remember that you have never done anything to feel sorry for them. Keep your head high, you don't have to feel guilty about anything. But, he still hesitated. Chiba encouraged. Don't be afraid, uncle is here, no one can bully you. Naruto nodded, feeling a little more confident. He took to the streets. Advertisement. When Naruto left, Chiba called a team of Uchiha and ordered. You don't have to patrol, just keep an eye on Naruto secretly. Anyone with ill intentions towards Naruto can be arrested. This, sir, isn't this, a bit against the rules. Rule. Chiba sneered. This is the rule. But even if we arrest him, what kind of charges will he be charged with? Chiba's eyes suddenly turned cold. Insult the descendants of heroes. Uchiha's eyes suddenly trembled. Chiba said. His father, named Namikaze Minato. Namikaze. Boom. Now, this group of Uchiha all had their eyes widened with disbelief on their faces. Four, fourth generation. Is it enough? Enough. They left. The other side. Naruto took to the streets. Although his uncle repeatedly comforted and encouraged him, Naruto was still a little timid when he went out on the street. The pain and suffering from past memories are difficult to erase. He is also like an ordinary child, carefree and doesn't have to worry so much. Can. Can't do it. Demon Fox. The moment Naruto stepped onto the street. Then I heard this sound. It was a ten-year-old child with a look of disgust on his face. Then, he was discovered. Overwhelming. Why is this demon fox here again? Look at his eyes, there must be something wrong with him. It's terrible. How can such people still stay in the village? They should have been driven out long ago. Yeah, I don't know what Mr. Third Generation thinks, but he actually let the demon fox stay in the village. Demon fox, get out of here. Get out of here. Naruto stood in the street, looking helplessly at the person in front of him. He is alone, but there is a whole other side. He didn't know what he had done, but he stood on the opposite side of everyone. Snapped. There were still stones thrown at me, but it missed and hit the ground at his feet. Naruto couldn't help but lower his head. But at this moment, a big hand suddenly touched his head. Don't be afraid. He seemed to hear such a sound. But there was no one around. Advertisement. Naruto thought of his uncle. Don't feel guilty about anything. He gradually raised his head, looking at these villagers, these friendly villagers. With determination in his eyes, he spoke out and couldn't help but ask. Why? What did I do? You want to do this to me. But no one answered him. The only thing that answered him was stones. As well as, demon fox, get out of the village. Roll. A little further. Achiha, the leader, took a deep breath as he watched this scene. He had only heard of this miserable Jinchuriki, but he didn't know that it had reached such an extent. He is only four years old this year, right? Call. Exhaled heavily. He said in a deep voice, get started and arrest everyone who participated previously. Yes, whoosh, this team of Uchiha, all out. When they appear in the ring, the villagers laughed and said, 
Here we come, people from the police department are dispatched to arrest this demon fox. That's right, how can such a person deserve to stay in the village? He will definitely cause more damage. He should have been told to get out. Well done. Only, these people from the police department were not there to arrest Naruto. Instead, he walked towards them. Take them all away. What? What are you doing? Catch that demon fox. What are you doing? You are arresting people for no reason. I will tell Mr. Third Generation. Let go, let go. Villagers were arrested. However, there were also some hands-on actions during this period, but how could they fight against ninjas? He was soon cured and became docile. A total of 32 people were arrested. The leader of Uchiha paused when passing by Naruto. Then, he bowed respectfully. Walked away. The rest of the Uchiha, also presentable, or the same. This gift is not only for the passing fourth generation, but also for Naruto. What happened to him? Naruto stared blankly at these people and saluted. No action, no reaction. He froze in place. This is the first time he has been treated like this. Two lines of clear tears flowed from his eyes. For the first time, he was respected. Advertisement. Chapter May 14th I ask if third generation can be captured? Advertisement. Chibasama, everyone has been arrested. But Master Naruto, said he wanted to stay outside for a while. An Uchiha came back to report. Um, Chiba nodded. Let him be, it's time for him to take a good look at this village. Sir, we have arrested so many villagers. If the matter spreads to Mr. Third Generation, it doesn't matter. Chiba said, if Sarutobi comes, just ask him to come to me. You go down. Yes, Uchiha leaves. Chiba looked outside through the window. Unlike the Hokage office where you can glimpse the whole village, here you can only glimpse a corner of the village. Still looking from afar. News from the Kanaha police department spread quickly. Sarutobi naturally got the news immediately. Inside the Hokage office, Sarutobi looked at Umbu who was reporting the news. He sent people to arrest many villagers. Yes, Sarutobi was lost in thought. Obviously, this is not good for him. Doing so can easily arouse the resentment of the villagers and arouse great public outrage. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes, and after a while, he ordered. Don't worry about it for now, besides. He paused. Spread this news and let more people know. Third generation Sama. Then Umbu hesitated. In this case, what if Namikaze Chiba captures more people? Sarutobi smiled and said. No, he captured some just to tell me that Uchiha is still there. This is resistance to me, but these villagers were involved. This is my fault. I will go see him later and ask him to let these villagers go. Okay, go and do your business. Yes, Umbu leaves. Sarutobi came to the window and looked down at Kanaha through the window. His purpose of sending Namikaze Chiba to Uchiha naturally does not doubt Chiba's ability. Unlike Danzo, he thought Namikaze Chiba would start a fight with the Uchiha clan. Namikaze Chiba's temperament is indeed like this. However, his abilities are very strong, and so are his methods. It would be difficult for Uchiha alone to defeat him. As for Fugaka, he is an old friend of his and will not be too difficult and will even help him. In this case, Chiba would easily be able to take charge of Uchiha. Fugaka now knows Uchiha's situation, so handing over power is what he will do. He wanted to ask for change and give Uchiha a new future. Can. Uchiha's current situation is difficult to change. The village is deeply ingrained, and so is the impression of Uchiha. Even if Chiba is in charge of Uchiha, no matter how much he does, to the villagers, it is just the decision made by him, the Hokage-sama. Advertisement. And if you don't do it well, it will even offend these villagers and lose their prestige. Then, he is still the one who benefits. Sarutobi was quite satisfied with his move, because no matter what, he will benefit. Now, Sarutobi had a smile on his face. It can't be any worse. Therefore, he will not stop Namikaze Chiba from doing anything. Now this step proves that even though he, Namikaze Chiba, has good qualifications, he is still young. When you are young, you will have conflicts and you won't think about it so much. Only he can stand on a high place and strategize. Kanaha. Naruto walked on the empty streets. He walked from the street to the end of the street without hearing a single curse. Not once was he beaten or driven away. This is a different experience for him. He held his head high and his chest high. Time and time again, I walked to the end of the street and back again. It's like practicing. He tried his best to behave like a normal child. Make yourself more confident and better integrated. He smiled occasionally, and then looked somewhere, smiling foolishly. Laughing and laughing, I shed tears. Things break through. The news that many villagers were arrested gradually spread. Therefore, it aroused the anger of most people. In particular, the reason why they were caught was just because of a demon fox. The villagers' anger was ignited. They cursed, ridiculed, and insulted. What's more, he has already rushed to the Hokage building and asked Lord Third Generation to take action to punish the new captain of the Kanaha Police Department. When people gathered to a certain extent, Third Generation walked out of the office in a friendly manner, with a kind smile. Everyone, please be quiet. Although Chiba's appointment was not made by me, it is also my responsibility. When he did such a thing, it was indeed a lack of consideration and something was wrong. For this, I apologize to everyone on behalf of Chiba. Sarutobi spoke, quickly calming down. This is not third generation Sama's fault, you don't need to apologize. That's right, Mr. Third Generation has sacrificed a lot for the village. It's just that a bad person occupies a high position and did something wrong. It's him who should apologize, not Mr. Third Generation. My lord, you don't have to take it for him. It's his fault. He can only apologize. Sarutobi listened to them, sighed. Even if it was Chiba's fault, I, the Hokage, still have the responsibility for failing to discipline my subordinates. But now that things have happened, it's better to solve it first. I will go find Kinyi and ask him to release those innocent villagers. As Sarutobi finished speaking, a villager soon shouted. Sir, we will go with you. Yes, let the villain let the innocent people go. Then kick him out too. He must be with the demon fox. Advertisement. Sarutobi didn't refuse. Together with Sarutobi, these people went to the Kanaha police department. Chiba saw all this. The subordinate Uchiha was a little flustered. He looked at Chiba and couldn't help but said. Sir, the third generation has arrived, and there are many villagers. Do we, shall let go of those we captured earlier? Chiba shook his head. No, no need. But, if the crowd gets excited next, what should we do? What to do? Chiba smiled. According to the law, remember, you did nothing wrong, why panic? But, Chiba said, many things should not be taken superficially. 
In other words, we can look at them from two perspectives, current interests and future interests. Okay, let's wait for our third generation master to perform for a while, and then we can go out and meet him. As for now, the performance has not started yet. How can we not see the third generation adults performing with all their heart? Hehe. <laughs> Chiba chuckled lightly, but didn't take it to heart at all. Through the window, he could overlook it all. Outside. Get out. Arrest people randomly. This is what the police department does. Don't you dare to admit it. Now that Mr. Third Generation is here, what else can you do? Get out of here. Why are you hiding? People spoke angrily. One sound after another. Sarutobi, on the other hand, waited for these people to vent for a moment. Just now he said, Everyone, please be quiet. I believe there is a reason why Chiba did this. I will call him out, tell him he did something wrong, and let him apologize to everyone. Everyone, wait a minute and give him some time. Maybe by this time, he is already releasing those innocent people. Some of Sarutobi's words made the villagers gradually quiet down. Also at this moment, snapped, 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 there was applause, slow and rhythmic. As the applause fell, Kini could be seen walking out slowly, with a smile. Not bad. Thank you, Mr. Third Generation, for your generous performance and contribution to a good show. People are angrier. Namikaze Chiba, release the person quickly. You arrest people for no reason, you are simply a villain. Let's see how you can still quibble in front of Mr. Third Generation. People cursed again. Chiba ignored it and just looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen. Look at his kind smile. I think it's very exciting. Sarutobi sighed. Everyone, please be quiet. Now that Chiba has come out, he has shown that he is willing to deal with this matter. Kinyi, you didn't do this right. How could you just arrest those villagers? Why can't we catch him? Chiba asked back. Advertisement. They didn't do anything wrong? It's wrong for you to arrest them like this. Sarutobi advised. Let them go quickly and apologize to the villagers. Sarutobi was quite sincere when he said this. Chiba smiled. Third generation Sama should know why I arrested them. Demon Fox. Kinyi's eyes suddenly turned cold. They are calling the demon fox again, insulting and even beating a four-year-old child. Did they do the right thing? Sarutobi squinted. But we can't just arrest him. Why not? Chiba is extremely tough. The Kanaha Police Department is here to maintain law and order in the village and act in accordance with the law. I asked people to arrest them, but what I did was wrong. But, Chiba paused and continued. What was violated? Sarutobi said, but at least they shouldn't be arrested. They don't deserve this. Right now, Naruto, who has been wandering around, is back. Entered everyone's sight. Demon Fox. The Demon Fox is indeed here. Everything happened because of the Demon Fox. The Demon Fox is indeed a bad omen, kill him, otherwise the village will be destroyed. The Demon Fox wants to destroy the village again. People can't help it. The malice was revealed again. However, this time Naruto did not timidly lower his head and walk away like before. This time, he held his head high and looked at them fearlessly. He walked slowly and firmly to Kinyi's side. Together with him, he looked at the group of innocent villagers who shouted to drive him away or even kill him. He was still a little scared. But, it's not what it used to be. Snapped. Now, Chiba clapped his hands, and in an instant, all the Uchiha people from the police department came out and surrounded all these villagers. Chiba, what are you going to do? Sarutobi Hiruzen shouted. Do you have to do something wrong? Chiba looked at Sarutobi with indifferent eyes. May I ask, Mr. Third Generation, should I be arrested for insulting a descendant of a hero? Sarutobi's expression finally changed. Should. Then let me ask Third Generation Sama, is Naruto's father considered a hero? Sarutobi spoke. Can I catch them? Just them, insult Naruto. Chiba questioned Sarutobi word by word, waiting for his answer. Advertisement. Chapter 15 Naruto's father is fourth Hokage. Advertisement. Sarutobi said nothing, but his face was already a little ugly. The situation has developed to this point and has gradually become somewhat beyond his control. He did think a lot, but I didn't expect that Chiba would make a fuss about this. And it is also because of this that it is now passive. Seeing that Sarutobi didn't speak, Chiba sneered. Master third generation, let me ask you again, why don't you speak? Why, do you think the laws set by the second Hokage are inappropriate, or are you saying that Naruto's father is not a hero? At this time, Chiba's eyes were cold. Looking at the angry crowd before, he sneered. You can still survive, but do you know why? Seeing that no one spoke, Kinyi asked again. Do you know who sacrificed his life on the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion to save you? An Uchiha spoke at this time. It's the fourth Hokage. Chiba said again. Is the fourth Hokage a hero? At this time, the villagers spoke. Calculate. Then why do you treat his descendants like this? He pointed at Naruto and said. Uzumaki Naruto is the only son of fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato. His father died protecting the village. In order to protect you, he even sealed the demon fox in Naruto. And how did you treat the son of the fourth Hokage? Following Chiba's words. Suddenly, all the villagers' eyes widened. A look of disbelief. What? Demon. Uzumaki Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage. How is that possible? If he was the fourth Hokage's son, how could he have ended up in this situation? After the fourth Hokage died, no one took him in? How could this happen? This moment. Shock, disbelief and other emotions filled their hearts. They looked at this scene in disbelief. It was hard to believe that the demon fox they talked about, who had been rejected for a long time, was actually the only son of the fourth Hokage. In their eyes, it was just the incarnation of the demon fox that night. But, how so? It was actually the fourth Hokage who sealed the demon fox inside his son in order to protect the village. That, everything they had done before, everything they had insulted. Demon fox. This moment. The villagers still couldn't believe it. If that's the case, wouldn't everything they did before be repaying kindness with enmity for their benefactors? Naruto. It's not a demon fox at all. Rather, the hero who protected Kanaha. This moment. After hearing Chiba's words, Naruto was also stunned. His eyes trembled, he couldn't believe what he just heard, and he couldn't help but ask. Uncle, my father, my father, is the fourth Hokage. Advertisement. Chiba nodded. Your father, named Namikaze Minato, was the fourth Hokage. He died on the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion. In order to protect the village, he chose to seal Nine Tails in you at the cost of his life, thereby protecting everyone. Then, then I. He wanted to say, then my father was the fourth Hokage and died for the village. Why was I treated like this? Why, none of them have ever been kind to me. Even one? This moment. Naruto was completely stunned. 
He originally thought it was because he had made some mistakes, or his parents had made some mistakes. So, that's why he was rejected like this. Being hated, disgusted, insulted, even beaten. But, someone told him today. No, not at all. His parents weren't really evil people, and he didn't make any mistakes. Even, his parents were heroes, the fourth Hokage this village once had. He died trying to save the village, and he has the monster that once destroyed the village sealed inside him. At this moment, after learning the truth, Naruto stood there blankly, looking at the stunned villagers in front of him, he also looked at the kind third Hokage. But my mind was already blank. He accepted the facts and did not accept the facts. He accepted that his father was a hero, but he couldn't accept why he was treated like this. At this moment, his myriad emotions were reduced to just three words. Why? This sentence sounded suddenly. I don't know who I'm asking the question to. He might also be asking Chiba or his uncle. Or maybe, he was asking the villagers. Or maybe, he was asking this third Hokage. But, no one answered. Why is this happening? Naruto asked again, but still silent. Naruto, things are not as simple as you think. After a while, Sarutobi spoke. His voice was dry and his face was complicated. He wanted an explanation, but Naruto didn't listen. He looked at the third Hokage and asked, Master third generation, is my father really the fourth Hokage? Yes. This time, third generation didn't hold anything back and spoke truthfully. Naruto said no more. He paid no attention to anyone and walked away alone. When he left, none of the villagers dared to stop him. Subconsciously, he stepped back and made way. Naruto didn't seem to notice. He just walked blankly and left here. He was like a wounded lone wolf. The figure of my father once again appeared in my mind. Advertisement. This time, my father's face was no longer blank. He had seen Hokage Shadow Rock. Played pranks on it. I also envied these four Hokage in Kanaha. He kept thinking that if he could become a Hokage, he would be loved by many people, right? Becoming a Hokage gradually took root in his young mind. He is not so eager now, because he hasn't won this difficult life yet. He is struggling with life and whether he is hungry or not. But today, but he knew that one of the Hokages he longed for was his father. Naruto walked away. No one knows where he went. He just walked away slowly, step by step. Don't worry about anyone anymore. When Naruto left, some Uchiha tribe members looked at Chiba subconsciously. Chiba shook his head. The moment the truth comes to light, he needs to take it alone. Even though he is Naruto's uncle, Naruto has to grow up. He will definitely know the truth. Now, it's just ahead of schedule. This will have a great impact on his soul. But, it is also a process of transformation. His future road will be broad and long. It is difficult to go forward simply relying on the help of others. Now, Chiba turned around, looking at the third Hokage who came with the people, Sarutobi Hiruzen. The smile is no longer on his face. There is only indifference. Master third generation, you haven't answered my question yet. Should these people be arrested? Sarutobi sighed. It was as if he had grown old in an instant. I concealed Naruto's identity to protect him. After all, Minato has made countless enemies. If they learn about Naruto, Chiba has heard this once before. Therefore, these words were not addressed to him. It was against the villagers and other people who didn't know the inside story. Chiba ignored it and said, So, can I catch you? Sarutobi was silent. Okay, you did the right thing. Kinyi waved his hand and ordered. Then, as Mr. Third Generation said, all those involved today will be arrested. In addition, Chiba paused. Then he looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen and continued. These people are all brought by the Third Generation. Although you are not like them, you still have responsibilities. Sarutobi suddenly narrowed his eyes. You want to arrest me too? Chiba shook his head. Of course it's not necessary, but if you just say a few words to deal with Naruto's experiences over the years, wouldn't it be like child's play? What do you want? Advertisement. My brother's original house was destroyed, but Kanaha helped rebuild it, so it shouldn't be a problem, right? Sarutobi nodded. This is not a difficult task. In addition, although my brother once had the last words to help Kanaha, Naruto's part of his property should also be included. Take it out. Sarutobi took a deep breath. The property Minato left behind is gone. The last ones had been compensated by Sarutobi to Cloud Shinobi Village. After all, two Jonin died in Cloud Shinobi Village. If Kanaha doesn't pay some compensation, I'm afraid the war will really happen again. He, Sarutobi, doesn't have the guts. That's all. Chiba said, I don't care about the use, as long as the result is the result, it should belong to Naruto. Good. Sarutobi was silent for a long time and chose to agree. Before leaving, Sarutobi said, you announced Naruto's identity today. Next, he may be in danger. Chiba sneered. If anyone really dares to come, then I will do it. Master Hokage, please leave without sending me away. Sarutobi left. This confrontation was somewhat different from what he expected. He originally expected that no matter whether Kinyi did good or bad, he would benefit. But now, this is no longer the case. This was a challenge to his Hokage authority. Fortunately, stop the loss in time. The subsequent processing method has been roughly thought out. At worst, it's Danzo's fault. After Sarutobi left, Uchiha, who was present, looked at Chiba with eyes that had changed. Much more convincing. This is the most proud time for Uchiha. Even when facing the third Hokage, their captain still did not choose to retreat. There was even a win. This is an encouragement to them. At this time, someone asked. Chiba-sama, Master Naruto, don't you send someone to take a look, in case there is any danger. Chiba shook his head. Let him be quiet for a while and think about it. The truth is often cruel. He wanted to give Naruto a better childhood. Simply being material is no longer enough. The treatment he received in the past was too unfair, and in his heart, he even felt guilty. To this village, to the people of this village. But should there be? It shouldn't. Tearing it all apart bloody is the first step for him to truly hold his head high. Transformation will begin from here. P.S. That's it for today. I'm not in a very good state and I'm a little unsatisfied with the writing. In fact, I have thought about this plot myself. I could have made Naruto a little more miserable, and written the darkness he encountered in more detail. But this way, because I have written it before, it doesn't make sense, and secondly, it doesn't mean much. Necessary. At the beginning of this book, I thought about letting him live as a son of the fourth Hokage under the influence of the protagonist. He would have past experiences and would not be a dandy or do badly. Likewise, you won't be so sensitive and have low self-esteem. 
He is undoubtedly a poor person, so I don't want to write about him being so miserable, but let him enjoy a real life in the identity he truly deserves. Of course, this is my first time writing from this perspective. If there are readers who are reasonably interested in it, please give me some feedback. Your encouragement will be the biggest motivation for the young author to write. Bow and thank you. Advertisement. Chapter 16 You can be kind, but don't be stupid. Advertisement. On this day, news about Naruto's life experience began to spread in the village. Few people thought that this demon fox was once hated, disliked, and even despised by most people in the village. He is actually a descendant of the fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato who saved the village. And, he is the only son. The descendant of a hero was treated like this. Food for thought. Moreover, most people in the village had shown ill will toward him. Now after hearing the news, I couldn't help but be stunned. But after being stunned, some express regret. But there are others who take a different approach. Since he is the son of Lord Fourth Generation, why did he become like this? He carries the demon fox on his body, which is inherently very dangerous. If the demon fox is released, then we who are protected by Lord Fourth Generation will be endangered again. Injured. Yes, Mr. Fourth Generation is Mr. Fourth Generation. It is undeniable that he is the hero of the village, but the demon fox has not done anything beneficial to the village. He has not protected us, and even, threatened our safety. What we did is right. The demon fox will break out sooner or later. We are taking precautions in advance. The demon fox must be hiding, pretending to be Lord Fourth Generation's son. Lord Fourth Generation's real son must have died long ago. If not, why didn't Lord Third Generation treat him well? There are more and more words like this. Even, completely overshadowing those who feel guilty. More and more people, from the initial shock, turned to crusade. But I didn't dare to be as blatant as before. They believe that the real son of the fourth generation has been bewitched by the demon fox, or more simply, has died in the hands of the demon fox. And strong support, or evidence. This was the previous third generation's attitude towards Naruto. If he is really a descendant of the fourth generation, how could the third generation ignore him and make him so miserable? This kind of news is getting worse and worse. Almost unstoppable. Hokage office. Sarutobi returned from the police department. This time the confrontation did not result in any advantage. It even affected some of his prestige among the villagers. This is nothing. The most critical point seems to be to help Nami Kazechiba establish prestige in the police department. After all, this is the first time Uchiha has dared to steal the Hokage so hard. Even, it hasn't failed yet. That's the main thing. As for the villagers' reaction, it doesn't matter. Today, the news in the village is still under Sarutobi's control. The news in the village, with a little guidance, will lead to the results Sarutobi wants. He has been in charge of Kanaha for so many years. If he can't even guide public opinion, wouldn't he become a joke? Now these things have come to an end. Chiba is in charge of the Kanaha police department, which is now considered completely stable. However, there is no way. Bang! There was a knock on the door, and Sarutobi raised his eyebrows, come in. Short hair, lumpy nose. Advertisement. Wearing the uniform of the Uchiha police department, the family emblem is clearly visible on the shoulder. Third generation Sama. The visitor spoke respectfully. Sarutobi smiled. Shisui is back, how's it going? Mission accomplished. Shisui nodded. It has been successfully completed. That's good. Sarutobi nodded and said at the same time. A lot of things happened in the village during your absence in the past few days, and among them, Uchiha has a lot to do with it. After hearing this, Shisui trembled. Asked urgently. Master third generation, they are clan members. Sarutobi said, don't worry, we haven't reached that situation yet, and with Fugaku here, Uchiha won't get to that point. Shisui breathed a sigh of relief. He thought that during his absence, Uchiha had rebelled in advance. Fine. Sarutobi continued. You are a descendant of Mirror. To the village, you are more trustworthy than Fugaku. It's just that something happened in the police department these days. Namikaze Chiba took charge of the Kanaha police department, and led Uchiha to do many iron-blooded things. The reputation of the Uchiha clan is getting worse and worse in the village. Sarutobi sighed. If this continues, I'm afraid it will be more difficult for Uchiha to gain a foothold in the village. Shisui frowned. Sarutobi continued. You are a member of the police department. This time you go back, I will not give you any additional tasks. You only have one task, keep an eye on Namikaze Chiba. Otherwise, Uchiha, I'm afraid he will be even crazier. Yes. Shisui took the order. Leave Sarutobi's office. Not long after he left the Hokage building, he met several villagers. When they saw his police department uniform, they immediately showed fear. He ran away quickly and said at the same time, Uchiha is here to arrest someone again, run away. Uchiha is here again. Hearing these words, Shisui's step suddenly stopped. Waited in place for a while. Then, the pace suddenly quickened. He really wanted to see what level Uchiha had reached now. Why did his reputation in the village drop so low? And at this moment, Chiba walked out of the Kanaha police department. He walked to the Kanaha shadow rock. Sure enough, there was a small figure lying on the fourth Hokage shadow rock. Chiba jumped up in one step. He also lay down next to Naruto. Advertisement. Kinyi found a root of grass from somewhere and held it in his mouth. At the same time, he also crossed his legs. The sun is pouring down, and it's quite comfortable to lie here with the breeze blowing. Chiba narrowed his eyes and enjoyed it quite a bit. Neither of them spoke. Chiba came over as if just to lie down. After a while, Naruto's voice suddenly sounded. Uncle, I'm so sad. Don't think about it if you're sad. You're a kid, why do you think so much? But, I still can't understand why they treated me like that. Kinyi looked at the sky. Sometimes there is no need for a reason for a person's bad behavior. What's the use of pursuing the reason after the matter has passed? Naruto looked at him confused. Chiba continued. Even if you pursue it further, what will happen even if you know the reason? It has already happened. It's better to live a good life from today on. Naruto, you have to remember one thing. You don't live for them, you live for yourself. Your parents don't want you to be like this either. But, Naruto said, I still can't get over it. Chiba smiled and said, then don't go there. They have hurt you. Why do you need to understand and forgive them? Just take revenge. Naruto was stunned. Is this really okay? Why not? Do you have to convince yourself to forgive someone when they treat you badly? Why bother yourself? Having a kind heart is a good thing, but it doesn't mean you have to be kind to everyone. Well, not everyone is a good person and is willing to accept your kindness. You can have a kind heart, but you can't show kindness everywhere. Chiba said, maybe your kindness is pure stupidity in the eyes of others. Chiba stood up. Stand and look down. 
Don't forgive, don't look for reasons. If you feel uncomfortable or dissatisfied, vent it out. They don't deserve your forgiveness. Naruto sat up. Look towards the village in the distance. But if that's the case, won't you never get recognition from others? The human world is both big and small. It's so big that you can come into contact with all kinds of people and make different friends. It's so small that even if you come into contact with so many people and get to know so many, you can still say what's in your heart until the end. There are only a few people who can feel free to tell them what you are worried about. Or even, not a single one. Chiba looked on. His eyes became deeper. As long as the person you love recognizes you, isn't it enough? Naruto was touched by this. Finally he smiled. Then I just need to get approval from my uncle and Hinata. Chiba couldn't help but laugh. Touched Naruto's head. Advertisement. Work hard, otherwise, you won't be able to marry Hinata. Naruto pouted. Hinata said she would only marry me. Ha 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 ha. On fourth generation Mechage Rock, Chiba laughed loudly. Laughing so freely. Police department. Shisui walked in. Watching Uchiha coming and going, busy from time to time, there was doubt in his heart. Because in his memory, the tribesmen were not so diligent. On the contrary, I usually feel more sorry for myself here. Complain about the village and express dissatisfaction with the village. They have considerable strength and are unwilling to settle here. Many people even made rude remarks and threatened to rebel. But now, seems brand new. The tribesmen became full of motivation and even walked much faster. Because of this, Shisui was very puzzled. At the same time, it also made him even more curious about Namikaze Chiba. He came to the door of the captain's office. There was a knock on the door, but no one responded. Until some time passed, Shisui wanted to leave. Chiba came back with Naruto. Chiba didn't know Shisui. After seeing it now, she couldn't help but ask. What, is something wrong? Are you, Chiba-sama? I am. Shisui said hurriedly. I am Uchiha Shisui. I have just returned from a mission. I am here to pay my respects to Chiba-sama. Oh, come in then. Chiba opened the door. Shisui followed. Chiba has heard of Shisui. After all, the third ninja war is quite famous. At this stage, it seems that Manjikyo is open. Sit. Chiba pointed to the seat in front of him. I know something about your name. You are a descendant of Uchiha Kagami, right? You should have met the third generation when you returned from the mission. Why, he handed over the mission and asked you to come and keep an eye on me. Shisui's heart skipped a beat. But he smiled and said. Chiba-sama is joking. I am a member of Uchiha. When I come back this time, I must obey your orders. There was an evil smile on Chiba's lips. But I'm not Uchiha. Advertisement. Chapter 17 Questioning Shisui. Advertisement. Although my lord is not an Uchiha, with my lord here, I can lead the Uchiha clan to do more things, maintain law and order in the village, and protect the village. Chiba looked at Shisui in front of her and smiled. No need to put a high hat on me. You are smart and should understand Uchiha's current situation. I don't care whether third generation has given you any tasks. Besides, since I'm here, I don't care about this. You have to be clear about Uchiha. Is it your Uchiha or the village's Uchiha? Shisui paused. Of course, the village's Uchiha. Chiba smiled and said. You're right, Uchiha, the village's Uchiha. But, Shisui, how did the village treat Uchiha? Without waiting for Shisui to answer, Chiba continued. The Uchiha of the past was the Uchiha of the village. He was devoted to the village and would not think about anything else. Even Uchiha would obey any orders from the village. But what's the result? Chiba looked at Shisui and asked. What did Uchiha get? Shisui was stunned. After looking at each other for a while, Chiba finally lowered his head and replied. Powers of the police department. Hehe. He. Chiba chuckled. Good answer. Uchiha obtained the police department and thus obtained the power to guard the security of the village and maintain the tranquility of the village. This is what Second Hokage has given us. Uchiha is adhering to the legacy of Second Generation and working hard to make the village better. Uchiha Shisui, now I ask you, do you think the will of the Second Generation is more important, or the will of the Third Generation is more important? This. Shisui was stunned for a moment. He never thought about it. Now he looked at Kinyi blankly, and for a moment, he didn't know how to answer. After thinking about it for a while, he replied. Third generation Sama, inherited the will of the second generation. Then you think the second Hokage's will is more important. Shisui gritted his teeth. Even though third generation inherited the will of second generation, there are differences. So, when Shiba asked whether he was loyal to the second generation or the third generation, it undoubtedly made him extremely embarrassed. You must know that Uchiha Kagami is a subordinate of second generation and is loyal to second Hokage Senju Tobirama. Likewise, the will of the second generation has been inherited, and deeply affected him. From the bottom of his heart, he still recognized the will of second generation. After all, this is the same line of descent. Advertisement. Moreover, he believes that the third generation has inherited the will of the second generation and is also the most qualified successor. He is loyal to the third generation and upholds the will of the second generation. This is a kind of recognition and sustenance. But now, Chiba cut the problem directly into the most essential point. Is his allegiance to the second generation or the third generation? If he is loyal to the second generation, then Uchiha, who has inherited the will of the second generation, is also recognized by the second generation. If it was third generation, that would be tantamount to him betraying Uchiha, or Uchiha under the will of second generation. Kinyi raised the corners of his mouth and looked at the person in front of him with a smile. What would you choose? Shisui was confused. In the end, he could only grit his teeth and say, Master third generation upholds Nidame's will, and his actions will be like Nidame. No, Shisui, you think too simply. Chiba said, Where was Uchiha under the second Hokage? Where was Uchiha under the third Hokage? Under Nidame's rule, what was Uchiha doing? Maintaining public order in the village, working for the tranquility of the village, and the tranquility of Kanaha. At that time, Uchiha was the Uchiha of the village, there is no doubt. But what about now? The Uchiha family is far away from the village, on the edge, next to the prison. What is Uchiha doing now? You should know better than me. Are you the only one in Uchiha who sees the problem? Are you the only one who cares about Uchiha? Chiba shook his head. Each of them will consider the relationship between Uchiha and the village. But the village's actions have already chilled their hearts. There has long been a rift between Uchiha and the village that is irreparable. If this development continues, there will be only one result, one party will perish. Chiba's eyes were cold. Uchiha Shisui, tell me, what should you do when the village and Uchiha come to the exact opposite side? 
I. His body trembled slightly, unable to think of an answer. One is the family that gave you birth and raised you, gave you a surname, and gave you abilities. The other is a village that seems to have inherited the will of the second generation. For Uchiha, who also inherited the will of the second generation, they did not choose to cooperate, but keep away. They are afraid of the emergence of the true will of the second generation. Is Uchiha stronger than Kanaha? Not necessarily. Is Uchiha really such a big threat to the village? As the person next to the third generation, you should have the most say and distinguish the strength of the two forces. There is no doubt that Uchiha is much worse than the village. As a member of Uchiha, why don't you know what your people think? Are they willing to rebel and oppose the village? No. Chiba is very straightforward and straightforward. They are just protesting against this injustice. They are also protesting. They are also the inheritors of the will of the second generation. Why are they treated like this? Even. Being constantly under surveillance, no freedom. Shisui's face looked blank. He was thinking about the problem. As a member of Uchiha, he understands Uchiha better than third generation and Danzo. Know that they hold great power. Advertisement. Because of this, he is feared by others. The meaning of third generation was that they were afraid that Uchiha would lose control and threaten the village, so they deliberately imposed restrictions. Shisui also believes that this is the case for the prosperity and better development of the village. But, is this approach fair to Uchiha? Did they do something? Nor. It's just a possibility. Those in power will undoubtedly want to prevent this possibility. This is why Uchiha is treated differently. Even Shisui himself thinks so. Can. Chiba told him today. Uchiha also adheres to the will of the second generation. After all, the Kanaha police department was founded by the second generation, and its purpose is to use the power of Uchiha to truly transform them into the Uchiha of the village. But up to now, it has deviated from its original intention. Once it continues, it will be the Uchiha of the past. Uchiha in history. The ethnic group Shisui once belonged to will no longer exist. How should he choose? The confusion on Shisui's face was even worse. Chiba was not in a hurry to wait for his answer. Shisui is undoubtedly very powerful in the Uchiha clan. With Mangekyo, he shouldn't be much weaker than Fugaku. More importantly, he is young. Became famous earlier than Uchiha Itaki. Worth courting. But, if there is really no other way, Chiba doesn't mind taking action and seizing this pair of Mangekyo. A long while. He finally asked. Is it still possible for the village and the clan to coexist? Have. Chiba answered quickly. Let the true will of the second Hokage come. Sarutobi has deviated from the original intention of second generation. He has inherited the will of second generation and at the same time abandoned the will of second generation. He is a plagiarist. The only way for the village to coexist with the clan is to replace the third generation. Chiba said it very straightforwardly. It also directly exposed his ambition. He takes charge of Uchiha and will be the successor to the will of second generation. He will carry out the second generation's will and eliminate those hateful betrayers. And this point depends on Uchiha Shisui's choice. Do you choose orthodoxy or betrayer? Certainly. In fact, Chiba is indifferent even to the second generation's will. Advertisement. He admired second Hokage. Senju Tobirama, although not as powerful as Hashirama, is far stronger than other Hokage in terms of means and vision. His period was the beginning of Kanaha's true prosperity. As for Sarutobi, he took over this huge ninja village from the second generation and used what the second generation left behind. Then, Kanaha's power was defeated time and time again, even though subsequent ninjas with potential also left. White Fang, Sunin, who is not a powerful ninja, but once he is forced to commit suicide and leaves the village, he becomes completely discouraged. Of course what Orikimaru did was wrong. But why did Tsunade leave, and why did his lover and brother die? There are natural reasons for this. But more importantly, all the Senja clan died on the battlefield and the Uzumaki clan was destroyed. At this time, Tsunade still doesn't understand why. Kanaha is no longer Senju's Kanaha. Call? Now. Shisui exhaled deeply. Hearing these audacious words, his breathing quickened. After all, Sarutobi asked him to come here just to keep an eye on Namikaze Chiba. The other party, without any reservation, told him directly his intention. So how does he choose the rest? Should I continue with third generation, or, choose Uchiha? You don't have to be so quick to give me an answer. Go see Uchiha, see where you live. Shisui left with a serious look on his face. When I went out, I saw the tribesmen coming and going in a hurry, with smiles on their faces. In them, Shisui saw a vitality that he had not seen in a long time. They no longer have hatred or crazy ideas, but are doing things seriously. He was at a loss again, in the captain's office. Looking at Shisui leaving, Chiba's eyes did not waver. Well, Uchiha, his personality is one thing, but in fact, it's an inappropriate metaphor. The Uchiha clan is more like Urha in the previous life. If you have too much energy and don't vent it out, you will easily get into trouble. The solution is naturally very simple. It's just that Sarutobi couldn't see it. No, it should be said that he was too cowardly. He cannot control this power. I also know that it is difficult to control myself. So, I left it in my own hands. It's a good strategy. He laughed. Uchiha and Hayaga, two major families in Konoha. If he can hold it completely in his hands, he will initially have the ability to challenge Sarutobi. Advertisement. Chapter 18 Conquering Uchiha Itaki. Advertisement. Clan Leader. Uchiha Shisui salutes. In front of him was Fugaka, the leader of the Uchiha clan. Fugaka pointed to the seat in front of him. Sit. Shisui sat down obediently. Have you been to see Kinyi? Yes. Have you made a choice? Not yet? Shisui said with some distress. Although what Lord Chiba said makes sense, it still feels a bit strange. When I heard this, I couldn't make sense at the moment and couldn't make a choice. Fugaka smiled slightly. It's normal. You are a descendant of Uchiha Kagami, and you are the person most directly affected by the second Hokage swill. You believe in the second Hokage swill from the bottom of your heart. Although the third generation took over this village from the second generation, it is not the will of the second generation. The will of fire he talked about is a mixture of second generation and first generation, plus his own ideas, mixed together. It can be said that what the third generation is talking about is neither the second generation nor the first generation. It can be called the will of the third generation. Shisui is puzzled. Then what Chibasama has inherited is the orthodox second generation will. Fugaku shook his head. 
What kind of second generation will is he? Not to mention him, even the fourth Hokage didn't inherit any first generation or second generation will. The two brothers don't believe in anyone's will at all. The fourth generation is a little better. At least they will consider the will of these two Hokage sages and implement their own methods. Unfortunately, the fourth generation died too early and did not cause any waves. As long as the fourth generation is in power for a certain period of time, there will inevitably be irreducible conflicts with the third generation. Fugaku affirmed. It's a clash of old and new. Shisui looked confused. The second Hokage took over the village from the first Hokage, but the second Hokage's approach is different from that of the first generation. Why is this? Because the first generation is too powerful. During his reign, together with our Uchiha ancestors, the two of them can rival the other four countries. Even if the ancestors leave, the strength of the first generation can still be intimidating. Therefore, first Hokage has an extremely strong will. Maybe he does not have such a domineering character, but his strength is already a great shock. Second generation does not have such strength, so it will use means and other forces to make up for it. For this reason, he gave us Uchiha powers to better integrate us into the village and become one with the village. So during the second generation, Kanaha was still strong. Even if Cloud Shinobi village comes to start a war, Kanaha is not afraid. Even the second Hokage takes action and beats Cloud Shinobi to death. Fugaku continued. But now that the third generation is in power, things are different. The third generation does not have the courage of the second generation, and its strength has been reduced. It is difficult for him to control these big families, and it is even difficult for him to control some people. Therefore, he will use different methods to check and balance. Like us, most of Uchiha's subsequent decisions are made by Danzo. Doesn't third generation know about Danzo's secret actions? No, he knows, but he can't control Uchiha's power, so he needs Danzo to check and balance. Although Danzo is arrogant and vicious, he is also a sword in the hands of the third generation, or in other words, a secret dagger. He is using Danzo to check other families, stabilize the village, and stabilize his own rule. Advertisement. But this has great disadvantages. Once there is a war, it is difficult for the third generation to believe that any one force will use it. However, there are also checks and balances, making it difficult for the major forces in Kanaha to restrain each other and exert their full power. But to do this, third generation needed a kind of faith to make his behavior extremely reasonable. Therefore, he merged the will of the first two Hokages and created the will of fire. The will of fire is the will of the third generation. Shisui gradually understood. Fugaku continued. Actually, there is no need to be so entangled. Chiba is very ambitious. He doesn't care whose will Uchiha obeys, nor does he care whether the third generation inherits the will of the second generation. He is a person who will use whatever is useful. Fugaku smiled and said, Believe it or not, if you believe in the will of the first generation, then he will also speak clearly about the will of the first generation. Shisui was stunned. Can it still be like this? Doesn't that mean that the will of the previous Hokage is extremely grand master? Seeing Shisui's reaction, Fugaku sighed. He is an out-and-out -out genius, even more so than Minato. As for several Hokage, no one knows better than him. In fact, Chiba is more suitable to be the Hokage of the village, but, he is not willing to do it. If he had this intention in the past, then the fourth generation project should be him. Shisui looked shocked. Fugaku said, you can observe for a while longer without making a decision in a hurry. Achiha, although the situation is very dangerous, it is not the day to make a final decision yet. Fugaku sees clearly. The pressure on the clan has reached a limit. Either they will be destroyed, or they will have no choice but to follow Namikaze Chiba and find a new path. Shisui asked, is there no other way? Fugaku shook his head. The third generation cannot tolerate Uchiha unless, most of us die. Only such an Uchiha would be willing to be controlled, thus fully integrating into the village. But, is Uchiha willing? Will not. The contradiction is irreconcilable. Fugaku looked at Shisui. You are the genius of the clan and attack his best friend. No matter what decision you make, I will support you. Shisui leaves from Fugaku. Although the contradiction was clarified, it became even more entangled. He has a choice to make. Shisui. Shisui looked up. I saw a boy wearing Uchiha clothes. She has short black hair, black pupils, delicate facial features, long eyelashes at the upper and lower corners of her eyes, and her biggest feature is the two tear troughs starting from the corners of her eyes. Uchiha Itaki. Itaki, long time no see. Advertisement. Shisui smiled when he saw his best friend. Are you back from your mission? Yeah, just got back. Big things happened in the village during the days you were out. Shisui nodded. He had already heard about Naruto's life experience. And the villagers arrested. This gave the Uchiha tribesmen a greater sense of belonging to the village. Shisui looked at Itaki and suddenly asked. Itaki, what do you think our clan should choose? Shisui did not regard the young Itaki as a child. He knew very well that his best friend was very smart and had started thinking about these issues early on. Therefore, he also wanted to hear his opinion. Should I choose third generation Sama or Chiba-sama? Itaki raised his head, his eyes showing a depth that was not for his age. Many people in the clan have changed. They have rekindled their hope. They no longer hate the village, but hope that their efforts can help them integrate back into it. I think over time they will change again. But Lord Third Generation, Shisi, Itaka called him, his face becoming more serious. Don't think so much. It's better to wait a little longer and see the changes in the clan and the village. Shisui looked at Itaka for a long time and finally nodded. Before he left, he said, Perhaps, you can go see Lord Shiva. Good. After separation, Itaka came to the Kanaha Police Department. Knocked on the office door. Come in. Itaki walked inside. Lord Chiba. It's Itaki. Chiba looked at this other talented boy from Uchiha, a genius who was able to annihilate Uchiha as a teenager. Uchiha has no shortage of talent. Itaki is one of them. Have you met Shisui? Um, tell me, what do you want to ask when you come to see me? Itaki said directly, what do we need to do next? Advertisement. Be safe and abide by the law and maintain public order in the village. Only these. Chiba looked at Itaki with a smile. Don't think of me too recklessly. There are indeed irreconcilable conflicts between Uchiha and the village, but no major conflict will break out in a short period of time. Itaki, I'm not an idiot like Sarutobi. If I want to control Uchiha, it's easy. I see. Weasel said. 
Sir, do you want to become a Hokage? No, Chiba said. I want to give Naruto a happy childhood. And I will kill anyone who stands in the way of this, even the Hokage. I understand. Itaka suddenly said. Chiba-sama, please allow me to join the police department. Sarutobi must be very optimistic about you. Why do you want to join the police department? Itaka said truthfully. Because I want to see the changes in the clan. I think maybe Chiba-sama will change it. Chiba laughed. Okay, I agree. Weasel said. However, if the adults cannot change Uchiha, I will choose to withdraw. Chiba looked at him. You don't have this chance. Itaki, this will be the best choice you make. Itaka left. Chiba looked down at the busy Uchiha tribe through the window. At this moment, he knew that this unruly clan had begun to bow to him. P.S. The plot is explained here, and the plot will be much better next. In fact, when I was writing these, I have been hesitating because these two chapters are a bit hard to read, and I don't know how many readers will be scared away. However, I still feel that it is necessary to write something. After all, Uchiha and Kanaha are, strictly speaking, very contradictory. The third generation is naturally not a kind old man. As the leader of the village, he has a lot to consider. This person seems to be a contradiction, but in fact he is not. There is no conflict between him dying for the village and using some means. The conflict between Uchiha and Kanaha is indeed irreconcilable. Uchiha's power is difficult for the third generation to control, so it needs to be checked and balanced. Once it cannot be checked and balanced, then destruction is undoubtedly the solution. In the original work, the third generation actually wanted to keep this power, but had no choice but to do it too quickly. In a short time, he there is no better way. The human heart is difficult to control. So, Uchiha died. Itaka defected. I will try my best to avoid such large description contradictions in the subsequent plots, of course, if there are still readers reading. Finally, thank you to the readers who are still reading. Please ask for some more data and take a bow. Advertisement. Chapter 19 Son of the Third Generation? Grasp. Advertisement. Haiga. Taken Uchiha. Hayashi looked at Chiba and asked involuntarily. Chiba nodded. In a short time, there won't be any problems. Hayashi smiled and said. What could go wrong? Fugaku shouldn't oppose you. The rest don't have the strength. Could it be that Uchiha Madara can be resurrected? Chiba smiled. I can't say for sure. After all, the second generation left Impure World Reincarnation here, so it's possible that it will be resurrected. Ha 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 ha. Hayashi laughed. Obviously, this is just Chiba's joke, and the possibility is not high. But if you really want to take action, Hayaga will help you. Hayashi suddenly looked serious. Chiba said curiously. Can you convince the others Hayaga? Hisashi and I have no problem, and no one else will object. Chiba joked. You are a loyal fan of Sarutobi, and now you just follow me. Hayashi said. How can I be loyal or unfaithful? He wants my brother's life. How can I still be the same as before? Chiba smiled and said nothing. Correct. Hayashi suddenly said. School is about to start. Naruto and Hinata are both old enough to enter school. What do you think? When you get older, you naturally have to enroll in school. It's good to go to school and learn something. Too. Chiba said. I'll send Naruto here. I also want to take a look at the current environment of this ninja school. Hayashi nodded. Chiba left. Early the next day, Chiba took Naruto to have breakfast. Ichiraku ramen. The habit of eating ramen in the morning has been basically formed. Naruto seems to have a special liking for ramen, which makes Chiba very helpless. Two bowls of hot ramen were served, and Naruto quickly started eating them. Probably because school started today, it was very early, but there were many customers. Chiba, right at this moment, suddenly someone shouted. Chiba turned his head, black curly hair, a pair of red eyes, and very delicate facial features. Sunset red. I've been back for so long and you haven't even looked for me once. Yui Hong came closer and stared at Kinyi, with some resentment in her eyes. She folded her hands on her chest and said dissatisfiedly, Why, are you still going to hide from me for the rest of your life? Chiba blinked twice. After coming back this time, there were so many things going on that I forgot about Yui Hong for a while. In the past, Chiba naturally did not have a stable temperament. I also incurred a lot of such peach blossom debts. Sunset Red is one of them. After all, she was one of the most beautiful female ninjas in those years. If she didn't do something at that time, I would be sorry for myself. Later, he left because he turned on Cheat, but he didn't expect that this girl was still waiting for him. Advertisement. Suddenly, Chiba has a headache. Especially, Yui Hong's resentful eyes. Chiba always feels like she owes something. Wow, sister is so beautiful. At this time, Naruto on the side couldn't help but speak and exclaimed. After hearing this, Yuri Hong's originally resentful face suddenly changed. After all, no one doesn't like compliments. Especially as a child. Yui Hong suddenly smiled and said. My little brother is really good at talking. Chiba stood aside and suddenly interjected. This is my nephew. In an instant, the smile on Hong's face stopped. Then he simply stretched out his hand, grabbed Kinyi's arm, and twisted his arm hard. He said angrily. Why, is it possible that I still want to call you uncle? Chiba thought for a while. If you're interested in this, you can actually change the name. Um, she pushed harder. Ah, uh, Chiba couldn't help shouting. He quickly pulled his arm back, this woman was a bit cruel. Then, Yui Kurane lowered her body and touched Naruto's head. Then you can't call me sister anymore. Naruto asked curiously, what should it be called? Yui Hong suddenly showed a sly smile. Call, aunt. Ah, uh, Naruto's eyes widened instantly, sweeping it back and forth on Chiba and Yuhi Hong's faces. His eyes became brighter and brighter, and a flame called Atrigrams ignited. Hello aunt, aunt is so beautiful, aunt is the most beautiful person I have ever seen. Oh, your little mouth is so sweet. Yui Hong smiled so hard that she couldn't even close her mouth. Even touching Naruto's head, he liked it no matter how much he looked at it. When the young and old met, they got along exceptionally harmoniously, but Kinyi was left aside. This made Chiba a little helpless. Is Naruto going to enroll in school? Yes, you must be the smartest ninja ever. We, Chiba did not disturb these two people and let them talk by themselves. And not long ago, suddenly, another person walked in. After entering, he quickly glanced around. Finally, his eyes fell on this place, and his eyes suddenly lit up. Red, why are you here? He has short black hair, a goatee, and a cigarette in the corner of his mouth. After coming in, he frowned and looked at Yui Hong. The identity of the visitor is already very clear. Sarutobi Asuma. 
the second son of Sarutobi Hiruzen. Advertisement. The moment Kurane Yui saw Sarutobi Asuma, the smile on her face disappeared immediately. Asuma, stop pestering me, I told you, I won't promise you. She frowned, her face covered with frost. She didn't like Asuma at all, but he kept pestering her. Especially the cigarette in her mouth, the strong smell of smoke was what she hated the most. Hong, you should know my thoughts, I, stop talking. Yui Hong interrupted directly and said simply, I hate you so much. Anger gradually appeared on Asuma's face. Why, is it possible that you are still thinking about Namikaze Chiba? He disappeared long ago, and now I don't even know if he is still alive. As soon as he finished speaking, he glanced at him. Then he saw Chiba with a faint smile on his side. There was a sudden thought in my heart. Chiba looked at him with a smile. Go on, why don't you say anything anymore? The smile on his face grew stronger. I also want to know if Namikaze Chiba is alive or not. Get up. Moving forward, Chiba came to Sarutobi Asuma. Smile and play. How about Master Asuma tell me the answer? Sarutobi Asuma subconsciously took a step back and said warily, Namikaze Chiba, you, when did you come back? Sarutobi Asuma has only recently returned to the village and is not very clear about many things in the village. There is still a shadow in his heart about Namikaze Chiba. It should be said that in their generation, there were few young people who had not been beaten. This guy is completely unreasonable and only cares about his mood. The last time, Chiba's reason for beating him was also very simple. Why isn't it sunny today? Then give him a fat beating. At this moment, after seeing the smile on Chiba's face, Asuma took another half step back. I didn't know you were here. Does that mean you often say bad things behind your back? Asuma's expression changed. I subconsciously want to walk away. However, Kinyi didn't give him this chance at all. Next moment, Chiba disappeared from the spot, and Asuma turned around and ran away. But it's still a little late. Chiba kicked him very simply. Bang! Asuma flew out directly. It hit the table and chair at the edge. Snapped. The tables and chairs shook and the corners were broken. Asuma stood up, his face filled with anger. Chiba looked at him and smiled. Village members who damaged their property must be compensated. Ichiraku came out of the inner room and was stunned when he saw this scene. Chiba looked back and smiled. Don't be afraid. Since Master Asuma did it, he will definitely compensate. If he doesn't. Snapped. 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 Advertisement. Chiba clapped his hands. Next moment. Several Uchiha members who were nearby rushed over. Chiba said, the police department is here and they will enforce the law. Asuma sneered. You made the first move. If we really want to enforce the law, we should arrest you first. Yeah. Chiba smiled, looked at the Uchiha next to him, and asked. You want to arrest me? Those Uchiha shook their heads. Is Uchiha so brave? Asuma asked angrily. One of them, Uchiha, said. We didn't see Mr. Chiba take action. We only saw you falling down, breaking other people's things, and trying to default on your debt. Chiba said, Master Asuma, you are also the son of the third Hokage after all. You are not really going to default on your debt, are you? If this matter spreads, it will not be good for third generation Sama. You don't want to do this, right? Asuma took a deep breath. Having understood the situation, he said, I'll compensate. Very good. Chiba looked at the tables and chairs and said, I have already seen these things. They have existed since the first Hokage period, or even earlier. They have been handed down and are of great value. Not to mention Kanaha, I'm afraid the entire ninja world is unique, but now it's broken. Twenty million tails should be barely enough to make up for these losses. Asuma said angrily, you are blackmailing. It has this value. Asuma, you don't have the vision to see it, but others may not have it. If you can't afford the compensation, I will have no choice but to enforce the law. By the way, I am now appointed by Lord Third Generation to be the captain of the Kanaha Police Department. Chiba smiled broadly. Look at Asuma. Call. Asuma breathed out. Now in this situation, it is obvious that we have no choice but to admit defeat. Then, go to your father and ask him to take action. He said, I need time to prepare. That won't work. If you run away, the person who comes next time will be Mr. Third Generation. Chiba said directly, catch him. I will tell Mr. Third Generation later and let him redeem you personally. As Chiba finished speaking, several Uchiha immediately stepped forward and tied Asuma up. Okay, take it back. Asuma was taken away. Chiba looked at Ichiraku and said, after he pays for these things, I will have someone send the losses over. Shouda opened his mouth, but in the end he didn't speak and nodded. Twenty million tails, this should be considered real. At Satsuki Furniture, right? Although Asuma has matured a lot in the future, he has really been a bad boy since he was a child. There are a lot of similar things like this done, but due to third generation's reputation, few are pursued. Chiba's beating of him in the past was also related to this. Nowadays, at most it is just collecting some interest. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Provoke Third Generation, What Can Hokage Do? Advertisement. Third Generation Sama, Sir, It's Not Good. Inside the Hokage office, a guard ran in quickly. Sarutobi frowned and looked up. What's the matter? Master, Master Asuma, something happened. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. What happened? What happened to Asuma? Master Asuma had a dispute with Namikaze Chiba and was arrested by the police. What? Suddenly, Sarutobi's expression changed. When did this happen? Not long ago. Now where is Namikaze Chiba? Probably, heading towards the ninja school. I see. Sarutobi stood up. The ninja school started today, and as the third Hokage, he wanted to go take a look. But now, the time has not yet come. But now it seems that it is impossible for him to move. Let me go. Now that you know my identity, how dare you touch me? Uchiha, are you trying to rebel? Asuma was tied up tightly and escorted back to the Kanaha police department. On the way, he was not honest and kept resisting. Among the group of people pressing him down, there was one who was not very old, but quite calm. His name is Weasel. Itaki looked at Asuma and said calmly, If I were you, I would be quieter and suffer less. You have to know that since Master Kinyi is willing to arrest you, he is not afraid of the forces behind you or trouble. Asuma snorted. It seems that Uchiha really wants to seize power. Do you think that relying on Namikaze Chiba can change your current situation? Stop dreaming. Uchiha, you will never get into the heart of the village. Itaka looked at him. What does that have to do with you? Uchiha can't enter the core of the village, and you, the second son of the third generation, can't be a Hokage. In the final analysis, you are able to be arrogant now because of the influence of Mr. Third Generation. Master Chiba said that you have no ability, you are just a waste who relies on your parents.
appearance. After saying that, Itaka said directly, Gag him. Uh, uh. Asuma was gagged. He struggled, but could only make a slight sound. No one paid any attention to him anymore. The changed Uchiha is very straightforward and efficient in his actions. After taking Asuma back, Itaka returned home. There was another little one waiting for him at home. Black hair, black eyes, delicate facial features. The hair and bangs are extended to the tail and gradually become broken hair. Wearing a black long-sleeved shirt with a stand-up collar and white shorts, the Uchiha clan emblem of a round fan is embroidered on the back. Nissan. The moment he saw Itaki, the little one smiled. Advertisement. Waved at Itaki. Itaki also smiled and patted his brother's head lovingly. Why are you waiting here for me if you don't go to school? Suzuki grinned. Didn't Nissan agree to give it to me? There's really nothing I can do about you. Itaki smiled helplessly. He knelt down, waved to Suzuki, and said with a smile. Come up, I'll carry you. Yeah. Suzuki ran over happily and jumped on Itaki's back. Nissan is the best. You have gone to school, so be obedient and study hard. Of course, I want to be as powerful as Nissan and become the best ninja. He he he. Itaki laughed. In this way, he carried Suzuki on his back and walked towards the ninja school. At this time, it was near the school. Chiba took Naruto's hand and looked at the school that appeared in front of her. Naruto looked at it curiously. Uncle, do I want to study here in the future? Yes, your father and I also went to school here. Wow. Naruto's eyes widened. Then which one of you is more powerful? You guess. Hmm. Probably dad. After all, he became the Hokage, but uncle didn't. Chiba reached out and messed up Naruto's golden hair. He was indeed the number one student in school back then. Of course, except for actual combat. Naruto suddenly felt motivated to fight. Then I also want to be number one, just like dad. It's good if you have this ambition. When arriving at the door, they happened to meet Itaka carrying Suzuki on his back. Lord Chiba. Itaka spoke. Itaki, are you taking your younger brother to school? Well, Suzuki is of age too. Chiba smiled and looked at Suzuki on Itaka's back. You're so old, and you're still relying on your brother. If you get bullied in school, won't you be crying? Huh, no way. Suzuki snorted and struggled to get off his brother's back. Seeing Naruto looking at him curiously again, he immediately turned his head. Very arrogant. My name is Uzumaki Naruto. Naruto held out his hand. Achiha Suzuki. Although he was arrogant, Suzuki still extended his hand. The two little ones held each other. Chiba smiled. We've arrived at school. Naruto, you and Suzuki go in together. We'll watch from outside. Good. Advertisement. Naruto nodded in agreement. Suzuki was still hesitant and looked back at his brother. Itaka smiled and said, Go ahead Suzuki, I'll wait for you outside. All right. That's it. The two little ones entered the school. Chiba looked at their backs and couldn't help but sigh. It's great to be young. Itaka stood aside and watched, but didn't answer. Asuma is escorted back. Chiba asked. Um, Itaka raised his doubts. Sir, would it be a little impulsive for us to arrest Mr. Third Generation's second son so hastily? Chiba shook his head. It's nothing impulsive. What Asuma does on a daily basis should have been caught a long time ago, but no one has been taking care of it before. Sarutobi is probably busy fighting for power and doesn't have much energy to take care of his son. In that case, I'll take care of it for him. But of course it's not for free. You have to pay. Itaka nodded. Master Third Generation, will you come to redeem him? Chiba smiled and said. Isn't it already here? Not far away. Sarutobi, wearing a moon-white hokage robe, walked slowly. He had a cigarette in his mouth, which looked exactly like Asuma. Itaki is here too. Sarutobi walked over and smiled at Itaki. Third generation Sama. Itaki spoke. Sarutobi looked at Chiba. We need to discuss more about Asuma. Chiba smiled and said. Third generation Sama is quite concerned about him. Sarutobi sighed. He is my second son. He has not been disciplined much since he was a child. He is indeed a bit willful and not very sensible. I didn't expect to bump into you. As a father, if I fail to take good care of my son, I am naturally responsible. If you don't hand him over to me, I will go back and discipline him. My lord is joking. Chiba said. Master Asuma, you didn't rush into me. I'm not that stingy. He broke something precious that was passed down from the first generation era, but he was unwilling to pay compensation. When the defendant came to me, I had no choice but to take action. Otherwise, Mr. Hokage, I will sell this face no matter what. Look at the smile on Chiba's face. Sarutobi snorted inwardly. He naturally knew that Kinyi was full of rejections. To put it bluntly, they are asking for money. Sarutobi said, I didn't expect that there are such rare things in the ninja world, that they can be circulated for so long, and that they can be broken so easily. After all, the world is full of wonders. Sarutobi asked. Advertisement. How much is it worth? Not much. Twenty million tails. Moment. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. After all, the lowest S-level mission only has a reward of 1 million. But now, Chiba has asked for 20 million. It is comparable to 20 ordinary S-level missions. It's tantamount to robbing money. Sarutobi frowned and said. Expensive. Chiba said. I think so too, but this is the price quoted, and I am helpless. Asuma is indeed too reckless. Even though I am in charge of the police department, I cannot release him at will. Sarutobi thought for a moment. He is indeed too reckless and should be taught a lesson. In this case, it would be better to lock him up for a little longer. However, after all, a mistake was made. As a father, I should also compensate him. Let's do this. I'll compensate him 500,000 tails. As for the rest, I'll let Asuma work hard on his own. When the child is older, I can't control him forever. Third generation Sama is quite open-minded. Chiba did not continue to make a fuss about this. After all, third generation is not stupid and cannot hand over money so easily. Not to mention, if the 20 million were to be taken out, it would not have been taken by him, Sarutobi, but from the village. In this case, it is too easy to be criticized and easily taken advantage of. Sarutobi wouldn't do such a thing. Chiba nodded. That's fine. There hasn't been any fighting recently. Otherwise, we could have Asuma go to the front line to pay off his debt. It's a pity that opportunities like this don't come around very often. Sarutobi looked at Chiba, although his expression did not change, his eyes became a little cold. He added, as the captain of the police force, you do it clearly. Chiba laughed. 
It's all thanks to Mr. Third Generation's promotion. Itaka listened to the conversation between Chiba and Third Generation, and couldn't help but feel his heart pounding. After all, Chiba's words are undoubtedly provoking Third Generation. Although the two sides did not completely break up, they were not far apart. Sarutobi didn't hear Chiba's sarcasm at all. If that's the case, then do it well and don't let down so many people who believe in you. Of course not. The conversation between Chiba and Sarutobi was quite harmonious. However, as long as you listen for a moment, you can hear the strong smell of gunpowder. A long while. Sarutobi turned to look at the ninja school and said with emotion, Naruto should go to school, right? I remember that you and Minato both studied here. Time flies, so much time has passed. But the school is still very safe. Except for Kushina, there have been no accidents. Kushina was once captured and later rescued by Minato. Well, Minato is also famous for flirting with girls under the moon. This is undoubtedly what he is telling Chiba. Calm down, Naruto is in the ninja school, and the ninja school is his Sarutobi's territory. Kinyi suddenly said, Sir Third Generation, there are quite a few cases in the police department that have been backlogged. I was browsing through them a few days ago and saw a case that was not so clear, and I plan to review it again. There seems to be something fishy about White Fang's death. I plan to reinvestigate it recently. Sarutobi turned his head and his eyes suddenly turned cold. Advertisement. Chapter 21 Naruto takes the lead in skipping school. Advertisement. White Fang was once a big shot in the village, but he died so mysteriously. I thought this was a bad reputation for the village, so I decided to investigate. Chiba smiled and looked at Sarutobi. Road. I wonder, third generation Sama, do you have any instructions? Sarutobi's eyes turned cold, but returned to normal the next moment. We really need to investigate carefully, and we can't let White Fang die in the dark. It's getting late. Don't you, third generation Sama, go to the ninja school. Chiba reminded timely. Sarutobi glanced at him. Naruto and Suzuki, I will take care of them, don't worry about them. Chiba smiled slightly. I'm not worried about Naruto, but if he makes any mistakes, please forgive me, third generation Sama. I'll take good care of Asuma too. Sarutobi's departure suddenly paused. Looking back, Chiba smiled lightly. Sarutobi said nothing and chose to leave. The smile disappeared from Chiba's face. Asuma is in his hands and he is not afraid of what Sarutobi will do. Not to mention, Naruto still has nine tails on him. After some time, it's time to negotiate with nine tails. At least, nothing will happen to nine tails. Inside the school, a kind smile gradually appeared on Sarutobi Hiruzen's face. He smiled and nodded at the people coming and going. It shows that being a Hokage is approachable. There are many new students this year, and Kanaha is experiencing a baby boom. From several big families. Hineda from the Hayaga family, Ino from the Yamanaka family, Koji from the Akamaika family, Shikamaru from the Nara family, and Suzuki from the Uchiha family. Of course, that's not all. With so many people gathering together, Sarutobi couldn't help but sigh, Kanaha's golden age should be coming. As they grow up, the village will become more prosperous. Third generation Sama. A person appeared in front of Sarutobi, looking a little honest and shy. After seeing him, Sarutobi nodded and said, Iruka, this is still a good place for you. The children in this class are more energetic than before, and they are the future of the village. I feel relieved to have them in your hands. Third generation Sama. Iruka was greatly touched and promised. I will definitely teach them well. Um. Sarutobi smiled and nodded. Next. Naturally, as Hokage, I gave the opening speech. Look at the children below. Sarutobi coughed slightly. Wherever the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow. The fire will continue to illuminate the village and make new branches and leaves sprout. This is the will of fire. Then, there is the long brainwashing, no, speech process. In the crowd, Naruto felt drowsy, and so did Suzuki. Naruto poked him twice quietly. Hey, pillar. My name is Suzuki, Achiha Suzuki, and you are the pillar. Suzuki turned away and said dissatisfied. Oh, it's all the same. Advertisement. Naruto waved his hand casually, signaling not to worry about such a trivial matter. He quietly pointed to the third generation above. The old man from third generation is really boring to talk to. Let's leave secretly and go somewhere else. Suzuki was a little confused. Isn't this not good? What if I get caught? The old man from third generation was so immersed in what he said. How could it be so easy to get caught? We, quietly. Suzuki hesitated for a while, but he couldn't bear the fact that the will of fire was so overwhelming. He nodded and said. Okay, let's be gentle so we don't get discovered. The two little ones quietly left from the crowd. However, someone did notice them. Koji and Shikamaru whispered. Naruto, what are you going to do? Let's go play, do you want to? The two hesitated for a moment and then said immediately. We're going to, wait for us. Two more people left. Hineda was watching from the side. At this moment, seeing the four people leaving, his eyes suddenly widened, and there was a trace of doubt in them. She wanted to go to Naruto, but she didn't dare, and she was immediately confused. After a while, emotion finally defeated reason. While he was not paying attention, he also sneaked over and ran over. Ouch. Akamaru and Yuzarm suddenly called out softly, and Ya suddenly looked aside. He immediately muttered. You skipped class and didn't call me. Gone too. After Yamanaka left, Ino from the Yamanaka clan also sneaked over. But there is one more person. Harano Sakura. Although he was envious, he understood that if he wanted to be a good student praised by others, he must abide by the rules. So, can't leave. The other side. If you include Akamaro in Toga's arms, nine of them escaped. The nine of them got together and had a great time. Of course, it is indispensable to get to know each other. My name is Izumaki Naruto. Achiha Suzuke. Haiga, Haiga Hineda. Akimichi Koji. Nukushikamaru. Yamanaka Ino. Abarameshino. Inuzuka Kiba. Ouch. Ya touched the dog's head and said with a smile. It's called Akamaro. Naruto grinned. Now that we all know each other, we can all be considered friends. Hey hey. A group of people laughed. Eight people and one dog, having fun together. And to this scene, Iruka noticed it and frowned. Advertisement. The third generation Sama didn't seem to notice. It's not easy for him to leave early. Moreover, most of the children who left were the heirs of the rich families in the village. Sarutobi naturally noticed. But it's hard to get out now. Chiba didn't expect that the first thing Naruto did after coming forward was to skip school. Still leading a group of children to skip school. However, even if Chiba knew about this rebellious and disobedient behavior, he would only laugh a few times, touch Naruto's head and ask. 
Has the old man from third generation ever had his beard crooked in anger? In his opinion, children should have such vitality. After leaving ninja school, Chiba took Itaka to a part of the village. Lord Chiba, where are we going? They came to a room, but there is no one here, waiting for someone. The room was simply furnished and empty, even worse than Naruto's previous rooms. This is enough to show the character of the room owner. Itaka looked at it for a moment and couldn't help but said, This is supposed to be a ninja's room. Chiba looked at him with a smile. How can you see it? Self-disciplined and clean. Although there is a smell of human activity in the room, there are no signs left. It is difficult to infer the owner's habits based on the layout and things of the room, so as to target it. This is a good habit that can prevent most outsiders with malicious intentions. Chiba nodded. But Master Chiba, who is the person we came to meet? Hey take Kakashi, White Fang's son. Itaka was stunned. Of course he had heard of Kakashi's name. Kanaha's genius ninja, copy ninja Kakashi. It's obviously not an Uchiha, but it owns a Sherinan. He became a Jonin at the age of 12 and has since made a name for himself on the battlefield. However, Itaka didn't know that Kakashi was actually White Fang's son. Time passed gradually. Suddenly, there was a strange noise at the window. When Itaka went to check, he suddenly saw a kunal thrown in. He sidestepped. However, at the same moment, three handles flew over again. And, it flew to Itaka's three footholds in succession. In desperation, he could only block. When, 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 three times in a row, the kunal fell to the ground. Itaka looked solemn. There was a sound of wind outside the window. Itaka narrowed his eyes and rolled out of the window the next moment. At the same time, the shuriken in his hand immediately stabbed to the left side. Bang! The person on the left side of the window disappeared directly. Shadow clone. Buzz! A figure fell above his head, and Itaka thrust his shuriken upwards without hesitation. Same result, still shadow clone. He looked around. Next moment. Stabbed to the back suddenly. Advertisement. This time, it was blocked. But unfortunately, the figure rolled several times and disappeared. It was also a shadow clone. Itaka looked around solemnly, his black pupils turning completely red. Sherry non. He looked around, paying attention to everything going on. And at this moment, when Kinyi in the room saw the scene, he suddenly took a step forward. He kicked out the first kunao inserted into the room. Bang! The kunao transformed into Kakashi's figure in midair. Long silver hair, black mask. Wearing a black tight-fitting combat uniform and a green jonin male coat. Kakashi looked helpless. Seeing Itake with a serious look on his face and stabbing him with a shuriken, Kakashi immediately resisted. When, with a crisp sound, Kakashi fell to the ground. Looking at Itake helplessly. Just kidding, what are you doing seriously? Chiba walked out. Kakashi said. Teacher Chiba is still so strong, he can see through my disguise at a glance. Actually, the first kunal thrown in was Kakashi disguised as a ninjutsu. However, something happened suddenly before, and Itaki avoided it directly, and activated Sherinan later, without finding any clues. If Chiba hadn't taken action, it would have been really difficult for Itaka to find out. As a student of Namikaze Minato, Chiba would teach them something when they were bored. Therefore, he is also called teacher. Chiba looked at him. You, a guy who has been Jonin for a long time, are actually playing with a kid. Itaki is not very old now. Kakashi said, I have heard of Uchiha Itaki a long time ago. He is another genius after Shisui. He seems to be really good now, but he still lacks some experience. Chiba nodded and said, There aren't many wars nowadays, and Itaka hasn't experienced too many life and death fights. Compared to an old guy like you, it's really a lot worse. Kakashi retorted, Teacher Chiba is much older than me, right? Does this have anything to do with whether you are an old guy or not? Kakashi felt helpless, finally asked, Teacher Chiba is looking for me, what's the matter? Yes, big deal. Chiba said bluntly, I am now in charge of the Kanaha police department, and I have a strong interest in many things in the past. One of them is the death of White Fang. After Kakashi heard this, his eyes suddenly changed, and he gritted his teeth and said, There is no need to pursue those who are already dead. Chiba sighed, You still don't face this matter. There may be something strange about White Fang's death. Kakashi took a deep breath. But even if it is found out, what will happen? Chiba's eyes were deep. To restore his innocence, do you want your father to die in humiliation? Kakashi gritted his teeth. After a long while, he raised his head and said, What do you want to do, teacher? Advertisement. Chapter 22 The Frustrated Little Sakura, Chiba's Thoughts. Advertisement. Iruka, these children are the future of the village. You must teach them well. I know, Lord Third Generation. Iruka nodded and said that he would teach him well. They're a little naughty, especially Naruto. Minato is gone. I have neglected my discipline these days. He has been following Chiba. Chiba is also busy with the police department. He is probably spoiled. Iruka said, Don't worry, Third Generation Sama, I will take care of Naruto. Um, Sarutobi nodded. I believe you, Iruka. He noticed that eight people skipped class earlier. Moreover, these eight people belong to different families, including almost all the famous families in Kanaha. Unexpectedly, in just one day, they all gathered together. As for the rest, he also observed some. Except for one named Harano Sakura, they are all worse. The kid named Harano Sakura is pretty good. When we change positions later, let him be with Naruto. Iruka was stunned for a moment. Okay, he noted the name. The third generation left. Although Jinchuriki's growth has exceeded his expectations, the future is still far away, so he can change slowly and there is no rush for the time being. After Sarutobi left, Iruka called the children back. Looked at Naruto quite seriously and said, When Mr. Third Generation gave his speech, he talked about extremely important things. How could you escape with them? Naruto, this is very wrong. Hey hey. Naruto grinned and said directly, I know it was wrong, Iruka-sensei. Iruka looked at the smile on Naruto's face and couldn't help but sigh. Come into the class and I will assign you places. Soon, the children all entered the classroom. Iruka said, When your name is called, sit down together. Yamanaka Ino, Akimichi Koji, Nara Shikamaru. Arrive. The three of them walked into the classroom and sat down at a random table. Abarameshino, Inizuka Kiba, Hayagahi Neda. Arrived, ouch. Next. Uzumaki Naruto, Harano Sakura, Achiha Suzuke. Arrive. Hey hey. Naruto shouted. Then he and Suzuke came out together. 
Suzuki found a middle seat and sat in first. Then Harino Sakura, who was also called, blushed a little and sat in the middle. However, just as he was about to sit down, Suzuki glanced at him and said dissatisfied. Switch with Naruto and let Naruto sit here. Harino Sakura froze in embarrassment for a moment. Naruto smiled. Zuzi, you are still being pretentious. After that, sit directly in the middle seat. Harino Sakura sits outside. Naruto looked at Suzuki. The old man from third generation talked for too long. Fortunately, we ran away quickly. Otherwise, who could stand it if we had to stand for so long? Suzuki nodded. Standing there all the time, I look like a fool. Advertisement. His words made Harino Sakura, who had just plucked up the courage to speak, freeze again. After all, she was the idiot who had been standing there. On the first day of school, nothing will happen. So the children were all talking to their new classmates. Naruto and Suzuki naturally chatted happily. Harino Sakura tried to speak several times, but couldn't find a topic, so she had to sit aside alone. The two little ones next to her were fighting so fiercely that they didn't care about her at all. Even at this time, the two were already discussing what ninjutsu they should learn in the future. In the end, Harino Sakura could only say a few words to Naruto. She reached out and poked Naruto's arm lightly. Um, hello, my name is Harino Sakura. Naruto nodded. Uzumaki Naruto. Then he looked back. Hey, Zuzi, even if you learn ninjutsu in the future, you still can't beat me? From now on, I am the boss and you are the second child. Zuzu was unconvinced, you are the second best. Then let's compete. Compete. The two of them competed. Today, almost all the children are happy. Met a lot of new friends. Except for one. Harino Sakura looked a little disappointed as she looked at Suzuki and Naruto who were talking and laughing. She wanted to talk to Suzuki as well as Naruto. After all, Naruto inherited Namikaze Minato and Azumaki Kushina's good looks, so naturally they are not bad. Nowadays, there is no time when I don't have enough food and clothing, and I am not as thin and small as in the past. He and Zuzu are the most handsome in the class. But unfortunately, the two little ones didn't give her this chance at all. At this moment, Hokage office, Umbu comes. The latest situation was reported. Third generation Sama, Chiba went to Heitake's house. The Heitake family is looking for Kakashi. Sarutobi nodded. Since Kinyi said that if he wanted to overturn White Fang's case, he would naturally do it. However, this case will naturally not be as simple as what is being circulated today. White Fang committed suicide because he was accused. Among them, people like White Fang can be pressured to commit suicide. One can imagine how exciting the pressure and content will be. Sarutobi knows the inside story. Precisely because of this, it is also clear that this matter will never be revealed. Once revealed, it will cause a lot of trouble. He frowned. Go get Danzo. Yes. Not long after, Shimura Danzo arrived. Sarutobi, is there something you can't handle again? Danzo found a place to sit down, waiting for Sarutobi to speak. Sarutobi frowned at him. In recent days, Danzo has become more and more outrageous. Advertisement. It seems that because he lost in the battle with Chiba, Danzo was a little contemptuous. Namikaze Chiba recently plans to reopen the previous case. Danzo raised an eyebrow. What's the point of reopening old cases? Even if it is really overturned, is there anything else that can be done? Sarutobi glanced at him. But the case he decided was related to the White Fang. Suddenly, Danzo's expression changed. White Fang. He wants to overturn that case. Um. Sarutobi nodded. Hey. Danzo sneered. He's quite brave. How dare he get involved in White Fang's case? Aren't you afraid of falling into it? Sarutobi said, Namikaze Chiba has always been very courageous. However, we still cannot underestimate him in this matter. After all, White Fang's death. He looked at Danzo, unfinished. But the meaning is clear. In this, both of them played an indispensable role. Death of White Fang. It was in order to rescue his companions that he voluntarily gave up the mission. This caused the task to fail. But after returning to the village, even the companion he rescued came to accuse White Fang. Suddenly, the village was buzzing with rumors that the former hero White Fang had become a waste who could not complete his mission. Among them, the role of Sarutobi and Danzo cannot be ignored. If Chiba insists on uncovering this, then, it will undoubtedly have a considerable impact on them. Danzo snorted. Don't worry, I will handle this matter. Sarutobi, I see that you are really getting better and better. Namikaze Chiba is just a problem. Until now, it has not been solved. If you can't do it, tell me as soon as possible and let me take over. Before Danzo left, he spoke dissatisfiedly. Sarutobi reminds. Namikaze Chiba is not as simple as he looks. Don't underestimate him, Danzo. Ah. Uh, Danzo smiled disdainfully and walked away. Watching Danzo leave. Sarutobi frowned. Soon, there were Danzo's immediate roots and quietly left. Kakashi family. It's very simple, investigate and reverse the case. How could someone who White Fang had fought on the battlefield commit suicide so easily? It's too bizarre. Chiba's eyes became deeper. But if there are other accidents, it will be different. Kakashi frowned. Chiba said. For example, someone told White Fang that if he did not die, his only son would die on the battlefield. What do you think White Fang will choose? Kakashi was silent. After all, a person who is willing to give up his mission for the sake of his companions. Naturally, you will pay more attention to your only son. Advertisement. However, it is naturally not that simple and needs to be investigated. Itaka spoke at this time. The few ninjas who worked with White Fang in the past are still there today. Let's go ask them. Chiba nodded. If we hurry up, we should be able to catch up. Itaki and Kakashi looked at him. Chiba didn't explain. Sarutobi should take action. He won't leave this kind of clue behind. Soon, the three of them left here and went to the first house. In the east of the village, when the three came here, there was no one. The room was empty, as if no one had lived in it for a long time. No one. Itaka turned on the Sherinan and looked around carefully. This place has been taken care of. Let's go to the next one. Still no one. The next one. When I came to the third house, I finally saw the clues. The masked ninja quickly left when he sensed someone coming. Umbu. Itaka was stunned for a moment. No, it's the roots. 
Kakashi glanced at it and corrected. Then, his body suddenly disappeared and he chased after him. Chiba did not follow him, but came to the ninja's home. The room was still empty. But there are bloodline residues. Apparently, killed. Itaka searched around and found that almost all traces that could be found in the room had been cleared away. Lord Chiba. Itaka looked at Chiba. Chiba waved his hand. It's okay, waiting for news from Kakashi. After a while, Kakashi came back and shook his head at the two of them. Lost. It makes sense. Chiba was not surprised. Since Danzo is the one taking action, he will naturally be more ruthless. But how are we going to investigate next? It's been too long now, and the clues are almost gone. Itaka said with a frown. Well, there is still a way. Chiba spoke. However, since the person is dead, we can only use special methods. Chiba stretched out his hand, and something like tiny pieces of meat appeared in his hand. He collected this from the three ninja families just now. No matter how careful you are, there are still some residues. As for collecting these, naturally, impure world reincarnation? Of course, Chiba doesn't know this ninjutsu at the moment. But he knew one person who would. Orikimaru, advertisement. Chapter 23 Meet Orikimaru, Impure World Reincarnation. Advertisement. Uncle. When Naruto saw Chiba, he waved his hands a long time ago, and then flew into Chiba's arms. He patted Naruto's head out of habit. How's it going? Are you satisfied with your school life? Uh huh. Naruto nodded and said, I made a lot of new friends, but... He glanced at Kinyi secretly, and then said, It's just that what the old man from third generation said was too annoying, so I grabbed the pillar and ran away secretly. You skipped classes when you first entered school. Chiba was a little dumbfounded. And dragging Suzuki with you. Hey hey. Naruto scratched his head and laughed. It's so boring. The will of fire he talked about doesn't sound very reliable. The fire will illuminate the village and make new branches and leaves sprout. If there is such a fire, the village will be set on fire. My home has been burned down, so what will I have left? Ha 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 ha. Chiba laughed heartily. He rubbed Naruto's head again. I understand, just skip classes. However, you can skip some classes, but not others. I know. Naruto said, I will only run away from these useless things. How many friends did you meet today? Well, Naruto waggled his fingers and did the math. Seven, no, eight. Oh, Hinata doesn't count as new friends, that's seven. Hashira, Koji, Shikamaru, Ino, Kiba, Shino, and Kiba's pet Akamaru. Oh, by the way, there's another one named Sakura. She's sitting next to me. Chiba listened patiently to Naruto's story about school. Okay Naruto, I'm going out later, so you have to be good at home. I know, where is uncle going? Leaving the village. Well, go find someone. Oh, then please pay attention to your safety. Naruto said, I will wait for you to come back. Good. Chiba quietly left Kanaha. Orikimaru actually has a stronghold near Kanaha. He established many strongholds in order to better conduct experiments and to better pay attention to Kanaha's movements. In the years when Chiba left the village, he also traveled around. Although he didn't have the opportunity to see Akatsuki, he did go to many places. Also, met Jiraiya a few times. Chiba even asked Jiraiya to invest and took Jiraiya to other villages to enjoy the customs of a foreign village. After all, the soil and water support the people. Even though they come from the same source, they still need to support the undertakings of different villages. It didn't take long. Chiba arrived at a rather secret stronghold. There are no guards, but the place is not easy to find. When Chiba came here, he saw only one person. Yakushi Kabuto. Kabuto held a uniquely sharp short sword in his hand and hid it behind his back, but looked at Chiba with a smile. Advertisement. Does this gentleman come here for something? You can tell me, if it can be done, I will definitely help. As he spoke, he slowly approached, and the smile on his face looked extremely kind. Only, Chiba saw his trick at a glance and was not interested in continuing to play with him. He said simply, put away your tricks. It's hard to hurt me with just that scalpel. The smile on Kabuto's face remained unchanged, but the knife behind him had already been put away. Your name is Yakushi Kabuto, right? Chiba asked. Yes, my lord. There is no need to be so hypocritical. I came here today not because of you. I want to find a way to contact Orikimura and tell Namikaze Chiba that I want to see him. Namikaze. Kabuto's eyes moved for a moment, then he smiled and said. Okay sir. He goes to contact Orikimura. Chiba looked at Kabuto's leaving figure with indifferent eyes. Too much disguise. That face was full of fake smiles. Such people are dangerous. It's exactly the same as Orikimura. Time passed not long ago. Orikimura's figure appeared in the field. Chiba-kun. Long black hair, long golden pupils, purple eyeshadow extended to the nose, and pale skin. Wearing blue magadama shaped earrings on her ears. Just standing there gave me a cold feeling. Long time no see. Orikimaru looked at Chiba and couldn't help but smile. And. He couldn't help sticking out his tongue and licking his lips. Have you figured it out and are planning to dedicate your body to me? In that case, I won't be polite. As soon as he finished speaking, his body suddenly stretched. Extending his neck several times, Orikimaru's head flew directly towards Chiba. In one bite, he bit Kinyi's neck. Buzz, Chiba swung his sword directly. The sword light flashed past, and like a curtain of water touching the sky, the whole moment was filled with sword light. Nothing was seen. Laugh. Under Chiba's sword, Orikimaru's stretched neck was broken directly into two pieces, and his head fell off, but his eyes were still open. Kinyi struck the sword again and nailed it directly to the head. With a sneer, the sword plunged in, pinning it to the ground. Do it all. Chiba looked somewhere. Okay, don't play these silly tricks. Why are you testing so many people? I'm not here to fight with you. Kinyi-kun is still so strong. In a dark corner, there was sudden movement. Immediately, Orikimaru's figure appeared again. But the appearance of Orikimaru at this moment is clearly much younger. Even, quite soft. Advertisement. Chiba narrowed his eyes. Are you reincarnated? Chiba asked curiously. As expected of Kinyi-kun, you can see it at a glance. Orikimaru admitted directly. Now, he has a new body and is much younger. Kinyi-kun came to see me, why? Let you help resurrect a few people. Orikimaru suddenly smiled after hearing this. Impure world reincarnation is a forbidden technique banned by Kanaha. 
When using the technique, a living person is required to be sacrificed in order to achieve the purpose of resurrection. If Mr. Sarutobi discovers this, Chiba-kun may also be in danger. Chiba smiled and said, I didn't expect that you would still care about me after being apart for so long. Orikimaru said, I'm not concerned about Chiba-kun, I'm just afraid that if you are caught by Mr. Sarutobi, Kanaha will have one less person who can cause trouble for him. After all, you are the only one in Kanaha who can compete with Sarutobi-sensei now. Kinyi pretended to be curious and said, Isn't Danzo still here? Orikimaru suddenly sneered. That idiot Danzo is so far behind Mr. Sarutobi. He has always been under the control of the teacher, he just doesn't know it and is complacent. How can a person who is rooted in darkness truly come to the fore and become a Hokage? What Danzo has done, if Sarutobi exposes it, Danzo will permanently lose the right to compete for the Hokage. Only, Sarutobi just needs to use him. As for the follow-up, you don't have to worry about it. I have other methods. You only need to resurrect the few people I need. Okay, Orikimaru agreed directly. Are you going to resurrect fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato? But it seems a little difficult. His soul is with Shinigami. Chiba shook his head. Not really. He also wanted to resurrect his brother, but unfortunately, since his soul was not in the pure land, even impure world reincarnation would be useless. But, Chiba vaguely remembered that she felt her brother's aura from Naruto. Perhaps, there is some backup left in it. Maybe there's still a chance. Of course, this will have to be done later. Chiba stretched out his hand, and some scraps of meat from before appeared in his hand. Road. Resurrect them? Orikimaru was a little curious. What's the use of resurrecting them? Chiba raised the corner of his mouth. White Fang. White's death was bizarre. There may be a lot of secrets involved. Aren't you curious about what happened? Orikimaru smiled brightly when he heard this. Are you afraid that my Sarutobi-sensei played an indispensable role in this? You want to use this against Sarutobi-sensei? That's not a bad idea. Speaking of which, White can barely be considered a contemporary of Sunin. The two sides have also crossed paths. They still admire White Fang quite a bit. Advertisement. But, he suddenly committed suicide? And, was it because he failed the mission and was blamed? When he heard this, Orikimaru laughed. Because this is typical of the Sarutobi way of doing things. Dull knives kill people. In other words, they will take advantage of this situation to eliminate their opponents. Otherwise, White Fang's voice is indeed a bit high. To describe it in one word, it's, the master's achievements are astounding. Orikimaru took the meat scraps from Chiba's hand and said, Okay, I'll get ready. Chiba-kun, please wait a moment. If you are bored, you can play with Kabuto. After Orikimaru finished speaking, he turned and left. Only Chiba and Kabuto were left. Kabuto smiled. Lord Chiba. Chiba looked at Kabuto. Why would you want to follow Orikimaru? Do said, We people, what choice do we have? Being alive is already the best. Chiba is awe-inspiring. That's true for orphans. Surviving is already the best. They don't care who they follow or what they do. What they care about is how to survive and whether they can see the sun the next day. Very cruel thing. But this is the norm. Chiba didn't say much. He didn't bother to care about other people's affairs, so it didn't make any sense. Not long after, Orikimaru came out carrying three ninjas. Impure world reincarnation has been completed. There are quite obvious differences between people who come out of impure world reincarnation and living people. You can see it at a glance. Orikimaru threw the three of them to the ground and looked at Chiba. Already done. Thank you, Chiba and others were preparing to leave. Orikimaru said, if Chiba-kun doesn't want to stay in Kanaha, you can join us. He raised his hand, and Kinyi saw the ring with the word empty on it. Don, if I have a chance, I will go and take a look. Okay, I'll wait for you. Chiba leaves. Kabuto looked at Kinyi's leaving figure and suddenly said, if he joins Akatsuki, it will definitely be exciting. Yes, Orikimaru smiled grimly. Would he be able to help but kill everyone? Kabuto couldn't help but ask, is he so strong? Very strong. At the very least, Mr. Sarutobi's position as the strongest Hokage should not be preserved. Advertisement. Chapter 24 Third Generation and Danzo, deal with it together. Advertisement. Hokage Office. Sarutobi frowned. You killed everyone. What are those people still doing? If I were you, after White Fang died, they should have followed him. If it was done by then, there would be nothing to do later. Danzo said dissatisfied. But they don't deserve to die. After all, they have contributed to the village. Hey. Danzo did not hide the ridicule in his eyes. He said. Sarutobi, it's just the two of us, put away your false benevolence. It's not like you weren't involved in White Fang's death. Now at this time, why are you still pretending? Is it useful? Sarutobi didn't answer. Danzo continues. I've already killed the person and cleaned up all the traces. Let's see what he can do with Namikaze Chiba. Danzo sneered. No matter how talented Namikaze Chiba is, is it possible that he can also bring the dead back to life? Danzo was a little proud. I feel that Namikaze Chiba, who can force Sarutobi to defeat several times, can only do so. Sarutobi glanced at him without warning. If Namikaze Chiba could deal with it so easily, he wouldn't have failed so many times before. However, he didn't mean to remind Danzo. Since you think Namikaze Chiba is nothing more than that, then, let's take a look. Danzo snorted. Uchiha has been acting more and more recently, Sarutobi, I think they can't hold it any longer. Now that Namikaze Chiba is back, why don't we take action and deal with them all? Danzo said coldly. Then Namikaze Chiba is not a peaceful person, so we can deal with them all. Finished. He looked at Sarutobi and said, Sarutobi, what do you think? Sarutobi frowned. It's a bit too urgent. It's not certain what Uchiha will be like in the future, let alone. Sarutobi suddenly narrowed his eyes. Do you understand the true strength within Uchiha today? On the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion, was the sudden riot in Nine Tails caused by Uchiha? If so, then at least Manjikyo Sherry non. How many Manjikyo are there in Uchiha? Do you understand all this? After hearing this, Danzo fell silent for a rare moment. After a long while, he said, I will investigate these things again, but there is one thing, Sarutobi, you can't be more merciful. Now that Namikaze Chiba is no more than the first palm Uchiha, even if the people below are suppressed, not everyone is united. He said coldly, once he really takes control of it, then I'm afraid your position as Hokage will really be shaken. As a companion for so many years, how could Danzo not know what Sarutobi really values? Hokage? In other words, power. 
The last battle for fourth generation's position was a battle between the two. Sarutobi promoted Namikaze Minato, intending to use Sarutobi as a puppet and continue to direct behind the scenes. Of course Danzo didn't want to. Advertisement. He promoted Orikimura, but alas, it didn't work out. Now, he saw an opportunity again. Really. Just after Danzo finished speaking, Sarutobi's eyes moved slightly. I know. You should go check out Uchiha's information first. Shisui and Itaki are all up for grabs in Uchiha. When you check, don't alarm them too much. Danzo glanced at him. Finally, he sneered and left. Sarutobi's usual method. I destroyed your tribe and still want you to work hard. Certainly. Among them, Danzo has to contribute. He, Sarutobi, will always take the bright side and show his Hokage's tolerance. Danzo also knows that it is difficult to stand up for what he is doing now, and the reason why Sarutobi can tolerate him is that he needs to help him do all kinds of dirty things. In this regard, no one is more Grand Master than Danzo. It is also because of this that Danzo is getting further and further away from the position of Hokage. It is also because of this that during the fourth generation battle, he will recommend Orikimuro instead of going himself. Because he knew that Sarutobi held too many levers in his hands. Hard to escape unless. Sarutobi is dead. Kanaha Police Department. Chiba came back and brought back three ninjas. Chiba looked at them. The three of them bowed their heads. You should know what this technique is. A technique that can resurrect the dead and allow you to live in the living world again, even if you have extra care, is useless. Since I have resurrected you for a short time, I will naturally be of use to you. You should think clearly and don't say the wrong thing. After Kinyi finished speaking, he called someone. Go and call Kakashi. Yes. Not long ago, Kakashi's figure appears. The moment the three of them saw Kakashi, they subconsciously took half a step back. At the same time, there was horror in his eyes. White, White Fang. Your death has nothing to do with us, it was not forced by us, it was not. Let me go, let me go. The three of them were very emotional. Obviously, seeing Kakashi who looked exactly like White Fang gave them a lot of stimulation. Chiba narrowed his eyes. He stopped Kakashi with his eyes and said, Since you know that I can resurrect you, I can also resurrect White Fang. Now, I am the captain of the Kanaha Police Department, and I plan to investigate the White Fang. The purpose of resurrecting you is to find the truth of the matter. If you explain it well, you can still get good results. If you don't explain it well, then, we will have to let White Fang come and talk to you. Kakashi understood what Chiba meant. Therefore, his eyes became colder and colder, looking at the three of them indifferently without saying a word. After all, if you open your mouth, your secret may be exposed. It would be better not to speak. Advertisement. Seeing Kakashi like this, they became even more frightened. How did White Fang die? Suicide? Suicide. Um. Chiba narrowed his eyes. What did you say to White Fang before he committed suicide? This. The three of them hesitated. Chiba sneered. It seems that you don't want to tell the truth anymore. No, it's not. One of them couldn't help it and said, That day, a ninja with roots met us and told us that as long as we framed White Fang and accused him of failing to complete the task and let us suffer losses, he would give us 300,000 tails. And if we don't do it, then, they will kill us secretly. The roots. Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Even though he had guessed it, after hearing the result, he still couldn't help but show murderous intent. Chiba glanced at him and continued to ask, Besides the roots, is there anyone else who comes into contact with you? No, no more. Chiba frowned. Sarutobi didn't show up. The three of them thought for a while and said, the third generation didn't show up, but people from Umbu did show up, and, and protected us when the people from the root tried to kill us, and then, we entered Umbu. Chiba nodded. Apparently, Sarutobi gave himself a clean pick. Now relying on these people, at most we can do something about Danzo, but obviously this was not enough to satisfy him. However, Chiba also knows that Sarutobi has been rooted in the village for so long, and it is not easy to move him simply based on White Fang's affairs. However, even though Sarutobi cannot be moved, it is not without gain. Kinyi waved his hand and had the three people taken out. Then he called someone and called Uchiha Itaki over. Lord Chiba. Itaki came in. Itaki, now I have a task for you. Put up three signs in the three most prominent places in the village, and then post a Suma's affairs on them. Itaki was slightly startled. Sir, this is what you want. Chiba smiled and said. Let everyone in the village see what Mr. Third Generation's son has done. It can be considered a good source of conversation after dinner. Since Sarutobi has always been on the light side, leaving all the dark places to Danzo. In this case, Chiba will give some help. Let his reputation reach a higher level. Good. Itaka nodded and walked out. Wait a little longer, and then we can invite our third generation and Lord Danzo to come. Chiba said. Advertisement. Kakashi stood aside and didn't say anything for a long time. He stood there blankly. After a moment, he seemed to have come to his senses and nodded. It all depends on the arrangements of the adults. The extra things in the village quickly attracted the attention of many people. The villagers gathered around to watch. After reading it, there was a lot of discussion. The son of Mr. Third Generation actually did such a thing. It's really shameful. It's hard to believe that it was actually done by Mr. Third Generation's son. How could Mr. Third Generation have such a son? What a shame. Deliberately smashing other people's things, and even trying to default on the debt. Thank you to the police department. Yes, if not the police department, who can punish him? I heard that the captain of the police department is the younger brother of the former fourth Hokage. No wonder, like the fourth Hokage, he is an upright person. The future of the village should be left in the hands of people like this. The discussion became more and more violent. And, one spreads to ten, and ten spreads to a hundred. Asuma's deeds gradually spread to the whole village. The same thing also reached Sarutobi's ears. The Hokage office at this moment. Exhaling a puff of smoke, Sarutobi's eyes suddenly became colder. Namikaze Chiba, what a good trick. Although it was not directly stated that it was Sarutobi Hiruzen's fault for taking advantage of Asuma, his son's mistakes would also affect him as Laozi. Undoubtedly, it also had an impact on his reputation as third generation. This made Sarutobi very dissatisfied. But there is no good way to do this. Now, Danzo comes in. There was gloating in his eyes. Sarutobi, I asked you to discipline your son a long time ago. Now that he has done something like this, it's really, ugh. He sighed. He seemed very emotional. After all, he has always been the one who was reviled and had a bad reputation. Now, Sarutobi is also affected. Danzo is naturally happy to see it. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes and looked at Danzo for a long time, but finally said nothing. Danzo said, 
Achiha does have a lot of hidden powers, but I'm about to find out. He looked at Sarutobi. What do you think? Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. You can do it. Danzo laughed mockingly. But right now, suddenly a guard knocked on the door. Third generation Sama, Nami Kaze Chiba asked you and Danzo Sama to go to the police department. They said that the White Fang matter has made progress, and asked you two to monitor it. Sarutobi and Danzo looked at each other. They all saw the coldness in each other's eyes. Advertisement. Chapter 25 Danzo. I don't believe it, but you can still resurrect people? Advertisement. He came prepared. Sarutobi said meaningfully. Danzo snorted coldly. So what if you come prepared? People cannot be resurrected after death. Even if he finds some traces, is it possible that he can use this to force us to confess? Naturally, Danzo would not believe that Nami Kaze Chiba could move to them based on this. This is not very realistic. Sarutobi also agreed with what Danzo said. But, he is also a little curious about what kind of methods Nami Kaze Chiba has. He still knows a little about Nami Kaze Chiba. If you were not sure, why would you call them two over? But, what is the method? He frowned. Unexpected. Let's go. I also want to see what kind of medicine he is selling in his gourd. Danzo said. Sarutobi nodded. The two left the Hokage's office. Then, he headed towards the Kanaha Police Department. At this moment, Kanaha Police Department, Chiba has already ordered people to arrange it. He also brought up all the information about White Fang that he had investigated during these days. As for the three ninjas, naturally they haven't shouted out yet. After all, this is to be saved for later, to give Sarutobi Danzo too, a big surprise. If the trump card is taken out so easily, then it is no longer a trump card. Not long after, as the noise sounded outside, Chiba knew that Sarutobi and Danzo were coming, smiling and looking at Kakashi. It's time for us to go out and pick up the third generation and Lord Danzo. Kakashi followed Chiba out. Third generation Sama. At the door, Sarutobi and Danzo were both standing here. Moreover, not only the two of them, but also some guards were there. Chiba came closer with a smile. And Lord Danzo. After Danzo saw Kinyi, he couldn't help but snorted. You, the captain of the police department, are really arrogant. Why are you going to be blamed on me? Danzo's dissatisfaction was not concealed at all. Chiba showed a faint smile. My position as captain of the police force is still entrusted to Mr. Danzo. How could I have so much power if Lord Danzo hadn't taken action? Although Chiba is smiling, but in the words, every sentence is sarcastic. It is undoubtedly saying that if I can take action like this and cause trouble for you, isn't it because you asked for it yourself? Danzo suddenly narrowed his eyes. His eyes were extremely cold. In the end, it's my fault. Chiba said, it would be great if your excellency could think so. Advertisement. Danzo snorted coldly. He didn't speak anymore. Chiba continued. The invitation for the two adults to come this time is naturally about White Fang. After all, White Fang was also a former hero of the village and made many contributions to the village. It is both emotional and reasonable, and a big shot must be the witness before the case can be retried. Otherwise, it will be unfair to both Kanaha and the White Fang. Sarutobi spoke at this time. Kinyi, have you investigated everything about White Fang's case? Don't you want to do not investigate enough and wrongly accuse someone? There should be a lot involved in this. Cases like this, which have been backlogged by history, will always be easy to be exploited by those who are interested. Chiba smiled and said, Third generation Sama doesn't need to worry so much. Since I dare to ask you two to come, I must be prepared. Besides, the method I used should not be easily exploited by others. Oh, I heard this. Sarutobi suddenly showed an interested expression. At this time, he was even more curious about what method Kinyi used. Danzo said from the side, It's best this way. If there is any injustice, I will definitely not spare you. Don't worry, Lord Danzo, I won't accuse anyone unjustly, and I won't let anyone go. Chiba had a big smile on his face. And after hearing this, Sarutobi suddenly glanced at Chiba. Chiba smiled back. Chiba took the two of them into the police department office. Kakashi, I know you are sad about White Fang's death, but now it's in the hands of Chiba. I believe he will be able to find out what's wrong with it. We have to trust him. After coming in, Sarutobi smiled and said to Kakashi. Kakashi nodded. Thank you, Mr. Third Generation, for your concern. Regarding my father's matter, I hope we can find out the clues. Sarutobi said, we have to believe in Chiba. Danzo was on the side, laughing disdainfully. Hypocritical? Now that the two adults have arrived, I won't go on and on. It's time to get started. After Kinyi glanced around, he spoke. White Fang, Heitake Sakamo, also known as Heitake Sakamo, the previous head of the Heitake family. I have been gifted since childhood and have superhuman talent in ninjutsu. He was promoted to a race at the age of seven, became a jonin at the age of thirteen, and participated in the war. In the second ninja war, he killed two strong men of San Shinobi village, thus allowing the village to win the war. He is a worthy hero of the village. It is worth mentioning that. The two people killed by White Fang were the parents of the Red Sand Scorpion in the Akatsuki organization later, as well as the son and daughter-in-law of Cho's mother-in-law. The strength of the two of them was higher than that of Sunin at that time. White Fang has completed numerous missions, including 256 D-level missions, 384 C-level missions, 266 D-level missions, 123 A-level missions and 27 S-level missions. As Chiba finished speaking, Sarutobi couldn't help but nod. The information from the Chiba survey is very comprehensive. It is also quite accurate. It can be said that a lot of effort has obviously been put into it. But precisely because of this, he was even more curious. What methods does he have at his disposal? White Fang has made great contributions to the village and was awarded the Hokage half-sleeve by Nidame. Regarding the Hokage half-sleeve, although there is no clear statement, because the fifth Rakage Derui has the same mark, he was called the Rakage heir at the time. So judging based on this, it was also an extremely important identity mark at the time. To do this, you will undoubtedly need huge credit, and what supports the credit is strength. He deserves the name of Kanaha's White Fang. But, at this point, Chiba changed the subject. White Fang, who had such an impressive record, was blamed for a failed mission and chose to commit suicide. Advertisement. And the reason why the mission failed was because he chose to save his comrades. When Kinyi said this, Danzo suddenly snorted. The bounden duty of a ninja is to complete the mission. A ninja who can't even complete the mission is not a waste. What is that? 
Kakashi narrowed his eyes. Chiba looked at Danzo. Master Danzo may be right, but if you abandon your companions because you have completed your mission, then you are worse than a waste, right? Danzo-sama and third generation Sama used to be companions. Is it possible that if third generation Sama is in danger, Danzo-sama will give up on third generation Sama because of the mission? Chiba looked at him playfully, waiting for Danzo's answer. Danzo snorted in his heart. If possible, he would certainly like it. However, of course, this cannot be said now, he said. Of course I won't. Sarutobi is my best friend and will definitely save him. Chiba said, that's it. Master Danzo who failed in this mission is also a waste, isn't he? Lord Danzo, what do you think? Danzo snorted and didn't answer. After all, if he admits it, Danzo is a waste. If you don't admit it, then what you said before is just like farting. Contradictory. Therefore, he naturally would not pick it up. Sarutobi said from the side. Okay, let's get down to business. Chiba looked at Sarutobi. Sir third generation, what we are talking about now is business. Do you think that your companion's affairs are not business? Sarutobi smiled and said, that's not what I meant. Forget it, just keep talking and I'll just listen. Chiba continued to look at Danzo and asked again. If the mission failed because Mr. Third Generation rescued you, would you blame him for this? Danzo narrowed his eyes. After a long while, he said, won't. But White Fang was accused. Danzo squinted. What do you want to say in the end? Chiba said, it's very simple. Either he is a teammate of White Fang. He has a character problem and blames his partner who saved his life. If so, then such a person is not worthy of being a ninja. Either there is something hidden, someone is instructing them to do this, and what we need to do is find out who is behind it. Danzo sneered. Then what do you think was White Fang's death? Chiba couldn't help but laugh. If it's the first case, why should I invite two adults over? Poof. Aside, Achiha was there at the right time. He couldn't help but burst out laughing. Then, when Danzo glared at him coldly, he quickly returned to normal. Danzo's eyes became colder. Now that you have the answer, why don't you name the doubters quickly? Who did it? Lord Danzo, don't you know? What's the meaning? Danzo immediately slapped his palm on the table and said angrily, Advertisement. Do you doubt me? Chiba said. Previously, when Kakashi and I went to the homes of those ninjas and investigated, we found traces of the roots, and all three ninjas were killed without exception. Chiba looked at Danzo. Please, Mr. Danzo, please explain why this is. Why on earth were three of their ninja families killed on the same day? Danzo hummed. How do I know? If you said you saw traces of the root ninja, then it was the root? I also said you saw traces of the Achiha clan? Could it be that it was Achiha who did it? Do you want to check the Achiha clan as well? Danzo's words were naturally intended to muddy the waters. He knew very well whether he did it or not. However, no matter what Chiba said or what evidence he presented, Danzo would not admit it. Admit? Absolutely impossible? Anyway, the person is dead, is it possible that he, Namikaze Chiba, can bring the dead back to life and identify him? At this time, Danzo felt that he had decided on Chiba. Therefore, he was no longer angry, but smiled. He said, Namikaze Chiba, your words alone are not enough. Chiba said, of course it won't just be rhetoric. Otherwise, it would be as unreasonable as Mr. Danzo. Danzo narrowed his eyes. Then, a piece of bloodstained root ninja costume appeared in Chiba's hand. This is the proof. Danzo glanced at it and said indifferently. The root ninjas often go on missions, so it's not difficult to find their bloodline clothing. But this blood belongs to those three ninja families. Danzo still doesn't care. Perhaps Genbu discovered the murderer outside and took action to protect them. Namikaze Chiba, they have all made contributions to the village. You can't just want to arrest people just because of their clothes. If you do this, it will easily make people feel cold. When doing things, we must pay attention to definite evidence. Danzo is very proud. He could refuse to admit any evidence. After all, there is no resurrection after death. Is it possible that you, Namikaze Chiba, can really bring out the dead? Impossible? Danzo continued. These evidences alone are useless. We need witnesses. If you can get the deceased to identify themselves, that would be enough. Chiba looked at Danzo strangely. Kakashi was also stunned. Chiba said playfully. In other words, as long as I let them out, Lord Danzo will admit that it was the root ninja who did it. Ah. Uh, Danzo laughed. If you can really get them to come out, then. Before Danzo finished speaking, he saw Kinyi and clapped his hands. Snapped, snapped, snapped. Three times in a row. Very rhythmic. As the applause fell. Then he saw it. Itaka led the three people in. Danzo's eyes immediately widened. A look of disbelief. Advertisement. Chapter 26 Killing Danzo in front of Sarutobi. Advertisement. How, how could this happen? When he saw Itaka leading the three people in, Danzo's eyes widened in disbelief. In his expectation, the three ninjas had been killed by their roots and there was no way they could be resurrected. Then, it means that no matter what evidence he, Namikaze Chiba, presents, he can quibble. It's useless, but now, he actually saw someone. Could it be that the root ninja was lying to him? The three people were not killed. At this moment, Danzo had deep doubts. But, Sarutobi took one look and said in shock, this, impure world reincarnation. Chiba smiled and said, third generation Sama has good eyesight. Itaka led the people in, Lord Chiba. After saluting, he looked at Sarutobi and Danzo, two adults. Sarutobi nodded. Danzo has not yet recovered from the shock. The people have arrived, so the next step is to interrogate White Fang. Chiba looked at the three people. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes, also staring at them. Three of you, White Fang's death is very important. Please tell the truth and don't hide it. Sarutobi seemed quite sincere. But as he finished speaking, Danzo immediately reacted. Can't help but say, you'd better tell the truth, don't try to deceive me. I am not so easily deceived. Danzo's words undoubtedly made the three of them tremble slightly. Chiba took a look. There was no expression, but there was an extra long sword in his hand. Laugh, the sword light flashed past, drawing a silver arc. Then, he slashed hard to the table in front of Danzo. There was a muffled sound. The table split into two parts instantly. The sword sank three inches into the ground, right at Danzo's feet. Danzo was immediately furious. What are you doing? Are you going to attack me directly? Chiba smiled slightly. My hands are itchy, please move them. Chiba put away the sword. The smile on his face remains. Sir Danzo, interrogating them now does not require your help. 
There is no need to talk so much nonsense. It is meaningless. You. Danzo looked at Chiba angrily. Chiba said, don't let me use the second sword. I always follow the law and don't want to break the rules. After saying that, he looked at Sarutobi. What do you think, third generation Sama? Sarutobi said, you are the captain of the police force and you are solely responsible for everything. Hee <laughs> hee. Chiba laughed. Third generation Sama is still sensible. The scene was much quieter. The three ninjas were also frightened by Chiba's actions. After all, intimidating Danzo in front of third generation, this person is very courageous. Chiba said, you answer whatever I ask, and don't say another word. Did White Fang commit suicide because he was blamed for failing the mission? Yes. Who was that person he saved? I. One stood up. Advertisement. Chiba continued. Why do you accuse him? He subconsciously looked at Danzo, who snorted coldly. The man looked at Kinyi, and after a while, he spoke. Because of the money. Continue. That day, in order to save me, Lord Sakamo chose to give up the mission, which ultimately led to the failure of the mission. I was extremely grateful to Lord Sakamo, but after we returned to the village, someone found me and told me that as long as I accused Lord Sakamo of what I had done no, if you keep forcing him, you can get 800,000 tails. Who found you? Chiba continued to ask. It's, a root ninja. Nonsense. At this moment, Danzo couldn't hold it in any longer. Speak directly. I have always acted openly and above board, how could I do such a thing? At this time, Sarutobi glanced at Danzo suddenly and said nothing. Chiba looked at the ninja. You are lying. No, I definitely didn't lie. That's what the root ninja told me. Even after Sakamo-sama died, they tried to kill me many times, but, thanks to third generation Sama's helping hand, we managed to escape. Until a few days ago, the root ninja took action again. Sarutobi said at this time, I did feel their panic. I thought it was because they were too guilty because of White Fang's death, but since people can't be resurrected, they let them into Umbu to protect them. Chiba nodded. Then he looked at the other two people. Why do you accuse me? The two said truthfully, because a root ninja came to us and promised to give us a reward of 300,000 tails, so that we could accuse Sakamo-sama. Chiba didn't ask any more questions. Look to Danzo instead. Danzo-sama, would you mind calling all the root ninjas and asking them to identify you? Danzo's face is still full of anger. They are from the impure world reincarnation. You must have been in tandem with them to frame me together, and... His eyes suddenly turned cold. The conditions for the impure world reincarnation spell require the sacrifice of a living person. Namikaze Chiba, you actually did such a cruel thing. When he spoke like this, he just wanted to completely muddy the water. But unfortunately, Kinyi didn't give him this chance at all. Chiba said, what you said makes sense, but I don't know how to impure world reincarnation. They were reincarnated by other people. Danzo said coldly, other than the late second Hokage, the only one who knows impure world reincarnation is Orikimaru. He is the rebel ninja of the village. Do you have any collusion with the rebel ninja? Chiba shrugged. How is that possible? I am ashamed to be around people like Orikimura. Maybe Nidame's soul in the Pure Land saw it and felt that the White Fang was framed, so he resurrected them. Danzo sneered. Naturally, I don't believe this. One thing he was sure of was that Chiba must have come into contact with Orikimaru. Otherwise, impure world reincarnation would not have appeared. Sarutobi also thought of this. He couldn't help but look at Chiba. Chiba waved his hand. Well, they appeared at the entrance of the village. I don't know if they have anything to do with Orikimaru, but this rhetoric obviously cannot convince the two of them. But, Chiba didn't mean to persuade them. In other words, this is just a random joke on his part. Too lazy to find a reason. He looked at Danzo and said, Now that the evidence is complete, is Mr. Danzo still planning to cover up anything? Could it be that the root order was actually given by you, and you are covering it up now just because you are afraid of being investigated? Danzo scolded. Fart. There is no way I can do such a thing. Then please hand over the root ninja. Chiba looked at Sarutobi at this time and said, Sir Third Generation, this matter is of great importance. It involves the reputation of the village. I would like to ask Mr. Third Generation to assist me. I'm afraid it will be difficult for the police department to handle it. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes and said, If it is true, I will help. Chiba smiled and said, Then, I'll trouble you, Mr. Third Generation. At this point, the interrogation is over. Advertisement. Danzo walked away. Sarutobi was a little slower. After Itake watched them leave, he couldn't help but say, Sir, this does not seem to be satisfactory. It is impossible for Danzo to hand over the person. What is the point of us doing this? Of course. Chiba smiled. Itake, post everything that happened today in the village, so that all villagers can see the truth behind White Fang's death. Itake followed the order and left. Teacher Chiba, I, what can I do? Kakashi couldn't help but speak. After all, it was for his father's sake. If he didn't do something, he would really feel guilty. Don't be anxious, you have something to do. After a while, Shisui walked in. Lord Chiba, um, Chiba nodded. Do you have any recent contact with the village? Shisui said, yes, Lord Third Generation wants me to join Umbu. Although he is wary of Uchiha, he is willing to believe me. You should have understood the White Fang thing. Simply relying on this is not enough to force Danzo. Sarutobi cannot force Danzo because of this. It is not enough. Although we have put in a lot of effort to collect evidence, sometimes evidence alone is not enough. You also need to have strength. Kinyi said in a deep voice. Not to mention, the people involved in the White Fang incident, even if we get to the end of the investigation, they are just those few people. If we are forced to do so, we will only be able to force out a few of them. Danzo will definitely be able to get rid of himself. Also, Sarutobi will not allow anything to happen to Danzo at this stage. But, are you willing to have this result? Shisui and Kakashi both shook their heads. I'm not willing to accept it either. Chiba said. So, the follow-up arrangements are like this. Danzo and Sarutobi have long been afraid of the Uchiha clan. Later, because I took charge of Uchiha, their fear became even higher. Coupled with this White Fang incident, they should be at their limit once Itaka gets things done. Uchiha at this time, in their eyes, is out of control and completely out of their control. He looked at Shisui. But that's not enough, so, Shisui, you need to tell Sarutobi and Danzo, Uchiha's misdeeds, and, your mangekyo. Shisui nodded. Good. Chiba continued. 
Only in this way will they regard Uchiha as the biggest threat and take action. Chiba's eyes were full of coldness. How can it be enough to kill one or two ninjas in the root? At least, the entire root must be destroyed. Now, seeing the killing intent in Chiba's eyes, Kakashi was also shocked. After a long while, he said, I am willing to follow the teacher. Good. Chiba smiled. Itaka moved quickly. After posting all the things about White Fang, the villagers soon noticed it. The death of Kanaha's White Fang. It turns out that Lord White Fang was actually framed. Root Ninja, it's so abominable. Master White Fang is so powerful, but now he is framed to death by a villain. Remembering the past, as long as Lord White Fang is here, our war in Kanaha will never be lost. Damn you villain, you deserve to die. Root Ninja, what a shameful thing this is, go to hell. Where is Mr. Third Generation? Mr. Third Generation must ask for justice for White Fang. Yes, the police department has said that the matter will finally be handed over to Mr. Third Generation. He will definitely give White Fang justice. Believe in Mr. Third Generation. Third Generation Sama will definitely do it. Third Generation Sama will definitely deal with the Root Ninja. The villagers were very excited. They all criticized this ninja with words and words. Of course, there was a lot of help from Itaki. Hokage office. Sarutobi already knew what was going on outside. At this time, he already knew the reason why Kinyi did this. Public opinion. I want to use public opinion to force him to deal with the root causes. Advertisement. After all, as a Hokage, he cherishes his reputation quite a lot. He has always given people the impression of being generous and benevolent, and is the most approachable Hokage. And these undoubtedly require him to keep creating. But now, Kinyi uses this to oppress him. He was forced to take action. Sarutobi sighed. What a good idea. As long as this kind of thing ferments for a few more days, he will have to take action if he wants to keep these ninjas at his roots. Public anger must be quelled. He, Namikaze Chiba, has a good idea. He thinks that he can attack the roots simply by relying on a few dead people. Danzo's voice came at this time. Sarutobi looked at him. Once again, I felt that this partner's IQ was unreliable. He couldn't help but sneer. Didn't you look down on Namikaze Chiba before? Why, did you suffer at his hands? Danzo was speechless for a moment. I was just careless. A moment of carelessness. If I weren't here today, all the wealth you Danzo have accumulated would be destroyed today. He dares. Danzo said angrily. But at this moment, he was suddenly startled. An idea flashed in his mind, and he said immediately. He relies on Uchiha and dares to take action against the roots. Sarutobi, it seems that this Namikaze Chiba has completely joined forces with Uchiha. They, want to rebel. After hearing this, Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. But there was still some hesitation. And at this time, someone reported it. Third generation Sama, Uchiha Shisui is here. Sarutobi said, let him in. Shisui walked in. Third generation Sama, Danzo Sama. Danzo asked, Shisui, why are you here? As the descendants of Uchiha Kagami, the two of them still trust Shisui. Shisui said, these days, I am in Uchiha and have not gained the trust of Namikaze Chiba. I have been wandering on the edge of Uchiha, but today, I accidentally heard the news. What news? Danzo was immediately interested. Shisui said, Namikaze Chiba, discuss with Uchiha Fugaku, activate Uchiha. What? They dare. Danzo narrowed his eyes and scolded. Shisui continued. After hearing the news, I rushed over immediately and reported the news to the two adults. Sarutobi suddenly said, Shisui, Namikaze Chiba, and Fugaku are both strong. How could you hear their conversation? Shisui said nothing to explain. But the next moment, the originally black pupils instantly turned scarlet. The sign belonging to Manjikyo appeared immediately. When Manjikyo Sherinan appeared, Sarutobi and Danzo looked at each other, and both saw the fear and solemnity in each other's eyes. How scary Uchiha, Manjikyo is actually here? Danzo sneered. It seems that Uchiha Fugaku wants to unite with Namikaze Chiba and rebel against the village. Shisui didn't speak. Sarutobi started to think about it. Shisui said, Actually, I have another way. My Manjikyo ability can change the minds of others. In fact, I can try to change the minds of both of them and make them loyal to the village. After hearing what he said, Sarutobi's eyes suddenly changed, but they recovered instantly. Sarutobi said, You can try, but Shisui, you must keep yourself safe. We don't trust Uchiha, but we trust you. Good. Shisui leaves. He did not expect that Danzo looked at Shisui's back at this moment, showing greed. After Danzo left, Sarutobi watched Danzo leave. Come and come. He knew what Danzo was going to do. Advertisement. Chapter 27 Genocide Uchiha. Advertisement. Shisui leaves the Hokage office. In fact, he was a little unclear as to why Chiba asked him to say this and reveal his Manjikyo Sherinan. If this were the case, wouldn't it arouse the fear of the village even more? The scale of this is too difficult to grasp. Shisui didn't think about it anymore and decided to ask again when he got back. However, on the way back, I passed a sparsely populated place. Shisui suddenly stopped and looked somewhere. His eyes suddenly changed. Come out, there's no point in hiding, I've already discovered you. As expected of the Shunshen Shisui who became famous during the Third Ninja War. He truly deserves his reputation. As the words fall, suddenly more than a dozen ninjas appeared. Shisui frowned as he looked at these people. They all wore black robes and strange masks with ghost faces. Although she tried her best to hide it, Shisui still recognized it. Umbu, that is to say, the one who came to deal with him was Danzo. Shisui narrowed his eyes and couldn't help but look somewhere and said, Master Danzo, since you are here, why don't you come out? It's not like you to be secretive. Ha ha ha. One side. The sound of laughter was heard, and then, Danzo's figure appeared on the field. Looking at Shisui, he couldn't help but smile. As expected of Shisui, you actually guessed it was me. Shisui looked at Danzo. Why are you doing this, sir? Danzo said, with such a powerful power like Manjikyo Sherinan, it is difficult for people to feel at ease when Uchiha controls it. In this case, it is better to hold it in his own hands. Danzo said coldly, Shisui, are you going to hand over your eyes yourself, or are we going to do it? Is there no other way? Shisui said, I can activate Manjikyo's ability to persuade Chiba and the Fugaka clan leader so that they will never have other thoughts. Danzo still shook his head. No, Shisui, it's not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust anyone. Such a terrifying power is best only if you hold it in your own hands. And if anyone but me controls it, that, is dangerous. Shisui's face stiffened. He originally had some hope for the village. After all, at the beginning, Chiba only asked him to say that he had Manjikyo, but not his ability. 
He had some hope for the village, so he revealed the ability of distinguished heavenly gods. But, the result was not what he expected. He was a little disappointed with the village's choice. The village chose to take action against him. Shisui looked at Danzo for a while and said, I see. The darkness in his pupils turned into scarlet. Mangekyo Sherinan appears directly. Shisui said, then it depends on your ability. Danzo sneered. The next moment, a kunao was inserted directly into Shisui's body. Behind him, Umbu's ninjas were already hiding. The reason Danzo said so much was to give him a chance to take action. But, bang, the kunao was inserted into the body, and Shisui's body disappeared immediately. Shadow clone? From a distance, Shisui watched everyone's actions with Mangekyo. Suddenly, his body moved. In the blink of an eye, he passed four people. Danzo is approached. He held the short sword in his hand and stabbed Danzo. But unfortunately, there are too many people around Danzo. There are still several roots in its darkness. Advertisement. It's simply inaccessible. Bang. Shisui pulled away and backed away. But several root ninjas followed instantly. Shisui formed a seal instantly, and four phantoms appeared in succession. The appearance of the phantom caused an instant change in Shisui's original situation of fighting more with less. When? 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 There were several crisp sounds in a row. Phantom instantly fights the root ninja. As for Shisui, it is activated by Sherinan. The three ninjas closest to Danzo had their eyes empty in the blink of an eye, and then fell down. Almost instantly, the root ninja was almost completely entangled. Shisui, on the other hand, went directly to Danzo. Shisui, are you going to kill me? Danzo looked at him and asked. Are you going to betray the village by attacking me, a high-ranking member of the village? Do you want Uchiha to fall into war and be engraved on the village's pillar of shame? Danzo said in a deep voice. If you kill me, the village will not forgive the Uchiha family. You will completely lose the trust of the village. And you, Uchiha Shisui, are Uchiha sinners. Listening to Danzo's words, Shisui hesitated. Between the village and the ethnic group, he always had hope. Even at this moment. So at this time, Shisui was really hesitant. However, just when he was hesitating and thinking about what to do, suddenly, Danzo's eyes froze, and his palm instantly grabbed Shisui. Only, the moment he was about to catch it, Shisui's Mangekyo Sherinan flashes instantly. The illusion is activated. Danzo only held on for a moment before his body sagged. Shisui glanced at him. I won't kill you, but is this the village's decision? Then I can't accept it. Shisui turned around. I will use my own method to handle the relationship between the village and Uchiha. He turned to leave. Unexpectedly, Danzo suddenly straightened up at this moment. Chakra covered the entire palm and then grabbed directly towards Shisui's body. If he succeeds, Shisui will be seriously injured. But it's a pity. That's when Danzo was about to succeed. A kunao flew over and stuck into Danzo's palm. Although it was okay, the kunao was bounced away. But Shisui noticed it and distanced himself. The other side, Uchiha Itaki, wearing Uchiha clothes, walked out slowly. He looked at Shisui, nodded and said, Master Chiba asked me to pick you up. Shisui, it's time for us to go. Shisui looked at Itaki. Itaki. His voice was a little low. Weasel said, Chibasama said that you should have a long memory. You don't have the ability or qualifications to make decisions for Uchiha. It's best to put away your ability and don't have other thoughts. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind digging out your eyes. Shisui was silent. Let's go back. Before leaving, Itaka looked at Danzo. My lord said that I will take the route you brought here for you. I hope that Lord Danzo will not make any mistakes and do something incorrect. Itaka waved his hand. Several members of the Kanaha Police Department appeared from the darkness. Take away all the people previously subdued by Shisui. Oh, right. Itaka suddenly remembered and looked at Danzo again. Master Chiba also asked me to tell you something. He said word for word. Danzo, I didn't expect that after so many years, you are still such a waste. You only dare to do tricks behind the scenes. You are really not a man. Say it. Advertisement. Regardless of Danzo's reaction, he turned and left. Shisui followed Itaka's footsteps. This area was quickly cleared up. Danzo was the only one left, with an angry look on his face. Next moment, he clenched his fist and punched the ground, making a loud sound. Danzo couldn't suppress his anger at all. Today he brought not many people to the roots. Due to time constraints, there was no time to call too many people. Because of this, Shisui was given a chance. If he could bring more, or, if you convince Sarutobi too. Danzo narrowed his eyes. From here, we headed to the Hokage office. Push the door open. Danzo is unusually calm. Sarutobi, Uchiha is out of control. Sarutobi looked at him. Danzo said, Shisui, Itaki, and Fugaku must have been completely impressed by Namikaze Chiba. Now the Uchiha clan has almost all fallen into the hands of Namikaze Chiba. Sarutobi, how long has it been since he came back? Now he has taken control of a clan. If you give him time to go down, Hayaga, Inoshikacho, and other clans, can you guarantee that they will support you? Danger must be nipped in the cradle instead of waiting for it to grow up. Sarutobi smoked a cigarette while tapping his fingers on the table. He was thinking about Danzo's words. And now Uchiha, the real attitude. After a long while, Sarutobi asked. Shisui's eyes, did you get them? Danzo was stunned for a moment, then sneered. No, not only that, but the seven roots I brought with me were also captured by Uchiha Shisui alone. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. There are so many of you, but you can't beat him Shisui. Danzo's face suddenly became confused. It was originally okay, but unfortunately in the end, Uchiha Itaka came to the rescue with Uchiha's jonin. If there are more people than there are fewer, we will naturally suffer. Sarutobi nodded. Sighed. It seems that Uchiha's problem is really big. In this case, even I can't stand by and watch. Danzo, you can take action, I give you permission. Danzo looked at him coldly. How could he still not understand the meaning of Sarutobi's words? If you need him, let him do it. As for whether it really succeeds, then it's him, Sarutobi, who deserves credit for his leadership. If it doesn't, then Danzo's fault lies with him. Therefore, Danzo snorted. Then I think it's better for Uchiha not to take action. If not, I'll support Namikaze Chiba as Hokage. Maybe it will be easier. He broke the jar and smashed it, and his words were full of ridicule. Sarutobi didn't seem to hear it. He opened his mouth and said, When you take action, I will transfer some Ambu to you. They will cooperate fully and will not embarrass you. Danzo looked much better after hearing this. Finally, he nodded and said, Okay, this time I destroy Uchiha, let's see what he can do if he Namikaze Chiba. Kanaha Police Department, Lord Chiba, 
Shisui and Itaka both bowed. Chiba looked at Shisui. Actually, I quite admire you. You are pretty good and very talented. It's a pity. My brain is not working well. It feels good to reveal Mangekyou's abilities, doesn't it? Distinguished heavenly gods, being able to change other people's minds, is also scary, right? If we can succeed, we can solve the village's troubles and allow Uchiha to survive. Chiba stepped forward and stood in front of Shisui. Then he reached out and patted his face. Snapped, snapped, snapped. One is heavier than the other. With a crisp voice, he looked at Shisui with a smile, but this smile was a little cold. But, even so, Shisui still remained silent. To say you are stupid is to praise you. Advertisement. Don't interfere with any of Uchiha's decisions in the future, and don't do things under the guise of doing things for Uchiha. You are not smart enough. Just be a thug, Chiba said without mercy. At this point, Itaka couldn't bear it and said, Sir, in fact, Shisui is also for the clan. It is precisely because he is for the clan that I will keep his life. The smile on Chiba's face disappeared, replaced with indifference. Distinguished heavenly gods can change people's minds. You can change Fugaku, but you can't change him Sarutobi and Danzo. Are you stupid enough to mention this ability because you're afraid that others won't be wary of you and won't do anything to you? Do you think that when Danzo came out to take action today, he Sarutobi didn't know anything about it? He is a Hokage. He has been a Hokage for decades, sitting firmly in this position, leaving Danzo with no chance at all. How can he not know about every move of his roots? But, why not stop it? Listening to Chiba's shouts and questions, Shisui's originally somewhat dissatisfied expression suddenly became dull. Then, his face turned red. Obviously, he thought too simply. Even Itaka was too embarrassed to say anything else at this moment. Indeed, stupid. If I hadn't let Itaka pass today, how many of your two eyes do you think you could have saved? If Manjiku doesn't want it, give it to Itaki. Shisui gritted his teeth. My lord, Shisui realizes his mistake. Is it true that I'm wrong? Chiba stood up. Stand next to the window. Acknowledging your mistakes will not save Uchiha, nor will it change Konoha. Chiba looked out the window. Root ninjas have already appeared and are surrounding them. The enemy is already here. I don't want to see if you know you are wrong. Go and let me see your actions. Yes. Shisui spoke. Then he got up and walked out. The moment he stood up, his eyes were scarlet again, and Mangekyo was revealed. He rushed outside alone. Itaka stretched out his hand, wanting to say something. Chiba said, Itaki, watch carefully here. Even if Shisui is dead, you can't take action. Itaki didn't respond. What's most important to you? Uchiha's honor? Family ties? Or younger brother? I don't care what you care about, but what I want is for Uchiha to obey. You can think, think about the village and Kanaha, but here, there can only be one voice. Listen to me and Uchiha will survive. This moment, Itaka looked at Chiba by the window and looked at his back. Finally lowered his head. Yes, sir. Uchiha never needed that much sound. Just one is enough. And this voice wasn't Shisui, it wasn't Itaki, and it wasn't Fugaku, but him, Namikaze Chiba. The only way to keep Uchiha alive. Shisui went out. Stand at the door. The moment Manjikyo was activated, a hidden ninja fell down from the third tree on the left. Then he threw three kunao and stabbed them in three directions. When? Laugh? Some of the kunao stabbed, and some were blocked. The root ninja can be picked by Danzo, so he is naturally very powerful. Many of those who came today are Jonin's strength. This is the hidden power of Kanaha, and, only part of it. Shisui took a deep breath, jumped into the woods, and in an instant, there were almost dozens of kunao flying towards him. He was instantly caught in a big net from which it was difficult to escape. Advertisement. Chapter 28 Kunao Thorn Susanna. Advertisement. When? Shisui threw five kunao, instantly knocking away incoming attacks. Then it fell onto the tree trunk. Tread, and use it as a springboard to jump up again. In the blink of an eye, a root ninja approached. Laugh. The kunao pierced the body instantly and then was pulled out. The ninja fell straight down. Seriously injured, but not dead. The other root ninjas quickly followed and there was no time to repair them. Bang! The moment Shisui disappeared, the big tree he was leaning against was hit by several ninja darts. Shisui summons a phantom, and five Shisui appear in succession. Far away, Danzo squinted his eyes and looked at this scene. No need to hold back, let the people hiding in the dark take action and take down Shisui as quickly as possible. Uchiha in the back, and Namikaze Chiba, are today's targets. Yes. One of the roots left silently. In the woods, in more than ten places in a row, the leaves suddenly shook. Then, more than a dozen ninjas wearing cat face masks appeared and started to kill Shisui. Shisui gritted his teeth. Even though he has the reputation of being able to teleport, it is still extremely difficult to face so many powerful enemies. Mangekyo is activated, and the Genjutsu appears immediately. The three root ninjas in front of them acted sluggishly for the first time. Shisui quickly came closer and stabbed out the short sword, directly hitting a person in the heart. But there was no time to kill the second person. If it were slower for a moment, the encirclement would be formed instantly. Ninjas who can penetrate the root are undoubtedly extremely powerful. Call? Shisui disappeared from the spot and landed on a tree trunk in the distance, breathing heavily. Far away, thirteen root ninjas approached step by step. They didn't give Shisui any chance to breathe, and the moment was approaching. There was even ninjutsu support in the distance. Fire-style ninjutsu quickly clears the terrain, while earth-style restricts Shisui's movements. The five roots were approaching in the blink of an eye, and there was no way to avoid them. Take a deep breath. The moment he was covered by ninjutsu, the power of Manjikyo Sherinan is inspired to ultimate. From Shisui, an extremely powerful force was condensed, and the power of the eyes was fully displayed. A green energy began to cover Shisui's body. Bang, bang. Four consecutive ninjutsu attacks on this green energy were unable to break it. And, after covering Shisui, this green energy actually fixed its form. With Shisui as the center, arms actually grew. A dark green giant completely covered Shisui. Shisui is at its center. The giant was extremely tall and held a spiral sword in his right hand. Far away, the moment he saw the dark green giant, Itaka narrowed his eyes and couldn't help but say, This, Suzanu, the ultimate power hidden within Mangekyo. When the pupil power reaches ultimate, it can be summoned, also known as the power of God. 
Suzano? Shisui Suzano has not appeared in the anime, but Kishimoto has designed it and appears in the game. The green form of Suzano is used directly here. What a powerful force. The other side. The moment Danzo saw this dark green giant, his pupils trembled and he couldn't help but make a sound. The powerful feeling of power shook everything. Representing Uchiha's ultimate power, it's too terrifying. Danzo looked at this scene with endless greed in his eyes. Get him. He couldn't wait to get Shisui's eyes. Boom. Advertisement. The ninjutsu bombarded Suzano and was directly offset. Shisui stood at Suzano's chest. The giant who controlled this godlike thing stabbed forward directly with a spiral sword. A series of five root ninjas were blown away by a sword. Even if the five of them tried their best to stop it, it was still useless. Boom. Endless ninjutsu fell on Suzano. It's impossible for them to harm Shisui inside. But, although Suzano is powerful, the consumption of eye power is also huge. With Shisui's current eye power, it's a bit reluctant to use Suzano. So it is destined to be difficult to maintain for too long. But, he had to use it. This moment. Even though Suzano appeared, the root ninja still did not retreat. The moment Shisui took action, a big tree appeared from under his feet and directly wrapped around the dark green giant's feet. Restricted his movements. At the same moment, fire style and water style ninjutsu came from two directions. At the same time it fell on Suzano. In an instant, Shisui's movements were restricted to the limit. And also at this moment, Danzo's eyes flashed and he saw an opportunity. His body suddenly moved. Like an agile cheetah, sneaking in the woods. He was too fast, like the most powerful assassin in the dark. In the blink of an eye, Shisui was close. Then, the kunao in his hand suddenly stabbed forward. In full view of everyone, he stabbed Shisui who was surrounded by Suzano. Then, when, the sound is extremely crisp. Resounded in the silent woods. The kunao was directly bounced away without causing any damage. But, the effect is still there. Shisui was stunned when he saw the scene. He always felt that he had been insulted. Then he controlled Susan and swung out with one arm. Bang, this arm directly hit Danzo, and then blasted him away hard. Bang, 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 Danzo's body flew out and knocked down three big trees in a row before he stopped. The rest of the roots were seen, after being stunned for a moment. Attack again. The cooperation is extremely tacit. Using various ninjutsu to limit Shisui's movements. No matter how strong Suzanu is, her consumption is still terrifying. Under this situation, most of Shisui's eye power was gone, and it was difficult to maintain Susanna's full form. Eventually, only two arms remained. Police department. Chiba watched this scene from afar. About there. Behind Chiba. There stood a crowd of Uchiha. They were extremely quiet, but there was endless anger hidden in their chests. Just waiting to explode. Chiba turned around and looked at the Uchiha tribesmen in front of him. You've suppressed it long enough. The village is unfair. The third generation suppresses you, and repeatedly takes away what belongs to you. Danzo plotted against you and restricted you repeatedly. You are Uchiha, one of the founders of the village. Every time there is a war, Uchiha goes to the battlefield to fight for the village and the future. You have shed enough blood, and enough people have died. The red in your pupils represents love and hate. Today, vent it out. No need to worry, vent your anger completely. Chiba's voice was indifferent, let me see Uchiha's power. Yes. The shouts were as loud as thunder. Moment. Advertisement. Countless Uchiha walked out of the police department, with firm steps and determined anger. Together, let it out, in the woods. The sounds of fighting were shouted one after another. Blood flowed out. Shisui withdrew Susanna and tried his best to fight against the two Umbu ninjas in front of him. He gritted his teeth and his pupils were so strong that even Manjikyo could not survive. A ninjutsu hit, and Shisui couldn't dodge it. However, at this time, a figure appeared and scattered the ninjutsu. What appeared was a jonin of Uchiha. Shisui, go back and rest, leave this place to us. Shisui looked at jonin's back. Uchiha, after all, is our Uchiha. Hey, we have to work together, how can we let you fight alone? We old guys are no worse than you young people. After saying that, he stepped forward directly. Three Uchiha Jonin appeared in a row and snatched away Shisui's opponent. Beside, one after another, Uchiha stepped forward and protected him behind them. This moment, Shisui just felt utter warmth. Incomparable sense of security. Itaki appeared and helped the exhausted Shisui up. How does it feel? Itaki smiled. It feels, good. The clan members are united and have not seen such a situation for a long time. Shisui looked at the tribesmen who were fighting constantly and with high morale, but said in a daze, It turns out that what I had been thinking was actually narrow-minded. The problems Uchiha faces should not be solved alone, but must be faced together. Itaki nodded. Thanks to Chibasama, I can make Uchiha better and better. Yes. Shisui nodded and watched the battle with Itaki. The other side. When the Uchiha all joined the war, Danzo stood firm, his eyes cold. These evil ghosts hiding in the darkness have long had the idea of betraying the village, and now they no longer hide it. Umbu, stop hiding and kill all the Uchiha. Yes. A cold voice sounded next to him. Then one after another, ninjas hiding in the dark appeared and participated in the fight. From time to time people died. There are both Roots and Umbu's ninja, and there's Uchiha. There is no such thing as death in war. At this moment, right in the Hokage office, Sarutobi couldn't sit still, so he came to the window and looked into the distance. But unfortunately, it is difficult to see the battle situation clearly here. Can't even see clearly. He squinted. I felt a little uneasy, but after thinking about the strength of Genbu and Umbu, I felt more at ease in the end. The village will definitely win. Sarutobi murmured. Chiba slowly walked out of the police department. As the captain of the police department, he naturally would not stand idly by in this battle. However, he will not interfere in other people's battles, he will go straight to Danzo. We meet again, Lord Danzo. Chiba looked at Danzo in front of him with a faint smile. Ah, Danzo sneered. You really were hiding something evil, and now you've finally exposed it. Namikaze Chiba, do you really think you can win? Everyone who betrays the village will not end well. Chiba looked at Danzo. Have I ever betrayed the village? Advertisement. I have never betrayed the village. Even if Sarutobi did something wrong in the past and there were dark moments, I still didn't care because this is the place where my brother and I once lived. I have indeed tried to understand that you may have done such a despicable thing for the sake of the village. But, is Naruto at fault? What did he do? He is just an innocent child who doesn't understand anything. My brother protected the village at the cost of his life. All he did was that you took good care of him and gave him a decent life. A stable, ordinary childhood. Did you do it? 
No, unlike Danzo who went to answer, Chiba spoke on his own. This kind of village, this kind of hokage, rather than letting you losers sit here, I should do it myself. I never betrayed the village, it was just the village that betrayed me. After hearing this, Danzo smiled disdainfully. You said so much just to reveal your wolfish ambitions. Namikaze Chiba, what are you talking about? You are here just for a fight, so just do it. Good, Chiba spoke. The long sword appeared in his hand, and then he swung it. Danzo's expression suddenly changed and he quickly dodged away. The sword light suddenly fell, and the place where he was originally standing, as well as the big tree beside him, were split into two halves. Danzo lands. Take off the bandage directly on your arm. One sherry non after another was revealed. Do you think I haven't made any progress after all these years? Today I want you to see my strength. Chiba only glanced at these. Ugly stuff. The long sword fell, and its flat cutting characteristics were directly brought into play. Split everything. Danzo's right arm instantly changed and turned into a big tree. Wood style's ability is directly revealed from Danzo's arm. Then he struck at Kini's sword. The ugly thief. The long sword fell. Laugh. Wood style is cut directly. The sword struck Danzo directly. The terrifying long sword directly cut Danzo in half. But, after his body was cut in half, it recovered again the next moment. Danzo didn't seem to be hurt, except for one of the sherry nons on his right arm that was closed. My abilities are not limited to this. Danzo's eyes were cold. What Uchiha knows, I can do the same. While talking about evil power, you steal shamelessly. Danzo, you are still as ugly as before. People like you, even if Sarutobi steps down, will not be able to sit in the high position of Hokage. You do not deserve. Another slash with the sword. Danzo, who had just recovered, was killed again. Sherry Nan closed another one. Today, only three remain. Most of Danzo's Sherry Nan were collected during the night of Uchiha's genocide, but with Danzo's urine properties, not all of them are, so they are set to have some. Let's see how many times you can be resurrected. Chiba moved and drew his sword again. Danzo's expression changed and he immediately backed away. At the same time, Wood Style was activated again, hoping to restrict Chiba's movements. But, Chiba just slashed Wood Style open with one sword. The terrifying long sword cuts through everything instantly. Weak Wood Style. Laugh. The sword hit Danzo directly in the head. Another eye closed. Chiba's strength is so terrifying that Danzo can't escape at all. Now he has a cold face and finds it difficult to find a solution. His resurrection was the use of multiple Sherry Non, and the Izanagi used was also restored to the original time, thus returning to his undead state. However, this is not invincible. Chiba thought of this and suddenly became interested. With a sword strike, Danzo was pinned to a nearby tree trunk. Then, looking at Danzo, he smiled. Your Sherry Non should have killed a lot of Uchiha people, right? Killing you would be too easy for you. Why don't you let all the Uchiha stab you one by one? Danzo's expression changed instantly. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Danzo's Death, Uchiha's Anger. Advertisement. When he heard Kini's words, Danzo's expression suddenly changed. Namikaze Chiba, I have followed second Hokage, I can kill you but not humiliate him. Chiba looked at Danzo, his eyes still indifferent. But there are not many humiliating things that Master Danzo has done, right? I don't know how many ninjas were captured by you to study the corpses. Even, the Sherry Non of the Uchiha clan was dug up by you and transplanted into your own arm. When Mr. Danzo did these things, did you ever think about their feelings? Are they willing to let you be so insulted? Not necessarily. Why is it that now, when it comes to Master Danzo, you can't accept it? Chiba said this and looked at Danzo. At the same time, he moved his hand and stabbed his sword into his thigh. Suddenly, it made Danzo cry out in pain. A sword penetrated his thigh, and blood flowed from it. Chiba's eyes were indifferent and he smiled. Itake, tell the others to come with them after they are done with it. Yes, Itake left. Went to the forest. Chiba looked at Shisui. Bring him here and we'll go back. Shisui nodded. Using the remaining chakra, Danzo was tied up. Then, taken to the police department. Not long after, Itaka came back with a group of Uchiha clan members. In this battle, most of the root ninjas were almost wiped out. Three of the remaining Umbu ninjas died, and all the rest escaped. Uchiha, there were also many casualties. Seven people died. However, this is considered a big victory for Uchiha. Morale improved a lot. These Uchiha do not have any sorrow because of the death of their clan members. With excitement on their faces, they looked at Chiba one after another. The joy in his eyes was hard to conceal. Sir, we have won, we have won. Uchiha wins, we defeat the roots. Big victory. They all opened their mouths to express their joy. Chiba looked at them, waiting to vent his emotions. Then, he raised his hand to stop them. The moment Chiba raised his hand, these Uchiha fell silent, waiting for Chiba to speak. Shisui, bring the people up. The tied-up Danzo was brought in front of him. At the same time, he was still shouting, Namikaze Chiba, I am a high-level official in the village. I can be killed but not humiliated. You can't treat me like this. Sarutobi, I want to see Sarutobi. Only the third generation can convict me. You are not qualified. Snapped. The moment he spoke, Kinyi raised his hand and slapped Danzo on the face. In an instant, Danzo shut up, looking at Chiba in disbelief. Calling you sir is not a compliment, it's a mockery of you. Danzo, don't take yourself seriously, you have to understand your current situation. Talk less. Chiba's eyes were full of coldness. Look at Danzo. Danzo was still full of anger, but at least, no more noise. Shisui, take off the bandage on his arm as well. Yes. Shisui obeyed and obeyed. When the bandage on Danzo's arm was removed, several Sherry Nons were exposed that had not been closed. The Uchiha tribe saw this scene. His expression suddenly changed. Sherry Non, how could it be? How could he have it? How is that possible? He's not Uchiha, where did you get the Sherry Non? Moreover, Sherry Non is not on his arm. He, forcibly dug out the eyes of his tribe and transplanted them into his own arm. No wonder, some members of the tribe have been missing in the past few days. It turns out it's all Danzo's fault. Advertisement. This moment. These Uchiha were furious. Almost lost his mind. They roared and raged, glaring at Danzo, looking at the Sherry Non on his arm, shouting, kill him. He desecrated the body of the deceased and dared to gouge out his eyes. This is an unforgivable crime. Lord Chiba, kill him. Chiba-sama. One sentence after another, they began to call Kinyi. Chiba looked at the angry Uchiha. 
He spoke loudly. Everyone, please be quiet first. What Danzo did, desecrating the dead, gouging out their eyes and transplanting them into his own arms, is unforgivable. Today I let you say this, not for anything else, but to tell you. If you don't strengthen yourself, you will be coveted by others. Sherry Non will give you strength, but you will also be coveted by others, so you will do such a thing. Only by strengthening yourself can you avoid being targeted. And right now, when Shiba spoke, suddenly, at the entrance of the police department, an Umbu ninja wearing a cat face mask appeared. The ninja first saluted Kinyi, and then said, Chiba-sama, third generation sama has something to tell you. The Uchiha crowd suddenly became excited. Chiba narrowed his eyes. If there's something going on, just say it. There's no need to cover it up. This. Then Umbu was a little confused. Chiba said, if you don't want to say it, just go back. The Umbu ninja struggled for a moment and finally said it. Master third generation said that he hopes you can hand over Danzo to him and let him handle it. After all, Danzo is a high level official in the village. If this is done, it will have a bad impact on the village. And, he also made a lot of contributions to the village. At least, he must have a decent death. The words fell. Uchiha below suddenly exploded. What? You want a dignified death? What about our dead tribesmen? He gouged out the eyes of our people, took possession of them shamelessly, and he still wants a dignified death. Third generation, is this the attitude of third generation? Is this how the third Hokage treats us, the Uchiha clan? The crowd was so excited that they wanted to take action against the Umbu ninja. The Umbu ninja frowned and subconsciously took a half step back. This allowed him to run away immediately. He looked up at Chiba. Chiba-sama, I know Danzo-sama has done many wrong things, but after all, this is Hokage-sama's order, so you still don't. He hasn't finished speaking yet. Chiba waved his hand directly, interrupted his next words. Danzo's crime is unforgivable. The police department is the village's law enforcement agency, so it can naturally be dealt with. Don't say that Sarutobi came back with a message. Even if Sarutobi came here in person today, there is absolutely no way he could take Danzo away. After hearing this, the Umbu ninja wanted to say something, but in the end he did not speak, planning to leave. But the moment he turned around, Shisui appeared behind him. Umbu ninja looked at Chiba. Lord Chiba, what does this mean? Chiba smiled and said, it's not interesting. Please watch a big show. After watching it, you can tell Sarutobi the truth. The words fell. Look at the remaining members of the police department. Chiba took out a short sword and placed it on the table in front of him. Things like anger will be suppressed if you don't vent them out. Don't use too much force. At least give others a chance. He reminded. Everyone has a chance. After Kinyi's words fell behind, people suddenly became excited. Soon, the first Uchiha came on stage and picked up the short sword from the table. His wrists were shaking and his eyes were full of anger. Then, he walked up to Danzo. Danzo yelled. I am a high-ranking official in the village. You cannot treat me like this. I will not bypass you. Ah, uh, advertisement. A knife stabbed into his stomach. The stab was very hard, but it didn't cause Danzo any fatal injuries, just pain. He came back and put the knife down. The second person stepped forward. Puff, also just one knife, then put it down. The third person. Puff, 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 one knife after another. Soon, Danzo almost became a bloody man. The Umbu ninja looked at this scene and couldn't help but said, Chiba-sama, this is not necessary. After all, Danzo-sama has done a lot for the village. It would be too cruel of you to do this. Chiba waved. Shisui stabbed the Umbu ninja directly in the shoulder. Shisui asked, Does it hurt? The Umbu ninja looked at Shisui. I don't feel any pain. He had a touch-up, this time on the other shoulder. Still the same problem. Does it hurt? You want to kill me? Umbu ninja asked. No, I won't kill you, but I think it won't hurt. Shisui smiled and said, After all, it didn't hurt me, so it won't hurt me. As for other people's pain, what does it have to do with me? Cruel. Umbu ninja said. Shisui laughed wildly. Am I cruel? What's the difference between what you just said and what I did? Have you ever experienced the pain of our Uchiha? You haven't? Since you haven't experienced it, why do you plead for him, Danzo? At the risk of your life. Later, Shisui's face was already filled with coldness. The murderous intent was undisguised. Umbu ninja shut up. Don't dare to speak. Next person. Puff. Danzo came to the back and could hardly scream. He even stopped using ninjutsu and was unwilling to be resurrected. He only wanted to die happily. But, the Uchiha people are not willing to let this end. At this time, a handsome looking Uchiha came out. Sir, I know some medical ninjutsu and can treat him. Chiba showed a smile. Go ahead. He stepped forward and began to actively treat Danzo. However, even with the medical ninjutsu, there was no way Danzo could recover from his injuries. But, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief and won't die. It was not until all the Uchiha tribesmen took action that Danzo died. Completely dead here. Chiba looked at the Umbu ninja and signaled Shisui to let go. Chiba said, Tell Sarutobi well what you saw today. Don't miss a point. The Umbu ninja left here quickly. Lord Chiba, what should we do next? After doing these things, Shisui also realized the seriousness of the matter. Because next, Uchiha has completely broken with the village. There is no possibility of any repair. Then, either Uchiha will face the village's crusade, or he will crusade the village. The nature has changed. Next, Chiba was very relaxed. Don't be so nervous. Next, just wait for news about Kakashi and wait for him to come back. Kakashi. Shisui was stunned. He didn't know that Kakashi left. Advertisement. Kakashi, of course, had left before. Under Chiba's order, he went to the capital of the Land of Fire to face the Daimyo, that is, the leader of the Kingdom of Fire. Chiba has already thought about it. Danzo's authority actually means that he is assisting Hokage. In other words, Kanaha, he has great power, in a sense, it is divided from Sarutobi. Sarutobi does not have all the power in the village. Danzo also has some in his hands. What Kinyi has to do is to get these powers. Furthermore, replace Sarutobi? Now, counting the time, Kakashi is almost coming back. And at this moment, Hokage office, the Umbu Ninja returned here injured. Third generation Sama. Sarutobi put down his cigarette and his eyes trembled when he saw the Umbu Ninja. What's, what's wrong with you? Why are there so many injuries? Sir, Namikaze Chiba. Namikaze Chiba, took Uchiha with him and betrayed the village. Please give the order to attack Uchiha and Namikaze Chiba. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. He finished listening to Umbu Ninja's story. Know everything that happened. Danzo has died fighting. 
Namikaze Chiba completely integrated Uchiha's forces. Now the power is huge. It has become a trend. That was indeed a tough one. Almost half of the roots under Danzo's command were destroyed, but some remained. Sarutobi has already sent people to integrate these. But it takes time. At this time, he was actually unwilling to do anything with Namikaze Chiba. Because in this regard, he does not have an advantage. This may even make the already unstable position even more unstable. However, now that Uchiha has rebelled, it is impossible not to deal with it. Sarutobi frowned, thinking about what to do. You go down first. This matter is not a trivial matter. I also need to think about it. Go down and heal. Yes. Umbu leaves. The original kindness on Sarutobi's face disappeared instantly. Where did Kakashi go? He looked somewhere. Next moment. Another Umbu ninja appeared and saluted Sarutobi first. Then he said. Kakashi, I went to the capital of the land of fire, it seems, to meet the daimyo. Sarutobi pondered. What does Namikaze Chiba want to do again? When you meet the daimyo, is it possible that by supporting the daimyo, you can take away the Hokage's position? Naive. As a daimyo, it would be difficult to take away Hokage's position. Although, most of Kanaha's economy needs the support of the Fire Nation. But again, the two sides are almost in a cooperative relationship, with no orders, only checks, and balances. The daimyo's attitude is important, but not absolute. What on earth is he going to do? Sarutobi thought about it. Umbu leaves. Sarutobi was the only one left in Hokage's office. He tapped on the table, unable to answer. And this time, Kakashi has already left the capital of the Fire Nation. And... He didn't leave alone. Along with him, there was the envoy from the capital, and the envoy represented the daimyo. On the way, the messenger smiled and said, Kakashi, there is no need to be so anxious. The daimyo has long been acquainted with Namikaze Chibasama and is extremely supportive of him. In the past, if he was willing to be the target of the fourth generation, the daimyo would be very willing to see it. Now that he has this idea, the daimyo will naturally not object. When we enter Konoha, we will hold a meeting to discuss this matter. Advertisement. Chapter 30 I want to give Hokage a try. Advertisement. Sir, Danzo's affairs have been posted in the village. It won't be long before the things he did will spread throughout the village. Chiba nodded. At this time, even if Sarutobi wants to make a fuss about it, there is nothing he can do. Shisui nodded, his expression becoming more respectful. At this time, he was completely convinced of Kinyi. Unlike before, he would still have many ideas of his own. Now, he completely believed in Kinyi. Shisui said, Sir, before, my self-assertion caused you a lot of trouble. Please forgive me. Chiba looked at Shisui and waved her hand. That's okay, but I still like people who are obedient. The taboo of smart people is to have too many ideas, and because of this, they will do a lot of things. Shisui, one thing you need to know is that in the village now, it is difficult to compete with Sarutobi with only Uchiha's power. Sarutobi has scruples and won't take action directly, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have enough power. And there are many ways to break up Uchiha. Shisui was silent. Chiba did not continue speaking, waved his hand and said, Okay, you go down. Yes, sir. Shisui leaves. Uchiha's current problems are gone for the time being. It was originally a wealthy family, but now it was relatively stable under Kinyi's command. However, this can be said to be a double-edged sword. If used well, it can be used in all directions. It is the most powerful force under his command. But if you don't use it well, it can easily backfire. Chiba conquered Uchiha at the cost of Danzo's life, but if he wanted to have absolute control, he couldn't fail. Therefore, what follows is extremely important. After Danzo's death, the remaining authority? Sarutobi will undoubtedly recycle. What Chiba wants is to take it back from Sarutobi. At this time, uncle, the door was pushed open. Naruto's figure walked in. A smile spread across his face, I have learned ninjutsu. After saying that, he made a seal with his hands, and at the same time, he shouted. Shadow clone technique. With a bang, a shadow clone who looked exactly like him appeared next to him. Both Naruto's were grinning. Chiba couldn't help but smile. Awesome. Touched Naruto's head. Chiba suddenly felt a little confused about Naruto's chakra. Because he felt the breath of nine tails. It is much richer than the chakra of ordinary children. Even, enough to rival some adults. Is nine tails chakra leaked? Chiba knew that nine tails was sealed inside Naruto. That day, at the cost of his own life, my brother used the ghost seal to split nine tails chakra into two. Naruto had half of it inside him, and half of it was inside his brother. But that half was taken away by him. Now a little bit of nine tails chakra has been leaked. What does it mean? Chiba narrowed his eyes. Maybe you should find time to take a look at the nine tails seal in Naruto's body. Perhaps, there is still a backup plan from my brother. Chiba saw Impure World Reincarnation. I think that maybe if there is a chance, Orokimura can try to study whether he can be reincarnated, even if he is not resurrected. It is not that there are no other forms of existence. But right now, I don't have much time. At least, it will have to wait until he takes over the authority. Naruto, have you been feeling any different these past few days? It's different? Well, Naruto thought for a while, when I was sleeping these past few nights, I dreamed of a fox. That fox was very vicious and not cute at all. Haha, <laughs> Chiba smiled softly. Don't worry, he means no harm. Advertisement. It should be nine tails. What exactly does nine tails want to do? As Naruto grew up, did the seal loosen a little? Okay, go and play. Naruto nodded. Before leaving, he turned back and said, Uncle, I ranked first in this exam. Soon I will be as good as you. Come on. Naruto left. The Danzo incident is brewing in the village. Soon, it was known to most people. Gouging out the eyes of the Uchiha clan, using the remains of the first Hokage for research, and even trying to master the wood style. Danzo does all sorts of things. Undoubtedly, it is challenging the limits of people's tolerance. Every one of them is extremely taboo and extremely angry for people. I didn't expect Danzo to be such a villain. Damn it, he dug out someone's eyes and then used Shode's body for research. He is desecrating the sages of the village. This kind of person should have died a long time ago, ah? Uh? Mr. Third Generation didn't discover this earlier? Fortunately, Mr. Chiba is here. Chibasama became the captain of the police force, which is the best thing that has happened in these years. Fortunately, there is Master Chiba. The denunciation of Danzo made the villagers enthusiastic again. Of course, there is also recognition of Chiba. Chiba's reputation has improved again and again at this time. But, 
Chiba didn't care at all about this. He didn't care about the evaluations of these ordinary people, or in other words, it was of no use. It's just a tool that Sarutobi usually uses. After a while, Itaki opened the door and walked in. Chiba-sama, there is news from Kakashi. It is not far from the village. I am afraid it will arrive in the afternoon. Chiba raised his eyebrows. It's not too slow. Forget it, it's time to meet Sarutobi. Let's see how our third generation master is doing with Danzo's aftermath. Chiba leaves from the police department. Went to the Hokage building. Third generation Sama, Namikaze Chiba left the police department and came here. Sarutobi nodded. I know, let him do it. Yes. Umbu disappears. Sarutobi stood up and could see Namikaze Chiba's figure in the distance through the window. It's slowly coming here. Sarutobi looked down, his face expressionless. Do you think the time has come when you come here now? He has been in office for so long and has many arrangements. It is naturally not easy to take away the power in his hands. Now, there is a stack of information on his desk, which records in detail the various evil things Danzo has done, and, the appointments he gave to some root ninjas. Investigate secretly and collect all evidence against Danzo, even. There is also proof of appointing Namikaze Chiba to help get rid of Danzo. Of course this is not true, but it is true. To his surprise, Sarutobi had already picked it all out. Therefore, he, the third Hokage, who was originally derelict in his duties, can be seen as enduring the humiliation and deliberately indulged in order to find out what Danzo had done, in order to let him show his tail and take down it in one fell swoop. Sarutobi is quite good at confusing right and wrong. Sarutobi. At this time, the door to the Hokage's office opened. Mitokato Homura walked in. He had a serious look on his face. After he came in, he said directly, Danzo is dead. Sarutobi looked back. Yeah, he had to die. Mitokato Homura frowned. We inherited Nidame's will together. He has done a lot of things over the years. Why is it that everyone in the village is slandering him? Advertisement. Sarutobi, are these things difficult for you to handle? Sarutobi said, these should be made by Uchiha. Ha, hey, evil Uchiha. Mitokato Homura's eyes flashed with disgust. He added, ignoring these things, news came from the daimyo. Because of Danzo's death, he sent an envoy. What do you think the daimyo wants to do? Want to interfere in the village's affairs? Sarutobi shook his head. It should be here soon. You will know when it comes. He was naturally not satisfied with Sarutobi's answer. Mitokato Homura, also a high-ranking member of the village, was on the same team as Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. In addition, there is one person, Yudadin Koharo. Because of Danzo's death, Mitokato Homura came to investigate. And while the two were talking, a figure suddenly walked in. After looking around, his eyes finally landed on the office door, and he said with a smile, Old doors are not reliable after all and can break easily. Why didn't Mr. Third Generation listen to my advice? Sarutobi glanced at Namikaze Chiba and looked at him with a smile. And this time, Mitokato Homura on the side sneered. It's no rule to enter the Hokage office without knocking. Namikaze Chiba, you are becoming more and more ignorant of propriety. In the past, when Namikaze Minato was here, he was still tolerant of you, but now, you are so unruly, could it be? Kinyi looked at him with disdain in his eyes. Is it what? He took a step forward and arrived in front of Mitokato Homura, looking down at him. Do you want me to take action again and let you stay with Danzo? Mitokato Homura's eyes suddenly turned cold after hearing this. Danzo died in your hands. It seems you are not stupid. How dare you attack the village's senior officials? Namikaze Chiba, are you going to betray the village? Namikaze Chiba, yes. So what? You. Mitokato Homura was so angry that he couldn't speak. Chiba shrugged and ignored him, looking towards Sarutobi. How about it, Master Third Generation, if you think he is in the way, I will get rid of him too. I have done everything you asked me to do about Danzo. After hearing this, Mitokato Homura's eyes suddenly changed and he looked at Sarutobi. Sarutobi, Danzo's death was your order. There was a questioning tone in his words. Chiba laughed out loud. Stupid enough. He just made a few casual provocations, but he actually took the bait. Chiba spoke at this time and looked at Mitokato Homura. You spoke so rudely to Mr. Third Generation, so don't blame me for taking action again. Mitokato Homura was furious. You dare. Then he looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen and yelled. Sarutobi, what on earth do you mean? Why? Sarutobi here is inside. This is the first time I find pig teammates so annoying. He glanced at Chiba who was smiling. Finally said. Danzo's death was indeed ordered by me. There are many things involved, and it's far from simple. Mito, you, don't be so anxious for the time being. I don't have a problem with you, but Danzo is, too much. That's out of line. Mitokato Homura wants to say something else. But Sarutobi, no longer wanted to hear it. He waved his hand, trying to drive Mitokato Homura away. Mitokato Homura was naturally unwilling, and he also wanted an answer from Sarutobi. Advertisement. At this time. Kinyi suddenly said, you'd better obey third generation Sama, otherwise, I really have no choice but to send you to see Danzo. Sarutobi's mouth twitched. It seems that Namikaze Chiba is really willing to listen to him, but Mitokato Homura believed it. This gave Sarutobi a headache. Fortunately, at this time, someone suddenly came in to report. Master third generation, the envoy sent by the daimyo has arrived. For a moment, the three people's expressions were shocked. Chiba smiled and looked at Sarutobi. Sarutobi stood up and said, come on, let's go see the messenger. He looked at Mitokato Homura and sighed, let's go together. Mitokato Homura snorted. In the end, he didn't refuse. Kanaha village entrance. Kakashi looked at the messenger and said, Arrive. The messenger is a middle-aged man, very tall, with a goatee, who usually has a smile on his face and seems to be very kind. Okay, thank you for the hard work, Kakashi. The messenger said, You're welcome. This is what I do. Kakashi replied. Entering from the entrance of the village, the messenger looked around and sighed. I haven't been to Kanaha for a long time. Now the village has changed a lot. It's different from before. It seems that the third generation project has achieved some results. Kakashi didn't answer. The messenger doesn't care either. After a while, three Sarutobi were seen. Third generation Sama. When the messenger saw Sarutobi, he naturally bowed. Sarutobi also smiled. It's really hard work for the messenger to come from a long distance. Just doing things for the daimyo. The messenger followed Sarutobi all the way into the reception room. After taking a seat, Sarutobi asked with a smile. The envoy is here this time, but what are the orders from the daimyo? The daimyo heard that Danzo died. 
Kanaha was originally run by the third generation and Danzo. Danzo also played a very important role. Now that he is dead, the village is afraid that it will be in chaos, so he sent me to see the third generation. Generation Sama, is there anything you need help with? Sarutobi said. Thank you for your concern, Daimyo, but the village is still stable now. Danzo's death was actually something I had planned for a long time. He handed over the information he had prepared previously. At the same time he sighed. Danzo has done too many evil things. I had no evidence before, so I have been preparing for many years. Now that I have thoroughly investigated him, I will deal with him in accordance with the law. Oh, I see. After flipping through two pages of information, the messenger narrowed his eyes. His eyes glanced at Nami Kazechiba inadvertently. Pretending to be surprised, he said. Who is this? Introduction to Sarutobi. His name is Namikaze Chiba, and he was the one who solved Danzo's matter this time. Lord Messenger. Chiba smiled slightly. He is truly a hero. The messenger asked casually. Since it was you who solved Danzo's problem, then Danzo's many evil deeds are a major scourge to the village. If you solve the problem, the daimyo will naturally reward him. Namikaze Chiba, if you have any ideas, you can tell me and I will report it to the daimyo and let him make a decision. Chiba looked at Sarutobi with a smile and said. Idea. Actually, there is an idea that I have been holding back for a long time. But it doesn't matter. Kinyi raised the corners of his mouth and said loudly, I want to, give the Hokage a try. Advertisement. Chapter 31 Get Hokage Half Sleeve, Penumbra Namikaze Chiba, Advertisement. I want to, give the Hokage a try. When Chiba's words came out, there was no doubt that the atmosphere in the room suddenly became tense. The smile on Sarutobi's face paused, immediately looked at Kinyi. Kinyi, don't make such jokes in front of the envoy. Chiba smiled and said, if I say that, I'm not kidding. The expression on Sarutobi's face remained unchanged, with a smile, but didn't answer. On the contrary, Mitokato Homura spoke at this time. Namikaze Chiba, don't say such things in front of the messenger, it's very unruly. If not, you should leave here first and don't let the messenger see your joke. Chiba ignored him at all. The messenger then smoothed things over and said, It's always good for young people to have such ideas. It's a good thing to at least dare to speak out. Namikaze Chiba has contributed to Danzo's matter, so there is no need to be too harsh. Mitokato Homura snorted and did not continue on this matter. The messenger said, Now that Danzo is dead, he did have a lot of power in the village. So, how will he distribute the remaining powers? The messenger got straight to the point and spoke very directly. After finishing speaking, he looked at Sarutobi and asked with a smile, I wonder, Mr. Third Generation, do you have any recommendations? Sarutobi's expression remained unchanged, with a smile. Namikaze Chiba has done a lot on this matter and has contributed a lot. He can take over, but, his qualifications are a bit too junior. Otherwise, he would be fine. Sarutobi's words. I praised Kinyi again in the past, but I undoubtedly said this later. To take over Danzo's position, he Namikaze Chiba is not qualified. Third Generation Sama seems to have already considered this. Sarutobi said, Danzo has too much power, so the selection is naturally extremely important. I have thought about it carefully and thought about it a lot. I am even thinking about it today because of this. The messenger smiled. Didn't answer. In politics, Sarutobi is undoubtedly a veteran. Usually he seems to be kind and drunk, but when it comes to power, he will never give in. The envoy also knew that it was impossible to get Danzo to hand over his authority simply by relying on a few words. So, means are still needed. He glanced at Chiba seemingly unintentionally. But I found that Namikaze Chiba didn't seem to care about this. The messenger said. Then Mr. Third Generation, are there any other candidates? Danzo pointed to Mitokato Homura aside and said. Mito was also one of the guards of Second Hokage. He has made a lot of contributions to the village over the years. It couldn't be better for him to take Danzo's place. After speaking, he looked at the messenger and said. What do you think, Lord Messenger? I feel very good. Surprisingly, the messenger nodded in agreement with Sarutobi's words. This made Sarutobi a little stunned. Although he was smiling, there was a hint of doubt in his smile. The messenger said, If we just decide like this, Mitokato Homura will take over Danzo's remaining duties, and I can report it to the daimyo as soon as possible. Advertisement. After finishing speaking, he looked at Mitokato Homura and said, What do you think, Mitosama? Mitokato Homura naturally would not refuse, snorted at Namikaze Chiba and said, Your Majesty, the full screen messenger, has the final say. The messenger smiled and said, This is best. I don't like to be long winded. Now that this matter has been settled, Lord Third Generation should have no meaning anymore, right? Sarutobi was wary though, but I really couldn't think of any questions, so I had no choice but to nod. The messenger suddenly said, But apart from this, the daimyo asked me to come, and there is one more thing that needs to be discussed. What's up? Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. He knew clearly that what the messenger was going to say below was the real thing. A candidate has been found for Danzo's position, but these days, Mr. Third Generation has returned to the position. Although the village has been stabilized, more and more mistakes have been made in recent years. Hayaga's matter, Achiha's matter, and Danzo's matter. Also, the daimyo heard that the fourth generation's son was finally entrusted to the third generation Sama, but he didn't treat him well. These things make the daimyo somewhat dissatisfied with Mr. Third Generation. I also hope that Mr. Third Generation can give the daimyo a reasonable explanation. Sarutobi's face remained unchanged and he spoke. I do have some mistakes regarding these, but this is also the biggest hidden danger in the village. Now that I have eradicated them one by one, the village will naturally prosper and get better and better. Oh, the messenger spoke again. But the daimyo heard that Orokimaru, a rebel ninja who recently left Kanaha, has been increasingly active and has even appeared on the border of the fire country several times, doing human experiments from time to time. As a result, many people in the fire country have disappeared. Mr. Third Generation has been dealing with these for a long time. What's the result? Sarutobi explains. Orokimaru is very powerful. He has surpassed the strength of ordinary jonin and is close to cage level. Even if he is captured, it will take time. Village Affairs. Third Generation Sama. The messenger interrupted Sarutobi's last words. The smile disappeared from his face. You are the Hokage, the third Hokage, the Hokage that the second generation has high hopes for, and the Daimyo supports. What they want is for Kanaha to become better and stronger, instead of making mistakes again and again and asking you to make up for it. This is not what Hokage should do. Since you already knew about things like Danzo this time, why didn't you make arrangements earlier? 
so as to avoid it. Don't talk about Danzo's strength. You are Hokage, the most powerful person in Kanaha. If you can sit in this position, you should think of ways to avoid this, instead of waiting for something to go wrong and then thinking about Shirk. Third generation Sama, what do you think? Sarutobi's face froze. He knew why the messenger had agreed so readily to meet Okedo Homura who had previously taken over Danzo's position. Because when he came here, his initial goal was not Danzo's position. Rather, take power from him. Limiting his Hokage's powers. He suddenly looked at Namikaze Chiba, and saw Namikaze Chiba smiling at the corner of his mouth. When Sarutobi looked at him, he nodded towards him. All this was arranged by Namikaze Chiba? Sarutobi took a deep breath and tried to calm down. Then what do you think, Lord Messenger? Third generation Sama has indeed done too many wrong things in recent times. This makes the daimyo doubt whether third generation Sama is too old and some of his judgments are not so accurate. The meaning of daimyo is to choose someone from the village to assist you, to prevent you from making the wrong decision again. Sarutobi quietly clenched his fists. The expression on his face changed, but it didn't take long before it returned to normal. Sarutobi said, but it should be difficult to find such a person in the village, right? If this were not the case, I would not take over again after Minato's death. The messenger laughed. Third generation Sama is indeed right, but that was the Kanaha of the past, but now, there is actually one person. Namikaze Chiba, if I remember correctly, among the things that Mr. Third Generation decided to go wrong, it was all thanks to him that he was able to turn the tide and prevent the village from suffering too much loss. The daimyo heard these things and admired him very much. The Third Generation Sama also said that Danzo's matter this time was the great contribution of Namikaze Minato. If that is the case, let him do it. Finally, he looked at Sarutobi and said, Advertisement. Third Generation Sama, do you have any questions? Sarutobi still wants to struggle. Since ancient times, the village has not had a job to assist the Hokage. Now if we have to set it up like this, I'm afraid it will alienate the village. The messenger smiled and said, Kanaha was originally founded by the Senju and Uchiha clans. Now the Uchiha clan is under the control of Chiba, and the Senju clan, there are not many left. Tsunade, who is most qualified to take over, is not yet in Kanaha. Is it possible that these two tribes are not qualified to help you? This is quite heartbreaking. Once Sarutobi answered no, he publicly expressed his dissatisfaction with the two major clans that founded Kanaha. Of course not. Namikaze Chiba comes to help me, I am naturally willing. I'm afraid he's still young and won't be able to do well. Chiba curled his lips, knowing that it was time for him to play. Sarutobi-sama, don't worry. I will naturally do my best to assist the Hokage. Not only that, even if you fail, I will still help the village win back. I will capture Orikimaru. I will fight back in the battle that Kanaha lost. Just one sentence, I will do whatever you can do, and I will do whatever you can't do. I, Namikaze Chiba, dare to say such things. One sentence. Sarutobi Hiruzen squinted his eyes. I was speechless for a long time. On the side, Mitokedo Homura saw the situation and suddenly spoke. This precedent-setting thing should not happen in Kanaha. It is not good for the village. The messenger suddenly said. Then if Mitosama doesn't support it, does it mean that he is against the daimyo? Then, this year's aid to Kanaha and, your previous position, sir, will probably be delayed. The threat of Chikyuakuo? Mitokedo Homura was stunned when he heard this. I understood immediately. The authority that he had previously taken over had become a shackles. Either give up, or, just agree. However, the power in one's own hands is real. As for what Sarutobi lost. Hey, what does that have to do with him? After thinking about this, Mitokedo Homura suddenly changed his tune. Actually, I think Namikaze Chiba is really good and very suitable. Chiba showed a sarcastic smile. Then, thank you Mitosama for your support. Then he looked at Sarutobi. What do you think, Mr. Third Generation? Sarutobi said, of course I won't refuse. After all, this is also something that is beneficial to the village. In that case, that's the decision. Mitosama will take over Danzo's position, while Namikaze Chiba will assist Third Generation Sama in managing the village. The messenger finished, and said, since you are the auxiliary Third Generation Sama, Namikaze Chiba should also have a suitable title, and, have corresponding clothes. As for the title, I can't decide yet, but it's about the clothes. The messenger thought for a moment. If not, give Hokage half a sleeve first. As soon as the words came out, Mitokedo Homura was stunned, because he knows very well what Hokage half sleeves represent. The last person to have a Hokage half sleeve was called Heitake Sakamo, who was once considered the successor of the Hokage. Unfortunately, in the end the power was handed over to Sarutobi. And now, another Hokage half sleeve appears. Mitokedo Homura looked at Namikaze Chiba and finally chose not to speak. Advertisement. Silence. Sarutobi thought for a moment and nodded. Can. I won't use the job title for the time being. It will have a great impact on the village. The messenger smiled. Didn't refuse either. After all, being able to separate Sarutobi's authority is already a success. The symbol of the Hokage half sleeve is almost Sarutobi's bottom line. If you push me further, I will probably break up. No need. It's just a title. With the help of Namikaze Chiba, it is the same whether he has it or not. Chiba smiled at this time and said, Thank you all for your support. Assisting Hokage, I will naturally do my best and won't let him make any mistakes. The messenger patted Namikaze Chiba on the shoulder and smiled. Work hard, the daimyo appreciates you. Chiba smiled. Thank you, Lord Messenger. The messenger said, in this case, the matter has been resolved, so I won't stay too long. I have to go back quickly and return to the daimyo. Chiba said, Master Messenger has been working hard all over the place. Can you please give me a gift, Master Mito? Mitokedo Homura nodded, left with the messenger. Inside the room, only two were left, Sarutobi and Chiba. Sir Third Generation, I have reminded you long ago that the door is always as good as new and durable, so why are you struggling? Chiba smiled, said this. Sarutobi said with a smile, I didn't expect that you still have such means, and you actually included the daimyo. Everyone depends on their ability, right? If you hadn't made so many mistakes, it wouldn't have been so easy for me to take away the rights in your hands. In the end, it's all thanks to you. Sarutobi took a deep breath. 
His face looked a little ugly. The Hokage has a lot to deal with. Don't think that taking away some authority is a good thing. This is not a good thing for third generation Sama to worry about. I'm leaving now. I won't disturb Mr. Third Generation. By the way, sir, don't forget. Now I am the Hokage Auxiliary. I will trouble you to send a copy to the police department for the upcoming matters in the village. I'm a lazy person, so I won't come here to get it. Finished. Then left here. Looking at Chiba's leaving figure, Sarutobi narrowed his eyes, filled with coldness. Today's events. He is the only loser. Namikaze Chiba got enough of it, as did Mitokato Homura. The last move undoubtedly divided him and Mitokato Homura, making the man who was his supporter think more. Of course, on the surface, the two of them are still one. But, once interests are involved, Mitokato Homura may not stand on Sarutobi's side. In the past, although he was also a senior member of the village, in fact, he would never conflict with Sarutobi, because his power is based on Sarutobi's approval. In other words, only by supporting Sarutobi can he enjoy the rights he deserves. But now, no more? Damn Namikaze Chiba? P.S. Please give me some data. Advertisement. Chapter 32 Karema, it's time to pay the rent. Advertisement. Uncle, don't forget. In the morning, before Naruto went out, he specifically waved to Chiba. Today is my exam, you promise me, you must go and take it. Naruto turned around and grinned at Chiba. I must get first place in this exam. Chiba smiled and waved. If you can get first place, I will give you a gift. Ah, Naruto's eyes lit up. What gift? Kinyi pretended to be mysterious and said, You'll know when you get first place. Naruto said loudly, I will definitely get first place. After saying that, he turned around and went to school. Looking at Naruto's back, Chiba smiled and shook her head. It's nice to be young. In the past, when he and Minato were in school, Minato was also so full of fighting spirit. But now, things are different and people are different. Chiba suddenly sighed, and at the same time thought, it seems that the matter of the seal in Naruto's body needs to be explored earlier. In this case, we can see if my brother has any backup plans. When using impure world reincarnation in the future, it will be somewhat easier. Chiba, congratulations. After Naruto left, Fugaku walked over slowly. He completely took charge of Uchiha, and also received the honor of Hokage half sleeve. Moreover, he took away part of the power in Danzo's hands. This is something that Minato has never done before. It's just the third Hokage who is old and weak. Facing Fugaku's congratulations, Chiba felt it was nothing. Of course your ambition is no longer this. Fugaku smiled and said. However, now that you have obtained part of the power in the hands of the third generation, it will not be so easy to seize the rest. What are you going to do next? Next. Chiba looked into the distance with a faint smile on his lips. After second generation abdicated, Kanaha has been losing in external wars. Even if it wins, it still suffers heavy losses. Today, Kanaha still lacks a winning battle. Fugaku's eyes suddenly paused, and he asked with some disbelief. Do you want to start a war? Chiba nodded. What they owe must be paid back, of course. Chiba is suspicious. On the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion, many villages intervened, and these still need him to investigate. At the same time, the Nine Tails turmoil was too hasty. According to the temperament of my brother and sister-in-law, they would not make arrangements at all. But even so, Nine Tails is still rioting. There must be another handwriting in this. But who is it? Regarding this, Chiba plans to investigate. However, it is too calm and it will undoubtedly be too difficult to investigate. In this case, just let the situation become chaotic. Nothing is more likely to cause chaos than war. Not to mention, he already had this intention. Fugaku looked at Chiba for a long time, finally nodded and said, I believe in you. If you are of any use to me, just ask. Chiba, Uchiha, and I will always stand behind you. Thank you. By the way, today is the start of the ninja school. Why don't you go and see it? Fugaku laughed. That's not necessary, just let Itake go. This kid, Suzuki, should be more willing to let Itake go than me. Chiba also laughed. That's true, ninja school. Sarutobi came to school. This final exam was more important to him. After all, it is the future of the village. Inside Irika's office, Irika asked, Sir third generation, who do you like more in this exam? Third generation looked at the children in the distance and couldn't help but sigh. Advertisement. Although I don't want to admit it, I guess I am still a child of the Uchiha family. If I want to be better, no one should be able to compare with me. The Uchiha family has a much higher chance of being a genius. The Itaki of the past, the Suzuki of today. It's all Uchiha's genius over the past few years. Of course, compared to Itaki, Suzuki is worse. After all, in terms of living environment, they are much different. Compared with Itaki, Suzuki's growing up environment was too comfortable, just like a child playing house. Hardly any pain. Even in the original work, apart from the pain of the night of genocide, all other pressures were shouldered by Itaki. Even after Sarutobi died and there were no more people to restrict Danzo, Itaki would show up in person to put pressure on Danzo. He didn't dare to attack Suzuki. As for Orikimura's attack, can he really succeed with Itaki here? It's just that the elder brother is watching and giving the younger brother a chance to grow. Now, after hearing what third generation said, Iruka shook his head. Perhaps, the result will be a little different from what Mr. Third Generation thought. Sarutobi said doubtfully. Is there someone more talented than Suzuki in this generation? Iruka said, Uzumaki Naruto. His chakra is quite strong and very hardworking. It's no worse than Suzuki's. Sarutobi was slightly stunned. I immediately thought of Nine Tails. He nodded, but said nothing more. Sarutobi looked into the distance and suddenly his eyes narrowed. Follow his eyes. Namikaze Chiba's figure appeared in the field. Exam venue. Uncle. Naruto waved and smiled in greeting. Chiba made a serious face. Take the exam well and don't get distracted. No. There are three types of exams. Teijutsu, ninjutsu and actual combat. The main ninjutsu are the three body technique, namely clone technique, transformation technique, and body replacement technique. As the exam begins, soon, the first child walked up. He is a commoner child who is not outstanding. In the end, I got a lower grade and walked on feeling a little disappointed. The second one, Inuzuka Kiba, did well and received an A-plus rating. The third, Nara Shikamaru, showed little interest in the exam, but also got an A-dash. The fourth, Harano Sakura. When Harano Sakura stepped forward, she couldn't help but clenched her fists. His eyes glanced at Naruto beside him, and then at Suzuki. Harano Sakura murmured softly, I can definitely do it. I've been practicing very hard. I've been practicing in house hung for the exam. 
I will definitely be able to catch up with Naruto and Suzuki. I will definitely catch up. Teijutsu and Ninjutsu are my best, I must be as good as them. Said. Went to the examination room. Little Sakura, don't worry too much. Your usual performance is pretty good. Don't put too much pressure on me. You can do it. Um. Harano Sakura nodded. The exam begins. The first is the physical skills assessment. The movements are pretty standard, but they look fancy and basically have no lethality. Then there are ninjutsu. Clone technique is pretty good, but substitute and change techniques are a little bit worse. Overall, the final score is B+. When the results came out, Harano Sakura couldn't help but feel a little discouraged, with a look of disappointment on her face. The final score of B+, even compared with others, is far behind. Not to mention Naruto and Suzuki. As the exam progresses, in the end, only Naruto and Suzuki were left. Naruto, I won't let you pass this exam. Suzuki, don't brag. With your little strength, it's not easy to win the first place from me. Suzuki snorted and glanced at Itake with a smile in the distance. Advertisement. Suddenly, his face became full of fighting spirit. The exam begins. The exams for the two of them started at the same time. First came the physical skills. The two were working hard, one working harder than the other. It ends soon. Immediately ninjutsu. Relying on the hugeness of chakra, Naruto can create several clones at once. But the clone Suzuki created was more subtle. In the end, the two scores were partially equal. All are S+. Plus. Highest score. After the examination of Teijutsu and Ninjutsu is over, that's actual combat. In view of Naruto and Suzuki's exceptionally good performance in the first two items, Iruka simply let Naruto and Suzuki directly participate in the final actual battle. There is little objection to this, because the two of them are really too strong. The actual combat assessment begins. The first is Akimichi Koji versus an unknown commoner. The results are clear. The second game, the third game, the fourth game, until the start of the seventh game. It's Harano Sakura versus Hayaga Hineda. After Hineda came on the stage, Naruto waved at the side and shouted, Hineda, come on, you can definitely win. Hineda blushed, nodded and said, I will win. Opposite Hineda, Harano Sakura's originally disappointed face became even more ugly. She looked at Hineda with some jealousy, then moved her eyes away from Hineda and looked at Suzuki. But Suzuki didn't bother to pay attention to her and just ignored her. Let's start. Iruka shouted. Good. After the assessment started, Hineda moved very quickly, and her little figure disappeared from the spot. When she appeared, she was already in front of Harano Sakura. Harano Sakura's expression suddenly changed. Subconsciously, I stretched out my hand to block him, but I couldn't stop him at all. Hineda sent him flying. The body fell heavily to the ground and was covered with a lot of dust. In the end, he lost embarrassingly. Iruka announced. Hineda wins. Naruto shouted happily, Hineda is so awesome. Hineda's face turned red, and she waved to Naruto, but in the end she didn't dare to look at him anymore. The assessment of other people also started. After a long time, it finally came to an end. Naruto and Suzuki. Come on, Naruto, let's have the final showdown. I won't lose to you, Suzuki. Show me what you're capable of, Naruto. Iruka said, start. As Iruka announced. Naruto and Suzuki's bodies collided quickly and then separated. Suzuki reached out and took out several kunao, and immediately threw them at Naruto. Naruto directly formed a seal, and three clones came out at once. Two clones faced forward and blocked the kunao's attack. Not multiple shadow clone. The other clone, together with the real body, rushed towards Suzuki. Suzuki looked solemn and separated himself. Then there was a bang, and the two of them bumped into each other. But Naruto was much stronger, and Suzuki felt a little disadvantaged, so he kicked Naruto's leg. The two men struggled together. After fighting for a long time, I was very anxious. Finally, Naruto relied on the strong chakra to create a clone again. Together with Mami, fight Suzuki together. Zuzu was attacked from both sides and lost the battle helplessly. Naruto stood at the end. Although his body was still miserable and his face was swollen, but he smiled happily. Suzuki, I won. Suzuki was a little dissatisfied, but that was the truth. Iruka nodded and finally announced. Advertisement. Then, the first place in this assessment is Izumaki Naruto, and the second place is Achiha Suzuki. Naruto is so strong. He actually defeated Suzuki, Naruto is so awesome. Not only is he awesome, he's also very handsome. Naruto is so powerful and handsome, I really like him. The girls in the school couldn't help but cheer. Harano Sakura also wanted to cheer together, but thinking of Hineda, sadness flashed in her eyes. She looked from Suzuki to Naruto. Finally, he gathered up the courage, took out a bento, and walked towards Naruto. But, just when she was about to walk to Naruto's side, Naruto ran away. He ran towards Chiba. Uncle. Chiba smiled and touched his head. I'm number one. Here's the gift you promised me. Don't worry. Looking at her nephew, Kinyi's eyes were full of doting. I'll give it to you when I get back. Uh huh. Naruto nodded happily. He didn't notice at all that Harano Sakura's face turned pale in the distance. She walked away silently. No one noticed her. Lord Chiba. Iruka saluted Chiba. Chiba nodded and asked at the same time. Sarutobi is here too. Iruka said. Third generation Sama left first. Chiba couldn't help but laugh. It seems that he knew that nothing could be done and left in despair. Iruka stood aside, not interfering in what was going on, and just pretended not to hear. Chiba doesn't care either. He left with Naruto. After returning to Hayaga's house, Naruto happily told Hineda about today's events. Both little ones are extremely happy. Hayashi's face was still dark despite repeated familiarity. There is always the idea that the breeding pig will take away the cabbage. Hayashi looked at Chiba. There's no conflict with third generation this time, right? Chiba smiled disdainfully. In a short time, there won't be any more conflicts, unless Sarutobi is really stupid. Is third generation stupid? Of course, he is not stupid. During this period of time, he has to hide his capabilities and bide his time. At least, he must completely subdue Mitokato Homura first, lest Mitokato Homura will betray him at a critical moment. As for Namikaze Chiba, Mitokato Homura doesn't look down on him at all. At night, Chiba said to Naruto, You won first place, so naturally I will give you a gift, but this gift is not special. Naruto's eyes lit up. You should know about the nine tails inside you, right? Naruto nodded. A very fierce fox. Chiba smiled and said, 
I'll talk to him and let you be friends, really, but, he has been in my body for so long, and he has never paid the rent even once, ha 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 ha, Chiba laughed, then this time, how about I let him pay the rent to you, good, Naruto was naturally happy, then, Chiba reached out and touched Naruto's stomach, slowly loosened the seal a little, in an instant, a terrifying and evil chakra emerged, Chiba was well prepared and naturally couldn't hurt Naruto, the unlocked seals were enough for Kinyi to enter the sealed space, Kinyi entered it and shouted in the sealed space, Karema, it's time to pay the rent, advertisement, chapter 33 meeting Minato, nine tails is unsealed, advertisement, in the dark and cold sealed space, a huge nine tails fox woke up from his sleep, after hearing the sound echoing in the sealed space, his first reaction was not to get angry, instead, he subconsciously stretched out his paw and placed it on his forehead, showing a helpless expression, next moment, Namikaze Chiba's figure appeared in front of nine tails, nine tails looked at the person in front of him and simply laid his head down, crossed his paws and covered his eyes, an appearance that I couldn't see, couldn't see at all, Chiba's lips twitched when he saw nine tails appearance, Karema, I haven't seen you for a long time, you're not like this, are you? Nine Tails lowered his paw, he actually sighed, Namikaze Chiba, I finally had a quiet life for a few years, why did you, come back? This moment, Nine Tails actually looked like he was beyond love, the fox's face was full of loneliness, this made Chiba, who hadn't seen each other for a long time and wanted to catch up on old times, couldn't help but feel a little embarrassed, Karema, what do you mean, I was pretty good to you before, right? Nine Tails glanced at him, not bad, great, if you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have taken so many scapegoats, there are not many people I hate in my life. Senju Hashirama is the first. You, Namikaze Chiba, are only second to Senju Hashirama. Chiba touched her nose. I feel that this reunion scene is different from what I imagined. Besides, he hasn't done anything before. I just inspired Kushina to experiment with sealing techniques and did several experiments with Nine Tails. I also wanted to do research with Nine Tails Chakra. Hmm. If you cause trouble, leave it to Nine Tails. Cause others to fear, and there seems to be quite a few. Chiba suddenly reacted. Nine Tails stared at him, as if to see how you would quibble this time. Kinyi suddenly felt guilty and wanted to speak. Then, Nine Tails directly waved his claws to interrupt. You don't have to say it, I don't believe you, I don't believe a word you say. I won't go out, move my body, look for other tailed beasts, I won't attack Naruto, I won't look for Senjo Hashirama's descendants, I won't attack Konoha, I won't. Nine Tails talked a lot in one breath, for a full ten minutes, and he didn't even finish. Still not satisfied. Later, Nine Tails felt that it was almost done, so he simply crossed his paws on his chest and looked at Namikaze Chiba. Looks like I see you have another trick up your sleeve. Please start your performance. Chiba looked helpless. Karema, I didn't expect you to misunderstand me so deeply. Nine Tails said nothing and even wanted to laugh. Actually, what I did before was because I was afraid that you would be too lonely by yourself. If it weren't for me, would you be able to experience such a lively life? Nine Tails pouted. I have always felt that being sealed, although not free and uncomfortable, at least it is safe. But since I met you, I have finally understood that if someone wants to kill you, it doesn't matter whether you are sealed or not. Chiba sighed. Prejudice, you are biased against me. Nine Tails tilted his head, looking like I wouldn't believe anything you say. Finally, Chiba simply spread his hands. Well, I can't help it, Karema, I didn't expect you to be so smart now that you would be outdone by others. Nine Tails snorted and raised his head proudly. That's right, I am the smartest among the tailed beasts. How can you deceive me with your little tricks? Ah oh, yes yes, Chiba seems to be helpless against Nine Tails. There is no countermeasure. When Nine Tails was almost complimented, Kinyi suddenly said again, Advertisement. But Karema, you are so smart, why are you so guarded against me? Are you the smartest among the tailed beasts? Are you bragging? Chiba showed an expression of recollection. I remember when I met one tail, Shikaku didn't mind me using some tricks. He could see through it easily and wouldn't fall into the trap. Chiba looked at Nine Tails suspiciously. The smartest tailed beast is Shikaku, isn't it you Karama? Um, Nine Tails' expression suddenly changed. That stinky civet cat is so stupid, how can he be smarter than me? Real. Then why don't you dare? Who said I don't dare to do it anymore? Nine Tails snorted. However, not long after he finished speaking, he saw Kinyi's smiling eyes and immediately reacted. Okay, are you going to excite me? Ha ha ha. Chiba laughed. In the sealed space, Chiba's hearty laughter echoed. As before. After a while, Chiba became quiet. Long time no see, Karema. Nine Tails looked at him, long time no see, Namikaze kid. Nine Tails lay down and seemed much quieter. I didn't mean what happened to Minato. After a while, Nine Tails calmed down and suddenly said. Chiba narrowed his eyes. What exactly happened that day? Nine Tails had memories in his eyes. That day, when Kushina gave birth, it was when the seal was at its weakest. The seal is there every day, which not only restrains me, but also protects me. As long as the seal is there, ninjutsu cannot interfere with me. But that day, as the seal weakened, Minato was lured away by a masked man. Masked man. Yes. Nine Tails nodded. That day after Kushina gave birth, the masked man took away the young Naruto and used it as a threat, so Minato had to leave. Kushina is weak and doesn't have much fighting power. I felt the seal reached an extremely weak level. Then, someone controlled me with Sherinan. After that, I lost my memory. When I woke up again, I was already in this kid's belly. To the end, Nine Tails said with some guilt. Hey, I just lost consciousness. That matter has nothing to do with me. Besides, Naruto, this brat, has no one to take care of him. Over the years, I've been giving him the chakra quietly, little by little. Otherwise, how could he have survived to this day with his weak body and lack of food and clothing every day? Looking at Chiba's slightly complicated eyes, Nine Tails snorted. I'm not feeling guilty, I'm just afraid that if this kid dies, I'll be hurt. Otherwise, this little brat who sealed my uncle will not care about his life or death. Nine Tails has always been arrogant. According to Nine Tails, Chiba gradually thought about the situation that night, and there were indeed too few clues. The only clue is, Sherinan or at least Mangekyo. But among current Uchiha, only Fugaku and Shisui meet this condition. But after Chiba's investigation, the two of them have been eliminated. But besides them, who else is there? 
Could it be that Uchiha Madara is really not dead? But if it's true, Madara wouldn't be able to do such a thing with her strength. He doesn't have this temperament either. Madara is still very arrogant. But who is that? Chiba frowned. I thought hard for a long time but had no answer. As for what Nine Tails said before, Naruto should have taken some care of him. However, it is not easy for Nine Tails, a being who is almost a collection of chakra, to control a little chakra to protect Naruto. After all, even with the powerful vitality of the Uzumaki clan, it is still very difficult. Advertisement. Chiba shook his head. Don't think about it anymore. He wanted to see what backup plan his brother had left behind. He knew very well what his brother was like and would not leave any backup plan behind. But what exactly is it? Now there are two seals in Naruto's body. One is used to seal Nine Tails' actions, making it difficult to get out and not cause harm to Naruto. The other one can transform a small amount of Nine Tails into Chakra, which can be used by Naruto. Nine Tails was probably using the seal to help Naruto before. After all, there are many differences between inadvertent disclosure and active giving. What Chiba plans to lift is the seal restricting Nine Tails' movements. But once the Nine Tails' operation is lifted, the Chakra will undoubtedly leak more. So Chiba needs to apply another seal so that the Chakra of Nine Tails will not impact Naruto's body excessively. This seal is very important. However, Chiba doesn't understand sealing techniques. But fortunately, he has his own cheat. Although I haven't taken many shots over the years, I got a lot of rewards after awakening cheat. But Chiba has never used it. One of them is a sealing talisman. Seal Nine Tails Chakra so that it will not impact Naruto's still young body. This is important. Karema, I'm going to start. Next, I will remove the seal that blocks your movement. You should be quiet. Of course, I will also put another seal to restrict your chakra. After doing it, you can move outside. Nine Tails looked at him and didn't seem to care. However, it can be seen from the excitement in his eyes that it is not that there is no movement. Chiba walked to the seal that sealed Nine Tails and first put the sealing talisman on it. An invisible barrier instantly fit everywhere, tightly wrapping the four spaces, causing Nine Tails' huge and restless chakra to fall silent. Although Chiba didn't do much research on sealing techniques, he knew a few of the ones Minato knew, except for the sealing of corpses. On the seal of Nine Tails, there is a huge iron gate. At the center of the gate is the core of the seal. If you want to lift the seal, this is also the most important place. Recalling the method of decoding the seal in his mind, Chiba no longer hesitated. Just do it. However, just when the seal reached the final step, Suddenly, a clear light emerged and appeared here. The clear light is also a ball of chakra, which finally manifests and reveals its appearance. Sunny, handsome, with golden hair, with a faint smile. Chiba, you are back. Namikaze Minato smiled, looking at my brother whom I haven't seen for a long time. Kinyi looked at him and was stunned for a long time. In the end, countless emotions were suppressed by him. Chiba took a deep breath. I'm back. Just come back. I feel relieved to have you taking care of Naruto. Chiba curled his lips. Don't worry. Fortunately I came back early, otherwise Naruto might have suffered a lot. Namikaze Minato looked apologetic. Naruto, this kid has suffered a lot. Chiba didn't want to hear what he said. If you have time to tell me, why not tell your son in person? What's your situation now? Chiba looked at Minato and narrowed her eyes, feeling that Minato was in a strange situation. Minato sighed. I just left some chakra. It won't last long and will dissipate soon. Chiba understood. In other words, you are dead, but not completely dead. Minato suddenly had a black line. Then I understand. Chiba nodded. As long as your chakra is stabilized, you can exist temporarily, right? Advertisement. Minato smiled bitterly. How is this possible? I am just. Chiba took out another talisman and immediately photographed it on Namikaze Minato's forehead. Then shouted. Karema, give him some chakra. Nine Tails listened to this and stretched out his paws reluctantly. Following the direction of his claws, a ray of chakra was drawn over, and then passed into Minato's body, making his body more solid. Minato was stunned. What? What's going on? How is it possible? He looked at Chiba in disbelief. How did you do that? How did you do it? Do I have to explain to you that I am in trouble? Chiba waved his hand. Geniuses are always different. The talisman Kinyi posted previously was completely yellow. Now that it's attached to Minato's forehead, it seems a bit awkward. Well, if he changed his clothes, he would look like a zombie from his previous life. But, this talisman is also a reward that Kinyi has received in the past, a life-extending talisman. But even if it is attached to Minato, the chakra is still dissipating, but it can be replenished at any time. In other words, Minato's current situation is not stable. Nine tails needs to be charged from time to time. Fortunately, Nine Tails Chakra is abundant. Chiba, what is the situation now? How is Naruto? After knowing that his condition was fine, Minato couldn't help but ask urgently. How is he doing? Chiba waved his hand. I'll let you meet Naruto later, but now, I have to release Karema. Minato hesitated. But once Nine Tails comes out, Chiba waved his hand. It's not like he came out to cause trouble. Naruto has been having a hard time in the past few years. If Karema hadn't helped, I'm afraid you wouldn't have had the chance to see your son. Okay, stop talking nonsense and get out of the way. Minato stepped aside. Chiba lifted the remaining seal. Suddenly, Nine Tails felt his body light up and couldn't help roaring. His voice echoed in the sealed space. Totally wanton. The seal is lifted. He can move freely. Of course, he couldn't completely leave Naruto's body. If not, Naruto would die and so would he. But I can go out for a walk occasionally and it won't be as boring as before. Chiba said at this time. Karema, when you go out, be smaller and don't stand out too much, otherwise it will be too much trouble. Nine Tails snorted. I know, why do you still need to remind me? As he said that, his body suddenly became smaller. Transformed into a little fox. Just like a pet. See this. Both Chiba and Minato couldn't help but smile. Don't tell me, the shrunken Nine Tails is quite cute. Out. Kinyi said hello and took two of them out of the sealed space. Namikaze Minato, with the talisman attached to his forehead, his eyes full of anticipation. That is a father's love for his son. Naruto, father is here to see you? Advertisement. Chapter 34 Father and Son, Minato meets Naruto. Advertisement. Outside. Sunny. The gentle sunlight fell down, and my body felt warm. Naruto opened his eyes, looking at the two people and one fox appearing in front of him. His eyes suddenly glazed over. Then he shook his head and rubbed his eyes vigorously. He asked uncertainly, Uncle, where did you bring this person from? 
Chiba didn't wait for anything to say. Naruto grimaced, looked down at his belly, pointed. It shouldn't be from here, right? I, I'm pregnant. Puff? As soon as these words came out, both Chiba and Nine Tails were all bursting with laughter. Nine Tails laughed so hard that he couldn't straighten up and simply lay down on the ground and rolled around. Ah ha ha ha, I laughed to death. You little brat, why didn't you see that you are so talented before? Chiba couldn't help it either. This boy is too filial to think of this. But, Namikaze Minato came out of his belly. Such a big living person shouldn't be so suspicious. However, Namikaze Minato was born from him. Wouldn't that be Naruto's child? Ha 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 ha. Can't help it. I just couldn't help it. Minato looked helpless. Different from the imagined scene of father and son meeting. This is actually another version of father and son meeting. But their identities were swapped. This moment. Looking at his son, Minato smiled. Naruto. I'm dad. Naruto stared at him, his eyes suddenly widening. Yeah, he wants me to call him daddy, but he was obviously born to me. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Hachi, please imagine the sound of a pig. Nine tails rolled around. I even laughed out loud as a pig. Minato has black lines all over his head. Couldn't help but look at Chiba. Chiba couldn't help but smile. Don't look at me. What Naruto said makes sense. When you came out of his belly, didn't you just, ha 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 ha. One person and one fox laughed for a long time, laughing until my stomach hurts. Chiba didn't tell Naruto until later. Then, Naruto looked at Minato suspiciously. So, you were already in my belly, not born from me. Minato nodded, his eyes still full of tenderness. He reached out his hand, wanting to touch Naruto's head. But Naruto dodged it. Naruto hid behind Chiba, stuck his head out, and looked at Minato secretly. Minato's outstretched hand hung in the air. He hesitated to speak. Chiba said, Naruto, he really is your father. Naruto shook his head. There was still some vigilance in his eyes. Finally ran away. Minato sighed. Road, am I too anxious? Chiba said, you don't know the suffering he has suffered. In the past, he could only dream about his parents. Memories appeared in Kinyi's eyes. When I first met him, he thought I was going to hit him. When I reached out to touch him, he was as alert as a wounded fox. Nine tails glanced at Chiba at this time. Minato bowed his head. It's a shame for this kid. It's really hard to have an unreliable father. Minato was slightly embarrassed. Then how did you get Naruto to accept you? Fight. Advertisement. Chiba said, whoever bullies him, I'll take Naruto and beat him up one by one. Chiba looked at Minato, raised an eyebrow and said, why, if you don't take Naruto to beat up Sarutobi, he will definitely accept you. Minato coughed. This is naturally impossible. He couldn't beat his current situation. In the end, Minato had to sigh. Take it easy. On fourth generation Shadow Rock, Chiba lay down next to Naruto. What's wrong? Uncle, Dad, will he disappear again? Chiba was stunned. Why do you ask that? I miss him so much, and I miss my mother so much, but I dare not admit it. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that after today, he will leave me and never come back. My parents are dead. What is left in my body must be my father's last strength. It turns out that he has been watching me. Then, do you blame him? He has always been in your body, but he has never helped you. Isn't he already out? Naruto said crisply. He must want me to be a man and be able to face it on my own. I won't cry or make trouble, and live a good life. This way, when I see my father in the future, he will praise me. But, I'm still so scared. When Chiba turned around, she saw Naruto's young face covered with tears. Uncle, my father came out before I became a man. Chiba reached out and pulled Naruto into her arms. You are already a man, and you are the pride of your father and mother. They'll be proud of you. A little further away, Minato watched all this with tears streaming down his face. Nine tails on the side took the opportunity to say, Hey, Minato, I don't know what your temper is like. If it were me, I'd give Konoha a tailed beast bomb. How about we cooperate? I'll use tailed beast bomb, and you'll use flying thunder god to transfer me to the third generation old man's house. Invite him to watch fireworks tonight. Minato's lips twitched and he ignored nine tails. The emotions just now were diluted a lot. Now he is just a body of chakra and has no power. If you want strength, requires a lot of resources. And for these resources, Kanaha alone is not enough. Unless, other ninja villages also contribute. But, this is obviously impossible. After a while, Chiba pulled Naruto over. Go ahead. Chiba touched Naruto's head. Naruto nodded heavily, then ran and threw himself into Minato's arms. Dad, Naruto misses you so much. I miss you so much. Minato hugged his son. He hugged the son he had thought about and worried about for a long time. Dad, I miss you so much. Under the sun, father and son hugged each other. The sun swayed and fell on the two of them, as if the sun was also embracing them. To hold it forever. Aside, Nine Tails moved to the side knowingly, stretched out his paw, and poked Kinyi. Let's go, let's go, you two grown men are so disgusting. I would rather see Uchiha Madara than this scene. He stretched out his paw and wiped the corners of his eyes while Chiba wasn't paying attention. Chiba laughed silently. He quietly left with Nine Tails. Ichiraku Ramen. Chiba kid, why did you bring me here? Chiba glanced at him. Eat noodle. Nine Tails snorted. I never eat this kind of thing. Oh. Chiba waved his hand and said, Boss, one bowl is enough. You don't need the other bowl. Nine Tails immediately said angrily. Did I say you won't eat? Advertisement. Boss, two bowls. No, three bowls. Soon, five bowls of hot ramen were served. Nine Tails flexibly got on the table and occupied four bowls. You little brat, you cheated me so much in the past, I'm going to make a living out of you today. Whatever. Look down on me, here. Boss, three more bowls. When Tate came up with the ramen, he was surprised to see Nine Tails with a round belly. Finally looking at Kinyi, he couldn't help but said, Doesn't it cost a lot of money to raise a ninja beast like you? Nine Tails glared. You are the ninja beast? Your whole family is too. Shouda smiled and said, What a cute little fox. Then he left with a smile. Nine Tails was so angry that he almost jumped. Don't stop me, I'm going to demolish this place. I want to, pick up. Have fun, don't worry about the details. In the end, Nine Tails still failed to realize its dream of poverty stricken Shiba. When Naruto pulled Namikaze Minato over, Nine Tails was lying on the table, holding his round belly. At the same time he cried, Naruto brat, come on, help me, I can't get up. 
Next to him, there were more than 30 empty bowls. It's a big stack. Naruto's eyes widened. Uncle, where did you find the nine-tailed pig? Nine-tails was furious at the moment. However, after all, the physiques of humans and tailed beasts are different. In extreme anger, Nine-tails rolled off the table and rolled round on the ground twice. Naruto laughed and Nine-tails akimbo in anger. Minato was beside him, smiling very softly. Hokage office. Sarutobi looked at Mitokato Homura in front of him. Couldn't help but frown. These root ninjas, according to Danzo's intention to stay, are to be incorporated into Umbu. After Danzo died, there were still some root ninjas left. As for these root ninjas, they are pretty good, so Sarutobi thought of incorporating them directly into Umbu for later use. Unexpectedly, Mitokato Homura came over, and, come to take these root ninjas. Mitokato Homura said, since it was Danzo who stayed, now that I have taken over Danzo's position, I also need manpower. Give them to me so that I can do things better. Sarutobi clearly didn't want to let it go. These people need to be observed. Integrating them into Umbu is the best way. Otherwise, if they have other ideas. Sarutobi, Mitokato Homura said. I took over Danzo's position. This is recognized by the daimyo. These people should also be under my control. Don't go overboard. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. The atmosphere suddenly became tense. The shortcomings left before are now exposed. Mitokato Homura takes over Danzo's duties. I have power in my hands. Then, the heart that was originally dead will undoubtedly become restless. Originally, he had no power in his hands and would not fight for it. He was undoubtedly aligned with Sarutobi Hiruzen. But now, this heart is crooked. Power is always so fascinating. Finally, Sarutobi said, I will give you people, but here in Namikaze Chiba, I need you to help me. Mitokato Homura snorted. As long as I'm here, he won't be able to make any trouble. Don't worry. After saying that, he turned around and left. Looking at Mitokato Homura's leaving figure, Sarutobi's eyes became colder. No doubt compared to Danzo, Mitokato Homura is not bad at all. However, it is not a bad thing that he is so confident. At least, it can attract Namikaze Chiba's attention to a greater extent. Enough to make Sarutobi do more. Even if Namikaze Chiba has the daimyo's instructions, it is not that simple to really take the power away from him. Now, Hayaga family. When Hayaga Hayashi saw Namikaze Minato, he subconsciously rolled his eyes. Thought it was haunted. It wasn't until Chiba explained that he accepted the facts. In the end, I still stared at Namikaze Minato for a long time. Chiba waved his hand. Okay, if you look at it this way, you're not afraid that your wife will see you and think you're in love with someone else. Advertisement. Hayashi's face darkened. Get out. Chiba pointed at Hayaga Hayashi and said to Namikaze Minato, Let's get to know each other again. This is my niece-in-law's father. Niece-in-law. Namikaze Minato was stunned. Unsure asked. Naruto, doesn't seem to be old enough this year. Chiba nodded. Compared to when you teased my sister-in-law, it's indeed a little smaller. But isn't this just a matter of learning from others? Minato's face suddenly turned red. How did he? Chiba said, I have to mention a moonlit night. Minato, you can't get through this, right? Hayashi calmed down. Asked. Minato, what's going on now? Chiba said, I won't die for the time being, but it's hard to say in the future. Minato's mouth twitched. Chiba glanced at him. If you want to completely stabilize your body, you still need a lot of resources. It would be better if you have the power of other tailed beasts. Hayashi asked. Then next, you want to collect the power of the tailed beast. Chiba shook his head. It's not necessary at the moment. Tailed beasts are hard to find. Besides, instead of looking for tailed beasts, it's better to plunder resources. Plunder resources. Hayashi was stunned. Chiba curled her lips, after several ninja wars, Kanaha suffered heavy losses, but other villages did not. Even some battles that Kanaha won, even though they were peaceful, Sarutobi paid a heavy price. These make other ninja villages richer and richer. They don't have much use for keeping the resources, so why not bring them over and let me help them use them? Hayashi glanced at Chiba. This is the first time I heard someone speak so elegantly and elegantly. Hayashi thought for a moment, nodded and said, Do we have enough strength at hand? Can Nine Tails help? He saw Nine Tails. After saying this, he was suddenly stunned. I looked around. Where's Nine Tails? Namikaze Minato said. It seems like he was taken out to play by Naruto. Hayashi frowned, always having a bad feeling. Hineda, look. Naruto lifted nine tails up. Hineda's eyes suddenly widened, as if there were many little stars in them. Wow, so cute. Hug me, give me a hug, give me a hug. Hineda urged urgently. Hey hey. Naruto grinned and placed nine tails into Hineda's hands. Wow, it's so heavy. That's Karema's appetite, that's extraordinary. His name is Karema, what a weird name. Hineda's big eyes were full of curiosity, and she was stroking Karema's back. The more she touched, the more she liked it. Naruto suddenly quietly approached Hineda's ear. Hineda, Karema, I only let you touch a girl. Hineda blushed immediately. Finally, he lowered his head and said him in a mosquito-like voice. Inside the house, Chiba shrugged. This is not what I taught you. Hayashi looked at Minato with evil eyes. It's not me. Hayashi sneered. Is this what you said to Kushina back then? Minato wanted to quibble. Hayashi snorted and said very dissatisfied. Both of you, father and son, are no good. My cabbage? Was he just F-ked like this? P.S. I'll start adding more updates tomorrow. Also, please give me some data. Thank you readers. Advertisement. Chapter 35 Fishing, Orikimura Comes. Advertisement. The next day, Naruto practiced ninjutsu with Minato. The ninja school ended its classes and it was time for the holidays. So Naruto didn't have to go to school for a while, but the practice of ninjutsu couldn't be left behind. Namikaze Minato volunteered and took on the responsibility of teaching. Supervised by Karema. By the way, charge Minato. Otherwise, it would be difficult for Minato to stay in shape for too long. Nine Tails looked at Minato and said dissatisfied. Don't exercise too vigorously, otherwise you will drain me dry. Minato said. Chiba was thinking about how to plunder resources, because his brother told him that there were more than just backhands left by him in Naruto's body. Kushina also stayed. 
However, when Nine Tails was sealed that day, it was mainly Minato who exerted great force, and he left more power behind. After sensing Chiba's aura, in order to avoid unexpected situations, he temporarily blocked Kushina's perception. So, now Kushina's backhand is still in Naruto's body. Chiba now has to consider not only maintaining his brother's figure, but also how to save his sister-in-law. In fact, Chiba wanted to pat Naruto's belly and shout, Sister-in-law, open the door. I am my brother. Of course, this is purely a joke. But the scarcity of resources is indeed a problem we are facing today. Several major ninja villages today. San Shinobi, Cloud Shinobi, Rock Shinobi, Mist Shinobi, and Kanaha. Here in Kanaha, it is difficult to have any resources in a short time. Most of them were controlled by Sarutobi, and even if they were not controlled, he would compensate the other ninja villages. Then, the best way is to attack the other four major ninja villages. Among the four great ninja villages, Cloud Shinobi is much stronger. San Shinobi and Rock Shinobi are also tough. Only Mist Shinobi has kept a much lower profile in recent years. Moreover, its rules of survival are extremely cruel, and they must kill each other to survive. Also known as the Village of Blood Mist. Advertisement. In comparison, Mist Shinobi is indeed much weaker. It's the best one to start with. However, due to Mist Shinobi's conditions, it is destined that there will not be many resources. If we attack forcefully, we may lose more than we gain. Secondly, there is no sufficient reason. There is still a delicate balance between the five major ninja villages. If they attack Kanaha, it won't matter. Once Kanaha takes the initiative, I'm afraid at least one village will not settle down. The location of Kanaha is the land of fire. The fire nation is richer, occupies the best position, and has the best economy. The other villages are naturally eyeing Kanaha. Therefore, it is best to have a famous teacher. It better be so. After pondering this, Chiba sent someone to call Shisui. Lord Chiba. Shisui's attitude was respectful after entering the door. During this time, Shisui has been completely convinced by Chiba's methods. No more other thoughts. When a smart person is completely convinced, many things become easier to do. Shisui is certainly not a stupid person. Now with Shisui and Itake, the Uchiha clan is submissive. Chiba nodded towards Shisui and asked, Has the news of Danzo's death been released? Shisui nodded. It has been released. The other major ninja villages should have learned the news. Chiba understands. He didn't want to take the initiative. If he did, he would be criticized too easily. He would even be caught by Sarutobi as a reason. Chiba would not make such a stupid mistake. But using the news of Danzo's death is not the case. Danzo's death undoubtedly means that Kanaha is in a weak moment. At this time, if there is any movement in other villages, it is best to take action. Based on the idea of recycling, Chiba asks Shisui to spread the news. The bait has been thrown out. Advertisement. You have to wait and see who takes the bait next. And as long as a fish takes the bait, it's time for Chiba to take action. Chiba said, go and prepare. Next, there may be a war. Yes, Shisui left. And shortly after Shisui left, Itaka's figure appeared. However, Itaka didn't come alone. There was another person behind him. The man wore a gray robe, had a young face, and was a woman. At first, Chiba thought that Itaki had brought his wife over and had enlightened him. But after taking a closer look, I discovered. Orikimura. Chiba said with a smile. You dare to show up at this time, you are very brave. Orikimura took off the veil from his head, showing a faint smile. After Kanbakan left my place, I knew that Kanbakan was going to do something big. I thought it would be my Sarutobi sensei who died, but unexpectedly, it was Danzo. There was a mocking smile on his lips. It seems that Danzo died for Sarutobi sensei. Although Orikimura bites a Sarutobi teacher. But obviously, there's no respect for Sarutobi. At this time, he subconsciously stuck out his tongue and licked his lips. Kanbakan's behavior is still so commendable. Chiba touched his chin. You seem to be a rebellious ninja in the village now. If I catch you, go to Sarutobi to collect the reward. I wonder how much I can give you. Orikimura said in a hoarse voice. Kanbakan, are you going to do this? However, I'm afraid it will be difficult to catch me with Chibakun alone. Oh, Chiba suddenly became interested. A sword appeared in his hand. Advertisement. The next moment, the long sword slashed, and a silvery white light streaked across the sky. Immediately, three strands of Orikimura's hair were cut off. The hair broke off and fell to the ground. Orikimura's eyes seemed a little excited. What a fast sword. Chiba put away her sword. Of course he wouldn't kill Orikimura, which, to be honest, would be hard to kill. But Orikimura came here, he must have something to do, and before discussing the matter, he must show his strength. In this case, it would be much more convenient to talk about things. Sit. Chiba said. Then he looked at Orikimura and asked curiously. In your current situation, are you considered a boy or a girl? Orikimura smiled and said. Does it matter? Whether it's a man or a woman, I can live longer than I did before. A hundred years later, maybe Chibakan is no longer there, but I am still so young. Chiba was non-committal. It makes some sense. Suddenly an idea flashed in his mind. Asked. Can you find a more beautiful body? Orikimura narrowed his eyes. Chiba smiled and said. I wonder if you can lure Jiraiya out by changing into a beautiful body and using a clone. I think that at that time, Jiraiya might be willing to talk to you about life without knowing it. Orikimaro licked his lips, but instead of getting angry, he said with a smile. Maybe, I can also have a taste of Jiraiya. Chiba's smile froze. Die pervert. Really willing to go out of his way. I just said that, and you actually thought about it. Sure enough, Orikimaro's thoughts are different from normal people. But Orikimaro came just in time to study Minato. Advertisement. Chapter 36 Orikimaro's Ambition, Onaki's Thoughts. Advertisement. After all, there is no doubt about Orikimaru's talent, especially in the study of ninjutsu, which can be said to be extremely talented. In the entire ninja world, there is almost no one who can match Orikimaru in research. Minato's current state undoubtedly gives Chiba a headache. You have to rely on nine tails to keep charging. It's impossible to live without nine tails. If Orikimaru could figure out some way, maybe it would be possible. Thinking of this, Chiba simply said, Why did you come to me? Orikimaru smiled and said, Cooperate. Oh, Chiba looked at him. Orikimaru raised his hand, revealing the ring he was wearing with the word empty written on it. In these years, after I left Kanaha, I joined an organization called Akatsuki. I am very interested in the eyes of its leader. You want me to help you get these eyes. Chibakun is indeed smart. Xiaokin Yi naturally knew that there was an employment organization active in various villages. Accumulated a lot of wealth. 
At the same time, most of the people in the organization are rebels from various villages. What can you give? Then it depends on what Chibakun wants, he said and suddenly smiled. If Chibakun wants a woman, I'm not helpless. I can even give you a choice. Orikimuro obviously knows Chiba's temperament. Chiba interrupted directly. Stop it. I'm not interested in you. That's such a shame. Orikimuro looked regretful. I can only go find Jiraiya and try. Chiba felt that she seemed to have hit Orikimura's G-spot. It always feels a little weird. Suddenly a picture appeared in his mind. Everywhere Jiraiya goes, the pretty girls she meets are Orikimura. That. Hiss. It's quite scary to think about it. Advertisement. If I get emotional again. So scary? Hokage. Orikimura said. I can help Chiba-kun get the Hokage seat. Chiba raised an eyebrow. It seems that you have accumulated a lot of strength during this period. Orikimura smiled and said. Fine. Chiba is awe-inspiring. With Orikimura mastering the impure world reincarnation, one person is equivalent to an army. When the first generation and second generation are reincarnated, they will indeed be quite powerful forces. Not to mention, these two are not the only cage-level characters who have died. Chiba narrowed his eyes and considered. What is Akatsuki's purpose? As a time traveler, he doesn't know much about the original Hokage. In the past, I often heard friends talk about it and knew some things, but I didn't know the details. There are also many things that we don't know. Orikimura said bluntly. Tailed beast, wealth. Chiba asked. What do they collect tailed beasts for? Orikimura shook his head. I don't know about this. Maybe, only the leader knows. Correct. Orikimaru thought of this and suddenly said, There is a guy in the Akatsuki organization who calls himself Achiha Madara. Chiba narrowed his eyes. Orikimaru continues, His sherry non, maybe Manjikyo level, and, came to Kanaha on the night Minato died. Nine tails riot. There must be someone controlling it. To do this, Manjikyo sherry non is undoubtedly the clue. It seems you are well prepared. Just knowing some things. Orikimaru said, What about Chiba-kun, about cooperation? Not urgent. Advertisement. Chiba said, I have something here that you can study. What? Follow me? Chiba takes Orikimaru with her and comes to Minato. The moment he saw Minato, Orikimaru's pupils trembled. Then he showed a playful smile. Minato, long time no see. Namikaze Minato, who was teaching Naruto, was suddenly stunned. Then looked away. Orikimaru sensei. Chiba said, how about it? You should be able to tell by his condition. Is there any way to make him more stable? Orikimaru looked interested. I have never seen this situation before, but I can research it. Chiba said, that's up to you to research. If you can find a way, I can consider helping you. Good. Orikimaru nodded. He didn't refuse. He was indeed interested. Minato's state is very subtle, especially the talisman on his forehead, which is even more interesting. If it can be thoroughly studied, perhaps the dead can survive in another form. For Orikimura, this is undoubtedly another path to immortality. Of course he wouldn't refuse. For Chiba, Minato's current state is difficult to stabilize. No matter how many resources there are, it can only be maintained. Resources will eventually run out, and he needs continuity. Otherwise, it's too fast. As expected of a yellow flash, he died so quickly. Then you will live here from now on. Orikimaru nodded. And at this moment, the matter of Danzo's death has completely matured. Iwegakur. When someone came in to report Onoki, this third Suchikage can no longer hold himself back. Danzo is dead. This is a perfect opportunity. Advertisement. Onoki couldn't help laughing. It's true, Sarutobi Hiruzen has brought Kanaha into despair step by step since he became Hokage. Over the years, Onoki naturally cared a lot about Kanaha. Onoki was extremely concerned about the death of any strong person in Kanaha. Now, if Danzo dies again, it can be said that Sarutobi Hiruzen has one less helping hand. Kanaha is naturally weaker. Onoki said, at this time, Kanaha should be at its weakest. If we take advantage of this to attack, he began to think. Even if we can't take down Kanaha, we can still force Sarutobi to pay a lot of compensation. He was calculating. He also knows what Sarutobi is like. However, it is not easy for him, Rock Shinobi, to face Kanaha at this time. In these great ninja wars, Rock Shinobi has not participated in many battles. It retains a lot of strength. Therefore, Onoki is not afraid of Kanaha, but if he can do this with just the strength of his village, Onoki would naturally not be willing. There is only one thing to do. If Iwegakur and Kanaha fight each other in a losing battle, wouldn't it mean that other villages will benefit? At that time, if other villages take the opportunity to take action, Iwegakur will be extremely uncomfortable. Therefore, it is best to draw allies. Onoki pondered. Not long ago, Cloud Shinobi Village seemed to have suffered a loss at the hands of Kanaha. In other words, Cloud Shinobi Village may not miss this opportunity, but it can start from now on. Think of this. After Onoki pondered for a moment, call Huang Tu over. Soon after, Lois came. Father. Huang Tu spoke respectfully to Onoki. Onoki nodded. You go to Cloud Shinobi Village and make an alliance with AI to discuss attacking Kanaha. Huang Tu was a little surprised. Father, are you going to attack Kanaha again? Onoki smiled and said. Danzo's death is a good opportunity to attack. AI won't refuse. You go ahead. Yes. Lois took the lead and came out of Iwegakur. P.S. An update will be added later, probably a little later. Advertisement. Chapter 37 The Frustrated Third Hokage. Advertisement. Chiba, your identity is very different now. If you continue to live in Hayaga's house, you will inevitably lose your identity. Achiha Fugaka couldn't help but said to Chiba. Although there is no problem with this, it can easily be criticized. Now that Midokado Homura has only been in power for a short time, it is a time when he needs someone to establish his authority. I am afraid, he will make a fuss about it. Chiba shrugged, not paying much attention. Even Danzo can't beat Midokado Homura with his little tricks. What can be done? However, what Fugaka said does make sense. Of course it's not something he's afraid of, but Orikimaru is here now. Chiba wants him to do some research, so he naturally needs a place. Chiba is not worried about either Uchiha or Haiga. Maybe this is a researcher, and I want to study Sherry non Orbion. After all, Shisui has Manjikyo, and Orikimaru, again, pervert. Worse, Itaki is young, and so is Suzuki. It's not good to leave a psychological shadow on a child. That makes sense. Chiba nodded. Fugaka couldn't help but ask, do you have any good points? Chiba touched his chin. No, but, there is a way. Under Fugaka's doubtful eyes, Chiba left. 
and walked all the way to the Hokage office. Chiba kicked the door open very politely. Then he waited at the door for the smoke to dissipate a lot before walking in. Sarutobi's eyes showed dissatisfaction. Namikaze Chiba. Chiba explained apologetically. Sorry, I knocked a little too hard. Sarutobi glanced at the clear footprints in the center of the wooden door. Chiba explained again. Hokage-sama is old after all. You may not be able to hear your voice if it is too soft. You need to use more force. And, this door is too old and should be replaced. Look at the smile on Chiba's face. Sarutobi took a deep breath. Advertisement. What do you want to do again? Chiba said. Ask Hokage-sama for some funds. Sarutobi narrowed his eyes. Chiba said. Since I am assisting you in managing the village, I must have a place to live. Can't I live in Hayaga's house all the time? The impact would be too bad. When word got out, they thought I couldn't build a house in Kanaha. Certainly. Chiba grinned. It's okay if Mr. Hokage doesn't give it. This Hokage building is good. I can just move in. This building. There is only one master, the Hokage. Sarutobi naturally couldn't agree. If this doesn't work, the Sarutobi clan's territory is pretty good, and I can accept it, but I don't know. Enough. Sarutobi directly interrupted what Chiba was saying. I will send someone to take care of the issue of accommodation. Previously, Sarutobi originally asked Danzo to do this, but Danzo was gone before he even started. The matter was shelved. Unexpectedly, Namikaze Chiba came to the door. Sarutobi suddenly felt a headache. Chiba nodded. Okay, I remember there is a wood-style ninja at the root, let him help. Can. Sarutobi didn't refuse. He would also be happy to see Namikaze Chiba face off against Mitokado Homura. There is no doubt that Mitokado Homura will suffer. Only after suffering a loss will you know that standing on his side is the right thing to do. I'll tell him later. Okay, by the way, Master Hokage, are you still ready to redeem Asuma? If you don't redeem it, I will requisition it. Chiba had a big smile on his face. After all, he is a pretty capable ninja. He must always contribute to the village. Advertisement. Veins appeared on Sarutobi's forehead. Chiba left while laughing. After returning. Directly ordered. Pull Asuma out, ask anyone in the village who needs help recently, and arrange for someone to watch him go. Remember it. Choose something dirty and tiring, so that we can reflect our master Asuma's intentions. Especially if the toilet is blocked, remember to take care of it first. Yes. Mitokado Homuro looked unhappy. Why does he, Namikaze Chiba, order the roots to do things? Who does he think he is? Do you think you can become a Hokage if you gain some power? Mitokado Homura vented. Umbu in front of him didn't speak at all. It wasn't until Mitokado Homura was done venting that he said. Third generation Sama means that this is a perfect opportunity to spy on Namikaze Chiba. If you want to deal with him, this time. Mitokado Homura narrowed his eyes. Finally said. Hey, you go ahead and keep an eye on Namikaze Chiba. Yes. A root ninja left. Namikaze Minato's former residence. Although it is deserted. But Mitokado Homura sent someone over. Orokimura was slightly surprised when he saw this root ninja named Ka. The original experimental subject has grown up. Hearing this, the root ninja named A was stunned. Although the mask hid his face, beneath it, there must have been shock. Orokimura smiled and looked at Chiba. Explain. When Danzo asked me to perform first Hokage cell transplantation, a large number of experimental subjects were used. I thought they would all die, but to my surprise, one survived. Advertisement. Kinyi touched his chin and said, Wood style, is really good at building houses. He asked, What's your name? Tenzo. Yamato's previous name was slightly changed when Yamato joined Umbu, which does not affect it. Chiba nodded. Very good, you should already know who he is, right? Tianzang said nothing. Chiba smiled and said, How to build a house, Orokimura will tell you. I know you came here with a mission, and I'm not afraid of you finding out. You should understand it yourself. If what you say is not satisfactory, I don't mind. Let Orokimura study you again. He must be very interested in you. By the way, I forgot to tell you, Sarutobi Asuma is still in my hands. How do you think you are more important than him? Tenzo was silent. Next, naturally, he started cooperating with Orokimaru. It is said that there are specialties in the art industry, and when it comes to house building, wood style is indeed incomparable to others. It's just that Orokimaru was a little disappointed. Too weak. Compared to first Hokage, this wood style is really too weak. At this time, Lois has entered the scope of Cloud Shinobi Village. And, after notifying the Cloud Shinobi Ninja, he successfully met the contemporary Rakage. AI? Interestingly, the previous generations of Rakage were all named AI. Onoki wants to form an alliance with Cloud Shinobi. Huang Tu nodded. Yes, now that Danzo of Kanaha is dead, it is the perfect time to attack Kanaha. If our two villages can join forces, we will definitely win. AI laughed. It's a good idea, but Onoki wants an alliance. Why? How much strength can you, Rock Shinobi, bring to the table? P.S. Add one more chapter. I don't have time to write more today. I will try to write more tomorrow. Advertisement. Chapter 38 Mastering the Power of Sage of Six Paths. Advertisement. Are there research results so soon? Tian Zhang's efficiency was indeed very fast, and it wasn't long before Chiba moved into his new home. A house that is not much weaker than the original Hokage building. Not only can it be used for living, but it can also be used for working. All are more than enough. After the house was built, Chiba moved in. At the same time, Orokimaru's research is also here. The laboratory was also established with the help of Tian Zhang. Set up quickly. And Orokimaru has already begun research. After studying Namikaze Minato for many days, I finally got results. Orokimaru came to look for Chiba. Chiba looked at Orokimaru in surprise, feeling that the speed was too fast. Also coming with him is Minato. Minato's face didn't look very good at the moment, and he was still holding his waist. He even held onto the wall when he walked in. This made Kinyi's eyes look strange. He couldn't help but glance between the two of them. Orokimaru smiled and said, What's on your mind? I was wondering if there are any hidden secrets between you two. Orokimaru shook his head. What can I do? It's just that I've been doing a lot of research these days, and Minato's current situation is a bit unbearable. Advertisement. It really took a lot of effort to study his current situation clearly. Chiba raised an eyebrow. What's the gain? Of course there is. Mentioning the research results, Orokimaru suddenly became more serious. He said, After these days of research, I found that Minato's current situation is that it is impossible for Chakra to exist in his body. Although he can use Chakra to barely maintain his body, no matter how much Chakra is injected, it will flow out of his body once and then again. Go out. 
In other words, Minato's current situation is like a water tank with most of the water leaking. Chakra is water injected into the water tank. When a large amount of water is injected, the water will indeed be stored in the water tank, but no matter how much water is injected, it will flow out and it will be difficult to preserve it. Chiba nodded. This is indeed Minato's current situation. Then what we need to do is to block this water tank. Orokimaru shook his head. This is too difficult. There are so many missing things in this water tank. It is almost riddled with holes. Blocking the water tank is almost the same as recreating a water tank. Chiba thought for a while and asked. Then can you use impure world reincarnation to create a special form, and then let him be imprisoned and sealed in this form? Orokimaru still shook his head. Impure world reincarnation can indeed create a body. The body will not dissipate until the spell is lifted, but this spell also requires summoning the souls of the dead from the pure land. Minato's current situation, his soul does not exist in the pure land. In other words, impure world reincarnation is not possible. Chiba is confused. Then what else can be done? Orokimaru said, Yin Yang Escape Technique. The legendary escape technique used by Sage of Six Paths. Hidden Escape is a unique spiritual power that can create a body. Yang Escape is a physical force that injects life into the form. Advertisement. Orokimaru's eyes sparkled with excitement. If you can master the Yin and Yang Escape Technique and combine it, you can create a new form for Minato, and then inject life force into it, so that his current situation is consistent with that life force, and maybe, he can be resurrected. But now, no one has mastered the Yin Yang Escape Technique. Chiba shook his head and said, There are occasionally some ninjutsu, but they are only partial uses of Yin Escape or Yang Escape. It is difficult to cover too much. It is too difficult to achieve this level. He also knows the yin and yang escape technique left by Sage of Six Paths, but this is one aspect. Want to master it and realize it. Extremely difficult. However, Orokimura said, it's not completely impossible. Orokimura continued, the power of yin escape is mainly reflected in mental strength, which is also true for Uchiha, while yin escape is physical strength. Both Senju and Azumaki have this characteristic. Chiba frowned, do you want to combine the powers of Uchiha, Senju, and Azumaki? Orokimura shook his head, that's not enough. Sage of Six Paths taught immortal arts, and his two sons inherited his yin-yang escape technique. After that, the descendants engaged in various intermarriages, and the power of yin-yang escape has been weakened a lot. Just relying on these three clans is simply not enough, Orokimaru said. Today's yin-yang escape power should be scattered everywhere, so, as long as all the remaining scattered powers are gathered, it will be possible to create the yin-yang escape power again. And it's still comparable to the yin-yang escape power possessed by Sage of Six Paths. Scattered power. Chiba frowned. Orokimaru nodded. Yes, the power of all other escape techniques. In fact, I have done research before, and I suspect that all the blood inheritance limits today are due to the power of yin escape or yin escape, which has been upgraded on top of the original five elements escape technique. Chiba narrowed his eyes. Advertisement. The premise of the blood inheritance limit is that the body has different attributes, and when the two attributes are combined, other effects will occur. It's very rare to have two attributes that are not mutually exclusive. Even if the attributes can match, it's still a big expense. In this case, why would a new escape technique be created? Wood style is one of them. Why, except for the Senju clan, it is difficult for other clans to form the wood style even though they have chakras with earth and water attributes. Or if they have been formed, they are still far away from the Senju. All of this is because of the Yang escape power in Senju's body. Then, it is very possible that the so-called blood succession limit is actually two or more chakras, plus the power of Yin escape or Yang escape, so that it can be formed. Orokimura smiled and said, Sarutobi sensei is a chakra with five attributes, but even so, it is not as good as wood style with two attribute chakras. This is the power of Yin Yang escape. Orokimura became more and more excited as he talked. Then, we can deduce from this that all ethnic groups with the blood inheritance limit actually possess the power of yin and yang escape. As long as all these powers are collected, it is possible to get a glimpse of the mystery of yin and yang escape. At this point, Chiba completely understood. I have to say, Orokimaru is a complete genius. Ambitious and dare to think. The power of yin and yang escape, the power once mastered by Sage of Six Paths, Orokimaru smiled and said. So, Kinikan, your next goal is not resources, but the power of yin-yang escape scattered everywhere, which is, the so-called blood succession limit. Chiba narrowed his eyes, looking at Orokimaru with a smile on his face. And at this moment, Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi ninjas, starting to gather together, they made an alliance. Advertisement. Chapter 39, Two Villages Join Forces, Kanaha Crisis. Advertisement. As for Rock Shinobi, the leader is Lois. In addition, there is Akatsuki, and he brings hundreds of Rock Shinobi elite ninjas. As for Cloud Shinobi, the leader is Derui, a genius ninja who possesses the blood inheritance limit Arashi release. It means the guardian of fourth rakage AI, the only successor of third rakage black lightning style. In addition to Derui, there is another person, Samai. She is also a talented girl from Cloud Shinobi. She has a rather calm personality and, an exceptionally broad mind. Samyi wants to be trusted by AI. Even though he is in his prime now, he is still entrusted with important responsibilities. In addition, there are 80 elite ninjas from Cloud Shinobi Village. Now, the two villages are united not far from Kanaha. Derui discusses with Huangtu. Danzo is dead, and Kanaha must be in turmoil. If Sarutobi wants to integrate Danzo's remaining forces, there is no doubt that he will not be able to take charge of the village. This is our opportunity. Huangtu spoke in a deep voice. This time, if our two villages unite, we will definitely win. Derui nodded. However, even though we have a great chance of winning, we cannot take it lightly. Derui said. Last time, I, Cloud Shinobi, lost several jonin in Kanaha. Even so, we also got a lot of information. The younger brother of the Kanaha fourth Hokage, Namikaze Chiba has returned. Also, third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen seems to have a less than harmonious relationship with the Haiga clan. Huang Tu nodded. Then our chances will be even greater. 
Kita said. Don't hesitate anymore. Let's attack quickly and catch Kanaha by surprise. Good. No more words. The collaboration between Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi begins. Advertisement. Not many ninjas were sent there, but they were all elites. This will not attract too much attention, but it can also quickly tear open Kanaha's defense line, making Kanaha tired of dealing with it. Itaki walked into Chiba's house. Lord Chiba, someone has moved. Oh. Chiba raised his eyes and looked at Itaki. Weasel said, Rock Shinobi made contact with Cloud Shinobi, the ninjas of the two villages, and should be heading towards Kanaha at this time. Chiba smiled. It's just right, so we won't be criticized if we take action again. How are the preparations going? Itaki nodded. It's ready. Everyone in the clan is waiting for your order. Chiba said. There's no rush yet. Even if we want to take action, let's not do it first. Sarutobi has already laid out a defense line. If we don't let Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi join forces to tear this defense line apart, the victory one like this will not be remembered by others. Itaki nodded and had some questions. But what if third generation can win? Win. Chiba sneered. What does he have to win? I'm afraid if there is a fight, Sarutobi will be thinking about how to negotiate a peace and alliance before long. Sarutobi is old and has long lost the fighting spirit he had when he was young. At this time, what he is thinking about is not how to fight others, but how to stabilize his power. Itaki was awe-inspiring. The border of the Fire Nation. The sudden appearance of hundreds of ninjas undoubtedly surprised all the ninjas defending the border. They couldn't react at all. There is an enemy. An enemy is coming. It's Cloud Shinobi. Cloud Shinobi village is invading. Not only Cloud Shinobi, but also Rock Shinobi. Get out. Evacuate quickly. There are too many of them. Advertisement. Kanaha Shinobi roared one after another. But, Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi have been preparing for so long, how can they let them go? Soon, all the ninjas here were slaughtered. In just half a day, the border was lost. Word got back to Sarutobi. Hokage office. Sarutobi's face was gloomy, his face no longer had the previous kindness, but only coldness. Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi are attacking me now, are they trying to deceive me that there is no one in Kanaha? Danzo died not long ago, and they all took action together. This is a good opportunity. Sarutobi was naturally furious. And this time, after Mitokato Homuro learned the news, he also walked into Hokage's office. Sarutobi, something big happened. Mitokato Homuro looked anxious. At the same time, he quickly said, the two villages of Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi invaded at the same time. The border, the border has been lost. What are we going to do? Mitokato Homura looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen and said, Your Hokage, come up with an idea. Sarutobi stared at Mitokato Homura. The corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. When you were fighting for power earlier, why didn't you remember that I was Hokage? Something happened now, you remembered. There was a hint of coldness in his eyes. But at this time, it was not the time to fall out with Mitokato Homura. Sarutobi thought for a moment. Road. Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi came here. They undoubtedly want to share some benefits while Danzo is dead and Kanaha is still in turmoil. Intelligence from the front also shows that they did not send many people out, and they obviously did not intend to continue the fight. What they want is compensation. Sarutobi just looked at the information on the front line and guessed the purpose of the two villages. Advertisement. Mitokato Homura said. Then we compensate them. After hearing this, Sarutobi looked at Mitokato Homura as if he were an idiot. Take a deep breath. He suppressed the curse words he wanted to say. If Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi come, we have to compensate? What if San Shinobi and Mist Shinobi also come? Mitokato Homura frowned and said. Is it possible to fight? But if we really want to fight now, there will still be Namikaze Chiba watching eagerly. If we really go, only our men will die. Sarutobi didn't bother to explain anymore. We will definitely fight. Even if we really compensate, we have to hold off the two villages of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi first. Only in this way can we gain some benefits for us, and they won't ask two outrageous prices. Sarutobi already had an idea. I will send people to resist this matter, but I need the help of your subordinates. Mitokato Homura hesitated. He only has so many people under his command. Once they are sent out, then, there is no doubt that no one will be available. Sarutobi saw Mitokato Homura's thoughts and said simply, In that case, you will lead these people to resist the two villages joining forces this time. Mitokato Homura trembled and refused directly. That won't work. I still have a lot of things to deal with. Just send my people. So be it. Sarutobi didn't want to talk to Mitokato Homura for a moment. So stupid. Sarutobi responded quickly and sent many ninjas to rescue the border that day, as well as root ninjas to assist. Same day, Chiba also left Kanaha. There was another person going out with him, Uchiha Shisui and Uchiha Itaki. They took no one else with them. Chiba naturally headed to the border. With the arrival of Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi, there may be blood inheritance limits. And, Sarutobi wants to stop this war, how can he? Advertisement. Chapter 40 The Limit of Blood Succession, Milk Escape. Advertisement. Suzuki, Itaka gave this to you before he left. Fugaku looked at his son, whose face was obviously sad, and took out a small box. After hearing the news about Weasel, this depressed son obviously improved a lot. Without much hesitation, he opened the box. Inside was a letter and a shuriken. Suzuki opened the letter. Unfortunately, my brother, as an older brother, I cannot spend this happy birthday with you. But you have grown up, studied hard in the ninja school, learned a lot of ninjutsu, and made many friends. You should have your own life and pursue your own interests instead of relying too much on me. I have indeed doted on you over the years, but as Chibasama said, you are not only my brother, but also Achiha Suzuki. You should have more free time and better pursuits. This birthday, go and spend it with your friends. Have a nice day, Suzuki. There is a gift from me in the box. Forgive me Suzuki. Weasel. Reading this letter, Suzuki's young face showed confusion. He still didn't quite understand what his brother meant. Leave at such a critical moment. Fugaku sighed when he saw his son's appearance and wanted to say something to persuade him. But this time, he heard another voice. Sass here. At the door, a yellow-haired boy held a fox with nine tails in his arms, and next to him stood a girl with both white eyes. The young man waved his hands vigorously, with an eager smile on his face. Happy birthday. Suzuki was stunned for a moment. Subconsciously he raised his head and glanced at his father. Fugaku smiled and nodded. Go ahead, Suzuki. Um. He nodded. He ran towards Naruto. How did you come? Advertisement. 
Come to celebrate your birthday, sauce. What about the gift? Ah, uh, do you want a gift for your birthday? Come on, I'll treat you to ramen. The children drifted away. Fugaku looked at the children's backs and smiled silently. Chiba looked at Itaki in surprise. Today is Suzuki's birthday. Don't you plan to stay in the village? Itaki shook his head. No, he will grow up eventually. Besides, with friends like Naruto here, they will be more comfortable together. Chiba smiled and shook his head. That's true. Now that we are ready, let's start our mission. Chiba said, the people sent by Sarutobi should have arrived. The cooperation between Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi will naturally not be weak, and now that Sarutobi has taken action, he will not let it go. They both want to end it as soon as possible. But, it is not that easy. Chiba smiled. The three figures disappeared. Samai I watched the battlefield end and subconsciously loosened his clothes. I always feel like I've been growing a little too fast lately, so my clothes have become a little too small after a while. Especially in the chest area, it feels very tight. Well, I'm still a little tired from walking. Certainly. It does not matter. It is now the third day. However, Kanaha still had no decent resistance. This isn't right. Going to meet Derui, Samai I expressed his suspicions. Derui nodded after hearing this and went to find Lois. Huangta Road. This is normal. After Danzo's death, Kanaha was in turmoil. Sarutobi must have transferred the peripheral forces back, so that the border defense forces were not too sufficient. Then we were too sudden. It is easy to achieve such results, but Sarutobi must have reacted next. The most difficult thing is what comes next. Derui said, Advertisement. No matter what preparations Sarutobi makes, it's useless. Huangta smiled. You are right, victory must belong to us. Kanaha's reinforcements have indeed arrived. Four root ninjas, plus a hundred Kanaha shinobi. All the same elite. Shiranui Genma, Gekko Heiate, Yamashiro Aoba, Ebisu. And of course, Nara Shikaku, the leader of the Deer Clan, one of the three Ino, Shika, Cho clans, and the father of Nara Shikamaru. As a strategist of third generation, this assistance is very important. Therefore, Nara Shikaku personally takes action. After roughly observing the battlefield, Nara said in a deep voice, The number of enemies should be more than a hundred, which is more than our people. We don't have many opportunities and we cannot fail. Then, based on available intelligence, he produced his first battle plan. Divided into four teams, the four Shiranui Genma each led a team of twenty people, and he personally led the twenty people. Ebisu acts as bait and others assist. This will lure Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi to attack together. After the battle plan is formulated, execution begins. Ebisu's seduction was very successful. Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi did fall into the trap. But both sides are not weak in strength. Even if they fall into the trap, they are well trained to fight against Konoha. But here it is. If this continues, it will be difficult for the two village ninjas who fight far away from the village to win. In fact, by this time, the advantage they had at the beginning no longer existed. If you want to continue fighting, it is naturally possible to win. But the losses will be huge. This is inconsistent with their intentions. The reason why Nara Shikako came is related to this. Stop them, and then discuss peace. Sarutobi explained what he meant and tried to reduce the loss as much as possible. Advertisement. Today's villages cannot withstand war. There must be peace. Nara Shikaku took a deep breath and issued a request for discussion while surrounding the two villages of ninjas. Huang Tu smiled and said to Derui, Sarutobi doesn't have the guts to attack us yet. This is the best evidence. Derui was non-committal. Before coming, Fourth Rakage had already said that there was no need to fight Kanaha head-on. This time he came out just to earn some compensation. We can't let Rock Shinobi Ichimura take advantage. Kanaha is rich, and, cowardly. After deliberation, they finally chose to agree. Compensation of 50 million tails each, about 5 ordinary S-level missions. In other words, 2.5 Asuma per village. The two villages will choose to leave after receiving compensation. Nara took a deep breath, his face showing fatigue that could not be concealed. I hope you two will not break your promise. Otherwise, Kanaha will not forgive you. Don't worry. Huang Tu smiled. We keep our promises best. Derui nodded. Peace was briefly negotiated. Chiba, who was ready to stir up trouble, temporarily changed his mind after learning the news. After all, there is a compensation of 100 million tails, plus. He found a blood inheritance limit and could hand it over to Orgamaro for research when he returned. Well. However, when scanning Cloud Shinobi Village, Chiba has additional gains. Seeing the short-haired girl with a broad mind, he couldn't help but look at her a few more times. Whispering, maybe, there will be a blood inheritance limit of milk escape. But no matter what, we should capture him and study him carefully. Only, for this research, don't bother Orikimura. We can also be scholars. Advertisement. Chapter 41 Kill Lois and Frame the Blame Third Generation. Advertisement. Sarutobi soon learned the news. The final outcome of the deliberations. A contribution of 100 million tails. Within his acceptance range. Although after paying for it, it will greatly slow down the development of Kanaha. But that's not important. Because if not, there is no doubt that the village will be greatly turbulent. At that time, he might not even be able to keep his hokage position. This is no longer a matter of financial commitment. Therefore, it is still quite necessary. Side. Sarutobi summoned an Umbu, and finally chose to go to the battlefield with compensation under Umbu's leadership. After the compensation was sent away, Sarutobi looked a little lonely. He didn't want things to come to this. But there is no choice. The village must be under his control. Only in this way can we become better. But unfortunately, Sarutobi's self-impression did not last long, because Mitokato Homura came in. He frowned and asked about the outcome of the war. Sarutobi said simply, It's over, you don't have to worry anymore. Mitokato Homura still frowned. Sarutobi saw what he was thinking at a glance, those root ninjas are fine too. After hearing this, he immediately breathed a sigh of relief and relaxed his brows. He smiled. As expected of Lord Third Hokage, his methods are indeed extraordinary. Sarutobi smiled reluctantly. Advertisement. The compensation was delivered the next day. High speed. So much so that Nara Shikako told Derui and Huanto that it was time to retreat. The two people looked at each other, both a little stunned. But now that I have received the benefits, there is no reason to stay. The two chose to retreat. The alliance naturally dissolved. Nara Shikako sighed. Even he was unable to change this situation. Shiranui Genma was still a little unconvinced. We obviously won the battle, so how could we compensate them instead? When fourth generation Sama was here, it wasn't. Nara Shikako glared at him. Reminder. 
Some things, it's better to say less. Shiranui Genma closed his mouth. Some ninjas were left to continue to defend the border, while the rest returned to the village. When things seemed to be over, with a smile, Chiba led Itaki and Shisui to slowly follow the footsteps of the Awegakuur ninja. It is undoubtedly difficult to completely eliminate them, but I would like to see how much strength Suzano can have in such a situation. Shisui took the order, blocking Awegakuur's way back. Hoanta looked at Achiha Shisui who was wearing a mask with an unkind look on his face. Your third hokage has already paid compensation. There is no need for you to do this kind of thing alone. Get out of the way to avoid losing your life. Shisui is quite stubborn. There was a stubborn seriousness on his face. He followed the rhetoric given by Chiba before and said, Although third generation Sama has made some retreat, Kanaha will not and Kanaha Shinobi will not be defeated. Huanta sneered. Without much nonsense, let people take action. Five ninjas took action in succession, and their cooperation was quite tacit. They even used earth style to the point where Shisui could not escape. Huang Tu looked at this scene and smiled. The smile was full of sarcasm, seeming to be mocking Shisui for his ignorance of life and death. Advertisement. But, the earth style ninjutsu finally fell on Shisui's clone, and his body directly summoned Suzana. Green Susan, like a god, appeared on the huge battlefield. When he saw the body flicker technique, Huang Tu's pupil shrank suddenly and he subconsciously exclaimed, No, it's Shisui. Although, there are still many of them. But Shisui's name made Huang Tu have to consider whether there were other ambushes around. Then, Kanaha's previous compensation was nothing more than a ruse. The so-called is to dissolve the alliance between their two villages and then divide the results. Clearly, it was a success. But without reinforcements, Shisui alone would not be enough to stop them. But now the battle has happened. Consider it, but still take action. Five ninjas obviously couldn't stop Shisui, so Yellow Earth added 25. At the same time, let Akatsuki take action. The battle was deadlocked. But the stalemate won't last long, because once Shisui's eye power is exhausted, he will definitely lose. Suzano is indeed strong, but not everything. Compared to Madara, the Mangekyo in the back is much weaker. Although Mangekyo is strong, he is not invincible yet. Not to mention these are all Iwegakuur's elite ninjas. Chiba looked at Itake from the side. I was thinking about whether I should let Shisui get fatally injured on purpose, so as to stimulate this kid and let him open his eyes or something. But in the end he shook his head in denial. What a waste of time. Not long after, Chiba chose to take action. A long sword slashed across the sky, slashing through all the ninjutsu launched by the ninja. The sword technique was so strong that it almost made people despair, and finally the sword touched Huang Tu's neck. Chiba smiled. Third generation master said that you people are too stupid and can be dealt with by just using some tricks. Now it seems that what master said is indeed true. Advertisement. Huanta said with a gloomy face. Is this Sarutobi's conspiracy? He really has no good intentions. The smile on Chiba's face disappeared. I think you'd better not insult Lord Third Generation like this. After all, you are now considered a prisoner of Kanaha, and it was Lord Third Generation who used a strategy to capture you. Lois is naturally dissatisfied, but there was no way to do it. As long as he moved, Kinyi might cut off his head directly. In fact, even though he didn't move, Chiba still chopped off his head. When his head gurgled and fell to the ground, his eyes were wide open and full of disbelief. The blood gurgled. Chiba smiled again, like a devil. This is Third Generation Sama's first gift to Rock Shinobi. The remaining ninjas escaped. Chiba didn't care. In other words, he needed them to deliver the message. Otherwise, how could Oniki know such news? Knowing that his dear son had died on the battlefield. Well, he was tricked and killed by Sarutobi Hiruzen, whom he despised. It's so fun to talk about. Compensation was naturally withheld. Chiba motioned Itaka to bring these, plus Lois's head. The three of them left here and chased the team from Cloud Shinobi Village. Compared to Iwegakur, Chiba is more interested in Cloud Shinobi's two blood inheritance limits. Of course, one of them is Orikimura's interest. The other one is his. Perhaps that subtle touch, the feeling that makes people unable to resist trying, should be the real physical power. Well, as expected, the power of Ying escape makes people want to stop. Chiba smiled softly. Sage of Six Paths doesn't lie to me. It wasn't long before they caught up with Cloud Shinobi's team. Advertisement. Chapter 42 Milk Escape, Good Defense. Advertisement. Nara Shikaku brought people back to the village. Shiranui Genma hesitated to speak, but finally sighed and said, Are we really just giving up? We obviously won the battle, but we are still the ones paying compensation. Isn't it too frustrating? After Shiranui Genma finished speaking, the others also expressed their agreement. It was indeed too frustrating. It is clear that they are the victors, but in the end, it really depends on the faces of others. They also have to pay compensation to those they win. Even before they left, they were still mocking them. In this way, what is the use and meaning of them working hard to win? Nara Shikaku also didn't know what to say at this moment. In the end, he could only comfort him. Perhaps Mr. Third Generation has other considerations. He said uncertainly. Perhaps this is Lord Third Generation's plan. There may be a backup plan. But even Nara Shikaku himself didn't quite believe this. It's just used to comfort people. Few others believed it. After receiving a compensation of 50 million tails, the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village were naturally quite happy. Even Derui, who was leading the team, had a smile on his face. Only Samai I frowned. He looked at Derui and said, We should go back quickly. Otherwise, Kanaha has other back UPS, and we are very passive now. She thought about it. Now that he is separated from Rock Shinobi, it actually weakens Cloud Shinobi's strength. Once Kanaha is interested, then it is very likely that he will take action at this time. Then they might be in some danger. However, Derui didn't care about Samai's size. He smiled and said, How could Kanaha have the guts? If it had, it wouldn't have compensated so simply. Advertisement. Samai nodded. Even though she knew this, she still felt a little uneasy. There was worry between his eyebrows, and he reminded, No matter what, let's return to the village as soon as possible. Derui knew that what Samai said was not alarmist. Although he didn't think Kanaha dared to send anyone here, he still nodded and said, Okay, let's speed up. Derui agreed to Samai's request. However, it is obvious that it is already a bit late. Because it's on the road they must pass. Three people appeared. Namikaze Chiba, Achiha Shisui, and Achiha Itaki. Namikaze Chiba looked at the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village with a smile. Everyone, you just want to leave after taking advantage of Konoha. Derui glanced at it and immediately frowned. Achiha Shisui. His eyes finally fell on Kinyi. Somewhat uncertainly. Namikaze, Chiba. 
Cloud Shinobi Village has Namikaze Chiba news. After all, as the younger brother of Yellow Flash, although he didn't perform too well in the last Ninja War, however, Namikaze Minato is too scary. As his younger brother, naturally some people will pay attention to him. After Namikaze Minato defeated 4th Reikijai and Killer B1 against 2, anyone related to Namikaze Minato was highly valued. Of course they also knew that Namikaze Minato was going to have a younger brother. And this younger brother is said to be much more talented than Namikaze Minato. I didn't expect anyone to know about me. Chiba pretended to be surprised. Derui said, Namikaze Chiba, you don't think that just three people can stop us, do you? You couldn't have gone out on your own without the third Hokage's instructions, right? Chiba shook his head. No no no. Advertisement. Since you saw me coming, you should know that Mr. Third Generation has made the most complete preparations. And there are others sent from Rock Shinobi's side. Now that I'm here, it's just that Mr. Third Generation thinks this place is not important. There was disdain in Kinyi's eyes. Third Generation Sama thinks that only the three of us can face the Cloud Shinobi ninjas, so there is no need to waste other manpower. Chiba said this. This undoubtedly made all the other Cloud Shinobi ninjas furious. Arrogant? Even if you are Yellow Flash's younger brother, you can't stop so many of us. Oh, I will kill you today and send you to see Yellow Flash. Just three people want to stop us, you will pay the price for your arrogance. These Cloud Shinobi ninjas are gearing up and can't help but take action. The same goes for Derui. Only Samai frowned at this moment, always feeling something was wrong. After all, three people dared to stop so many of them. Just two points to make. Or, there is something wrong with these three brains. But as the younger brother of Yellow Flash, and with Shisui, a Shunbo who is famous in the ninja world, how could such a situation happen? Also, the strength of these three people is really possible to compete with them. Samai I wanted to remind Derui, but it was too late. Because Chiba did not intend to continue the stalemate and did not give Cloud Shinobi too much time. This group of reckless men obviously fall short when it comes to having brains. He could see that this breast escaped ninja undoubtedly had good intelligence. Perhaps, while Yang Dun gave her physical strength, it also gave her something else. But that's not important. Compared to Arkimura who wants to do research, Chiba feels that in addition to research, she is also interested in collecting. Well, collect Yang Dun? What a great idea. Cloud Shinobi Ninja takes action. Without too much nonsense, the ninjutsu was activated. Advertisement. Chiba left the spot in an instant. The frontal battlefield was handed over to Shisui and Itaki. Itaki isn't as strong as Shisui right now. Haven't opened Mangekyou yet, just 3 Megatama. However, he already has the strength of Jonin, and is undoubtedly the genius that Uchiha is famous for. There is quite a tacit understanding with Shisui. Shisui summons Suzano with Mangekyou without a doubt. Suzana's power makes Shisui even more powerful. For a short time, these Cloud Shinobi ninjas were unable to do anything to him. But it's a pity. The consumption of pupil power means that Suzana will not be able to sustain it for a longer period of time. In fact, strictly speaking, except for Madara, all Uchiha have this problem. Pupil power is depleted too quickly. Or to put it simply, Mr. Lan, the towering green giant, like a god, blocked dozens of Cloud Shinobi ninjas alone. And Chiba's body shuttled past. Came to the prey. Samai immediately stepped back, his clothes swaying and showing signs of tearing. But it's a pity that the quality of the clothes is still very good. It wrapped up the power of milk escape that was about to come out. However, Chiba is still very fast. It was so fast that Samai couldn't react at all. Then, he didn't draw his sword. Instead, he stretched out his palm and slapped it. Suddenly it bounced. The sound is quite crisp. Often when the volume is large enough, there is enough cushioning. This buffer will further relieve the force. He barely blocked Chiba's attack. Chiba smiled. Good defense. Advertisement. Chapter 43 Capturing Samui, the Deceived Cloud Shinobi Ninja. Advertisement. You, shameless. Samui blushed for a moment. Anger is rising, staring at Chiba. She is tall and has nice curves. The facial features are also very delicate. She has fair skin and possesses the power of Yang Escape. He has a pair of blue-green eyes and short, shoulder-length, straight, light yellow hair. Now, Samai was wearing a light gray low-cut dress with mesh, red wristbands on her arms, a black short skirt, and black high boots. There is a ninja pouch on the back of the belt. But this time, she had no chance to open the ninja bag and take out the ninja tools suitable for her. Chiba's previous actions undoubtedly made her extremely angry. So much so, through the light gray grid, fluctuations can be seen. In fact, it would have been Chiba's previous life. A woman like Samai can be described in three words. Big waves. That's about it. The battle continues. Shisui and Itaka briefly restrained many people. As for the remaining people, they are all here in Chiba. He glanced at this angry, talented woman. Chiba had a faint smile. As a gentleman, I think I should show my courtesy when dealing with ladies. But at this moment, there are quite a few relevant people here, which is too annoying. Chiba stepped forward. The long sword in his hand was swung, and he slashed to the left. There, the soil shattered, and a cloud shinobi ninja rushed out from under the ground, throwing a dart in his hand. But it's a pity. It's simply not going to work. The ninja's head was also split open by Chiba's sword, which was full of disbelief. Sneak attacks are bad. Advertisement. Another sword. This time it's underground. Laugh. The long sword sank into the ground instantly. It's three inches long. When Chiba pulled out the long sword, Bloodline was also brought out with the long sword. In the blink of an eye, two Cloud Shinobi ninjas died in his hands. Chiba's movements have always been very fast. Samai finally got a chance and took out the ninja tool from the ninja bag tied behind his belt. He gritted his teeth and launched the attack in coordination with his companions. She is calm enough, knowing that she would not be left with many opportunities when facing this powerful enemy. Often only once. At this moment, while Chiba was killing people, she used all her strength and held a red short sword in her hand. The short sword was passed forward and stabbed into Chiba's chest. When? The long sword in Kinyi's hand was raised at some point. He just happened to block short sword's attack with his sword. Samai's expression changed drastically and he immediately wanted to retreat. But Kinyi didn't know when. He was already beside her. Tear? The ninja bag behind the belt was pulled down by Chiba. But I have to admit that the quality of the belt is quite good. Supported Chiba's strength. Looking down at the ninja bag in his hand, Chiba threw it away. He smiled and said, Now, I should end this farce. The battle with Samai was just to play with her. With Chiba's strength, it wouldn't take that long at all. Laugh? The long sword comes out again. 
Not towards Samui, but the other Cloud Shinobi ninjas. While Shisui was holding back most of the Cloud Shinobi ninjas, Chiba moved quickly to clean up other people who were an eyesore. One after another, Cloud Shinobi ninjas fell under Chiba's sword. Samai I could only watch the scene. Advertisement. Looking at the man in front of her, he looked like a demon, harvesting the lives of those around her. Gradually, the battle is over. There are only a dozen or so Cloud Shinobi ninjas left. Shisui relieved Suzanu, and with Itaka's help, captured Gary. Chiba said with a smile. It seems that what Mr. Third Generation said is indeed true. You guys are just a mob. With a little trick, we can capture you. Now that the three of us are taking action, I guess we all overestimate you. Chiba's eyes were filled with mockery. Sure enough, as Lord Third Generation said, the ninjas in Cloud Shinobi Village are all brainless idiots. A mere 5,000 tails can replace the lives of you people. And Itaka then stepped forward and searched. He searched out the 50 million tails and handed them to Kinyi. Kinyi put it away, even these 50 million tails, you can't take it away. A bunch of idiots. Chiba smiled mockingly. This made Derry and the other Cloud Shinobi ninjas look even more ugly. Derry couldn't help but ask. Saratobi has already settled all of this. Chiba asked back. If that wasn't the case, do you think that with Mr. Third Generation's temperament, he would agree so happily? How stupid? You can't even see such an obvious trick. These words. It made the people in Cloud Shinobi Village look even more ugly. Derry was silent for a while. Suddenly, he laughed. Thank you for telling us so much, but your plan is destined to fail. Finished. With a bang, it disappeared directly. This was actually a clone. Also at this moment, the ropes that originally bound the dozen Cloud Shinobi ninjas were actually cut off by Derry. Derry hurriedly shouted at them. Go quickly, take the news back and tell Lord Rakage, I will stop them. After hearing this, the dozen or so ninjas immediately ran around. Advertisement. Shisui and Itake hurriedly moved to stop him. Derry gritted his teeth and used his severely injured body to stop Itake and Shisui. After a while, Kinyi waved his hand and said, Okay, no need to chase anymore. Derry smiled as if he were a winner. Your plan has failed. As long as the news is spread back to the village, Rakage will know about Sarutobi's conspiracy. At that time, Kanaha will acknowledge the wrath of Cloud Shinobi Village. When Kinyi heard this, he couldn't help laughing. You are said to be an idiot, but I still don't believe it. Since you went to such trouble to help, I feel a little embarrassed to treat you badly. Under Derui's stunned expression, Chiba patted him on the shoulder. I will thank you when AI really troubles Sarutobi. By the way, I forgot to tell you that Sarutobi didn't set up any conspiracy at all. The compensation is real. As for the conspiracy, I made it up casually. You, Derui looked at Chiba in disbelief. Chiba smiled. He looked at Shisui and Itake and said, Thank you for your hard work. Let's take them two back. It's up to our third generation adults to take care of the rest. I hope he can withstand the pressure, otherwise it will be quite boring. Listening to this, Derry would be really stupid if he didn't understand what was going on. He widened his eyes and looked at Kinyi in disbelief. Chiba was too lazy to pay attention to him. He walked up to Samai and frowned at this woman who also had the blood inheritance limit. She had some bloodline on her. Chiba looked at Itaki. Have you brought tissues? Itaki nodded and handed it to Chiba. Chiba took it. Well, wipe the grid area. Yang Dun's hand feels good. Sure enough, I am still too much of a gentleman. Advertisement. Chapter 44 Lord Third Generation, you are truly a wise man. Advertisement. That's all. Whether Rock Shinobi or Cloud Shinobi, they are divided into two. Solved. Although, Chiba still kept many people back. But it doesn't matter anymore. The biggest use of these people is to pass back news and tell them the conspiracy of their respective shadows, the third Hokage, Sarutobi Hiruzen. Sarutobi is afraid that he doesn't even know what kind of conspiracy he has played, or even. They also killed the elite ninjas of two villages. If I know this news, I'm afraid I won't be happy at all, but scared. Because, once the news is passed back, what needs to be faced next is undoubtedly the anger of the two villages. It's scary. At least Sarutobi himself doesn't want to face it. However, Chiba doesn't intend to care about this. Samai didn't have any strength left, and it was impossible to struggle anymore. In order to speed up, Chiba simply carried it back. This most primitive method of contact also allowed the power of Yang Dun to be transmitted to him more effectively. Well, Yang Dun is invigorating. Chiba returned to the village. After throwing Derui to Orikimura, he left a message to study it carefully, and then carried Samui away. Of course, Chiba did not forget to give Itake a task. On tomorrow, put the third Hokage Sama's feats into the village. Let the villagers know that Lord Third Generation actually has a bloody nature. Advertisement. At least, he dared to attack the two villages of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi. Oh, Chiba gave a special reminder. Don't forget to make the abominations of Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi more obvious. Otherwise, how can we express the value of Third Generation's passion? When saying this, Chiba smiled. I really don't know what the Third Generation's expression will be when he learns of these achievements. It should be extremely exciting, right? Now, Hokage Office. Nara Shikako returned to the village earlier to explain things to Sarutobi. Sarutobi sighed. Thanks a lot. Nara Shikako shook his head. It's nothing hard. After all, it's for the village. It's just. He paused, obviously hesitant, and then asked. Do you really have no backup plan? Many ninjas in the village who know about it are very depressed, especially after hearing about this. Those who followed me are even more so. After all, we did not lose to the Cloud Shinobi Ninja and Rock Shinobi Ninja. We won this battle with their efforts. Nara Shikaka said. We won. Sarutobi said. That's the obvious question, and we won. I do not deny your efforts and intentions, but what is before the village is not just a victory. Relying on this victory alone is naturally useless, and once this problem is not dealt with, then the next when we come down, what the village will face is greater disaster and turmoil. Shikaka, you are a smart person, you should be able to imagine the future, if we do not handle this problem well. After hearing this for a long time, Nara couldn't help but clenched his fists, and finally put them down. Sighed. I understand, Lord Third Generation. Third Generation smiled and nodded. Comforted. Thank you for the hard work this time. Go back and have a good rest. Give yourself a holiday. Don't worry about it for the time being. I will handle the rest. Advertisement. Nara Shikaka nodded. Yes, sir. He walked out of the Hokage's office, already knowing that this third Hokage had no backup plan. In other words, 
Kanaha compensated 100 million tails just for stability. Although considering Kanaha's economic capacity, the beating would not be severe enough to break the muscles and bones, but it would still be painful enough. Especially now, when everything is waiting to be done. If these 100 million tails can be used in the construction of the village, then... He sighed again. I looked up at the gray weather, and felt a pent-up feeling trapped in my chest that was difficult to vent. This day, the news that Kanaha had won the war but still had to pay compensation spread among the village. The fuss was outrageous and unacceptable. Although there was a lot of noise outside, Sarutobi lost interest in responding. What he is doing now is to take back the last power from Midokado Homura. This power is important. Whether it is used to restrict Midokado Homura or to sanction Namikaze Chiba in the future, it is extremely easy to use. Midokado Homura is naturally a fool. Even if he was given power, he would never be able to retain it. Now, Sarutobi is almost done. Even the several root ninjas under his command have shown their loyalty to him. The second day, Iwegakur. The few remaining rock shinobi ninjas returned dejectedly. When they saw Onoki and told them the news, Onoki was so angry that he smashed the table. The anger on his face could not be concealed, and the anger nearly filled his entire body. What a Sarutobi. Rock shinobi and Kanaha are at odds with each other. Pass my order and all the elite ninjas in the village will be dispatched. I want to see what other plots Sarutobi can pull off. There is no doubt that the loss of so many elite ninjas is quite painful even after Iwegakur has accumulated many years of experience. Advertisement. Not to mention, Aiko's death in battle was due to Sarutobi's conspiracy. Same moment. Cloud Shinobi Village. Boom, AI punched the table away, and the table hit the wall on the side. The wall suddenly collapsed, leaving most of it empty. Is this Sarutobi's conspiracy? Yes, Lord Rakage. The returning Cloud Shinobi Ninja couldn't help but lower his head. Tremblingly he said. In fact, Sarutobi only sent three ninjas to deal with us. His words were full of disdain for our Cloud Shinobi. AI became even more angry. That day, Cloud Shinobi sent out troops. Hokage office. Looking at Midokado Homura, whose face was gradually gloomy and ugly, Sarutobi felt much better. The power was taken back. Midokado Homura still has a position, but no power. Next, he will deal with Namikaze Chiba wholeheartedly. Moreover, it was also believed that Namikaze Chiba would be unable to compete with him. After all, he has held this power for decades, and he has quite a lot of experience in how to deal with others. Sarutobi, who was in a better mood, picked up the Hokage hat, put on third Hokage clothes, and prepared to stroll around the village. Take a good look, this village is getting better and better under his management. Although there were many voices in the village yesterday, today, he, Sarutobi, appears to put an end to these words and... Namikaze Chiba is a bit tender after all. Sarutobi walked into the village with a smile on his face. Unexpectedly, the village was not as depressed as he expected, but instead full of excitement. The villagers' faces were filled with smiles. Even someone he met head-on immediately praised him. Master Third Generation, you are truly a wise man. Advertisement. Chapter 45 Mr. Third Generation, what should we do next? Advertisement. After hearing this, the smile on Sarutobi's face froze. But it soon resumed. After all, this was a compliment to him, and he had no reason to refute it. However, what made him even more curious was what happened to cause the originally discordant voices in the village to suddenly become like this. Could it be, that these people really saw his painstaking efforts? Knowing that he gave up fighting for the sake of the village, and was even willing to pay compensation, just to give peace to the village? Sarutobi thought about this. I couldn't help but feel a little relieved. If this is the case, it couldn't be better. But other than that, he couldn't think of any other reason. Now, facing the compliment, Sarutobi smiled and shook his head. No, compared with the previous sages of the village, I, the third Hokage, am still a little behind. He sighed, seeming to blame himself. If I can do better, the village will definitely develop better and there won't be such foreign enemies. He thought. Now that my hard work has been seen, I might as well be more honest and talk about my difficulties. However, as soon as he said it, it was not easy, and he was immediately confirmed. Someone said. No, you have worked very hard. Without your strategy, things would have become even worse. Yes, Mr. Third Generation, what you did is simply too wise. You are the well-deserved wise man of the village. Even compared to previous generations of Hokages, you are extremely wise. Among those who praised him were many villagers, some ninjas, and even some so-called scholars with a lot of knowledge. The diverse crowd made Sarutobi even more convinced that no one had designed this. These are indeed the words from the bottom of their hearts. Advertisement. Because of this, the smile on his face became more kind. This shows that he, the third Hokage, is extremely loved by the villagers. As for Namikaze Chiba, she was just a brat who used a trick to take some power from him. Compared to the Hokage who is loved by the villagers, he is still a lot younger. Enjoying these compliments, Sarutobi walked in the village and took a look at the new look of the village. In the middle of this, he couldn't help but sigh. It's been a long time since I've seen the village so well. Perhaps, I should go out and walk around as soon as possible. I shouldn't stay in the Hokage office all the time. Otherwise, how can I hear the most authentic inner voices of the villagers? Sarutobi reflected and decided to make some changes in the future. But, just when Sarutobi was in a good mood, Chiba, who was studying Yang Dun, received the news. He laughed immediately. It seems that our third generation master is still unaware of this. Forget it, we will send someone to hand over Huang Tu's head to our lord third generation later, and then we can see whether he is willing to accept this honor in front of everyone. If you can bear it, then when Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi come to kill you, will you be able to take action? If you don't admit it, then this third Hokage is nothing more than a joke. Chiba is also in a good mood. Looking at the red-faced Samai, he pondered. Maybe, you can change into something more beautiful. The gray mesh outfit has already been damaged. What was exposed was a bit beyond the specifications. It feels really good. But, he is a gentleman after all. Kinyi covered Samai conveniently, ignoring her angry eyes that were almost bursting with fire. Advertisement. Although Chiba was smiling, his words were not very pleasant. You should be aware of your situation. You are a prisoner now. Fortunately for you, I have no intention of killing you. Being obedient and dedicating your strength is the only way to stay alive. Patted that delicate face. Chiba shook his head and smiled. Women, it's better to be smarter. Kinyi stood up, with only indifference in his eyes. It's just a prisoner. He will indeed use some force, but don't expect to use his heart. When he saw Kinyi's eyes, Samai trembled in his heart. As Kinyi left, looking at Kinyi's back, she bit her lower lip, not knowing what she was thinking. 
Kanaha border. The ninjas, who had only enjoyed peace for a few days, faced battle again. But this time, it was even more terrifying than last time, almost devastating. The furious Onoki and the belated AI, almost desperate, crazily destroyed Kanaha's defense line. The news quickly spread back to Kanaha village. And at this moment, the third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen still enjoys the compliments of the villagers in the village. And, after learning that third Hokage was coming out, more and more people gathered together. It's a rare occasion. Third generation Sama, thanks to you, Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi were able to suffer heavy losses. This is Kanaha's first major victory in a long time. I didn't expect that you actually made such an excellent plan. After hearing this, the smile on Sarutobi's face suddenly stopped. Then he subconsciously explained. Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi may not be considered heavy losses. How come? The ninja who spoke smiled and said. Two villages lost more than a hundred elite ninjas. How can we not call it a heavy loss? Mr. Third Generation, we know that you have always been humble, but at this time, there is no need for you to deny your great achievements. Advertisement. Yes, sir. Your plan almost brought the two villages into chaos. Third Suchikage and Fourth Rakage, I'm afraid they are both furious now because of your scheme. You are a well-deserved wise man, Lord Third Generation. Compliments came one after another. But at this moment, the smile on Sarutobi's face completely froze. Because he suddenly realized that things seemed to be developing not as he thought. Sarutobi said somewhat uncertainly. Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi lost nearly a hundred ninjas. To be exact, more than one hundred and fifty. Even Iwagaku or third Suchikage, Onoki's son, and son, Atsuki, died on the battlefield. All this was due to your wisdom. Look, this is the head of Lois. The ninja took out a bloody head, and dedicated to the beloved third Hokage. The moment the head appeared, the emotions among the villagers reached a limit. Sarutobi, on the other hand, was simply stunned. Looking at Huang Tu's head, he was stunned. Just when Sarutobi hadn't recovered from the fact before him, an Umbu ninja arrived at Sarutobi's side very anxiously, and, reaching his ear, he said quietly and quickly, Third generation Sama, Onaki of Rock Shinobi personally brought the elite ninjas in the village to kill them. Now they have broken through the border and are heading straight to the village, and, Cloud Shinobi's fourth Rekage AI is following closely behind. Sarutobi's eyes widened, looking at the villagers' extremely expectant and eager eyes. This moment. But he couldn't laugh anymore. A chill rushed from the solace of my feet to the sky, and chilled my whole body. Third generation Sama, what should we do next? What should I do? P.S. Work hard tomorrow and try the fourth update. Thank you readers for your great support, the young author bows and thanks, advertisement, chapter 46 angry Sarutobi, advertisement, Chiba picked up the hot tea on the table and took a sip, when you drink the warm tea, the aroma fills your mouth, then he looked at Uchiha in front of him, he asked with a smile, has the stuff been delivered, yes, master Chiba, how did Sarutobi react, master third generation, I'm afraid it will be too much to handle, he is already in a dilemma with the compliments of the villagers, since you want this reputation, you naturally have to accept something different, Sarutobi, this is more or less self-inflicted, okay, you go down, yes, this reported Uchiha left, Chiba continued to sip the hot tea on the table, waiting for further news. I'm afraid this third generation master is already exhausted now, right? Just when Chiba was feeling particularly relaxed, Samai's figure appeared at the door. Chiba stretched out his hand and patted it. Come, sit here. In the village, it took a lot of effort for Sarutobi to break away from the crowd. At this moment, the original smile on his face had long since disappeared. After the news of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi's attack came, it was as if they were unprepared to be attacked by ice release. Cold to the bone. Even when he pulled away, someone was shouting. Sir third generation, no matter what you do, we believe in you. Give Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi some color and let them know that we in Kanaha are not easy to mess with either. No village can compare to us, we are the strongest ninja village. Third generation Sama is the strongest Hokage. These words, it was written into the textbook under the instruction of Sarutobi, so that young ninjas can read it from an early age and get it deep into their minds. Advertisement. But now, under such circumstances, speak out again. In any case, it seems like irony. Sarutobi rubbed his sore forehead, thinking about what was about to happen, and a feeling of depression was held in his chest, which was difficult to vent. Inside the office, Umbu has already released all the information about the border. Sarutobi picked it up, looked at it twice, and then threw it on the table. The entire border is lost. Although Onaki and AI had never joined forces, they were heading towards Kanaha in two different directions, like mad dogs. Seeing them like this, it is not easy to get them to go back. Another point. It is also the most critical point. What on earth is it? Obviously they just sent people to make compensation. Why did this happen? Who is it? Nara Shikaku? Impossible. He has come back a long time ago, and the other ninjas have come back too, so there is no way he can do it. Moreover, Sarutobi also knew that Nara Shikaku would not do such a thing that would put the village in danger. But besides Nara Shikaku, who else is it? Besides, what about compensation? He paid a full 100 million tails in order to get the two villages to retreat, but now, not only did the two villages launch a massive attack, but even the 100 million tails were missing? Third generation Sama. There was a knock on the door. The person who came in was Nara Shikaku. The difference was that there was actually a hint of excitement on Nara's face. You actually have a backup plan. This is really a beautiful battle. Even Nara Shikaku had to admit that this battle was won beautifully. Of course, in order to keep the matter confidential, Mr. Third Generation did not even reveal it to himself in the end. The confidentiality work was done so well. But now, there should be no need to keep it secret, right? After all, the whole village knew about it. Advertisement. Just when Nara Shikaku was a little excited, Sarutobi made a bang and slapped his palm on the table. The anger in his chest could no longer be suppressed. Third Generation Sama. Nara looked curious and asked with some doubts. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Sarutobi wanted to curse at this moment. That's not what he does at all. Unless he was crazy, he would send people to ambush two villages. This would basically cause a battle between the three villages. No benefit at all. Although it can weaken some of the strength of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi, it will more likely make the two villages share the same hatred and attack Kanaha regardless of the cost. What's more important is, he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, had no idea about this. It wasn't until they came to kill that they even heard about it amidst the congratulations of the villagers. The person who did this must be secretly laughing at him, but, 
Even so, based on this, he couldn't deny it. Because everyone knows, the whole village knows that it was his wise decision by Sarutobi that won this victory. How could he deny it? Go tell the villagers that he, Sarutobi Hiruzen, has done nothing but compensate, and that these were all done by others, and you want to put the blame on him? Regardless of whether the villagers can accept this, all the prestige he had accumulated was gone. This is a conspiracy. He could only admit it. There is no second way. After thinking this through quickly, Sarutobi took a deep breath, suppressed his anger, and pretended to smile. Fine. Although we won, there were corresponding consequences. Sarutobi sighed. I have an unshirkable responsibility in this matter. It is obviously not rational to act rashly. Nara Shikako felt a little strange, but after hearing what third generation said, he shook his head and said, No, you are not wrong. We have been silent for too long, and it will even make other ninja villages think that Kanaha is difficult to fight. Advertisement. The outside world also thinks that you are too conservative and don't dare to take action to win a victory. But now it seems that this is all false and slandering you. Sarutobi's mouth twitched. He really hoped that this slander could continue instead of being so crude and bloody. However, there is no possibility of change at all. He could only bear it. And now, we must find a solution. Even when it was settled this time, compensation could not be done like before. Once this happens, he will lose the trust of many villagers. And if you do this, the profit will be. Sarutobi was stunned. Namikaze Chiba. He gritted his teeth and shouted out the name. Although Narashikako showed a puzzled look, Sarutobi could not suppress his anger. He got it. All of this was planned by him. A sneeze. Chiba rubbed her nose, whispering. At this time, I don't know who is thinking about me. Although Samai kept calm again and again and forced himself not to think about anything else, the blush on his face still refused to go away. Even her trembling body revealed her inner unrest. AI is already here. Chiba said. Samai couldn't help but look up. There seemed to be hope in his eyes. But Kini's next words made her feel like she had fallen into an ice cellar. Guess, does he know you are here? Suddenly, Samai was stunned. At this moment, he looked at the smiling man in front of him and suddenly felt cold. He smiled like a devil. Advertisement. Chapter 47 Kanaha's Moment of Crisis. Advertisement. Kanaha. Almost no one noticed that a strange man wearing an orange Azumaki mask appeared in the village. He has short hair and wears a black hooded floor-length robe. Just walking aimlessly in the village. Only a single hole was exposed from the exposed single hole of the Azumaki-like mask, but the eye inside the single hole was a scarlet red. Sherry non. This strange man was walking on the street, but the pedestrians around him didn't seem to see him. Even when someone collided with him, there was no contact, but passed directly through his body. He walked to the end of the street and stood there for a long time. Eventually, Kurane Ui emerged from there and saw the stranger wearing a mask. Suddenly, Ui Kurane frowned. Who are you? My name doesn't matter. Achiha Obito said in a hoarse voice. Your name is Ui Kurane, and I admire Namikaze Chiba. Ui Hong snorted. There was neither acknowledgement nor disapproval. Obito's face under the mask showed a vicissitudes of smile. But this smile is not pretty. But luckily no one could see it. I think you haven't seen him for a long time, so you won't know that he has another woman hiding in his home. What? Hearing this, Kurane Ui was attracted by these words as expected by Obito. If I were you, I would go there quickly. In this case, I might be able to see some different scenes. After saying that, Obito's figure disappeared. Ui Hong narrowed her eyes. She was sure that she was not under any illusion. So how did the person in front of me disappear? Advertisement. After thinking for a moment, I couldn't figure it out. But Ui Hong remembered what the weirdo said before. She thought for a while and walked towards Chiba's new home. Indeed, she hasn't seen Kinyi for a few days. After Ui Kurane left, Obito's figure appeared, but this time, he waited for a moment and headed towards the Kanaha police department. If Namikaze Chiba paid attention, he would not have the chance to meet the person he wanted to see. Therefore, I had to find someone to attract his attention. Sarutobi finally sent someone to stop him. Umbu was almost moved. Obviously, Onoki, who lost his beloved son, and fourth Reikajai, who lost two beloved generals, will never be dismissed by simple compensation. And, Sarutobi learned from the data. The missing cloud shinobi ninja Derui seemed to have an honor similar to that of the White Fang. This undoubtedly proves its importance, but disappeared, or died, and related to Kanaha. Sarutobi gritted his teeth every time he thought of this. Because this is definitely what Namikaze Chiba does. But there was no way he could deny this and find out the real sinner. This kind of loss can only be suffered secretly. Moreover, there will be an extremely heavy price to pay. Hokage office. After Nara thought deeply, he suddenly said. Actually, our situation is not that bad now. If you, Lord Third Generation, could visit the battlefield in person, there may be unexpected changes. But before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Sarutobi shaking his head. You have to know that what I need to do now is not to fight on the front lines, but to sit at the rear and direct the entire battle. Shikako, we cannot afford to lose. The third Hokage looked serious. Nara Shikako sighed. In the end, there was no further persuasion. Because it is obvious that their Hokage-sama will never change his mind. Perhaps, five years earlier, he would still have had the courage. Unfortunately, advertisement. People are old. He no longer had the courage and control of the battle situation he had in the past. Nara Shikako left. Sarutobi had a sullen face and slapped his palm heavily on the table again, anger filling his eyes. A stronghold near Kanaha. Onoki and AI reunited. Although AI had enough arrogance and strength to avoid discussing with the sinister old guy Onoki, he still did not refuse the invitation to meet based on the casualties and whether Rock Shinobi would change his mind. But after meeting, AI found that his considerations were unnecessary. Because the anger in Onoki's eyes couldn't be concealed at all. This doesn't look like it can be dismissed easily. Rakage, are you being held back by a few Kanaha Shinobi? After meeting, Onoki spoke unceremoniously. He seemed dissatisfied with his late arrival. AI snorted. I've been here for a while, but I haven't seen you invade Kanaha. Are you being dragged here? Is this the efficiency of Rock Shinobi ninjas? Onoki sneered. If you want to wipe out Kanaha without giving Sarutobi a chance to come back, you have to be more cautious. Is it possible that you have to act like a reckless man and attack directly? AI raised his eyebrows. Why don't you show me your clever moves? See the strength of the Rock Shinobi ninja. But it's a pity. Of course Onoki would not fall for such a simple provocation. After waiting for a moment, he changed his attitude. 
We need to join forces. Otherwise, the only one who will benefit is Konoha. Sarutobi can use this to struggle again, and what we have to do is not give him this opportunity. AI was a little curious about Onaki's attitude changing so quickly, but he still said, Rather than attacking Konoha, I want to know where your bottom line is. Onaki said harshly, Lotus is dead, I want Sarutobi to feel the same pain as me. AI Ling ran. Unless Sarutobi is willing to let Asuma die in Onoki's hands, there are no conditions for negotiation. That. He showed a hearty smile and immediately agreed. Advertisement. When are we going to do it? It's now. Good. AI didn't refuse. In the end, they chose the simplest way. Just do it. After all, the two villages joining together had considerable advantages. There is no need to make any preparations, leaving plenty of time for Sarutobi. But even now, more Kanaha ninjas are coming towards this stronghold. This is another line of defense outside the village. Bang! Compared to the roughness of Cloud Shinobi ninjas, Rock Shinobi ninjas are more difficult to deal with. Especially under Onaki's madness, there is no doubt that Kanaha, who lacked morale, was beaten back steadily and once retreated to a place only 10 miles away from the village. Further back is the entrance to the village. As the commander-in-chief, Yamanaka Hiki asked the village for help more than once, but all he got was to delay him as much as possible. The Umbu ninja is indeed there, but not all of them were used to fight off the alien ninjas. Sarutobi gave them another order, which was to harass them secretly and, if possible, even attack the shadows of the two villages. This is undoubtedly an impossible task, but Sarutobi has no better solution at the moment. He lacked the calmness he should have in the office, because it won't be long before these two big villages are fighting at the entrance of the village. Finally, the Hokage's order reached the Hayaga and Uchiha clans. However, these orders all went to the same place. Namikaze Chiba? After learning the news, an angry Sarutobi slammed the table in front of him again. Even blowing out several thick puffs of smoke could not relieve the anger in his heart. He felt the situation was getting out of control. P.S. I probably won't be able to finish writing four of them. The card is a bit stuck. Sorry, but I should be able to sort it out tomorrow. After all, when it comes to the climax of the plot, I don't want to write it so perfunctorily. I need to think more about it. Should be able to do it tomorrow. M. For readers who are in a book shortage, I recommend a book called Hokage, Naruto, Let's Go Dark. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Just Let Mr. Third Generation's Son Die. Advertisement. Yui Hong walked into Chiba's office with doubts. However, the scene that worried her did not happen. There is indeed a beautiful woman with an extraordinarily broad mind here, but there is nothing out of the ordinary about her. The woman was just squeezing Kinyu's shoulders with a cold face now. After Yui Hong glanced at it, she looked at Chiba and complained. It's been so long and you haven't even looked for me once. Kinyi raised his head when he heard this, there are too many things going on in the village, it's a little too busy. Yui Hong nodded, if you are really too busy, I, I can actually come and help. She bit her lower lip lightly. I can help you with anything. Listening to these seemingly ambiguous words, Chiba shook his head. Yui Kurane's request was rejected. It's not that he doesn't believe it, but it's better for women not to know so much about what he needs to do. Although Yui Hong's ability is good, Chiba has no idea of letting women interfere. It's nice to be a base quietly. Nothing else is necessary. Okay, I have other things to do, you go back first. Although Yui Hong was a little reluctant, she still nodded in agreement. But before leaving, she hesitated for a moment and said, You can come to me tonight, there is no one at home. After Yui Hong left, Chiba touched his face and muttered. Sure enough, handsome people always have inexplicable troubles. Sam Ai's body behind him visibly trembled. Chiba reminded. Don't stop. The hand squeezing the shoulder continued. A moment passed. Uchiha Shisui walked in with two orders. Advertisement. Sir, the third Hokage ordered Uchiha and Hayaga to take action to alleviate the village's predicament, do you think? Chiba didn't answer the question and signaled Shisui to throw the order aside. Then he said. Don't worry, Sarutobi's trump card is still there. He has been in business for so long and has buried a lot of trump cards. Don't ignore it. But sir, will this be okay? If Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi really kill the village, then we. A skinny camel is bigger than a horse. Although the remaining shadow of the second Hokage is not much, there is still some. Shisui leaves. Itaka completed today's mission and walked on the street. But suddenly, he stopped and looked at the empty place in front of him. Come out. As expected of the well-known genius of the Uchiha clan, Obito came out wearing an orange Uzumaki mask. You found me so easily. Itaka frowned, looking at the sherry non revealed under the single hole of the man's mask in front of him, and couldn't help but show a vigilant expression. Who are you? Me? Haha. <laughs> I haven't appeared in front of the world for too long. Maybe the world has gradually forgotten my name. Obito's eyes showed nostalgia, but the nostalgia disappeared after a moment, replaced by a kind of weird madness. He said. Once, they called me Uchiha Madara. Itaka trembled and looked at the man in front of him who called himself Uchiha Madara. What do you want from me? Of course, he knew the legend of Madara, but Itaka wasn't ready to believe it even if someone randomly said that he was Uchiha Madara. He was doubtful. But the person in front of me is indeed a bit weird. Obito said. Let me show Uchiha a clear path. Outside the village, Yamanaka Hai covered his injured right arm, closed his eyes, and sat weakly on the chair. If there is another wave of impact, we will probably be unable to withstand it. Where is the support from Mr. Third Generation? Hasn't it arrived yet? Advertisement. This. Shiranui Genma spoke with some difficulty. Master Third Generation just said, let us hold on for a while. The atmosphere suddenly fell silent. Hold on? How long can I hold on? Can Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi retreat until I die? What do you think, Third Generation Sama? Yamanaka Hiki said this almost in a roar. After all, nearly half of the hundreds of ninjas he brought have been lost. The rest of his body still bore serious injuries. It is simply difficult to stop the next offensive. But what chilled Yamanaka Hiki was that he knew that the power in the village was more than that. In other words, their third Hokage still has a backup plan that has not yet been used. What exactly does he want to do? Now, the camp opposite these ninjas in Konoha. Onaki sneered and looked at the several tightly bound Umbu ninjas in front of him. Is this Sarutobi's method? It's ridiculous. It's just a few jonin, but they actually dare to attack secretly. I'm really going back to life. 
He didn't inherit even half of Senju Tobirama's abilities. Ai shook his head at the side. Although I don't know what Sarutobi is thinking, it's obvious that we don't need to worry about this, because we are about to enter. For the rest of the consideration, wait until you're in the Hokage's office and capture Sarutobi, then you can ask him in person. Ai simply said, I have no patience to wait any longer. Cloud Shinobi ninjas, follow me. Ai took action himself. Onoki looked at Ai's back and sneered. Chiba got the latest news. Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi launched the final attack. There is not much time left for Sarutobi. Can he put down the information in his hands with the news? Advertisement. Standing up, he planned to go to the Hokage office to take a look. Because at this moment, the time is almost ripe. Chiba walked out of here and headed towards Hokage's office. The originally bustling village became extremely deserted at this moment, with few people on the streets and empty. Chiba walked all the way into Hokage's office. Without knocking, he pushed the door open and saw Sarutobi sitting in a chair, fretting. Third generation Sama. Namikaze Chiba. This voice was filled with anger and was no longer as calm as before. The village is already in crisis, but you are still suppressing Uchiha and Haiga. No. Chiba shook his head and said. Third generation Sama doesn't seem to have figured out the importance of this matter yet. It's not that I'm suppressing them, but that even if they take action, it depends on who they are doing. Sarutobi sneered. Chiba didn't care about this, he was just telling his thoughts. Rock Shinobi's current thinking is very simple. Onaki's own son died on the battlefield. Sarutobi said, you killed him. Chiba shook his head. No, that's not the case. It was your wise decision, sir, but it has nothing to do with me. Isn't this the case in the village now? Wise Lord Third Generation. Sarutobi was furious, but there was nothing he could do, until finally, he said with some dejection. What will it take for you to take action? I said, that's not the point. Chiba smiled and said, Onoki's son died, so naturally someone with the same experience can calm his anger. I remember that you still have a son. Sarutobi stood up suddenly and glared at Chiba, but Chiba just looked at him with a smile. Smile calmly and indifferently. Advertisement. Chapter 49 I advise you two actors not to seek death. Advertisement. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Sarutobi stood up as if he had been stepped on, his reaction was quick and sensitive. With anger on his face, he looked at Kinyi angrily. Chiba shrugged, looking indifferent. Third generation Sama has the skills, so it would be better to vent his anger outside the village. I think, both AI and the older Onoki are more willing to bear your wrath. On the contrary, you are venting your energy in vain here, which makes you even more incompetent. Chiba's attitude was very dull. Even when faced with such an angry look from Sarutobi, he still didn't flinch. By the end, he lost interest in staying. Then he turned around and left. Before leaving, he warned. Come on, Lord Third Generation, I hope you can find a suitable solution before the village's defenses are completely lost. Chiba left. Bang! Sarutobi's face was livid, and he punched the table. A deep hole was created in the solid wood table. This shows the extent of the anger in Sarutobi's heart. But, even so, it's still of no use. As Chiba said, why not vent such great anger outside the village? What's the use of getting angry at one's own people? Is the nest unruly? But having said that, Sarutobi really didn't dare to vent his anger outside the village. Even now, he still has many people under his command. As for the reason, it was naturally because he was leaving Kinyi alone. Originally, Sarutobi's defense was not so strong, but until Haiga and Uchiha didn't even listen to the slightest order, they completely obeyed Chiba's words. Sarutobi suddenly woke up. All the forces originally prepared to be sent to the battlefield were withdrawn. Because once he is actually sent to the battlefield, there is no doubt that the strength of his subordinates will be greatly reduced. Then, there is no strength to contain Haiga and Uchiha. Not to mention, Chiba's own strength is also a big problem. Sarutobi remained silent, unable to find any solution. Unless, just like what Namikaze Chiba said, Onoki can feel at ease. Sarutobi frowned, his expression getting uglier. At this moment, he was extremely irritable. Advertisement. Can. The more critical point is, even though he made this decision, Asuma is no longer here at all. Asuma is still in the hands of Namikaze Chiba. Least. He also has to pay Namikaze Chiba 20 million tails in compensation in exchange for Asuma. Then, he sent his son to die with his own hands. Chiba went back. But not long after returning, Uchiha came to report. Lord Chiba, the village's defense line has been completely lost. It won't be long before the ninjas of Rock Shinobi and Cloud Shinobi will invade the village. What are we going to do? What to do? Chiba said. This should be something Sarutobi should consider, and we, just watch. But, Chiba touched his chin. Considering, I do need to warn you, it's okay to break into the village, but don't disturb this place. Since the Uchiha and Hayaga clans did not participate in the war, Chiba naturally wanted to ensure their peace. Even though Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi fought. Well, Chiba also ensured that they would not be disturbed. Certainly, Chiba would not help Sarutobi. You still have to do your own things. After all, he is the Hokage. Go call Shisui and Itaki, and bring Fugaku and Hayashi. Let's come together. As Chiba's words fall behind, Uchiha leaves. At this moment, Naruto came out. Uncle, Naruto was a little worried. Is someone coming in? Are we in danger? Touching Naruto's head, Chiba smiled and said, Advertisement. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. Just be good at home. I will test your ninjutsu when I come back. Don't worry, my ninjutsu won't fall behind. Naruto was confident. Soon, Shisui, Fugaku and Hayashi arrived. However, Itaka seemed to be feeling unwell and did not come over. Chiba didn't care much. He looked at the three of them and said directly, Ai and Onaki are calling. Fugaku raised an eyebrow. Are you planning to take action? Chiba shook his head. No, give them a warning and let them be more measured and not get the wrong target. Hayaga Hayashi smiled. It does fit your personality, but Onoki and AI may not be so easy to talk to. Chiba shrugged indifferently. It's not up to them. Village entrance. AI wiped off the blood on his body and stood at the entrance of Kanaha village. Behind him are the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi. After that, Onoki and Rock Shinobi arrived belatedly. AI turned to look at Onoki behind him. It does slow down a lot as I get older. Onoki glanced at him and said sarcastically. Is it a good thing to be so fast at such a young age? Hearing the obvious teasing tone in Onoki's words, AI didn't bother to respond. He frowned and said, No matter how heavy the losses are, Kanaha should not only have this little strength, but now, the strength that Kanaha has shown is not quite right. Onoki echoed from the side. 
Kanaha must still be hiding its strength. At least, neither the Uchiha nor the Hayaga clan has been seen. And, as far as I know, Sarutobi should have another force. However, I heard that Yellow Flash's younger brother had a bad relationship with Sarutobi after returning to the village, and even gained support from the Uchiha and Hayaga clans. AI nodded. That makes sense. Advertisement. Then how are we going to treat them this time? Onaki sneered. They are all from Kanaha. I'm afraid they are the same as Sarutobi. If possible, we will get rid of them all. AI didn't refute. I guess the meaning is pretty much the same. But, at this time, Chiba has already brought people out. Only a few people stood in front of the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi and Rock Shinobi. Onaki frowned. Looking at the people behind Kinyi, he recognized them. Uchiha Fugaku, Haiga Hayashi. In the Ninja World War, he is still quite famous. Especially, as the clan leader of Uchiha and Haiga. More attention. But at this time, what attracted more attention was the young man standing in front of them, who clearly took all the initiative and seemed to be the leader. She has long golden hair, somewhat similar to Yellow Flash, but has an evil smile. After a pause, Onaki read out the name. Namikaze Chiba. Exactly. Chiba nodded. You came here to stop us with just a few people. Chiba shook his head. No, I just came to give the two shadows a heads up. Oh, both AI and Onaki looked interested. What's the reminder? Onaki asked with interest. Chiba said bluntly, Don't choose the wrong target, lest you end up seeking death. The words fell. Both AI and Onaki's eyes turned cold. With coldness? Advertisement. Chapter 50 Bullying the Weak and Fearing the Strong. Advertisement. You seem arrogant. No. Chiba shook his head in denial. I'm just stating a fact. One sentence. Not only did AI and Onaki's eyes turn cold, even all the ninjas behind them. Onaki sneered. Namikaze Chiba, are you going to sacrifice your life for Sarutobi first, and then hand over your life here? Chiba looked at him with some confusion. I don't know who gave you the courage to say these words. But, I think you don't have the strength to keep me, but I don't want to do anything to the old guy. This is embarrassing. Onaki's expression was terrifyingly cold. He looked at Kinyi as if he wanted to eat someone. Unlike Onaki's fear, AI simply said after listening to Namikaze Chiba's words. I have already seen the reputation of Yellow Flash, and I am even more curious. How much of your brother's abilities does your Yellow Flash brother have? Chiba looked at AI. Sigh. Actually, I don't really want to take action. A must-win battle, it's boring. But if there is no other way, I can't give up just because I can win easily. Chiba thought for a moment and simply put one hand behind his back. That's okay, I'll give you a hand. Arrogant. AI stood up, anger emerging on his face. Kinyi's words clearly didn't take him seriously. Chigiwakuo's contempt. Chakra surged from AI's body, and the power of lightning style suddenly emerged and spread all over his body. At the same time, AI's hair stood on end. The momentum is very forced and shocks others. Today I want to see how you can defeat me with one hand. Now, thunder and lightning wrapped around AI's body, making his already strong body look even more powerful. Crack. Advertisement. The force of the thunder and lightning made even the electric air ring. Onaki saw it from the side and couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. He subconsciously took a step back, not wanting to get close to AI at all. He didn't want to be oppressed by AI's power. And as Onoki retreated, the ninjas next to Onoki were breathing a little suppressed. Unable to bear it, they all took a few steps back. Chiba was very relaxed. But, Hayashi couldn't help but said, Chiba, fourth rakage is still very strong. You should be careful and don't underestimate the enemy. Chiba waved his hand. Don't worry. Get the long sword. A decisive sword intent suddenly appeared. AI is very fast. Almost in the blink of an eye, he arrived in front of Chiba and immediately punched out. Bang! There was a sonic boom in the air, which was enough to show AI's speed. AI's Shenshen technique relies purely on physical advantages. Even so, he still has a reputation that is not weaker than Shisui's Shenshen. However, even though AI was so fast, he still couldn't hit Chiba. Chiba's body disappeared from the place. When he appeared again, he was beside him. And AI saw a unique mark there. Narrowed his eyes. Flying Thunder God. AI never discovered that Kinyi was marked with the mark of Flying Thunder God not far away. No matter how fast he is, how can he be as fast as the Flying Thunder God? It's simply incomparable. But even if you master the Flying Thunder God, it's still useless. AI said and punched out again. A sonic boom sounded nearby. Chiba's figure disappeared again. AI roared. You will just run away. Advertisement. Buzz, the words have not yet completely fallen. Then he saw a sword light crossing the sky, and a silvery white light flashed instantly. Then, laugh. The long sword had flat cutting characteristics and was extremely sharp. It directly cut through AI's lightning style armor and slashed towards his arm. And at this time, AI showed off his fighting talent and reckless ruthlessness. He actually ignored Kinyi's sword and directly collided with Kinyi faster with his body. At the same time, attack with the other hand. Lightning style thunder plow hot knife? AI thought that by doing this, he could make Chiba give up attacking and fall into his attack rhythm. Only, he thought he had it all figured out. The only thing I didn't count was one point. Bang, AI's attack hits. But Chiba's body disappeared directly. All he hit was a shadow clone. Chiba's improved shadow clone gives shadow clone capabilities far beyond those of the past. Although it is difficult to distinguish, it still has strength that is not much weaker than the main body. And with AI hitting the air. Kinyi's real sword also struck him. While penetrating the lightning style armor, it struck AI's body. Laugh, a long and narrow scratch was printed on the chest. Like an extremely long centipede, it spreads from the shoulders to the side of the abdomen. Even. Previously, if Chiba's sword had been tilted upward a little more, it could have sliced through AI's neck. But Chiba did not choose to do this. Put the knife away. Chiba turned around and lost interest in continuing the fight. Keep your goals in mind and don't do anything stupid. The battle can be considered over. Chiba showed his full strength, and with an absolutely crushing attitude, AI had no chance to fight back. He cut open the lightning style armor and wounded AI with a sword blow. Advertisement. Even this was the case where Chiba gave up one hand. The battle happened quickly and ended just as quickly. AI suddenly fell silent, and Onaki stopped talking. Chiba shrugged and said, I'm just giving you a piece of advice. Of course, if you don't want to believe it, you can ask Onoki to take action together with you. He turned back with a slight smile. With two people, I think there will be more pressure and it should be more interesting. AI didn't speak. Onoki didn't answer either. 
As for the two village ninjas behind them, they looked at this scene with stunned expressions and disbelief. The majestic fourth rakage lost the battle so simply. Even if the other party had not shown mercy, a greater price would have been paid. After a long time, AI said dryly, Compared to Yellow Flash, you are more powerful. As you wish, I will restrain my subordinates and will not interfere with you. Onaki also said, Me too. Then, good luck to you. Chiba left with a smile. The three Fugaku followed. Even the three of them have never recovered from the battle just now. It's too fast and too strong. Take a deep breath. Seeing the shock in each other's eyes, AI took off his lightning-style armor and wiped the blood from his body. This sword cut off all his protection. If it goes any deeper, it could endanger his life. Onaki smiled bitterly. Let's go find Sarutobi. He is easy to bully? AI nodded. Then he moved forward and shouted at the same time. Sarutobi Hiruzen, get out. The sound echoed in Konoha. AI's voice is so loud that there is no place where it cannot be heard, not to mention the blessing of Chakra. There was no doubt that it reached the third Hokage office. Sarutobi's face was livid and he couldn't sit still. Advertisement.